On the day of the engagement, my fiancé ran away in public. The sudden turn of events did not catch me off guard. Instead of drowning in sadness, I requested everyone to witness as I immediately announced the cancellation of the engagement. I'm sorry, but today's engagement banquet must be cancelled. Shen Feng had an accident, and once he's okay, I will definitely organize a grand engagement banquet for you to apologize. I'm sorry, you loved me for five years, and Shen Feng silently protected me for five years, so I cannot be away from him at this time. With that, Lin Ro ran off the stage, took her bag from the bridesmaid, took out the keys, and drove away in front of everyone. Give me the microphone. With my mind fully loaded, I watched Lin Ro's taillights disappear from view and then reached out to the host and former best friend Zhang Lei standing beside me. What are you doing? Although puzzled, Zhang Lei still handed over the microphone in his hand. First of all, I would like to thank all the guests for taking the time out of their busy schedules to attend the engagement banquet of Miss Lin Ro and me. As I spoke on stage, the parents of Lin Ro, who had been standing by the stage all along, couldn't help but look at me with a new perspective as their son-in-law. Based on this fearless performance and reaction, I can indeed be their son-in-law, but their precious daughter really lacks any sense of the bigger picture. Leaving her parents and fiancé hanging here for the sake of a so-called childhood companion, it's really disgraceful. Unfortunately, on this auspicious day, Miss Lin Ro abandoned me in front of everyone. As the saying goes, a gentleman values his reputation. So I solemnly announce that my engagement with Miss Lin Ro is hereby cancelled. I ask all of you to bear witness. Here, take the microphone. I handed it to Jean Lei, then approached Lin Ro's parents. Uncle, auntie, I'm sorry. I am not fortunate enough to be your son-in-law. I said with a bitter smile. Why bother? How about this? When that stubborn girl returns, mom will definitely give her a good scolding. Let you vent your anger. Then we'll have an engagement banquet and buy you a paralamra as a gesture of apology. How does that sound? Lin's mother looked at the talented and polite young man in front of her, feeling extremely guilty, and sincerely comforted him. The condition set made Zhang lay beside me envy so much. Nowadays, which son-in-law can be valued so much by the mother-in-law? I didn't say anything, just smiled lightly, then knelt down in front of the guests, not three times towards Mr. and Mrs. Lin, really fast and accurate. The two didn't even have time to react, and I had already finished knocking. Don't, I will accept you as my son-in-law. Watching a big man behave like this in public, Lin's father, who was the first to react, had tears in his eyes. He wanted to speak up to try to stop me, but his outstretched hand stopped in midair, only able to watch me unsteadily stand up and then be supported by Zhang Lei, staggering down the stage. At this moment, the sympathy of the people present was overflowing, and I occupied the moral high ground. After these three loud knocks, I could take the initiative, and no one could say I was bad. After all, everyone now thinks that I am overly sad, and who would think that it was just because I knocked my head too hard and got dizzy. As we left the hotel, a slightly chilly autumn wind blew, and my head, which had been dizzy from knocking too hard, suddenly cleared up a lot. Where to next? Zhang Lei looked at his good friend and said, let's go back to the villa and help me move my things. I rubbed my forehead. Are you kidding me? Zhang Lei was dumbfounded, thinking he had misheard. He asked again, you heard me right, let's go. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Zhang Lei nodded, then took out his second-hand car keys from his pocket, and the two of them drove away from the hotel. Half an hour later, the duo drove into a famous villa area in Hangzhou. High-end real estate is high-end real estate in the end. If I didn't have you to accompany me, I'm afraid I would have been detained by the security guards here before I even reached the entrance. At the entrance of the wedding house accompanied by the Lu family, Zhang Lei looked at the luxurious three-story villa in front of him and lamented. All right stop looking and get to work, Zhao Rin said in a good-natured manner. Now that he was getting more and more used to this brand new body. Come Lu come Lu, Zhang Lei locked the car smilingly followed up. An hour later, looking at the car trunk full of three big boxes of things, Zhang Lei wiped the sweat. In this autumn season, get a stinky sweat, afraid that only he. I say, Rin, are you good at this? His line of sight fell to the side, looking at Zhao Rin who was still watching a small video. Zhang Lei said with an unhappy face, great health care at night, foot wash and massage, smoking and scalding, I'll pay for it. Zhao Rin unhurriedly slid the cell phone screen and said without lifting his head, for the original owner, this deadbeat who was so good that he was close to wearing a pair of pants, he directly took the pinch. Righteous father is above. Please accept my child's obeisance. Hearing about great health care, foot washing and massage plus smoking and scalding, Zhang Lei's eyes instantly lit up and immediately assumed the appearance of the one who specialized in solving fights in the three kingdoms and opened his mouth. This is a good righteous son for my father. Get up and drive. 
Zhao Ring casually slipped his cell phone into his pocket and said with a smile, Righteous father please. Zhang Lei's solidly pleasing demeanor almost didn't make Zhao Rin laugh. Okay, stop acting. Hurry up and drive back, and I'll buy you a meal on the way. I'm the one who didn't even get a drink of water early in the morning until now. Zhao Rin said with a funny face. Come on, let's go eat Sichuan food. I want the heavy spicy kind. Zhang Lei said with a face of excitement. Since Lu Ruyan said she didn't like the smell of Sichuan food. We haven't eaten Sichuan food together for a long time. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, forgetting my brother for the sake of a woman. My bad. Don't think about coming out if you don't eat today. Thinking back to the original owner's various experiences with Lu Ruyan, Zhao Rin was not worth it for the original owner. So he followed Zhang Lei's words and said, However, we can't drink. Ha, huh? what's the point of having a good meal without drinking? Zhang Lei was a bit unhappy. What do you want to do with a night of great healthcare when you're drunk? Do you want to be mocked by, uh, Technician 66 for being a fine dog? Zhao Rin played with the flavor. Many thanks for your righteous father's guidance. Upon hearing this, Zhang Lei said with a righteous face, Rin, why don't we just move our luggage back first before we eat? In case we get drunk, we can't drive. Eh? Halfway through the drive, the excited Zhang Lei suddenly reacted and opened his mouth. Are you stupid? That Sichuan restaurant is downstairs from your rental house, right? Wouldn't it be better to carry things upstairs first and then eat? Zhao Rin, who was leaning on the passenger seat, glanced at Zhang Lei, who was driving, as if he was looking at a sand sculpture, and said with a look of disgust, Ha, huh? Rin, you're staying at my place? When Zhang Lei heard that, he immediately turned pale. What do you mean your place? Come on, that house is shared, right? I also paid half of the rent okay, not letting me live there. What a rebellious son. Zhao Rin looked at the other party with contempt and said, where can I, righteous father? Hearing this, Zhang Lei immediately shook his head, and if he didn't deny it, the evening program would blow up. Poof. Zhao Rin hummed, then looked down at his phone. He needed to learn about this parallel world as soon as possible, and the internet was definitely a convenient way to do so. Soon, the duo reached their destination, and after moving their luggage to the house, they quickly went downstairs and ordered a table at the Sichuan restaurant downstairs. On the other end, Lu Ruyan looked at Lin Ming who had fallen into a deep sleep in the hospital room, and let out a sigh of relief. It was then that she remembered to call Zhao Rin to apologize. Sorry, the number you have dialed has been turned off. The number had only just been broadcast for a few seconds when I heard these words on the receiver, followed by an automatic hang-up. Hmm, it's off. Is the cell phone out of battery? Lu Ruyan, who had missed Zhao Rin's call for the first time, looked a little surprised, but she didn't think much of it and just assumed that the phone was dead. So she turned her head and called Mother Lu. Hey, mom, is Rin by your side? The phone was picked up after two rings, and Ruyan Lu looked at Rin Ming in the hospital bed and whispered, You dead girl, now you know to call. On the phone, Mother Lu's tone was vaguely angry as she listened to her precious daughter's voice. Mom, is Rin by your side? Seeing that her mom didn't answer her question, Ruyan Lu hurriedly asked, He left not long after you did. You really hurt him this time. Mother Lu said with hatred, I don't care where you are or what you're doing right now. You'd better go back and apologize to Rin right away. Mom, I know. Don't worry. Rin won't be angry with me. As long as I sincerely apologize, he will definitely obey me like before. Ruyan Lu instead said very calmly, looking very confident. Alas, in short, you hurry up and go. Mother Lu originally still wanted to tell her own daughter about Zhao Rin's public announcement of the annulment of the marriage contract. But when the words came to her mouth, she couldn't get them out. And in the end, she could only advise Lu Ruyan to hurry over. All right, all right, I know. Lu Ruyan hung up the phone with some impatience, then glanced at Lin Ming, who had fallen into a deep sleep, and turned around to leave the hospital room. Unfortunately, what she didn't know was that just as soon as she left on the front foot, Lin Ming, who was lying on the hospital bed on the back foot, opened his eyes, and the corners of his mouth rose, revealing a conspiratorial smile. Zhao Rin, Zhao Rin, even the engagement banquet, Ruyan chose to abandon you for me. How can you fight me? Lin Ming looked at the ceiling and smiled. He seemed to see the scene of Lu Ruyan shyly hiding in his arms. As for Lu Ruyan, who knows nothing about this, after coming out of the hospital, she specially drove to the Sichuan restaurant near the hospital to pack a copy of Zhao Rin's favorite boiled pork slices, and then hummed a little song all the way back to the villa, wanting to apologize to Zhao Rin. Arriving at the villa, Lu Ruyan looked around the villa and realized that Zhao Rin hadn't come back yet. So she dialed Zhao Rin's phone once again, and this time the phone went through. On the other hand, Zhao Rin and Zhang Lei, who were full of wine and food, hooked up and returned to the rented house. 
one leaning on the sofa as if he was paralyzed and not moving, while the other one went into the room and packed up his things. After a flurry of operations, Zhao Rin walked out of his room, and was just about to take a break when his phone rang. Hello. Zhou Rin glanced at the caller ID and then put it to her ear. Why are you so polite? It's me. Why couldn't you get through on the phone just now? Ruyan Lu froze when she heard Zhao Rin's opening statement. I know. M.S. Lu. Is there something wrong? My cell phone ran out of battery just now, and I just charged it up. Zhao Rin still said very politely. Sorry about the engagement party. Wait a while. I will make up for a grand engagement party to compensate you. Sure enough, it's out of power. I knew you wouldn't dare to pull the plug on this young lady, Lu Ruyan secretly said in her heart, but she was also clear that she seemed to have gone slightly overboard today, so she took the initiative to open her mouth to apologize, her tone unprecedentedly gentle, it's a waste of labor to commit a toss, I'm not angry, actually, Zhao Rin still responded in a calm tone, angry or not, can't I hear it, Ruyan Lu asked with a frown, alright, ms, Lu, I still have some things to do over here, so I'll stop chatting and hang up first. Seeing the other party's incessant chatter, Zhao Rin didn't bother to say more and directly hung up the phone. Humph, how dare you hang up on me? Seeing as I was in the wrong first, I'll let you fool around once today. Hearing the beep 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 busy sound coming from the phone, Ruyan Lu grunted. Rin, have you thought this through? To give up? As a diehard friend for many years, seeing Zhao Rin's behavior, Zhang Lei finally decided to ask one more time not wanting his good friend to regret it for the rest of his life. Think it through. In love that runs in both directions, sincerity is a surefire way to kill. One way love. Sincerity is to kill oneself. This thing ah, with any card. It's a king bomb. The only thing that comes out alone. It's a dead card that kills itself. Recalling his own experience in his previous life, Zhao Rin shook his head and said, It's good that you figured it out. Good brother top you. Seeing this, Zhang Lei didn't say anything more and leaned his head back on the sofa. Let's rest for a while, and change clothes to go to healthcare later. Zhao Rin glanced at the other party and said with a smile on his face, the original body got this deadbeat, when it was really good. I'm not sleepy when it comes to this ha ha ha. As soon as he heard, great healthcare, Zhang Lei immediately came to the spirit, and could not wait to set off immediately. Soon the time came to 6.30 PM, the world had been shrouded in night and the duo had arrived at the sauna. Welcome to Zhou Tian Wellness. May I ask if you two have an appointment? As soon as he entered the door, the welcoming little girl at the front desk took the initiative to welcome him with a smile and asked. He has an appointment with Technician 66. Just call me anyone. Zhao Rin before he came to check the original body savings. The same as an orphan. The same name Zhao Rin. The original body can be better than the previous life of his mix. The card has a full 300. 000 deposits. So the suffering of a lifetime but also cannot enjoy to enjoy well. As for Zhang Lei, he spared a glance at the other party with some surprise in his eyes. How is it that the behavioral tone of this die-hard friend of his act showed such familiarity, as if he was a regular customer? It was completely different from the cautious look when he came before? Could it be that a major setback could really cause a major change in one's disposition? Even if he thought about it, he couldn't figure it out. That dead friend of his had died when Ruyan Lu left, and now Zhao Rin was someone else's soul, in order to enjoy it better. Zhao Rin simply ordered two 8,888 packages, and then the two of them walked into their respective boxes under the guidance of their respective technicians. Looking at the other side of the long white legs, shapely body, with the other side of the skillful foot massage technology, Zhao Rin began to drift up, even lying in the chair fell asleep. He didn't know how long it had been, but Zhao Rin only felt a coldness in his head, and then an icy sensation quickly spread down his body. With a jolt, he opened his eyes. Lu Ruyan, what are you doing? Zhao Rin, who had been awakened by the cold water splash, looked at Lu Ruyan in front of her and said with a displeased face, Zhao Rin, I didn't expect you to be this kind of person, didn't you promise me that you would never come to a place like this again, how can you treat me right, how did you know I was here, Zhao Rin wiped a handful of water droplets from his face and was a little surprised at Lu Ruyan's appearance, as long as I'm willing to spend money, what can't a private detective find out, Lu Ruyan gasped and said, say, why did you come here? Before you got engaged, you promised me that you would definitely not dabble in these flirtatious places anymore in the future. Feeling the grass growing on her head, Lu Ruyan said furiously, No, Ruyan Lu, M.S. Lu, this doesn't seem to be any of your business, does it? In what capacity do you mind me? I'm sorry for scaring you. You can go out first. Looking at the female technician in the corner with her head down, Zhao Ring collected his temper and softened his words. Good. The female technician sniffed, and as if amazed, 
hurriedly packed up her things and ran out, not forgetting to bring the door with her. Zhao Rin, what do you mean? Deliberately pissing me off? You knew I didn't like this kind of occasion, but you just had to come over. Don't you know that things have priorities? So grown up and still so childish? Lu Ruyan said furiously, her two big full white rabbits undulating regularly like waves along with the tone of her voice. M.S. Willow, do you also know that there are priorities? I thought you didn't know. Zhao Rin heard this and spat disdainfully, then walked to the side of the cart used to put towels and other sundries, took out a towel and wiped her body. Fortunately it was not cold yet, otherwise she would have to catch a cold. What do you mean? Didn't I tell you? Ah Ming, he's been in a car accident. I've been playing with him since we were kids. It's hard not to go and see him at such a critical time? Lu Ruyan frowned and said, her tone looking disappointed. We're all adults. Don't be so insensitive. Okay. Okay okay. You're right about everything. And I'm not saying you're wrong. It's okay for you to know what's right. You can leave no? Seeing the unreasonable Lu Ruyan in front of him, Zhao Rin instantly lost the patience to continue communicating, and simply went along with the other party's words and continued, only hoping that the other party would hurry up and leave and not interrupt his own enjoyment of life. What do you mean? You're kicking me out? And then go back to screwing around with that foxy bitch from earlier? You asshole. As soon as Ruyan Lu's life-threatening trio of questions left her mouth, she followed it up by waving her right hand and wanted to give Zhao Rin a big earful. Enough. Lu Ruyan, I don't pursue this with you because I see you're a girl. Who are you to tell me what to do with my life? Zhao Rin got angry. He gripped the other party's wrist and said with a ferocious look on his face, In what capacity do you control me? Toward the end, Zhao Rin couldn't help but shout out. His loud voice directly froze Lu Ruyan. If it wasn't for the completely unscientific and bizarre event of a soul traveling through a parallel world, he would have hated to tell the other party that the original Zhao Rin was pissed off by you alive. I, I'm your fiancé. Do you think I can control you? Lu Ruyan, who had returned to her senses, immediately retorted. Fiancé? Where do you count as a fiancé? Zhao Rin rolled his eyes and continued. At the engagement banquet at noon, in front of so many guests, in full view of everyone, you took off the head flower and left a sentence to make up for it on a later date and drove away. You have the nerve to say that you are my fiancé? Zhao Rin, didn't I explain? Ah Ming he had a car accident, I'm going to see him. Hearing this, Lu Ruyan was helpless for a while, so she patiently explained, in a few days, we'll pick another day and make up an engagement ceremony. Won't it be fine? You don't want to play these little tricks of lust anymore, okay? No? Such a big matter, M.S. Lu, you don't think that it's just going to be dismissed with such a flippant sentence, do you? Also, it was clearly you who abandoned me. How do you have the face to think that I'm playing a little trick of lust? Zhao Rin was amused by Lu Ruyan and said with a smile, What kind of logic is this? What else? Today is really something. I didn't do it on purpose. I've apologized to you. I've said I'll make up an engagement party for you. What more do you want from me? What about a man's pattern? You've loved me for five years and chased me down. He also loved me for five years. You know? Lu Ruyan angrily accused. Facts aside. Are you not right? Why didn't you accompany me there? Stop. 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 I don't know Ming well. Just a nodding acquaintance. His life or death has nothing to do with me. Also, you're not at fault. No need to apologize to me. And I'm not mad at all. That's right. Facts are right and wrong. Putting aside the facts. How can it be right or wrong? Hearing that the momentum was not right, Zhao Rin hurriedly stopped the other party's PUA and opened her mouth. Women who brought their own PUA attribute were really too annoying. Not angry. What are you doing here? Isn't it still a deliberate attempt to piss me off and embarrass me? On the night of the engagement, my fiancé would rather cheat at the clubhouse than make out with his fiancé. If this gets out, where will I put my face? Lu Ruyan asked with a frown. She had spent a fortune to find this place, and this time, if she caught him red-handed. She must teach the other party a good lesson, and definitely not let the other party be ahead above her. The marriage contract between the two of us has been annulled. I've already declared it amongst the engagement party ah, why can't I come as a bachelor with no wife and no girlfriend? Zhao Rin was a bit puzzled. Could it be that Father Lu and Mother Lu hadn't told Ruyan Lu about this? Voided? When did that happen? How come I don't know? Ruyan Lu was also confused. She hadn't even thought about it, nor had she taken the initiative to find out and no one had taken the initiative to tell her. Ask your girlfriends who were bridesmaids. I remember they took videos. Zhao Rin recalled the scene at noon and spoke. Wait, I'll ask. Lu Ruyan glanced at Zhao Rin and then whirled around to send a message to her best friend. And within a few seconds, a small video was sent over. Zhao Rin, you, you asshole. How could you do this? How are you going to let me meet people in the future? After Lu Ruyan watched the video, 
Her face changed drastically and she said angrily, I did it for a reason. It's not like I'm running away from the marriage. So how can you announce the dissolution of the engagement in public? Or else, in public, because of the so-called childhood friend, you abandoned me in public, and my face was shattered by you. Zhao Rin rightfully said, if I don't break off the engagement, is it possible that I will continue to hold you up? If you can do the first day, why can't I do the 15th? I don't want the engagement broken off. The person I love is you. Can you forgive me this time? I promise it's the last time. Seeing that the hard one didn't work, Lu Ruyan switched to the soft one, holding Zhao Rin's arm and taking the initiative to pamper her. In the past, after something similar happened, she would use this way to beg for the other party's forgiveness, which could be described as tried and true. Unfortunately, this time she had miscalculated. The current Zhao Rin was no longer the original Zhao Rin. As I said, you didn't do anything wrong, much less need to apologize. Zhao Rin opened one of the other's hands without a trace and said with a smile, M.S. Lu, the engagement between the two of us is over, so please respect yourself. I don't. When we fell in love, you personally promised me that no matter what I did, as long as it wasn't cheating, you would unconditionally forgive me. Ruyan Lu was a bit flustered now, and she offered what she thought was her last card. That's right, there's that, I did promise you. Zhao Rin nodded frankly. Hearing this, the corner of Lu Ruyan's mouth rose slightly, a smile vaguely surfaced on her face, small like, still want to pin me down, dreaming, not still have to forgive me, but a bulletproof vest is bulletproof, so you can just carry an AK and keep hitting it? Zhao Rin spoke with a big gasp, and the smile that had just surfaced on Lu Ruyan's face instantly froze on her face, at this time originally closed the room door, suddenly creak sound, opened, the somewhat subtle atmosphere between the two dissipated with the sound of the door opening, uncle and auntie, why are you guys here? Seeing the duo who pushed the door in, Zhao Rin froze, and although he was a bit surprised, he still revealed a smile and took the initiative to greet them. We heard you were here for a massage, so we came over. Lu Father's eyes flickered a little. Zhao Rin estimated that the other side must know his daughter came here, afraid that she made something, which is in a hurry to rush over. Uncle and auntie, take Miss Lu back, the air here isn't too good for her. Seeing this, Zhao Rin didn't bother to say anything about the other party's small mind. As long as one had the ability to pay money, finding a big living person and checking their whereabouts wasn't a difficult task, so he said with a smile, I'm driving here, do you want to come back with me? I just happened to be on my way. Lu father with a smile on his face, his eyes fell on Zhao Rind, their eyes met in the middle of the half, Zhao Rind immediately understood the strings outside the words, this is the hope that they continue the marriage contract ah. Thank you uncle for your kind words, Zhang Lei has a car, I'll just go back with him. Zhao Rin smiled and made her attitude clear. Okay, then we'll go back first. Remember ah, if you think Zhang Lei's car won't fit, remember to call me. Father Lu glanced at the other party, lamented in his heart, and was about to leave with Lu Ruyan. Zhao Rin, you're too childish. I'm telling you, if you don't go back to the villa to live by 12 o'clock tonight, you'll never have to go back. Lu Ruyan got her missy temper up all of a sudden and said furiously. At these words, father and mother Lu said a dark cry of bad. This is going to be bad. Chairman, take a mess. Lu back. Hearing this, Zhao Rin's eyes instantly changed. His tone was still polite, but after changing his address, he immediately became a bit more distant. It turned out that the original owner, Zhao Rin, was actually an employee of the Lu family's company. Well, well, well. Ruyin, she doesn't know better. You don't take it to heart. Lu father rushed out to round off the scene. After all, is his own daughter as wrong in the first? Even though his heart to Zhao Rin to find the club technician this thing is quite a slight word, but also bad to say anything else. Who let his daughter let the other side of the public cannot stand it. So the couple can only join forces, together with Lu Ruyan took away. As for Zhao Rin, is just out of the technician called back, peace of mind to continue to enjoy up. At the end of the technician, did not hold back, salty hands in the technician's white thighs touched a hand. This smooth touch, slippery, can be really beautiful. Well, Seeing you with this spring in your step, you're enjoying yourself. Zhao Rin, who was sitting in the co-pilot, looked at Zheng Lei, who was humming a little song while driving, and teased. It's thanks to the righteous father. This 8888 package is really good. Bath and massage, horse killing chicken, and the last heavy. You know, I've always had a good appetite ah. Just now it was still too xiang ah. The more Zhang Lei spoke, the more excited he became, and the person couldn't help but sway. Stop stop stop. It doesn't matter if you're driving, but you're driving. I don't want to not be able to go back. Zhao Rin hurriedly interrupted the other party's fantasy road. Safety first ah. Don't worry. 
I have a number. I said righteous father ah. The 66th technician's technique is indeed very top ah, alternating hot and cold. If not for my physical fitness times great, maybe directly over. Why don't you enjoy enjoying some other day? Zhang Lei said with a bad smile on his face, okay, okay, I'm just wondering, you have such a strong need in that area, why don't you have a good relationship and find a girlfriend to get married? Zhao Rin asked the question that the original body had been teasingly unable to figure out, don't be, how tired to fall in love, engage in ambiguity, the new year's festivals, but also to send gifts, send the wrong still fall complain, but also to remember the time of the ant, what brown sugar water, ginger tea have to think about it, I'm afraid, I worked hard to earn the money, why yell at others to spend for me, but also be scolded, Zhang Lei shook his head, continued, the recent news away from not said, 200,000 dowry engaged to give half still not allowed to touch, touch the house to immediately add the name, the rest of the dowry to immediately give, even the prior agreement is null and void, I really for that brother is not worth it oh, engaged to have sex but also accused of bow although women dry, go in for 3 years, this time to talk about FALV, Collect money when talking about customs. This is not bullshit. Then you don't have to be so pessimistic. Zhao Rin said with a smile. No, no, no. Look, when I go fishing, after spending a hundred dollars and a day's work, I might not have a single one, but when I spend a hundred dollars to go to the food market, it doesn't take me an hour to absolutely get a proper fish. The kind that's at my mercy. Zhang Lei said in a serious manner. It seems to be so reasonable. Zhao Rin thought about it. It's really a... Isn't the original body a living example? So ah, a person how comfortable. We are both orphans. Bare bones come and go without attachment. Zhang Lei lamented a bit and saw the red light jumping ahead, so he slowly stopped. At this time, he realized that Zhao Ren actually took advantage of him waiting for the red light to open the car door and got out of the car. Hey, what are you doing? Zhang Lei hurriedly shouted, but he saw Zhao Ren cross the sidewalk without looking back and walk towards the green belt on the side of the road. Just as the red light turned green, Zhang Lei hurriedly hit the turn signal and pulled over. Fortunately, there are few cars in this neighborhood, which is not an accident. It was only just after parking his car that Zhang Lei realized that Zhao Rin was carrying a girl in a sportswear in a princess hug position as she walked over. Under the illumination of the cold white street light, the girl's face was horribly pale. Crap! Picking up corpses! Seeing this, Zhang Lei's face instantly revealed a fine light and said with a bad smile, Fuck you! This is low blood sugar fainted. This section of the road is a bit remote. If we don't help her, we might be bullied by the homeless. Thinking back to his previous life, there were often reported news. There are often drunk or because of low blood sugar fainted women by the heart of the mischievous that incident. So Zhao Rin cannot help but move compassion. Who let the original body eyesight is so good at? What next? Going home? Zhang Lei turned around and looked at Zhao Rin, who had put the girl in the back row, and said with a bad smile on his face, What's the point of going back home? Get out of the car. Turn on the double flashers and call the police. Otherwise, if the girl woke up in the middle of the day, sue us for attempted molestation. Not successful. We are also a mess. Harming people's hearts cannot have. Preventing people's hearts cannot be without. Do good at the same time also need to fully protect themselves. Zhao Rin this is a clear idea. You're really a decent person. Zhang Lei said breathlessly, but after all was said and done, he still very cooperatively turned on the double flash and got out of the car. Zhao Rin. On the other hand, directly dialed Missy Ling, and after transferring, reported his exact location, and the general situation. After waiting in place for about 20 minutes or so, a sheriff's department patrol car drove up, and the officer sitting in the passenger side got out of the car and began to take stock of the situation. Zhao Rin had only just gotten to the halfway point when the girl woke up, and the officer was also very experienced in taking a candy down from inside the car and handing it to the girl. Thank you. After listening to the officer's account of what happened, the girl who had regained some strength hurriedly thanked Zhao Rin. It doesn't matter. Hurry home. It's time for us to go back as well. Zhao Rin smiled and was about to leave. But the officer stopped him in his tracks. What? It's not good to do a good deed without leaving your name. The officer said with a smile. That won't be necessary. Officer, it's all trivial isn't it? Zhao Rin pushed back. Recently the city is engaged in the promotion of positive energy activities. Once the investigation is confirmed, there will be a bonus. There is a thousand dollars oh, the officer said with a smile. That's true. As a law-abiding good citizen, I'm happy to serve, to promote positive social energy, to contribute my part. As soon as he heard that there was money, Zhao Rin's eyes instantly brightened up. Immediately his body straightened up, and his crowning scene was open-mouthed, and the girl on the side couldn't help it, covering her mouth and snickering. 
Okay, okay, hurry up and write down your name, and contact information to me, I will report it truthfully. And this young lady, please register it as well, you're the one involved, the officer said with a smile. It should be, it should be. The girl stole a glance at Zhao Rin, the handsome side face actually made her, who was determined to be single for the rest of her life, experience the feeling of a heartbeat for the first time, so she said very cooperatively. On the other end, Lu Ruyan, who was angry, drove her car to her parents' side with her parents and sat on the sofa in a huff. Father Lu and Mother Lu looked at each other, and for a moment they didn't know what to do. A good engagement party has made a mess for his precious daughter. Dad. Mom. Why did you drag me back? I must teach the son of a bitch Xiao Rin a good lesson. Actually daring to go to a clubhouse to look for a vixen in a dignified manner on such a big day as an engagement. Lu Ruyan's face was furious as she looked at her parents and said indignantly. That's enough. Ruyan. Why is Rin like this? You don't know? In the end, it was a big boss who had experienced big scenes. Lu Father's IQ was still online. Looking at his daughter. Said with a stern face. What do I know? Dad. I'm your daughter. How can you help an outsider? Didn't I just go to the hospital to see Aming? Engagement banquet, just make up a new one. Seeing that her father, who had always doted on her, actually helped Zhao Rin, an outsider, to accuse herself, she was instantly displeased and remained stiff-lipped. Why did I give birth to such a brainless one like you? Lin Ming that little son of a bitch what idea don't tell me you can't see? Lu father said more and more angry, almost directly on the hand, but fortunately by Lu mother to stop in time. What are you doing you? Your hand is so heavy, if you slap your daughter, can she stand it? Mother Lu's hands deadlocked her own husband's big hands and discouraged him. Sigh, blame me for not teaching my daughter properly, she's all spoiled by us. Father Lu finally sighed heavily before his entire body sat down on the sofa with a disengaged butt. Okay, Ruyan, it's already late, it's going to be 10 o'clock, you drive back right away, apologize to Rin, make it up to him, and call your dad if you need anything. Also, must remember. Control your temper. This matter is your fault first. A Rin a big man have temper is normal. Lu mother is also a very sensible person. But to her daughter she still can't be cruel. Can't say heavy words. Aya, what's he so angry about? Is he qualified for this? If it wasn't for our Lu family giving him a chance, could he have today? Ruyan Lu muttered in a small voice. What are you saying? The reason why our Lu family's business can be developed to today's scale. A Rin, he took great credit. Without him running around helping us find manufacturers to reduce production costs, and expand sales, increase profits. Do you think that our Lu family's home furnishing business can be developed to the scale of $1 billion? Hearing this, Lu father instantly frowned. Right and wrong he still recognized clearly. All right, you father and daughter stop arguing. Ruyan, you now, immediately, immediately go back to me and sincerely apologize. Don't stick to those damn rules when necessary. Don't think I don't know how you treat her in. Mother Lu spared a glance at her own daughter and spoke. Mom, how did you know? Ruyan Lu's pretty face flushed, looking very surprised. Knowing your daughter is like being a mother. You guys sleep in two separate rooms. Would I not be able to figure it out? Mother Lu said with a disgusted look at Ruyan Lu. I'll go first. Realizing that her little trick had been uncovered, Ruyan Lu lowered her head in embarrassment, took the car keys and obediently walked out the door, driving towards the villa. I hope Rin will still forgive Ruyan this time. Father Lu looked at his wife, then at the fading red taillights outside the window, worried. As for Lu Ruyan this end of it, is full of confidence to drive back to the villa. Fa Zhao Rin certainly do not dare to disobey their own will, has been honest in the villa waiting for their own, but to see the villa three layers of darkness, a scene of no one, Humph, deliberately hiding and not seeing me, childish. At this moment, Lu Ruyan still thought that what Zhao Rin had told her was false, and was as confident as ever. Unexpectedly, as soon as the door opened, with the lights on, Lu Ruyan dumbfounded. The first floor of the living room is empty. No one. The only new thing on the first floor is the afternoon of the boiled meat slice. Do not believe that Lu Ruyan ran to the second floor, the third floor but found that there is still no one. How strange. Where would people go? Lu Ruyan at this moment, still not realizing the seriousness of the matter. While muttering, she walked to the living room on the first floor and sat on the soft sofa. At this time, Ruyan Lu's cell phone rang and took it out to see that it was her mother's call. Well, Arin forgave you or not? On the phone, Lu mother's tone seemed very calm. But if you listen carefully, you can still find that under the seemingly calm tone, hidden a trace of worry. But unfortunately, the spoiled Lu Ruyan did not hear it. He's not in the villa. Damn Zhao Rin, actually disobeying me. Lu Ruyan gritted her teeth and responded. Ha, huh? then look, 
The furnishings inside the villa. Is there any difference from before? Hearing this, Mother Lu had a bad premonition in her heart and hurriedly asked. There is no difference ah, uh, not still the same. What can? Hearing this, Lu Ruyan raised her head and with the help of the light from the ceiling, glanced at the living room's furnishings. Her pupils suddenly shrank, instantly focusing on the suspended cabinet below the TV, and inside the loving photo frame placed there, swept the half of the photo belonging to Zhao Rin. Ruyan, Ruyan, why don't you say anything? On the other side of the phone, Mother Lu listened to her daughter talking and suddenly lost her voice, thought something had happened, hurriedly opened her mouth. Mom, I'll talk to you later. Hang up first. After saying that, Lu Ruyan didn't wait for Mother Lu to reply. She directly hung up the phone, then quickly stood up and approached the love photo frame to confirm that there was indeed only her half of the photo left inside. Zhao Rin's half was gone. It won't. Lu Ruyan at this moment, suddenly felt a burst of panic. Her heart began to throb. Her mouth muttered while she opened her long legs and walked to the study on the second floor. This was where Zhao Rin usually stayed on weekdays, and put his laptop. When he has free time, he will quietly write web novels in the study to earn money. In addition to his own company, he stayed in the study for the longest time. As expected, the study was empty, the laptop on the desk, as well as the supporting mechanical keyboard and mouse used for coding all disappeared. Seeing this, Ruyan Lu also looked at the bookshelf in disbelief, on which were placed many classical literature. Now, these things have all disappeared. Lu Ruyan immediately stumbled physically, and fortunately propped herself up on the desk in time to not fall. No, no, Ruyan Lu really panicked, braced her hands on the table to slow her body and walked to the third floor with a trembling body. A short section of stairs, which would have only taken about 20 seconds to reach the third floor. This time it took a whole little two minutes. Lu Ruyan only felt that the stairs were so long, so long, and it was even more tiring than climbing a mountain. There were two rooms on the third floor, a master bedroom where Ruyan Lu slept, and a second bedroom where Rin Zhao slept. In order to respect Ruyan Lu, Zhao Rin agreed to Ruyan Lu's request not to have sexual intercourse before receiving the license. And since moving into the villa, he has been sleeping in the second bedroom on the third floor, in the second bedroom's own bathroom. All traces of Zhao Rin's life had been completely erased, and the empty pedestal basin only left a ring of watermarks that were about to dry up, indicating that a tooth cup had been placed here not long ago. No, 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 Ruyan Lu panicked, grabbed the door and walked into Zhao Rin's second bedroom, opened the closet, which was still empty, nothing left behind. Zhao Rin had cleaned these places before she left leaving almost no traces, but Ruyan Lu couldn't support her body any longer, and her butt fell to the ground, after a long time passed, trembling, he took out his cell phone and wanted to make a call to Zhao Rin, but several times in a row, he pressed his thumb in a biased way and couldn't recognize his fingerprints, it wasn't until Mother Lu took the initiative to call that Ruyan Lu smoothly picked up, Mom, Rin has moved all the personal items that belong to him personally, it was just as soon as the connection was made, and before Mother Lu could even speak, Ruyan Lu choked on her voice and opened her mouth, aggrieved to the point of words, transmitted to the mother of Lu's side of the open amplified cell phone, Lu father and mother of Lu instantly changed face, the whole person is dumbfounded, Zhao Rin turned out to be not talk, he came really, ignoring Lu Ruyan, who was crying on the other end of the phone, mother Lu pointed to her cell phone, signaling father Lu to call Zhao Rin immediately, after more than 20 years as a couple, this tacit understanding was still there and Lu father immediately pulled out his cell phone and dialed Zhao Rin's number. Sorry, the number you have dialed is turned off. The familiar mechanical voice sounded. Father Lu froze and shook his head with Mother Lu. Things were tricky, unbeknownst to him. At this time, Zhao Rin, who had experienced the 8888 package, was already sleeping comfortably, and his cell phone, which had been turned off, was sitting next to his pillow. The night passed quietly, and at 7 o'clock the next morning, Zhao Rin woke up on time. What a two lifetimes of labor. With the exact same biological clock, Zhao Rin shook his head and chose to get up even though he was still a bit sleepy. I got up, washed up and picked myself up and the time came to 7. 20 AM. Ah Rin I'm going to start work ah, uh, do you want to take my car? Anyway by the way. Road. Saying that, Zhang Lei in the living room noticed Zhao Rin's face change, then realized, but it was too late to change his words. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Unexpectedly. Zhao Rin suddenly revealed a smile and stepped forward to pat Zhang Lei's shoulder, saying without a care in the world, You're not angry? Zhang Lei asked tentatively, What are you angry about? It's important to earn money, Zhao Rin said with a curious face, It's not just the Lu family's company, is that so? Okay, just look away. Seeing this, Zhang Lei didn't say anymore, 
and the two of them immediately went downstairs. Zhang Lei started the vehicle and drove out of the neighborhood. Thanks. Zhao Rin unbuckled his seatbelt, looked at the large Lu family home sign on the side of the road, patted Zhang Lei's shoulder, and said thanks. Think about it yourself. Obviously, Zhang Lei was very clear about how much Zhao Rin liked Ruyan Lu, so he still couldn't help but say one more sentence. Don't worry, I have the numbers. After saying that, Zhao Rin opened the car door and quickly got out of the car. Good morning brother Rin. As soon as Zhao Rin's front foot stepped into the front entrance, the little sister in charge of reception directly stood up and carefully greeted him. Good morning, good performance today, worthy of praise. Zhao Rin responded with a smile, oblivious to the strangeness on the other party's face. Thank you Rin. The receptionist smiled and sat back down, going around to the back of a few home sales offices. A few sales that were organizing information immediately stopped what they were doing and greeted each other. Don't just focus on me. Sort out the information at hand. Pair pair. Customer's goods are complete. Hurry to arrange delivery. Not yet complete. Hurry to the manufacturer to make a phone call to urge the goods. Seeing these responsible for the first line of home sales. Early anticipation of Zhao Rin according to the memory of the original body. Imitating the other side of the form and demeanor said. Okay. We'll do it right away. Hearing their own boss give the word, the several sales were sort of relieved and responded. After settling the group of sales, Zhao Rin went up to the second floor and entered the office that was solely his own. The furnishings in the office were simple. A table, two chairs, and a set of cabinets against the root of the wall. Zhao Rin sat on the chair and fumed for a while, then opened the computer and began to knock up a resignation letter on the keyboard. A minute later, the resignation letter was printed. Zhao Rin signed his name on the resignation letter and pressed his fingerprints with the sealing clay. And after a pause, Zhao Rin took out a yellow filing bag from the drawer and put the resignation letter in it. And at the same time, there was also the villa's access card as well as the key to the car that Lu's father had given to him as a companion of Lu Ruyan. A low-profile white A4. It's a good thing that when I bought the car, the original body insisted on writing Lu Ruyan's name. Or else it would have really taken some effort. Zhao Rin looked at the low-key car key with connotations and smiled then put it into the file bag without a second thought. At that moment, there was a knock at the door. The light came through the one centimeter thick frosted glass, and a vague figure could be seen standing there, knocking on the door with his right hand and carrying something in his left. Zhao Rin stood up and walked to the door, opening it of her own accord. Hmm, manager Lu, so early, seeing Lu Ruyan, who was always late and early, standing at the door, Zhao Rin looked a little surprised. Lu family home, Zhao Rin was responsible for the operations and logistics department, Lu Ruyan was responsible for the finance department, and the two were directly responsible for Lu's father. Is it convenient for me to come in? Seeing Zhao Rin standing alive in front of her, Lu Ruyan let out a sigh of relief in her heart and softly said, Of course. Zhao Rin nodded and directly stepped aside. Da 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 da. A crisp sound of footsteps rang out. It turned out to be the sound made by the heels of the high heel shoes under Lu Ruyan's feet striking the marble of the ground. Hearing this voice, Zhao Rin's advancing body lurched, and his body turned around almost like a reflex, looking at Lu Ruyan behind him. This look doesn't matter. Zhao Rin couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of water. Good guy. So top. No wonder he was so dressed here. So he has the same hobby as his original body. Compared to yesterday's dress, today's Lu Ruyan was really different. Just see her wearing a pure white dress. The skirt does not have too much decoration. The hemline is not long. Just can cover to the thighs down a little bit. The style can be described as simple to the extreme, but froze to set off her perfect body. Collarbone, thin waist, long legs, the embodiment of the embodiment of the place is the best. Not only that, Lu Ruyan also put herself like satin like smooth black hair tied up, coupled with the slightly fluorescent black silk exposed under the hem of her skirt. Her pair of long legs were perfectly wrapped up, stretching all the way to the dark high heels on her jade feet. The whole person gave off a feeling of sweetness with a few hints of flirtation. Nerd, see enough? Seeing Zhao Rin's stupid piggishness, Lu Ruyan was very pleased in her heart. Small like, just this fetish you still want to pinch this young lady. Black YYDSA. At the same time there is some shyness. Cannot help but spit. Cough cough see enough see enough. There will be no more to see in the future. Zhao Rin coughed lightly, and without paying attention, he blurted out the big truth. Ha, huh? what no more to see? Shy. Ruyan Lu didn't hear clearly for a moment and opened her mouth to ask. It's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. Looking for me this early in the morning, is there something going on? Zhao Rin's old face reddened as he digressed and said, I'm here to apologize for what happened yesterday. I thought about it all night, and it was my fault. That's why I specially got up early in the morning today, and also brought you breakfast, 
I came to make amends and apologize to you. Ruyan Lu opened her mouth, her attitude looking very sincere. Don't be angry, okay? I'm not angry. Why should I be? It's not like you did anything wrong. Listening to Lu Ruyan's words of apology and that sincere tone, if it wasn't for Zhao Rin's soul where in his consciousness dominating his body, if he had been the original body, 80% would have already forgiven the other party, right? Rin, don't be like this, okay? I'd rather be like before. You say a few words to me out of anger. I'm scared when you're like this now. Thinking back to the empty villa last night, if it wasn't for the clear memory in her mind that still remembered the picture of the two of them living in the villa, Lu Ruyan felt like she was having a dream, and when she woke up all the traces of the dream had disappeared. It was me who was too naive to scold you in the past. Actually now, I've figured it out, Zhao Rin said with a smile, but he was interrupted by Lu Ruyan before he finished speaking. Really? You feel the same way, don't you? I told you, you're definitely on my side. Come on, let's not talk about this first. Quickly eat your breakfast, and this milk, just milked out from the cow in the morning, can be fresh. A leaf-blinded Lu Ruyan heard here, did not realize Li Mufeng's voice, but instead looked at Zhao Rin with glowing eyes and said, while saying while taking out the breakfast, one by one placed in front of Zhao Rin. Thanks. Looking at the fresh milk in front of him, Zhao Rin's eyelids jumped and he flicked the stuff to the side with his hand, but the buns he didn't have to be polite about, and clunked them to dazzle. Don't be in a hurry. Why don't you drink the milk? Be careful of choking. Seeing Zhao Rin's two bites of a big meat packet, wolfing it down, Lu Ruyan couldn't help but open her mouth, and while saying that, she reached out to hold the bottle, wanting to open the milk's lid. Unexpectedly, Zhao Rin's next sentence made Lu Ruyan directly freeze in place. I'm lactose intolerant, don't you know? Immediately after, Lu Ruyan can no longer hold the hands of the milk bottle. Bam sound, the bottle smashed on the desk. Fortunately, the height is not high, the milk bottle's glass body quality is too hard, which did not blow up. Why? Ruyan Lu suddenly sat down on her but in the chair opposite Zhao Rin's for his clients to sit in, her tone sounding a little low. Hmm, what why? Lactose intolerance and why? Hearing this, Zhou Rin was a bit at a loss for words. There's a why for this kind of thing? Why have I never heard that you can't drink milk? We've both been together for so long. Ryu frowned with an accusatory look. You mean you blame me for this? Zhao Rin sniffed and couldn't help but roll his eyes and said. What kind of logic is this? The kind that can't get to the point at all. No. No, I didn't mean that, Ruyan Lu hurriedly explained. What do you mean it doesn't mean that? Forget it, it's not important. Zhao Rin suddenly lost interest in continuing to look deeper and opened his mouth. Why do you have to do that? If you're not happy to drink it, then you're not happy to drink it. Why are you making up this kind of underhanded reason? Lu Ruyan sobered up from the shock just now and frowned. The two of them had known each other for so many years. If the other party was lactose intolerant, he or she would definitely know. Success. If you really think so, then I indeed have nothing to say. Although he inherited the original body's memories, but the memories are memories. The so-called paper is the ultimate shallow. Everything in the world can only be understood in all its flavors if one has truly experienced it. Zhao Rin smiled faintly and said, he now really felt unworthy for the original body. In order to pursue Lu Ruyan, for the Lu family to pay so much, I did not expect that the Lu family's thousand-year-old miss still thought that this was a temper tantrum, is the reason for the underhanded. What do you mean no words? There's no need to communicate to solve the problem anymore right? After hearing Zhao Rin's response, Lu Ruyan instantly jumped sharply and became angry. In order to seek each other's forgiveness, he specially dressed up, changed into each other's favorite clothes and black silk high heels, and even specially bought breakfast to send over. This kind of door to the steps, equivalent to the heavenly gift well, really do not know good or bad. I've thought it through. End of story. Our two people's three views and thinking are simply not in the same latitude and cannot be reconciled, all these years down the line, it's me taking the initiative to adapt to you, but you never thought about me, it's just too tiring, Zhao Rin's mood at this moment was one of extreme disappointment, perhaps it was the influence of the resentment left over from the original body, Zhao Rin ghostly uttered the above words, the end, after experiencing the panic that had been easily suppressed by the disappearance of traces of Zhao Rin's life and last night's villa being activated again, Ruyan Lu opened her mouth with a trembling voice, that's right, the end, I'll return you to the sea of people. A goodbye. After saying these words, Zhao Rin picked up the file bag on the desktop and handed it to Lu Ruyan. You can forward the things in here for me. Remember to take it to the chairman. Lu Ruyan, whose mind was dazed by this news that was like a bolt from the blue, just stupidly took the file bag and allowed Zhao Rin to open the door and leave. Only after a long time did she react and chased out. Unfortunately, outside where there is still Zhao Rin's figure, 
or single good ah, want to do whatever, also do not need to remember what holidays ah, birthday ah what mess, Zhao Rin stood on the side of the road, stretched his lazy waist inside, the original body's emotions were completely released at this moment, Zhao Rin felt indescribably relaxed all over his body, it seems that this is completely in control of the body, what should be done next, Zhao Rin only then had the brain to consider the follow-up, what can he do, in his last life, he was an ordinary person, did not even get into the university, muddled into society, take away, courier as well as construction sites, all dried up, as for the original body, but completed the university, but for Lu Ruyan, his work experience is limited to the Lu family home, but the work skills will be quite a lot of furniture dismantling, cleaning, color matching, as well as lighting layout, properly a furniture soft furnishing designer, but unfortunately, Zhao Rin is not interested in these at all, he now just want to lie flat, anyway, two lifetimes are bare bones to go the kind of unattached, find an easy job, coupled with hundreds of thousands of deposits in the card of the original body, to enjoy a few years does not smell, thinking of this, Zhao Rin's brain suddenly empty, do not need to be confused, go to the job market to find out if there is a suitable job is good, anyway, the wage requirement is not high, as long as it is suitable for touching the fish is good, said to do, Zhao Rin took out his cell phone and searched for the nearest talent market, less than a kilometer from here, said to do, Zhao Rin immediately decided to rely on the 11 bus over, it's true, no matter where, this so-called talent market, wherever it's not topped with a black veil, it's all the same, looking at the so-called talent market in front of him, which was about half the size of a playground, noisy and chaotic with no difference from the vegetable market, Zhao Rin sighed with emotion while walking in along the road left by the various recruitment stalls, site rebar workers, 450 a day, inclusive of food and housing, the project ends after the settlement of accounts, come in did not walk a few steps, Zhao Rin saw a big signboard, some confused, now this kind of engineering people labor shortage has not put those what general contracting subcontracting boss brain beat awake, still dare to play this set, daily settlement is the way out of the construction site, with that, Zhao Rin accelerated his pace, this kind of work was not suitable for him, a person who ironically wanted to touch the fish, as Zhao Rin went deeper and deeper, without realizing it, he looked at all the job advertisements in half of the playground, but unfortunately there was nothing suitable, courier, delivery man, driver, waiter are all jobs that require a lot of hard work, so how can you feel the fish, perhaps it was the emperor's heaven, just as Zhao Rin stood at the exit with a despondent look on his face, a timid voice rang out from behind him, little brother, are you looking for a job, ha, huh? you are, Zhao Rin, who turned his head at the sound, looked at the girl in front of him and developed a sense of deja vu, always feeling as if he had seen her somewhere, that night, I fainted in the bushes with low blood sugar, and it was you who called the police, seeing Zhao Rin's bewildered look, the girl couldn't help but explain, and at the same time, she was a little depressed that she couldn't recognize such a good looking youthful beauty, oh, uh, yes, 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 I remembered, hearing the girl's explanation, Zhao Rin finally found a corresponding image in his memory, little brother, are you looking for a job? The girl glanced at Zhao Rin's handsome features and said with her head lowered, Yeah, just lost my job and wanted to wander around here to see if there are any suitable jobs. Zhao Rin sniffed and explained, Such a coincidence. Then look at my house. Do you want to consider it? The girl listened and continued, Your family is hiring? Hearing this, Zhao Rin froze, somewhat less convinced. Yeah, come here and take a look. The girl pointed behind Zhao Rin and said with a nod, Nice guy, looking for an apartment manager, off every Sunday. 6, 000 per month, $900 per month meal allowance, responsible for the daily maintenance, running as well as renting out the apartments, looking at the eye-catching signboard, Zhao Rin was a little curious as to how he had missed it, this, this is your family's recruitment, Zhao Rin was still a bit unconvinced, daring to recruit an apartment administrator, that means it's not just a few apartments, a girl who looks like a college student can have this ability, yeah, my family has a house for rent, and I'm in school, so my mom can't manage on her own, the girl nodded as a matter of course, but the words that came out of her mouth thundered Zhao Rin, although this is the soul through the parallel world, but the basic pattern and the last life is the same, Hongzhou ah, this is second only to Shanghai and Yanjing's first line plus big city, which has a building for rent, what is the difference between this and a money tree, proper life winner ah, lying down to collect money of the kind, little brother, do you want this job, if you want it, I'll close the stall, it's too noisy here, the girl couldn't help but open her mouth as she watched Zhao Rin stare at the job advertisement and hesitate to speak, to be, to be, go, 
Boss lady, I can be on duty today. Zhao Rin, who had returned to his senses, immediately boarded up and opened his mouth. It's very close, a few hundred meters from here. Looking at Zhao Rin's impatient look, the girl felt a little amused and opened her mouth. Ten or so minutes later, the duo arrived in front of the building the girl was talking about. Boss lady, you call this a building? Zhao Rin looked in front of him, a full nine-story building dumbfounded. Horizontal eight openings, vertical almost eleven meters of the building. Actually private, simply subvert Zhao Rin impression of the concept of self-built houses. Aya, don't call me boss lady, I'm still in college, my last name is Hua. It's fine if you call me Qing Xian or Xiao Xian, otherwise it's so awkward. Hua Qing Xian beamed in dissatisfaction. All right, seeing this, Zhao Rin didn't make any more pretenses and directly nodded. Led by Hua Qing Xian, Zhao Rin wandered around the inside of the building. Hua Qing Xian her family had sort of played this whole rental thing to understand, maximizing the economic value of the building. Toward the side of the road, all is a store rental. What Xiaxian Hotel, Casale, deep fried, spicy hot is everything and outside the open space, but also did hardening, set aside 10 parking spaces and for small electric donkey parking charging carport, because the left side of the house with the next building common wall, through the right side of about 3 meters wide path into the stairwell after the location, this side of the stairwell is not like the front, and the spacing between the building behind it is relatively short, an external private elevator just standing outside the door of the stairwell, blocking out a lot of the already insufficient light, and from time to time, you can still see people riding the elevator down the stairs. The building was built earlier, and the back of the building was built to be more competitive so that it could be rented out. That's why I specially hired someone to come over and install an external elevator on the side of the lot that belongs to my family. As if she saw through Zhao Rin's thoughts, before he could open his mouth, Hua Qingxian directly explained. Understood. Zhao Rin nodded, then followed Hua Qingxian into the elevator. After turning around and coming down, Zhao Rin was able to get a preliminary understanding of the situation. Well, brother Rin, have you decided yet? Hua Qingxian said as she looked at Zhao Rin with anticipation. This administrator, I'll do it. Zhao Rin deliberated in his stomach and made a decision. All right, follow me. Hua Qingxian nodded, a slight excitement in her heart. And as for why, she herself didn't know. This place is for me to live? Standing at the door of room 201 on the second floor. Zhao Rin looked at the cozy log style house inside and was dumbfounded. An apartment manager, giving such a nice house to live in? Yeah, this will be your office and dormitory from now on. Hua Qingxian smiled and said, but you can't cook over an open fire here. So if you want to get something to eat yourself, it'll have to be something light and smoky like a hot pot. Hearing this, Zhao Rin realized why such a large area was given to him to use, as it doubled as an office as well as accommodation. Needless to say, to make it easier to rent out. This 201 is also clearly going for the model home feel, with a strong log style that gives it a homey feel. Once inside the main door, the right-hand side of the south-facing two-room position, arranged a living room, three sofas finished zigzag arrangement on the side there is an outside bathroom. A little further in, the other two openings are made into a large room. Look at this, it is for the apartment manager to provide the dormitory. As for the two-room area facing south on the left-hand side of the main door, an office area was set up with a desk and a computer on it, and lamps, wires, faucets, screwdrivers, and other items in the corners of the wall could be seen through the thick floor-to-ceiling glass, and some fitness equipment was put in the innermost two-room area, such a large space, to the aisle area into four separate areas, Zhao Rin Hart to Hua Qing Xian they point a praise, here, here's some of the administrator's requirements and duties that I've written, and this contract, if it's okay to read it, let's sign this contract, by the way, Qing Xian, I'm wondering why you didn't look for those specialized second landlords, how much of a relief that would be, and that way, this room 201 can be rented out as well. Zhao Rin picked up a pen and was just about to sign when she thought of this and asked with an extra eye, it's too much of a loss if you wrap it up and rent it out to them, they only give 9 months rent, this building deduct the set I live in 902 does not count, a house less 3 months rent, the equivalent of 15 sets of houses will be less 45 months rent, Hua Qingxian explains like a little financial junkie. My mom decided to hire a dormitory administrator at the back, with higher treatment, in the get a recreational area, put some fitness equipment or something, don't look at a suite of less rent, and more labor, but this is instead more rentable price, more cost effective than contracting out to those second landlord medicines, that's right too, Zhao Rin nodded, 12 months of rent for a suite, plus 1 month of labor expenses, was much more cost effective than 15 suites with 3 months less rent per suite, here, I'll sign it, thinking of this, 
Zhao Rin directly signed his big name on the contract. From this moment on, he was officially the janitor of the building. 12 o'clock noon sharp, downstairs in the diner. How's that? This boss's wife of mine is broad-minded, right? Not only did I help you pull your luggage over, but I also took you to dinner. Hua Qingxian looked at Zhao Rin, who was sitting across from her and was concentrating on dazzling her meal, and said very proudly, Outer regaled. Zhou Rin also gave a very cooperative thumbs up with her left hand. After all, her right hand was busy showing off her rice. Then let me ask you something. Hua Qingxian glanced at her family's four circles not far away, remembering how not too long ago, Zhao Rin stood in front of the car and watched frequently, and opened her mouth. With a gulp, Zhao Rin took a sip of water and moistened his throat, signaling the other party to speak. You seemed interested in this four-ringer earlier, can you tell me why? It is Hua Xia. This is not an ordinary car, Zhao Rin explained. Before the soul penetration, who does not know ten years out no one knows. Once the first love of the world know Hua Xia, Ho Xi, that's a pretty good name, but that's not exactly what piqued your interest, is it? Hua Qingxian continued to ask, quite the air of breaking the mold. Eh, men, see luxury cars will always look at more not. Zhao Rin explained stiffly, after all, this parallel world does not have that Hua Xi first love terrier. Fine. Seeing this, Hua Qingxian no longer looks into it. After dinner, Zhao Rin officially started work, and Hua Qingxian also packed up her things and went back to school she still has classes in the afternoon. On the other hand, Ruyan Lu sat in her office and kept calling Zhao Rin's cell phone number, only to find that she couldn't get through no matter what, frowning and typing about 10 times, only to find the same result. Ruyan Lu exited the dialing interface and switched to Vmail. Rin, you're such a grown-up, why do you still like to make jokes like this? Ah Ming he really had a car accident, I didn't mean to call off the engagement party. Lu Ruyan's fingers, jumping fast on the cell phone screen, within a few seconds, this text was sent over. With a ding sound, Zhao Rin's cell phone screen immediately displayed the received Vmail message. This woman, she's quite interesting, sitting in front of the computer, watching the drama with great vigor. Zhao Rin glanced at the lit up screen, kindly laughed, and then stopped caring. One minute, five minutes, ten minutes, until half an hour had passed, and the message sent out was like a stone dropped into the sea. At this instant, Lu Ruyan only felt cold all over, as if her heart had stopped beating, and even her blood had frozen. An unprecedented sense of emptiness began to permeate her heart, as if something had been stripped away from it. After a few minutes, Ruyan Lu called her best bestie, Mu Qingqing, on the video. Ruyan, why did you think to get up and call me a video if you didn't take a nap at noon? The video dialed out not more than five seconds later, and it was immediately connected, followed by Mu Qingqing's voice with some sleepiness coming out from the cell phone speaker. Qing Qing, a Rin he, he's not answering my calls. Feeling very aggrieved, Ruyan Lu choked her voice and asked, Alas, I knew it would be like this. Listening to Lu Ruyan's words with a sobbing voice, Mu Qingqing sat up straight and said with a quiet sigh, You guessed this already? Why didn't you tell me? Upon hearing this, Lu Ruyan immediately furrowed her pretty brows and unconsciously took on a questioning tone. Ruyan, we've known each other for so many years, it doesn't matter to me, but if you're treating someone else, you need to change your tone. Ruyan Lu's tone sounded a bit unpleasant to Mu Qingqing, and she couldn't help but open her mouth. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Qing Qing, I was a bit anxious. Hearing her best friend say this, Ruyan Lu also realized that there was something wrong with her tone just now so she hurriedly apologized. Forget it. Let's talk about a Rin and you. Mu Qingqing shook her head. She didn't want to get into these trivial matters, so she took the initiative to change the subject. Has he made up his mind to end it with you? Yes. After I left, what else did Rin say besides announcing in public that the engagement was broken? Upon hearing this, Lu Ruyan immediately opened her mouth and asked. He didn't say much except to announce the dissolution of the engagement, but he caught out three times to your parents. Mu Qingqing said, from my point of view, it wasn't an expression of his anger, but rather dying and letting go. Dead heart and let go? Hearing her best friend's analysis, Lu Ruyan's heart jerked violently, as if her heart had been gripped hard by a hand, painfully taking her breath away. But I obviously didn't do anything wrong ah, how can he do this to me? Lu Ruyan until this moment, she still didn't figure it out. Wasn't it just that she went to the hospital to visit Ah Ming? In the past one or two years together, she herself had often visited each other. And wasn't Arin not angry either? How come this time it's like this? This is an engagement banquet. And for a relatively traditional-minded person like Rin, for a fiancé to choose to stop the engagement banquet at a later date because of another man openly at the engagement banquet is nothing less than a strange shame. Mu Qingqing sighed and explained. But, Ah Ming is my good friend. Ah, 
He was hospitalized in a car accident. Is it hard for me to ignore it? Ruyan Lu forcefully defended herself. Good friends? You call this a good friend? Who's a good friend that would pick a critical moment in someone's life like getting engaged and married to talk about these things? Have you ever thought that if he has that time to call you, does it mean that he's actually not serious? Mu Qingqing glanced at the still hazy looking Lu Ruyan in the screen and said with hatred, But, I told you, I'll pick another time to make up the engagement party. The engagement banquet can be made up again, but there are only a few good friends. Ruyan Lu's strange brain circuit almost made Mu Qingqing angry enough to burst her veins. So, to put it another way, what if during the engagement party, Rin suddenly told you that she, the childhood friend he grew up with, was hospitalized and he was going to help? What would you think? The veins on his forehead were furious, but Mu Qingqing still chose a calm approach and continued to explain. That won't do. It's an engagement party ah, uh, how can he? No, how could I do that? Lu Ruyan, who initially had a rightful look on her face, had only just said the words when she instantly reacted, her left hand covering her mouth, her eyes rounded, her face full of horror. Now, do you understand? Seeing the other party's incredulous face, Mu Qingqing lamented. Think again, how many times has a similar situation like this happened during this period of your relationship with Rin? You are very wrong. No, I have to go find Rin and beg for his forgiveness. Lu Ruyan opened her mouth, but then she thought that she couldn't contact the other party at all anymore and her eyes unconsciously looked at Mu Qingqing on the screen. I'll help you fight. Mu Qingqing immediately understood the meaning in the other party's eyes and said breathlessly, Hmm, Mu Qingqing, looks like she came to be a lobbyist. As the cell phone rang, Zhao Rin lowered his head, glanced at the screen, lightly smiled enchanted, then picked up the phone. Qingqing ah, if you're here to act as a lobbyist for Ruyan, then you're exempt from opening your golden mouth oh. Zhao Rin paused the video and put it on speakerphone and said, Eh. I haven't even said it yet, and you just gave me a rejection. Mu Qingqing, on the other end of the phone, froze and said helplessly, I've already resigned from the Lu family. Do you think there's still a need to persuade peace? Zhao Rin continued, You take a message to Ruyin for me. Tell her to let the goodness of the past remain in her memory. After saying that, Zhao Rin didn't wait for the other party to reply and directly pressed hang up. Hey hey hey, this Zhao Rin, when did he become so decisive? Mu Qingqing listened to the beep 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 busy sound in the receiver and complained unhappily, but even before this complaint fell, Lu Ruyan's call came in again. Hey, Qingqing, what did he say about Rin? This was just as soon as the connection was made. Lu Ruyan asked anxiously, I think it's better for you to ask him out to talk about it yourself. Mu Qingqing sighed euphemistically, she was really close to explicitly saying the words that Zhao Rin was dead in the water, but I can't contact a Rin ah, he doesn't even pick up my calls anymore and he doesn't reply to V-mail either. Lu Ruyan choked, her words filled with a strong sense of powerlessness. How about this? If you have time come to the store over here at Hangda to find me, I'm covering the shift here today. I'll be off work after 3 p.m. M. Let's put our heads together and see how we can get Rin to ask her out. Mu Qingqing thought about it and opened her mouth. Fine, fine, I'll pack up and leave right away. Upon hearing this, Lu Ruyan immediately agreed to Mu Qingqing's proposal. After hanging up the phone, she ran to Father Lu's office to say hello and left, completely forgetting about what Zhao Rin had previously instructed her to do, that the dossier bag was still sitting in her office. On this side, Zhao Rin also received a v-mail from Huo Qingxian, saying that he was asked to drive his car over to Hangzhou University to help transport some things back, and that the keys to the car were placed inside the desk drawer. This woman ah, her heart is really big. Zhao Rin followed her instructions and indeed found a car key with low-key luxury and substance in the desk drawer. Opening his cell phone's navigation and estimating the time, Zhao Rin immediately locked the door of 201 and drove towards Hang University. Almost at the same time, the trajectories of the two men began to change, and without knowing it, the end of the line landed at the same time at Hang University. As the capital of a province, there is no doubt about the degree of development of Hangzhou. Naturally, as the Hangzhou University, which is the front of higher education in Hangzhou, the treatment it enjoys is also extraordinary. I don't know about the others, but Zhao Rin only knows that it's hard to find a good parking space near Hangzhou University, not because there's no parking space, but because there's no suitable parking space, for no other reason, Huashi's car is too long, 5 meters of the body, meaning that you can only find the most front or the last parking space, the middle of the empty space cannot be parked in, following the positioning Hua Qingxian sent, Zhao Rin made a big circle around the neighborhood before finding a suitable parking space, not long after he parked. Huo Qingxuan's message came, asking him to come over and come here to the west gate for a bit to help move something. Can we drive there? Zhao Rin sent the voice over. And then just a few seconds later, 
she received a reply from Huo Qingxian, which only contained a picture of a road blocked by vehicles, so Zhao Ren decisively gave up on the idea of driving and walked forward. Ten minutes later, the two met at the west gate of Hangzhou University. Brother Rin, you're finally here. This trolley case is yours. Huo Qingxian, who had been waiting at the school's entrance, saw Zhao Rin arrive and hurriedly pointed to the black trolley case standing beside her and said, You this is the ancestor of the trolley box? Looking at the oversized trolley case that stood half a person high, Zhao Rin said breathlessly, This is very physically demanding all right. Unless unless. Unless what? Huo Qingxian looked at Zhao Rin's lust for words, and a puzzled expression suddenly appeared in her large, watery eyes. To add money, Zhao Rin opened his mouth. After all, adding money guru attached, money in place, live in place, but Huo Qingxian can't help but smile, a smile that falls on a man's city and then on a man's country. Her super high face value makes her attractive max, instantly attracting the attention of passing male compatriots. While there, worthy of being the school flower of Hangzhou University, this knit brows, woman you've successfully caught this grandpa's attention, happened to be standing behind Zhao Rin, looked at the Hangzhou University school flower list top 3 super beauty actually smiled at himself, also thought the goddess this is interesting to himself, immediately felt his support flabbergasted, couldn't help but say it. As for the other male compatriots who had 13 counts in their hearts, they were fine, they were just stunned for a moment, but instead it was this self-confident student who caught their attention. This person is trying to fart eat, right? Schoolgirl Hua is known to be on point, is this drunk in broad daylight? A few people who happened to walk by the boy started talking, I'll leave this to you. Naturally this voice also reached Hua Qingxuan's ears, and although there were quite a few murmurs of people in cars coming and going at the school entrance, Based on past experience and the astringent gazes of those individuals, where could Hua Qingxian not react? So she immediately collected her smile and pointed to the oversized trolley case beside her, then walked over in the direction Zhao Rin had come from. What kind of show is this? Zhao Rin then got nervous and chanted while pulling the trolley case and followed. As a bachelor who had never been in love, he wouldn't think that much even if he heard it. Hua, the confident boy watched Hua Qingxian walk towards himself, and only just said a word when he realized that the other party hadn't even looked at himself, and with a gust of fragrant wind, walked straight past him, and was so embarrassed that he couldn't wait to use his toes to buckle a three-room room out of the ground. On the other side, in front of Mu Qingqing's store, she had already packed her lines and was standing on the curb waiting for Rui and Lu. Soon, a paramara with a bit of bright light under the sun stopped at the curb, and the passenger window rolled down, revealing Lu Ruyan's sunken face. Qingqing, get in the car. Lu Ruyan's voice was a bit hoarse. But after shouting, she realized that Mu Qingqing hadn't even moved her body and couldn't help but shout again. Qingqing, get in the car. Ruyan, look up, look ahead. It's Rin. Mu Qingqing, who had come back to her senses, raised her hand, her green onion-like fingers pointing ahead in surprise. Ah Rin. As soon as she heard this word, Lu Ruyan instantly widened her eyes, raised her head, and looked in the direction Mu Qingqing's finger was pointing. And as expected, she saw Zhao Rin pulling an oversized trolley suitcase down the sidewalk. Just as she was about to shout, Lu Ruyan saw a figure whose beauty and curves were no better than her own. The girl was walking about two or three steps ahead of Zhao Rin with something in her hands, and every now and then she had to turn back to say a few words to him, while Zhao Rin responded to the girl with a gentle smile as if the drama was away from the show. Good ah, no wonder with me to break off the marriage contract, originally is outside to find ah. Lu Ruyan instantly anxious on fire up the car to the roadside parking space a drill, but also do not care about the car but in the outside, directly out of the car, towards Zhao Rin on the angry ran over, moving fast, even behind the Mu Qingqing almost did not keep up, Zhao Rin, Lu Ruyan rushed over furiously, followed by a voice, hearing the voice Zhao Rin instantly stopped in his tracks, looked back at the rapidly approaching Lu Ruyan and frowned, Zhao Rin, who is she, Lu Ruyan was so jealous at the moment that she indiscriminately opened fire, brother Rin, your friend? Huo Qingxian, who was walking in front of her, had her footsteps stuttered and looked at the two girls standing at the side whose face value was completely unsurpassed by her own, her inner sense of crisis rising steeply, but on her face she didn't move and opened her mouth to ask. Yeah, my friend, you put your stuff in the car first. Zhao Rin nodded and incidentally took the car keys out of his pocket and handed them over towards Huo Qingxian, intending to use this excuse to get her sidetracked, but he didn't realize that Huo Qingxian wasn't going to take it at all. Yeah? then you're not going to introduce it? Huo Qingxuan's hands didn't move at all, but her entire body took advantage of the effort of speaking to immobilize and move a bit closer towards Zhao Rin, asking with a light smile on her face, this little fox charming, dare to play chatty in front of my mother? Lu Ruyan and Mu Qingqing exchanged a glance, 
and secretly thought to themselves, after working in their own company for a long time, how could they not see this kind of small trick? This little sister. Hello, my name is Lu Ruyan. I'm Rin's fiance. I don't know what to call my sister. Thinking of this, Lu Ruyan instantly changed her face, originally raging as if the next second will be angry look, immediately turned into a courteous look, self-introduced, that face changed fast, absolutely Oscar movie queen level kind of. Brother Rin, you have a fiancé? Upon hearing these words, Huo Qingxin froze, and hard emotions began to fill her heart, unconsciously even her voice trembled a bit as she spoke. Yesterday it was still, but not today. Zhao Rin glanced at Lu Ruyan somewhat breathlessly, then shook his head. How could he just defile someone's innocence? Casually explaining, yesterday we officially broke off our engagement. Zhao Rin's words, the tone of voice is calm, indifferent, as if in saying an insignificant little thing in general. But it was such a simple eleven words that fell on Lu Ruyan's ears, transforming into eleven sharp blades in her heart, piercing through her heart, and painfully, she involuntarily covered her chest. Rin, are you still angry with me? Lu Ruyan asked as she forced herself to endure the excruciating pain within her heart, barely pulling out a smile. Ruyan, I'm not angry, I just want to open up. You think that friendship is above love, that lovers don't run away, and that friendship leaves, so you focus on friendship. As for me, I believe that true friendship is based on the premise of not affecting each other's normal life. You and I have different focuses, and even more so, we can't reconcile them, so it's better to separate. Forcing together will only make both sides suffer more, and everyone's demands are simply not at the same point. Zhao Rin smiled and explained. The original body is stupid. He is not stupid. Who will tolerate his wife has a male best friend? These days, male best friend this kind of thing. No all understand. See him hard. I help let him cool. How do you so petty? This kind of thing can be commonplace. I didn't. I truly love you. Hearing Zhao Rin's distant words, Lu Ruyan felt a rush of breath and a vague feeling of suffocation but still forced herself to explain. Does it even matter? During the time we've been together, how many times have similar things happened? And how many times have you repeated this sentence? Zhao Rin couldn't help but laugh out loud as she listened, and said with a few teasing tones, disappointment doesn't happen overnight, but it's cumulative over and over again. And yesterday's engagement banquet, where you abandoned me, became the last straw that crushed the camel. You're lying to me. You clearly have your eyes on this little foxy girl. That's why you're trying to break up with me. What have I, the Lu family, wronged you for, marry me, and in the future, won't the Lu family's family business all be yours? The always proud Lu Ruyan had a broken heart at the moment, and even started to get a little hysterical. So that's the bottom line during a relationship. You leave whenever you want and never take my feelings into account, right? Thinking that I've been eating soft food, right? Zhao Rin snorted coldly and said in an icy tone, I, Lu Ruyan's red lips moved slightly, and she had the intention to explain but she was never able to say anything. But strictly speaking, this subconscious mind, which is similar to a soft food, greatly influences her decision. Thinking that the other person at the same time also looks at the rich family fortune behind her, and would never choose to leave her because of these things. Can't say it. Then let me say it for you. I used to like you a lot, so I entered your family's home company, worked my ass off, lowered production costs, increased sales channels, just to prove to your mom and dad, that I wasn't on a soft diet that I had this ability to give you a better life, and that I was getting the paychecks that I deserved. I didn't realize that you've been this benefactor mentality for years. Saying that, Zhao Rin shook his head in disappointment and pulled the trolley case directly past the stagnant Lu Ruyan. Sister Lu, everything in this world is not always about money. After Zhao Rin had walked a few steps away, Huo Qingxian softly said, some people value dignity, more than money. After saying this, she no longer pays attention to the other party's reaction leaving the two girls behind and speeding up her pace to chase after them. Looking at the back of the two people gradually far away, Lu Ruyan feet suddenly a stagger, almost did not fall, if not aside Mu Qingqing quick eyes and hands, a hand to hold people. I believe that Lu Ruyan's August 15th will have to suffer. Qingqing, am I really wrong? Lu Ruyan, who had stabilized her body, looked at Mu Qingqing, who was holding herself up, and said bitterly, her helpless eyes making people feel pity. After waiting for a while, Mu Qingqing's mouth opened but she didn't say anything. The meaning was already self-evident. I understand. Can you stay with me for a while? Ruyan Lu lowered her head. At this time no sound was better than sound. Mu Qingqing's performance had already said it all. Good. Mu Qingqing nodded. On the other side, Huo Qingxuan's car, Zhao Rin was concentrating on driving. As for Huo Qingxian, she was sitting on the co-pilot, her small head leaning against the car window, 
A pair of big, boozy eyes just staring at Zhao Rin, flashing a hint of strangeness from time to time. Ahem, Xing Xian, boss lady, I'm under so much pressure with you like this. Even though Zhao Rin was thick-skinned enough, he was still defeated by the eye attack of such a super beautiful maiden. And in the end, he couldn't help but cough a few times and open his mouth. I was thinking about something. Unexpectedly, Huo Qingxian didn't avoid her eyes, but instead suddenly opened her mouth. Hmm, can I know? Zhao Rin decisively assumed that this was related to him out of a man's sixth sense, and asked tentatively. It's fine, but you can't get angry when I say so. Huo Qingxuan's eyes turned darkly as she opened her mouth. You say it, it's hard for me to beat you up? Zhao Rin spat in a good-natured manner. I was just wondering ah, how big is your insight that you can tolerate this kind of girl who has a male best friend and is almost engaged? Huo Qingxian reveals a strong look of gossip. Two questions. Taking advantage of waiting for the stoplight, Zhao Rin raised two fingers and said, Which two issues? Huo Qingxian asked curiously. First question. How do you know she has a male best friend? Zhou Rin asked as she put away a finger. How hard could it be? To the extent that it can make you angry enough to break off the engagement so badly. Nine times out of ten. Huo Qingxian said calmly. Second. Can I take back what I just said? Zhao Rin extended his second finger. No. Boys can't hit girls, Huo Qingxian said firmly. Finding a parking space was a toss-up when they came over, but it was quick when they went back. Under Zhao Rin's maneuvering, the two of them made it back to the rental house in time before the evening rush hour. Let's go, boss lady. After Zhao Rin parked the car, he carried down the trolley case that was placed in the trunk and said with a smile, Don't call me boss lady, I'm still a college student in my early twenties alright, it has to be by name. Huo Qingxian is not happy, after all. The word old is taboo for girls. Okay, boss lady. Once Zhao Rin heard that, he immediately responded in a serious manner. Huo Qingxian instantly felt 10,000 grass mud horses galloping through her brain. And then she turned around and walked ahead in a huff. Emma, isn't this a cheap shot? What can I do if I don't get my paycheck after pissing off my little aunt? Zhao Rin looks at Huo Qingxuan's distant back and slaps his forehead, hurriedly pulling the trolley case and chasing after her. Hoomph, ignoring you. Seeing Zhao Rin licking his face and chasing after him, Huo Qingxian gave him a puffy blank look before walking to the elevator entrance and stopping. Old, oh no, Qingxian, you calm down, I'm just kidding. Zhao Rin hurriedly changed her words. In the future, call me Qingxian, okay no? Huo Qingxian skimmed her head, unsatisfied. OJBK, Zhou Rin immediately responded. Hoomph, speaking foul language in front of a girl, Huo Qingxian said as she pressed open the elevator and the two of them walked into the elevator like this before arriving at the ninth floor. I'll put the stuff at the door for you oh. Zhao Rin placed the trolley case at the door and then was about to go downstairs. Not going in to sit down? Zhao Rin's actions caused Hua Qingxian to be a bit surprised. No no no, I still have to go to work. At those words, Zhao Rin hurriedly refused. Squeak. Just then, the door to room 902 opens, and a woman who looks very similar to Hua Qingxian is standing in the doorway with her bag and is a bit surprised to see the man suddenly appearing in the doorway. Mom, this is the apartment janitor I'm looking for today, and the person who rescued me from the green belt the other day when I was running at night. Seeing her mother about to go out, Huo Qingxian hurriedly introduces her. Hello auntie, my name is Zhao Rin. I'll teach you more in the future. Zhao Rin took the initiative to do some self-introduction. Oh, so the prince charming my daughter is talking about is you. Mother Hua glanced at her own daughter and then said with a smile. Her mind already automatically brainstorming the beginning of a sweet love drama. Mom, what are you babbling about? Are you going to play Mahjong again? Mother Huo's words come out as shocking, and as soon as the words leave her mouth, Huo Qingxian is immediately greatly embarrassed. Her entire face instantly covered in a reddish haze as she hurriedly opens her mouth and urges. Oh yes yes yes, they are three short of one, I'm about to leave. You can solve it yourself at night. As soon as she talks about playing Mahjong, Huo mother immediately gets energized and changes her shoes to go out. Let's be clear, you can't play with money when you're playing. Otherwise, you'll go work to earn money on your own, and I won't give you a dime. Huo Qingxian watches her mother put on her shoes while opening her mouth to remind her. Okay, 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 you're taking all the rent. Really, even this hobby of your mom's has to be managed. Huo's mother gave her daughter a look without any good humor, and complained with great dissatisfaction. Okay, I won't talk to you anymore. I'm going to leave. Little Zhao right, can you cook? Mother Hua, who had put on her shoes, suddenly turned her words around and looked at Zhao Rin and asked, We'll order some home-cooked food. Zhao Rin nodded and said very frankly, This is not a fake. His own previous life in order to save money also learned to cook, and the original body after moving to Lu Ruyan's villa, 
also every day to the other party to cook. Where can not it? That's just right. Your dinner. I'll take care of it. Hearing this, Zhao Rin instinctively felt as if something was a little off. Wrapping his own dinner. What was the correlation with the fact that he could cook? As expected, Hua Mother's next words gave him the explanation. There's still a bag of ribs in my fridge, so help make them and have some with Qing Xian on the way. After saying these words, she doesn't stop and walks straight into the elevator, leaving the two of them standing at the stairway gaping at each other. Auntie, is it usually like this? Seeing the numbers on the elevator doorframe getting a little bit smaller, Zhao Rin still couldn't help but ask. This doesn't seem to fit the image of a rich and idle chartered lady. Eh, stop it. Hua Qing Xian blushes. This in-law's mom's words just now can be thunderous. And as she speaks, she also cautiously glances at Zhao Rin. Her daughter's state of mind is unmistakable. But when her eyes fell on Zhao Rin's body, she realized that inside his eyes, he was dancing with clear stupidity. As if he was one of those straight guys in school who didn't understand anything, and didn't even think in that direction. At this moment, she questioned her title of school beauty. Was she really as pretty as she said? Qing Xian, Qing Xian, come back to your senses. Just as what Qing Xian was doubting herself, Zhao Rin suddenly stretched out her hand and shook it in front of her eyes, whispering, if you want to eat out, I won't cook. Seeing as how rubbing it in saves money, Zhao Rin is still somewhat moved. But when he sees the strange expression on Hua Qingxuan's face, he still says truthfully. Hua Qingxian came back to her senses and immediately said, Success, then my little one will make an offering. Zhao Rin smiled and opened his mouth. Forty minutes later, an appetizing aroma began to fill the air in room 902. Oh, it smells so good. Hua Qingxian, who had stayed in the living room watching TV, was attracted by the rich aroma at this moment and stood up with an excited face, walking over to the dining table and looking at the dishes placed in the center of the table and lamenting, here you go, this imperial meal of the emperor of the Ming dynasty, try it, Zhao Rin sniffed and a smug look appeared on his face as he placed the soup in his hand on the table, the imperial meal of the Ming emperor, just this, it wasn't until she saw Zhao Rin put down the large plate she was carrying with both hands that Hua Qingxian could sort of see what was inside, and said with a look of surprise, yeah, pearl emerald white jade soup, the founding emperor of the Ming dynasty drank it. Zhao Rin nodded rightfully. You're just going to fool me. Isn't this just a vegetable soup made from spinach leaves, white tofu and some crushed rice grains? Hua Qingxian shakes her head in disbelief. You see, lonely and uninformed isn't it? Forget it, eat it while it's hot. Zhao Rin just wanted to popularize her profound historical knowledge. But when she saw Hua Qingxuan's eyes that wanted to knife people, she immediately changed her words and said, That's not bad. I'll beat the rice. Hua Qingxian probably walked into the kitchen and soon walked out with two bowls of rice. Right at this moment, Zhao Rin's cell phone rang. Seeing that it was Mu Qingqing's call, he wanted to hang up. But thinking about it, he still picked it up. Who knew that the sentence coming from the receiver made him instantly change his face? Ah Rin you come quickly. Ruyan is in danger. You speed bar. Mu Qingqing's speech was fast and urgent, as if she had encountered something dangerous. When Zhao Rin wanted to ask one more question, he heard a gulp of curses on the receiver and then hung up. Qing Xian, something happened to them, I'm going to leave for a bit, you eat first. After saying this, without waiting for Hua Qing Xian to reply, she directly rushes out, and seeing how slow the elevator is, she can't wait, and takes three steps, furiously running down the stairs, looks like it's complicated. Hua Qing Xian muttered as she looked at the already empty stairway, in order not to let the congested evening rush hour slow him down. Zhao Rin directly swept a shared motorcycle on the side of the road and rushed over according to the navigation map in his head. Spare a thought, but by the time he arrived, half an hour had passed. As soon as he entered, without waiting for the waiter at the door to speak, Zhao Rin spoke directly. This, the waiter obviously knew about it, but hesitated. Speak. Seeing the other party stammering and his eyes flickering, Zhao Rin directly tugged on the other party's collar with a fierce light in his eyes. Enter the door and turn right until VIP 6. The waitress was so intimidated by Zhao Rin that she immediately explained. It was also fortunate that the bar at this time of the day hadn't officially entered climax time and there weren't too many people inside. So Zhao Rin quickly walked to the door of the VIP 6 room, holding his breath and listening carefully. Zhao Rin's face changed drastically and without even thinking about it, he slightly backed up a few steps and towards the location of the door lock. It was a hard kick. However, this bar has something or quite conscience. The first foot actually did not kick. The door actually simply shook, did not kick open, but bang a sound, but to the inside of the wake-up call, is a face of lechery looking at Lu Ruyan yellow hair by the sudden sound scared shaking, almost two brothers will be directly accounted for, as for the consciousness has begun to trance Lu Ruyan, by this bang sound, 
actually temporarily regained consciousness, eyes revealed hope. However, under the effect of the drug, just a few seconds of time on the confusion, but her subconscious still let her hands in front of her body desperately to prevent the yellow hair in front of the infringement. However, yellow hair didn't get up, because he knew that this huge commotion would definitely startle the minions who were having fun in the next box, and then naturally someone would help him clean up this thing outside the door that didn't know how to die. As if on cue, there was another commotion at the door, which appeared to be a garbage can being thrown at someone, with a steady thud. The sound, however, came and went quickly. After a succession of thuds, all was quiet. Do you think, just now that woman called to move the rescuer, there will be someone to save you guys? Yellow hair found no movement outside, thought that the rescuer had been fatally beaten by his own minions, was beaten like a dead dog and thrown out, immediately rubbed his hands, revealing a very shibboleth Ian Dang smile, as if he had seen the big beauty in front of him underneath the body against the death. Unfortunately, the ideal is very rich, but the reality is very bone skinny, accompanied by a clang sound. The locked door of the room was forcefully broken open from the outside. At the same time, a dark red handheld fire extinguisher was then thrown in from the broken open door, heavily smashed on the floor tiles, emitting a thud sound. The huge commotion scared yellow hair, who immediately stopped his hand movements and stood up from the sofa, looking somewhat fearfully at the furious Xiao Rin in front of him. There was no way, the ruthless man who could dry out seven or eight of his juniors, where was a pampered rich second generation like him to block? Hey, yellow hair, Never touched a woman? Zhao Rin twisted his neck, a crunching bone sound coming from his neck. His tone seemed very cold. Brothers, my family is doing business. The money on the coffee table you watch to take, and then immediately leave. Today is even, or else, I let you eat a lot. Looking at Zhao Rin jumping chest, and slightly rough breathing, yellow hair barely suppressed the inner fear, pointed to casually thrown in the coffee table used to load broad several single million clips said. I say, are you afraid that people won't know you have money? What era is it? Still taking cash? Zhao Rin lightly glanced at the money on the coffee table, then at Lu Ruyan's trance-like appearance, and coldly snorted. Where's another girl? What there's another girl? Just this one. Hearing this, Yellow Hair's eyelids fluttered and his eyes averted a bit. I was the one who answered the phone just now. Who do you think I would believe? Seeing this, Zhao Rin suddenly took a step out and appeared in front of Yellow Hair, saying in a cold voice. Seeing that Zhao Rin suddenly appeared in a position that was only 30 centimeters away, Yellow Hair didn't know where he got the guts, and suddenly copied the bottle on the coffee table and smashed it towards Zhao Rin's head. Seeing this, Zhao Rin's body slightly leaned forward, directly avoiding the strike, followed by both hands yanking the other party's arm, a turn around, and a beautiful over-the-shoulder drop with lightning speed. Yellow Hair traced an arc in mid-air, and was then heavily slammed to the ground by Zhao Rin. Tell me, where is the other girl? Zhao Rin crouched down, his eyes emitting a lurid light, his tone cold, hiss, the sharp pain coming from his back caused yellow hair to suck in a mouthful of cold air, but this breath hadn't even poured out yet when Zhao Rin suddenly grabbed him by the neck and picked him up like a little chicken, fine dog, I'll ask you once more, where is the other girl, accompanied by the increase in the strength of the hand, suffocation made yellow hair experience the feeling of being on the verge of death, under the shadow of death, yellow hair tremblingly raised his left hand and pointed in a direction, Oomph, I hope you're telling the truth. Zhao Rin snorted coldly and directly carried yellow hair to the next box. Mu Qingqing was indeed lying inside. Her clothes were a bit messy and her stockings were torn a bit. But luckily, it didn't look like she had suffered any actual violation. What did you do to the two of them? Recalling Lu Ruyan's trance-like appearance and Mu Qingqing's unconsciousness, Zhao Rin unconsciously increased the strength of his hand again, and the weak yellow hair was like a small chicken without the slightest resistance. After about a minute's worth of time, Zhao Rin let go of his hand, and Yellow Hair sat down on his butt, not even caring about the severe pain coming from his buttocks, and breathed in a big gulp of air, and only after a long time had passed did that saucy purple face slowly return to normal. I, I put down a little bit of ecstasy, Yellow Hair said in a trembling voice, you bastard, haven't seen a woman? Hearing that it was ecstasy and not that kind of drug, Zhao Rin was suddenly relieved in his heart, lifting his foot towards the other party's arm was a hard blow. The huge force directly kicked the yellow hair to three meters away. The thin dog-like body, ruthlessly smashed on the wall, and then was honored to pass out. Seeing that it was almost time, Zhao Rin did not stay any longer, leaving behind yellow hair and his several little brothers who were lying on the ground humming. The two girls were brought out from the two rooms, hands around the waist of each, in the bar waiters and some early casualties under the watchful eyes. Long gone. In the process, no one dared to stop. He stopped a passing cab on the side of the road and then drove to the hospital under the envious and jealous eyes of the driver. Rin, 
Ruyan, how is she? In the quiet ward, the panicked voice of Lu's father suddenly rang out. Shu, hearing father Lu's voice, Zhao Rin hurriedly signaled the other party to be quiet, then pointed outside, then got up and walked out. Rin, what the hell happened? How did the two of them end up at the bar? Father Lu said as he frowned and looked at Zhao Rin. Zhao Rin sniffed and told the part he knew one by one. Alas, thank you so much. Hearing that his own precious daughter was fine, Lu father breathed a sigh of relief and thanked. Leave the matter of that bar and that yellow hair to me. You rest. Saying that, he took out his cell phone and turned to the side. Good. Zhao Rin didn't ask any more questions, and was planning to ask Father Lu to look after the duo when he finished his call later, so he should leave himself. Just then, there was a sudden movement in the ward, and Zhao Rin hurriedly opened the door and walked in. Rin, I'm so scared. Lu Ruyan, who had only just awakened, saw Zhao Rin come in and as if she had found her backbone, the whole person immediately jumped into Zhao Rin's arms and shivered. It's okay, don't be afraid. Zhao Rin was warm and soft in his arms. It would be a lie to say that his heart wasn't moved, but he still put his arm around the other party's shoulders and softly comforted her while pushing her out of his arms. Why? Sensing Zhao Rin's actions, Lu Ruyan looked surprised. Men and women are not related. We are no longer in an unmarried couple relationship. This is not appropriate. Zhao Rin explained. He really couldn't love this kind of thousand dollar lady. Are you still unwilling to forgive me? Ruyan Lu shuddered and said with a gloomy expression. The atmosphere was heavy all of a sudden. Rin, thank you. Right at this moment, Mu Qingqing, who was sleeping in the next bed, suddenly took the initiative to speak up, sort of helping Zhao Rin out. It's fine. You two have a good rest, and don't go to that kind of trippy place in the future. Zhao Rin gratefully glanced at Mu Qingqing and said with a smile, Where are you going? Hearing these words, the sharp-minded Mu Qingqing instantly sensed something and opened her mouth to inquire together. I'm going back to work ah. Uh, I'm now working as an apartment janitor. You guys can understand it as the social version of a hostile uncle. Zhao Rin explained while standing up, intending to turn around and leave. Rin, you're back, why is it like that? Unexpectedly, Zhao Rin had only just turned around, and his back was displayed in front of the two of them, which then triggered the two women to exclaim, Ha, huh? what's going on behind me? Zhao Rin was stunned and curious. You wait, it was still Mu Qingqing who was a bit more calm, picking up the cell phone that was placed to the side and immediately snapping a picture. Crap, my clothes are. Zhao Rin suspiciously took the other party's cell phone to take a look. The back of his own clothes were torn and tattered. Inside the torn holes, a piece of bruise could be seen vaguely. It must have been beaten by the other party when he fought with those juniors of yellow hair. Does it hurt? Ruyan Lu covered her mouth, her eyes red and weeping as she said. It's okay, I have thick skin and flesh. I'll be fine after a few days of feeding. Zhao Rin returned the cell phone to Mu Qingqing and moved his arm. Not caring. Rin, don't go. Come back to the villa with me and I'll rub medicinal wine on you. Ruyan Lu stood up from the bed and blocked the way. Let's not talk about this. You two have a good rest. This ecstasy can't be described. You guys sleep well here at night, and then leave the hospital tomorrow if there's no problem. Zhao Rin shook his head and digressed. Rin, don't be like this. Okay. Lu Ruyan's body was still a bit weak at the moment. The side effects of the ecstasy made her whole body's muscles weak, and she didn't have the strength to support her activities at all so she could only barely tug on Zhao Rin's pants and begged. Seeing the other side of this appearance, Zhao Rin suddenly mixed feelings, a moment actually can not say no words, but at this time, there was a knock on the door. You lie down first, I'll go open the door. This knock on the door was like the sound of heaven, once again breaking this this awkward atmosphere, while Lu Ruyan silently sighed in her heart and her eyes were glum for a while. Lin Ming, why are you here? Opening the door, Zhao Rin's face full of smiles instantly froze on his face. He saw the person that the original body was most unwilling to see, and as the one who had inherited the body of the original body, he was naturally very tired of this person as well. Brother Rin, I heard that Ruyan was hospitalized, and came to visit. Lin Ming at the door was also a little surprised, and at the same time a little grateful. Fortunately he arrived in time, otherwise let the two stay in this hospital room for a night. Once the feelings heated up, the dry wood meets the blazing fire. He would be cool, I don't know you well. There's no need to be so cordial. Zhao Rin tightened her smile and said in a cold tone, Brother Rin, are you still blaming me for what happened yesterday? Feeling the displeasure in Zhao Rin's words, Lin Ming's heart was very pleased, but on the surface, he did show a guilty expression and asked with a somewhat hoarse voice, which, when paired with his somewhat female look handsome appearance and the cast on his left hand, surprisingly gave him a morbidly pitiful feeling. All right, I don't like green tea. Stop acting. Zhao Rin looked at the other party's effeminate appearance and almost didn't spit out the overnight rice in his stomach, 
After a cold snort, he made way to the side and sidestepped, lest he bumped into the other party and was relied on by this effeminate person. Lin Ming, what are you doing here? Lu Ruyan, who was helplessly paralyzed on the bed, was furious when she saw this childhood playmate of hers come in and said in a bad mood. She naturally heard the conversation between the two outside. Ruyan, I heard that you were hospitalized. I came to see you. The first time he heard an impatient tone from Ruyan Lu. Lin Ming was a little upset inside, but he still revealed a smile that he thought was warm and concerned. Thanks, your left arm isn't ready yet. There's no need to stay at my place. Lu Ruyan was coldly polite, and then directly issued an expulsion order. This operation made Mu Qingqing, who was lying in the next bed, dumbfounded. Why did this best friend of hers suddenly grow a brain all of a sudden? Couldn't help but give her a thumbs up in her heart. Ruyan, are you having trouble with Rin? Once again feeling the other party's fire. Lin Ming immediately pretended to be aggrieved and asked. That complete green tea look. Looking at Mu Qingqing hated to beat the other party violently. What makes you say that? After the events of last night and today, Ruyan Lu's sanity finally began to slowly come online. And the eyes that looked at Lin Ming began to flash with due reason and thought. No matter what. Rin is your fiancé, right? You're lying on the hospital bed so weak, but he's indifferent and walks away by himself. This is too incompetent. Until this moment, Lin Ming, who didn't know about Ruyan Lu's change, still seized every opportunity he could to smear Zhao Rin, stirring up trouble as much as he could and destroying the relationship between the two. You're enough, enough. Just as Lin Ming was spitting for a while, two chirping voices sounded at the same time. Lin Ming immediately froze, his mouth opened wide. The words behind him hard choked in his throat and couldn't be said. His face flushed red. On the other hand, Lu Ruyan and Mu Qingqing froze, and the two of them looked at each other, their eyes meeting in midair. One appeared to be very surprised, and the other appeared to be a little heartbroken. However, at this moment, the two did not delve deeper above these minutiae. Instead, they united their battle lines and pointed their spearheads at Lin Ming, the green tea. On the other end, Zhao Rin hadn't gone far before she met the oncoming Lu's father and mother. Seeing this prospective son-in-law, Mother Lu instantly revealed a smile and took the initiative to speed up her steps to welcome her. Uncle Lu, Auntie, seeing the appearance of the two, Zhao Rin instantly had a numb scalp, and wanted to pretend not to see and leave, but the hospital corridor is so big, there is no way to avoid it, but also can only meet the past with a hard head. This child of yours, why are you still calling uncles and aunts so outgoing? Call dad, mom. Delayed by trivial matters on the way to Lu mother has already understood the ins and outs of the matter. To this prospective son-in-law is really the more you look at the more satisfied. So intentionally said. Obviously want to Lu Ruyan in the engagement banquet yesterday made a mistake to reveal the past. Zhao Rin and how could he not hear the other party's strings. But unfortunately, he was no longer the original body that loved brain. To Lu Ruyan this thousand gold lady really has little interest. So he smiled bitterly and did not answer. Alright, alright. Rin must be tired from bringing Ruyan and Xingqing out of the bar. Why are you still talking about this? Seeing that Zhao Rin didn't answer for a long time, Father Lu immediately took over the conversation and took the initiative to break up what was originally a somewhat awkward situation. Oh right right right. Rin, take us to the ward for a bit. Mother Lu glanced at her own husband. A trace of regret flashed in her eyes, and it was obvious that she also knew what her husband meant by that. So she hurriedly said along with the steps. This way, Zhao Rin couldn't refuse the request. So he took the initiative to turn around and said so, but he had forgotten about the torn clothes on his back and the purplish red bruises that were faintly flashing between the holes. Ah Rin, this injury of yours, my god, Ruyan this dead girl, have you seen a doctor yet? Mother Lu covered her mouth and choked, a pair of eyes became red, as if she was going to shed tears in the next second. Auntie, it's just a superficial wound, it'll be fine after a few days of recuperation. Hearing the voice, Zhao Rin turned back and said with a smile, signaling that it was no big deal. Nonsense. This is a big thing. See a doctor to be assured. When Mother Lu heard this, she was not happy and took out her cell phone to contact someone. Auntie, don't don't don't. It's past 5 o'clock. Don't delay the doctor getting off work. Just buy a strip of ointment outside later and rub it on. Zhao Rin saw this and hurriedly blocked it. You child. Mother Lu said with some heartache, and at the same time gave a look to Father Lu, who naturally understood, slowed down his pace to fall at the end and then made a phone call out. At the entrance of the ward, Zhao Rin brought Lu's father and mother, took the initiative to open the door of the room, and was about to go in, when he saw Lin Ming, who was wearing a hospital gown and had his left hand in a plaster cast. Zhao Rin was fine, after all, he had just bumped into them when he went out, but the expressions of Lu's father and mother were complicated. Lin Ming, what are you doing here? 
Father Lu's smile quickly tightened and he looked cold. He didn't have a good face for this green tea man bitch who had destroyed the relationship between his own daughter and Zhao Rin. Uncle, I, I came to see Ruyin, as a man with a successful career. The majesty of speaking is not something that a small person like Lin Ming who can only play smart can withstand. On the spot his tongue knotted up, and his eyes for help unconsciously looked towards Ruyin Lu, who in the past, when encountering this kind of situation, she would take the initiative to help him out. Unfortunately, after this incident at the bar, Lu Ruyin's brain had become a bit enlightened, and she began to realize all of her past, the mistakes she had made, and Zhao Rin's tireless tolerance. Therefore, at this time, especially when Zhao Rin was present, how could she commit another offense? Lin Ming, there's no need to come back to me in the future. I already have a fiancé. We should keep our distance. After saying these words, Ruyin Lu indifferently glanced at Lin Ming and decisively gave an expulsion order. The words out, Zhao Rin some surprised look at Lu Ruyin a glance. This is by the ecstasy to the brain enlightenment? I said earlier, the original body also so to a packet, will not play finished. No, if the original body is not finished, they will be finished. Coincidentally, Ruyin Lu also raised her head and just happened to bump into Zhao Rin's line of sight. Her eyes flashed with a hint of celebration in her fiery eyes. Do you hear me? Lin Ming, you are not welcome here. Father Lu emphasized once again, and the isolated Lin Ming could only leave in disgrace. Ruyin. It's all thanks to Rin for what happened today, otherwise the rest of your life would have been ruined. The door to the room reclosed, and Mother Lu sat down on the edge of the bed with a thankful face. I know, I'll stay by Rin's side in the future and be a good wife. Having made up her mind, Lu Ruyin nodded, not daring to look squarely at Zhao Rin, and somewhat shyly lowered her head and said, Well, that's right, after this period of time passes, I'll find a lucky day and organize an engagement party for you guys, and then I'll be waiting to hold my grandchildren. Before Zhao Rin could speak, Mother Lu took the initiative to interject and set the tone for things. Lying in the next bed Mu Qingqing just watched things being slapped down. The heart is a stream of indescribable flavor, as if there is a desire to oppose, but unfortunately cannot find any suitable reason. The rosy cherry mouth opened, and finally helplessly closed his eyes. Seeing this, Zhao Rin took advantage of the time when the three of them were chatting as a family and took the initiative to sit beside Mu Qingqing's bed, looking for topics to chat about. This move, However, caused Lu Ruyin to be unhappy, actually letting her fiancé go without caring about her, and running to care about her fiancé's best friend. As for Lu's father and mother, the couple glanced at each other and had the intention of having a seizure. But how could they not help their daughter's fault in the first place? They could only stop. Rin, isn't this not very nice of you? Seeing Zhao Rin move a stool to sit beside her in a dignified manner, the frequent attention from the three members of the Lu family made Mu Qingqing feel uncomfortable and at the same time a little elated. Reason and emotion fought many times, and in the end, reason prevailed. There's nothing good or bad about it. She has her parents with her. It's not appropriate for me to get involved. Zhao Rin smiled and explained. The implication was that he was no longer the son-in-law of the Lu family. And this statement was not just for Mu Qingqing alone. Could it be that you really intend to end it? Mu Qingqing sniffed. A trace of a strange emotion actually bubbled up inside. But the years of bosom friend love made her feel a little guilty. The two emotions intertwined forward in her heart carefully glancing at Lu Ruyin, and finally couldn't help but open her mouth. Yes, I can't let sincerity be a sharp weapon for her to hurt me. Zhou Rin smiled and made her attitude clear. That girl from this afternoon? Out of the corner of her eye, she noticed Lu Ruyin's frequent falls on her side of the line of sight, as well as the unhappiness in the middle of her eyes. Mu Qingqing knew that she couldn't ask too many more questions, so she asked one last question. As for whether this question was asked on behalf of Ruyin Lu or on her own behalf, only she would know. She has a building for rent. I'm the administrator and she pays my salary. Zhao Rin explained. And with these words, Lu Ruyin let out a sigh of relief. While Mu Qingqing had a calm face on the surface, but was actually happy inside. With a short sentence, Mu Qingqing instantly understood her own feelings. It turns out that having a good feeling towards a boy is such a short moment. Rin, what do you want to eat? We're going to go out and buy some food. The hospital stuff isn't very nutritious. After chatting for a while, Father Lu and Mother Lu sensed that their daughter seemed to have something to say to Zhao Rin, so they made an excuse. I'm not hungry, buy it for them. Zhao Rin shook her head and refused. Okay then, we're going. Father Ryu wanted to ask something else, but realized that Mother Ryu had bumped his arm and simply left. Rin, let's go to the door and have a chat, shall we? Lu Ruyin saw that Zhao Rin was still sitting by Mu Qingqing's bedside at this time, and recalling the way the two of them talked and laughed, her heart felt like a jar of vinegar had spilled over full of thick jealousy. However, 
Seeing that the girl that her best friend helped her with again had to have an identity problem, she couldn't be bothered to have a fit, so she planned to find Zhao Rin to go out and talk about it. No need, there's nothing to talk about between us. Zhao Rin shook his head. Forgive me once more, can you? Ruyan Lu put down her missy temper and pleaded. There's no need, it's not a matter of right or wrong. Zhao Rin shook his head, stood up and said, From now on, we're just ordinary friends, that's all. After saying this, Zhao Rin left the ward straight away. He was going back to work, seeing Zhao Rin leave without looking back. Lu Ruyan was dumbfounded. Her whole body froze and shrunk on the bed, not saying a word. As for Mu Qingqing on the side, although she had the intention to comfort her, the pain on her body made her have the heart to do so. Even though the other party didn't violate herself in the end, some of the other party's behavior still caused some trauma on her body, and she could only lie on the bed silently. Shortly afterward, Willow's father and mother came in, one carrying something to eat and the other carrying a bag of ointment. Where's Rin? Mother Lu scanned around, not seeing Zhao Rin's figure, and was puzzled. He's gone, Ruyan Lu said with a heavy heart. This child, it's all because of you, this dead girl. As soon as Mother Lu heard this, she was furious when she remembered Zhao Rin's bruises and purple patches on his back. Rin must have taken a lot of beatings in order to save the two of you. Mom, I really know it's wrong. Lu Ruyan also said with great chagrin, listening to her mother Lu's narration, as well as the injury she had just seen with her own eyes. She regretted like never before at the moment. If she hadn't left from the engagement site yesterday, and the two of them had completed the ceremony smoothly, they would definitely still be cozy on the bed right now. And where would they have come to so many things? Uncle and auntie, Ruyan, let's forget about this for now. Take a good rest today, and we'll go talk to him tomorrow when we're discharged from the hospital. Mu Qingqing suddenly spoke. A few people looked at each other and it was all they could do. When Zhao Rin returned to Huo Qingxuan's apartment, the night had completely enveloped this urban village. During the day there was basically not much of a crowd in the urban village at this time, but this time is full of after-work laborers. Many people are too lazy to open fire, wandering around in front of the various apartment complexes to choose. But it makes this fast-paced society a little more smoky. Zhao Rin got out of the car early, hands clasped to the back of his head, and wandered in. Not only the roadside stores, along the way, but any open space? There are so many modified tricycle stalls. There are fried rice. There are skinny meatballs. There are pancake sellers. Most of them are used to eat for a fruitful stomach. Even Zhao Rin felt like he was back in the college days. He couldn't help but to buy a bowl of fried rice, and brought it upstairs. Because the other party's back was turned to him, Zhao Rin didn't get a good look at the other party's appearance. He only knew that she was a tall woman, wearing a high ponytail, wearing yoga clothes, the curves of her back were outlined to the fullest, especially the pair of long legs that were powerful at first glance. Judging from the speed of each kick, the flexibility of her body was quite good, and if she were to wrap herself around a man's waist, she would be able to pinch her waist and die. But after only a few glances, Zhao Rin withdrew his gaze, thinking that this was the tenant who lived upstairs, the so-called once the sea is difficult to water. In addition to the witch mountain is not cloud. This life, a start, is Lu Ruyan, Mu Qingqing this kind of face value max girl, the eye has long been pulled up. Naturally, the heart will not make any waves. Zhao Rin walked to the computer on his own, first pulling out his cell phone and sending a V letter to Hua Qingxian to tell her he was back, and then sending a V letter to his good buddy Zhan Lei, telling him about the fact that he had found a new job and moved out of the dormitory. After doing this, Zhao Rin turned on the computer again and began to watch a drama while showing off his meal. But this comforting time didn't last long before it was interrupted. There's a big beautiful woman not watching. You're watching a drama? Huo Qingxian recalled the way Zhao Rin was concentrating on watching the drama just now, and was a bit puzzled that he didn't even raise his head when such a super beautiful woman was working out next to him. So she opened her mouth curiously. Wow. Qingxian, what's your relationship with Wei Yixiao? Do you even walk without a sound? Zhao Rin, who was watching mesmerized, instinctively jumped in shock when she saw someone standing in front of her at first glance and said breathlessly, What? You're the one who got too caught up in watching the drama. Huo Qingxian beamed unhappily, actually bringing herself and Wei Yixiao together. What kind of analogy is this? Fine, fine. Zhou Rin nodded and wisely kept her mouth shut. Don't digress ah. How come you're just watching dramas without looking at beautiful women? Huo Qingxian didn't wait for the answer she wanted and couldn't help but ask again. What am I looking at a pretty girl for? Is it a drama that doesn't smell good? Zhao Rin asked rhetorically. Eh? These two short questions directly dry burned Huo Qingxuan's CPU, as if that was the case. Just as the two of them were chatting, the girl who was working out ended her workout time and walked out towards the side. Sister Lu, don't you have to be on duty today? 
Seeing the other party walking towards her side, Huo Qinxian took the initiative to greet her. Yeah, so I came over to get fit while I was off work. How about you? You can't be seen at this hour on weekdays. Li Changle glances at Zhao Rin, who's sitting in front of the computer, and then at Huo Qinxian, and says meaningfully, Introductions. Don't. Don't get me wrong. He's the new superintendent. His name is Zhao Rin. Helping my mom and I manage the building's chores, I came over to order some trifles. Sensing the derision in Li Changle's words, Huo Qingxuan's pretty face blushes as she hurriedly explains, This is Li Changle, a security officer from the security office in our area. Officer Li, hello. Zhao Rin was fine with that. And after the two of them briefly greeted each other, he continued to watch the drama. Oh, I get it I get it. Then you guys chat. I'm going to rest. Looking at Huo Qingxian without a fight, Li Changle said with a bad smile on his face, Let's go. It's rare that you don't have to be on duty. So don't go to bed yet. Huo Qingxian is too shy to do so, and hurriedly takes Li Changle by the shoulders and pushes her out. But she hears the sounds of haha banter coming from the corridor. Rin, don't get me wrong. She's been a police officer for too long, and her personality is just straightforward like that. Huo Qingxian took a deep breath and plausibly explained. I understand. You came to find me at this point. Is there something you want? Although he was a single dog in his previous life, Zhao Rin also more or less saw the light at this moment. So he immediately digressed and said, Here's the thing. Tomorrow my mom and I are going out early in the morning and won't be back until the evening. So you'll have to watch over the apartment tomorrow. Huo Qingxian sniffs and rushes to say, Understand. Understand. Today is a special case. Tomorrow I promise to stay here. Zhao Rin nodded. Since he had taken this job, he naturally had to follow the rules. Even if there was nothing going on he would honestly stay in 201. Okay. Then I'll give an order in the group. And if anything comes up or if a tenant is looking at a house, it's all yours, this is the total cards for each house, saying that, he handed a bunch of cards to Zhao Rin, okay, Zhao Rin took the card, and this was the moment his work officially began, at 10 o'clock in the evening, Zhao Rin, according to Huo Qingxuan's instructions, took the elevator to the ninth floor, and then toured down one floor at a time to see the situation of the corridor lights in the building, and after everything was correct, he wrote his contact information on the doorway of 201, and then closed the door, lying in his room, blowing on the electric fan and listening to the still somewhat boisterous sounds outside, Zhao Rin began to drift off to sleep, at that moment, the cell phone suddenly rang with a sharp ding 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 sound, pulling Zhao Rin back from the state where he was about to go to sleep, took his cell phone and tapped in to take a look, crap, Ruyin Lu, what are you singing, and Mu Qingqing, what are you doing, why are you sending me all this nonsense in the middle of the night, after reading the messages from the two, Zhao Rin instantly came to life and was no longer sleepy. Cell phone. Lu Ruyin really is not polite ah. Clang clang clang. A breath of time sent a lot of photos. There are previously taken, but also now taken. Especially the last one. Said that their legs were bitten by mosquitoes. So itchy. Zhao Rin looked over one by one. And at this moment, he felt that his cell phone was so bad that it was time to change it. There are still mosquitoes in this weather. Where did they bite? Zhao Rin tapped the last picture. Zoomed in looked around, still couldn't find the place, and replied, oops, you look for it again, when Ruyin Lu saw that Zhao Rin had replied, she was bursting with joy, so she took another picture over, only to see the photo, Lu Ruyin curled a pair of snow white long legs, in the roll of the cell phone flash, a pair of white long legs bright straight shaking people's eyes, see Zhao Rin immediately fire up, the second brother hard, click on the latest picture, carefully look at some, Zhao Rin only in the other side of the left leg at the knee to find a small red spot. The only thing you need to do is to get a little bit of oil to wipe it off. Zhao Rin replied with a slight gasp. I have to say that the ability of a beautiful girl to seduce men is innate. Aha. Uh -huh. Why don't you husband? You come and rub it for me. Okay? Lu Ruyin sent a voice. That clip deathly clip sound heard Zhao Rin a burst of excitement. God. Really a demonic spirit. On the other side. Taking advantage of Lu Ruyin burrowing under the covers to send a message. Mu Qingqing also picked up her cell phone and sent a message to Zhao Rin. Thank you, Rin. Actually, after I called you today, I even delayed for a while. Neither of us were violated. Ghostly, Mu Qingqing, who was only thinking of saying thank you, took the initiative to send a text explaining to Zhao Rin. She didn't want Zhao Rin to misunderstand that her body was unclean. Well, I know. It's a good thing you called me. If you guys were violated by those assholes, I would feel guilty for the rest of my life. Zhao Rin switched to Mu Qingqing's chat interface and replied. He honestly hoped that the other party wouldn't be left with a psychological shadow because of this. Just at this time, Lu Ruyin's doll voice that clamped people to death sounded. 
Listening to Mu Qingqing froze, her heart was sour, and for a moment it was indescribably difficult to say, Husband, please forgive me, look at how full of sincerity I am today. Lu Ruyan multiplied her victory and sent another voiceover. Immediately after that, there were several pictures of sex dumped over. Each one was long black legs, and the last one was wearing a maid outfit. Lying on the side of the bed at home, a pair of long legs wrapped in white silk was exposed. Zhao Rin only felt his whole body boiling with hot blood. Lu Ruyan had sort of taken a few of his little hobbies hard. Ruyan Lu, you're opening up a big can of worms. You're testing the cadres with this? Which cadre can withstand such a test? Zhao Rin rolled her eyes. On the other end, Lu Ruyan saw that Zhao Rin hadn't replied, gritted her teeth, and went up for her last big move. Husband, please forgive me. When I get out of the hospital, let's have XXOO, the kind that doesn't measure up. I'll make it up to you. In the future I'll break off relations with Lin Ming. Forgive me, okay. Lu Ruyan looked at the text she had sent out. A pretty face reddened with anticipation as she waited for Zhao Rin's reply. Unfortunately, Ruyan Lu was not destined to wait for Zhao Rin's reply, because at that moment, Zhao Rin received the news that a petty thief pretending to be a tenant had run into a block of apartments to steal from the tenants, and had been crashed by the tenants who had come back from work, and that the escaped thief was now running towards him. So, the DNA in Zhao Rin's body moved, and just when he had nowhere to spread his energy, he took the initiative to run downstairs. On the other hand, Lu Ruyan lying on the hospital bed, waiting left and right, frozen did not wait for Zhao Rin's reply. The whole person's mind began to be apprehensive. Five minutes, ten minutes, half an hour, time passed by the minute. Lu Ruyan felt that she returned to the scene of the villa last night. On the other hand, Zhao Rin, who had heard the sound, quickly locked the door and descended the stairs, running out furiously. Catch the thief, accompanied by shouts from far and near. Two men, one in front of the other, ran wildly down the main road, the people behind them chasing after them while shouting at the top of their lungs. All the tenants who didn't sleep heard the sound all opened their windows and poked their heads outside, acting as the ubiquitous eating crowd, they don't go down to help, it doesn't mean they don't love to join in the fun. Coming early was not as good as coming coincidentally, Zhao Rin walked to the main road in a very timely manner, blocking the thief who was running wildly, kid, get out of my way, the thief seemed to be used to this kind of scene, only to see him running while waving his fist and smashing it towards Zhao Rin's head, seeing this, Zhao Rin dodged to the side avoiding the punch. Unexpectedly, the soldier never tires of deception. The thief is simply a bluff. Zhao Rin side open body. He will use the inertia of the sprint in the opposite direction to avoid Zhao Rin. Continue to run towards the distance. This running ability. I believe that if you go to participate in the competition, we'll be able to get a good ranking. Hoo 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 hoo. Can't run anymore can't run anymore. And at this time, the person behind chasing that person stopped panting at this time. Zhao Rin, who had been set up would not be willing to let it go, and immediately turned around and ran over, he wanted to try out this body's physical capabilities, unexpectedly, not long after running, Zhao Rin saw two figures entangled together, one of them had a slender figure with a familiar high ponytail, wasn't this Li Changle, when did she run ahead, unable to care about curiosity, Zhao Rin accelerated his pace and came up, with the help of the orange streetlight, Zhao Rin could see the situation in the field, it had to be said that Li Changle's hands were really good, with a pair of long legs striking frequently, suppressing the thief with only the power to fight. After about a minute or so, only to see Li Changle's attack suddenly a meal, has appeared decadent thief, seized the opportunity, directly embraced Li Changle kicked out the right leg, and then fell hard, just now also dominant Li Changle so heavy on the ground. Unable to care about his surprise, Zhao Rin increased his speed and leapt, taking advantage of the thief's respite to block in front of Li Changle. Kid, it's you again. The thief gritted his teeth when he saw the familiar appearance, then swung a right hook. Cut. Zhao Rin didn't bother to say more nonsense. After a cold snort, he suddenly stormed up, grabbed the thief's right arm, and with another beautiful over-the-shoulder slam, the thief's back slammed heavily on the concrete pavement. This fall, the thief feels like crying. Today how so back? It is not easy to touch into the room. Have not found what rich things. People come in. It is not easy to get rid of the entanglement ran out of the eye is about to run away. But first was this woman wrapped around. That pair of long legs force big terrible. Although all blocked. But two arms are still painful it. The last and kill a chang bite gene to. A shoulder drop. Feel their own bones have to fall apart. This feeling. Who understands the family? Immediately afterward. Zhao Rin immediately bullied her way forward and rolled the thief over onto her back with her hands facing upwards. Officer Li. Bring it. Zhao Rin reached out. What is it? Li Changle, who had just stood up, 
was still a bit dizzy in the head and didn't react. A silver bracelet. Zhao Rin was helpless. Oh, uh, there, there, there. Li Changdel came to a realization and pulled out a pair of silver bracelets from his waist, throwing them over. Come on, tell your co-workers to take the person away. Zhao Rin nimbly snapped the silver bracelet onto the thief's wrist and spoke. You've worked as a cop before? Looking at the thief's sultry eyes as he was taken to the police car, Li Changdel covered his belly and stood next to Zhao Rin and asked. No, in order to make a living I apply for the auxiliary police and learn some crude fighting skills only, Zhao Rin said with a snort. Anyway, thank you. Li Changle said with a frown. It's okay, the police and the public are cooperating. Remember to get me a commendation when you have the chance ha, huh? the kind that has a bonus. Zhao Rin said with a smile. Speaking of this, he remembered the matter of saving Hua Qinxian a few days ago. How come it still didn't work out? Wow. Officer Li, what's wrong with you? Zhao Rin didn't wait for the other party's reply and curiously skimmed his head to look at him. Then he saw Li Changle covering his stomach as his entire body was trembling as if he was enduring severe pain and couldn't help but open his mouth. I, hearing the voice, Li Changle raised her head and was just about to speak when suddenly her eyes went black and she directly fainted. Before her consciousness finally dissipated, she felt herself lying on top of a warm chest. This woman, Zhao Rin was confused and didn't know what to do. He had no choice but to contact Hua Qinxian. Luckily she hadn't gone to sleep yet. And after hurriedly arriving, with Hua Qinxian leading the way, Zhao Rin sent her all the way back to her room in a princess carry. Qing Xian, what's wrong with this officer Li? In the original owner's memory, although there were images of Aunt Lu Ruyan dying in pain, there were no images of people fainting in pain ah, so he still couldn't help but open his mouth, wanting to confirm. Sister Lu this is her great aunt coming, she was supposed to be in pain for several days every month, and today she even got into a fight with a thief. This contraction directly people can't top it. On the way here, Hua Qingxian had already understood the cause and effect of the incident from Zhao Rin's mouth, so she analyzed it. Ha, huh? this this this. Zhao Rin didn't know what to say for a moment. No wonder how that thief was able to bounce back in the end. The feeling was that someone's great aunt suddenly came and affected her play. No, no, no. Looking at Sister Li's state, I'm afraid she's going to faint. We have to send her to the hospital for a look. Hua Qingxian carefully observes Li Changdel who was lying on the bed and realizes that she is now unconscious. There is no blood on top of a beautiful face, and after touching her hands, they are terribly cold. So she makes a snap decision. Ha! Huh? Then what the hell? Hurry up and go. As soon as Zhao Rin heard this, she immediately stood up and opened her mouth. But, forget it, let's go together. It's not convenient for you to be a big man. Huo Qingxian still wants to say something more, but then she thinks for a second that it's fine for her to follow. After all, it's not very convenient for a big man. Zhao Rin didn't think so much about it and as soon as he picked Li Changdel up again, he walked to the elevator. This is the fifth floor. Carrying someone down to the fifth floor in one breath. Is it not laborious? Walking up to Huo Qingxuan's Wuxi, Zhao Rin was in trouble because he didn't have his key with him and it was locked in 201's office. Dripping just then, the vehicle automatically unlocked, and it turned out to be Huo Qingxian, who was a beat slow, rushing in with the keys. Brother Rin, you drive. After settling the unconscious Li Changdel in the back row, Hua Qingxian also entered the back row from the other side. Good. Zhao Rin didn't nag and immediately started the vehicle and drove towards the hospital. Late at night at the hospital, all departments are off duty, and only the emergency department is still functioning. Zhao Rin parked her car and rushed to the outpatient hall with Li Changle in her arms, calling out for the doctor. Soon, the doctor on duty hurriedly arrived, listening to Hua Qingxuan's introduction while doing a simple examination. The patient is having contractions and the onset of her period is triggering anemia. Go ahead and get an ultrasound and prepare pain medication. The receiving doctor instructed. Early the next morning, in the makeshift ward, a ray of sunlight hit Li Changdel's face on the hospital bed through the gap between the curtains. The slightly blinding sunlight woke up the dazed Li Changdel. This is, a hospital? Li Changdel, who had been unconscious all night, opened her eyes in a daze, and along with the slow focusing of the light, the blurred scenery began to become clear in front of her eyes. Lying on the hospital bed, Li Changdel looked at the pale ceiling and recalled the memories of last night, catching the thief, fighting, stomach pain, and finally fainting, as if he was hugged by the new apartment administrator, Zhao Rin, before he fainted. Right at this moment, the door of the ward creaked, and Li Changdel couldn't help but incline his head, his eyes falling on the entrance of the ward. Officer Li, you're awake? Zhao Rin walked in and saw that Li Changdel's eyes were wide open, fluttering as he looked at himself, exuding a puzzled gaze, so he took the initiative to speak. Was it you who sent me here last night? Li Changdel supported himself and sat up, 
asking suspiciously. It was me and the charterer who sent you here. Zhou Rin replied after placing the breakfast in her hand on the bedside table. A chartered lady? You mean Qing Xian? Li Changdu thought for a moment and said uncertainly. Where is she? Yeah, who else but her? She called a chauffeur back early in the morning. She's got something going on today. Zhao Rin nodded. Come on, the thin meat porridge in front of the hospital. Eat it while it's hot. I just registered a gynecologist's number for you. Look at the introduction it's the kind that combines Chinese and Western medicine. I'll accompany you later. Ah, I don't want to I don't want to. I've had this problem since I went to the police academy. What doctor ah? As soon as he heard about seeing a doctor, Li Changdul was instantly unhappy, his head shaking like a rattle. It's hard to believe you want this menstrual cramps to follow you most of your life. Last night you passed out the whole time. Zhao Rin saw this situation and said in a bad mood. Just think of it as being responsible for your own health. Go see a doctor okay. Besides, your health insurance card insurance pull full. All reimbursed okay? Still afraid to spend money ah? Zhao Ren's last sentence seemed like a joke and directly amused Li Changdul. Could it be that you don't have medical insurance? Li Changdul asked with a smirk. My kind of muckraker. Also deserve to talk about health insurance? The same medical insurance card. You take the card and don't spend a dime to get your illness looked after. I take the card as a dime on the head. Zhao Rin said as he opened the lid and handed the other party a bowl of lean meat porridge. Thanks. Li Changdul looked at the fragrant lean meat porridge in front of him and immediately felt his appetite stirring as he took it. Oh, delicious. A mouthful of lean meat porridge went down. Li Changdul instantly warmed up in her heart. A warm feeling began to radiate in her stomach. While eating, she also secretly glanced at Zhao Rin for a few moments. For the first time being fed by a boy, she didn't know what to think about in her heart. Well, I figure it's almost time. Officer Li, clean up a bit, and I'll accompany you to the doctor later. After he was full of wine and food, Zhao Rin packed up the two empty lunchboxes and threw them into the trash can. Then he took the initiative to stand up, talking as he headed out the door. Zhao Rin, from now on, call me Changle, long as in long and short, happy as in happy, or else call me officer. It sounds so uncomfortable. From today, we are friends. Li Changdul looked at Zhao Rin's back and spoke. Good. Zhao Rin paused and spoke. Twenty minutes later, Zhao Rin assisted the still somewhat weak Li Changdul to the obstetrics and gynecology department. As a big hospital at the top of the pyramid in Hangzhou, no matter what department, the staff is always full. Obviously the 8 o'clock in the morning has not yet arrived. The door of each clinic has been full of people. And even the chairs on the side of the corridor are not enough. And there are a lot of people are standing on the side. One by one. Looking at the cell phone. Waiting patiently. According to the section on the registration list, Zhao Rin assisted Li Changdul to the door of the corresponding section and waited very patiently. Zhao Rin. Why are they always looking at the two of us? After a short while, Li Changdul suddenly tugged on Zhao Rin's arm and muttered in a low voice. Ha? Huh? Yes? At those words, Zhao Rin raised her head in great surprise and scanned around as if everyone was looking at the two of them. What did that mean? Just take a look. Although, when arresting criminals on weekdays, there was no shortage of people paying attention. But today, the eyes of a group of female compatriots looked at Li Changdul and even goosebumps rose up, feeling uncomfortable all over. I don't know. Ha? Huh? I'm not a woman. So how would I know? Zhao Rin said with a very straight face. This statement. Angry Li Changdul could not help but use his foot to step on Zhao Rin. Unexpectedly, the small action of the two immediately caused the waiting outside of the female compatriots of the discussion. This pair of young couples can be really lovey-dovey. It's not strange to have a man accompanying the obstetrics department, and they wipe their own asses after they've had a good time. This gynecology still has a husband willing to accompany. Can really envy ah. Eating melon female compatriot has said. That's right. My family that mouth ah. As soon as I heard I want to see a gynecologist. Almost not willing to drive me to come. Or I was persuaded to get up and send me over. Eating melon female compatriots be agreed. Crap. Hearing the mutterings of several people. Zhao Rin and Li Changdul simultaneously exploded foul language in their hearts. However, after bursting into foul language, Li Changdul's mind suddenly came up with the idea that if Zhao Rin were to be his own boyfriend or even closer to being his own husband, it should not be bad. Thinking about it, Li Changdul snapped back to his senses and hurriedly vetoed the idea. This is the man that Hua Qingxian has his eye on. It is not appropriate for him to be like this. Changdul, Changdul, it's your turn. Quickly go inside. Just as Li Changdul was wandering into the void, Zhao Rin spoke up and pulled her attention back. Ha! Huh? Li Changdul raised his head and looked at Zhao Rin. Slow to react. Oops. Your turn. Go. Zhao Rin was helpless for a while and pushed her into the clinic, waiting at the door himself. You accompany me inside. As soon as she opened the door to the clinic room, 
Li Changle was a little apprehensive and took the initiative to hold Zhao Rin's hand, revealing a pleading look and said, Eh, okay. Seeing the other party's pitiful look, Zhao Rin was amused and somewhat helpless at the same time, and nodded. Young man, what are you doing as a boyfriend? Your own girlfriend's uterus is cold, her overall condition is not ideal, and she doesn't think of treating her menstrual bleeding so heavily, and drags it out until now. If this is delayed for a few more years and the uterine cold develops further, do you still want to have children in the future? The female doctor in the consultation room, with her burgundy metal glasses, opened fire towards Zhao Rin after checking Li Changle's series of relevant lab tests from last night as well as last night's uterine B ultrasound report card. Yes, 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 you are right. It was my negligence. So is it too late for me to mend the situation? Zhao Rin sniffed and knew that this wasn't the time to explain, patting Li Changle's shoulder to signal her to keep quiet, while he himself hurriedly followed the doctor's words. I've prescribed eight pairs of Chinese medicines here. You take it back and decoct it. Come over to me for a review immediately after you finish eating it. I've already registered you guys for eight days from now. Make sure to come over. If you don't take advantage of your youth to regulate it, if you want to have a child in the future, it'll be even more of a setback. Seeing Zhao Rin's head as if pounding garlic, the doctor nodded with satisfaction, and while instructing in a lecturing tone, he operated the computer to prescribe the Chinese medicine prescription, and the conversation between the two, sitting on the sidelines, is still a big girl of yellow flowers Li Changle to shame, has always been a big grin accustomed to her, by the doctors want children, boyfriends, marriage this kind of vocabulary to the shy red face, red pretty face hot, worried about being found out the end of the Li Changle, then hurriedly lowered his head, which has the work of the valiant look, after a while, Zhao Rin assisted Li Changle out of the clinic again and came to the pharmacy, I have to say that after the popularization of medical insurance, the less scratch and pay link really saved a lot of time. Say, are you taking advantage of me in different ways? How did I become your girlfriend? While queuing up at the pharmacy in the outpatient hall, Li Changle looked at the fact that there weren't many people, and immediately questioned, only the blush on her pretty face that hadn't completely faded away yet. How she looked at it made it feel more like a flirtation between lovers. See the back of the queue of single men a burst of envy. This young man is not just a little taller than me, a little whiter than me, a little more handsome than me. How can I find such a beautiful girlfriend? Why am I a single dog? It's hard to believe that you want to have a debate with the doctor. Besides, I don't mind even if I'm a yellow-flowered man. What do you mind? Zhao Rin, who was at the front of the line, responded while packing up herbs. Yellow blossom man, you can have some face. Hearing this brand new stimulus, Li Changle felt 10,000 grass mud horses galloping past in his head, and said breathlessly, not sensing that danger was creeping in, the two pairs of big, Watery eyes had already locked onto their target, taking the medicine. Zhao Rin didn't bother to pay attention to Li Changle, pulling her and wanting to leave. Without realizing it, Zhao Rin held her hand without even realizing it. As for Li Changle, she only felt a gush of shyness and let the other party hold her hand, surprisingly not resisting inwardly. Rin, how could you be able to do this? Just then, a familiar voice rang out, containing a strong sense of shock and disbelief. Zhao Rin's footsteps lurched while Li Changle froze as an unprecedented sense of crisis began to erupt within her heart. Li Changle looked in the direction where the voice came from, and the two sides' eyes met in mid-air, and both sides froze, for no other reason than they were both marveled by each other's appearance. Exquisite features, tall and tall, a small waist, both sides have brought together the advantages of the top beauty, Mu Qingqing's serenity, Lu Ruyin's coolness, and Li Changle's martial arts. In their respective face value, it is really a fight of the immortals each with their own characteristics, on weekdays one is difficult to see the goddess, today actually appeared three at once, spare the hospital this kind of place, the hurrying male compatriots still cannot help but slow down the footsteps, have sideways glances, out of the intuition of a police officer, it only took Li Changle a few seconds to lock the source of this sense of crisis, which was Lu Ruyin, the two women's eyes met in the air, and Li Changle saw vigilance, displeasure, and strong hostility in the other's eyes, Ruyin, Ching Ching, such a coincidence. Zhao Rin stopped his steps and turned around, looking at the two women standing not far away, ready to leave the hospital, and said with a smile, but as he said that, his expression flinched as he saw Lin Ming who was wearing a hospital gown and carrying something with his intact right hand. Brother Rin. Lin Ming saw that Zhao Rin didn't pay attention to him, so he took the initiative to greet him, but Zhao Rin still didn't pay any attention to him, and instead turned his puzzled gaze towards Mu Qingqing. Seeing this, Mu Qingqing spread her hands and shook her head, indicating that she was also baffled. Ah Ming apologized to me, he said he would never bother us again, he came here specifically to apologize, 
As if Lu Ruyin could tell what was on Zhao Rin's mind, she took the initiative to open her mouth and said, deciding that things would be done over one by one, apologize? I just had breakfast. Are you trying to make me eat again? Zhao Rin indifferently glanced at Lin Ming, then looked at Lu Ruyin and said, Rin, shouldn't you give me an explanation? As my fiancé, why are you here and holding a girl's hand? Feeling Zhao Rin's ignorance, Lu Ruyin felt like she was about to explode with anger. Last night she had sent so many private photos to him. Only after replying to a few messages the person disappeared, causing her to stay awake for the whole night. And since she ran into her today she must ask for an explanation. Explanation. What explanation do you want? Zhao Rin raised the hand holding Li Changdal up. You mean I cheated on you? You even left me behind at the engagement banquet to go find this b-boy Lin Ming. What? I wouldn't be able to. Besides, don't you see? Changdal isn't feeling well. She doesn't have the strength. If I don't hold her, she can't walk fast. I only believe in what I see. Although she was choked by Zhao Rin, Lu Ruyin's tone appeared to be very calm. Only Zhao Rin who had digested the memories of the original owner knew that this was the calmness of being on the eve of the other party's storm. I know you're still angry, so I chose to give you a chance to explain. Rin, you and Ruyin are already engaged. How can you? Alas, blame me. How did I get into a car accident on your big day? I apologize to you. Or you can beat me up to take out your anger. At this time, Lin Ming took the initiative to stand out. Put on a look of remorse. Said in a low voice. The words sounded like an apology and explanation. But after careful review, this green tea flavor can be too strong. As he spoke, Lin Ming took another colorful look at Li Changdal who was standing beside Zhao Rin. And his heart was very upset. How is it that all the pretty girls are surrounding him Zhao Rin? Himself this is not bad ah. Is he not handsome? The same as an orphan. Why is the difference so big? As for Li Changdal, when she heard that Zhao Rin had a marriage contract, she suddenly began to sink inside and involuntarily broke away from Zhao Rin's hand. Zhao Rin looked at Li Changdal with surprise. The two of them met eyes. Zhao Rin saw doubt and displeasure from inside her eyes, but didn't associate it with too much. Only that the other party was said so by Lu Ruyin and felt uncomfortable. So, you still know that Ruyin and I have a marriage contract. Not caring about anything else, Zhao Rin took a step forward, his eyes looking straight at Lin Ming, and sneered coldly. Of course I know, but the car accident wasn't my idea. Brother Rin, if you have anger in your heart, just come at me, hit me and scold me all you want. Don't ever take it out on Ruyin. Don't ever hurt the two of you. Lin Ming took the initiative to walk in front of Zhao Rin, showing a mortified expression and saying very guiltily. After listening to these words, Zhao Rin laughed. This kind of moral abduction type of speech, really is T-T-R-A, everywhere in the admission of fault, everywhere not wrong, if they do not forgive words. Is their own not generous enough? This is if the plan is playing is a slap ah. Thanks to the original body of psychological quality is strong. Endured for such a long time. Which if you do. I'm afraid that the other party has already eaten a lightning five consecutive lashes. Rin. Lin Ming has already sincerely apologized to you. So just forgive both of us. He and I already know we're wrong. And in the future I promise that similar incidents won't happen. Besides. Lin Ming is still a friend we've known for many years. Isn't this bit of sentiment still there? Right at this critical moment, Ruyin Lu came to the front and took the initiative to help out. Yes, Rin, we've known each other for so many years. Don't you know what kind of person I am? This matter is my fault. You can beat me and scold me, but you shouldn't find a new person no matter what. Lin Ming's words, at first glance, sounds like in the persuasion, will be wrong all on their own, but in fact it is in the oil on the fire. Especially the last sentence. There will be the spearhead to Zhao Rin derailment of that direction to lead. The two of them were talking to each other. And they even played with each other. And those who didn't know thought they were a couple. With such a strong sense of CP. Unable to listen to a Zhao Rin simply spoke directly and interrupted the other party. Shut up. Lin Ming. If you be B again I'll let you turn into a sad song. And you. Claiming that I'm your fiancé. You're still helping outsiders. Can you have some face? As the words fell. Zhao Rin's eyes looked straight at the other party. His horrifying eyes fell on Lin Ming like a fierce tiger ready to explode at any moment. Rin, why are you being so mean to him? He came over early this morning to apologize to me, kowtowing and admitting his faults, and crying, where's your pattern? I promised to keep my distance from him. Why are you being so petty? Also, I haven't even settled the score with you for the technician the night before and this woman today. Why are you so mean? Do not know Lin Ming to Lu Ruyin poured what soul soup. Last night also a look of great enlightenment of Lu Ruyin. Today is a brain dead look. Actually this kind of disruptive little trick also too cannot see. You're right. I'm a stingy person. I can't accept that my fiancé, in the middle of an engagement party, 
because of an outsider who's nothing, left a sentence that I'll give you a hundred times more grand engagement party in the next day, and then left me behind and went away. So didn't I annul the engagement on the spot the day before yesterday? I have my freedom, and you can find a boy who can put up with you acting like this, or who can put up with you going to other boys in the middle of the night to spend the night as your husband. Let's win-win. Zhao Rin nonchalantly disliked back. And ah, don't you always say that he's your male best friend? I even sometimes wonder if it's because he has a special fetish for good wives that you chose to be in a relationship with me. Bullshit. Zhao Rin. How can you defile someone's innocence out of thin air? Ah Ming and I are just friends. Pure friendship. We are innocent. You? How can you say that about me? Zhao Rin's words exasperated the always proud and cool Lu Ruyan, and her entire body began to tremble. I think it's lip friendship. The lips of lips. Also, Ruyan Lu, there's no longer any relationship between the two of us, so don't you dare to PUA me with those has-beens. I don't need to explain anything I do to you. Zhao Rin sneered. Brother Rin. You. Before Lin Ming could finish his sentence, the temperamental Zhao Rin suddenly rose up, and with his empty right hand, he grabbed Lin Ming by the neck and lifted him up in the air like a small chicken. I'm going next door to Nima Lei. I've been Mr. Nice Guy for so long, do you really think I'm Mr. Nice Guy anymore? I told you, if you BB again, I'll make you turn into a sad song. Zhao Rin's face showed a ferocious light, his right hand slowly exerted force. Where is Lin Ming, who was foot shorter than Zhao Rin by more than a head? Where is his opponent? An already miserable and handsome face instantly lacked oxygen and began to slowly turn purple. Zhao Rin, don't be impulsive. Seeing this, Li Changle, who had just regained some of his chi, hurriedly stopped. I'm a vigilante. You're crossing the line like this. Ah Rin don't. Mu Qingqing, who had been standing to the side, suddenly rushed over and put her hand on Zhao Rin's arm, dissuading him with a worried face. Except for Lu Ruyan, who looked at him with a puff of anger and didn't say a word. That's right, this pile of stinky shit. I stepped on him and had to stick my shoe. It's not worth it. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin immediately let go of his hand and put the person down, while not forgetting to smile towards Mu Qingqing, signaling her to relax. Oh yeah, Ruyan Lu, please grow a brain. Who can run and jump after a car accident? Why don't you even have a certificate of recognition? Also, from this moment onwards, between the two of us, there will be no more ties, and everything about you will be erased from my life without a trace. After saying that, Zhao Rin reappeared with a gentle smile and resumed his courteous appearance and said, Changle, let's go. Zhao Rin inclined her head and looked at Li Changle, who was standing behind her, and said with a smile, Yes, Li Changle smiled, and her pale face, which had yet to regain its color, was even more pitiful. Zhao Rin's words made her happy for no reason at all, and even her vaguely aching stomach didn't hurt as much. M.S. Lu, there are times when green tea bimbo doesn't just mean women. After listening to Zhao Rin's words, Li Changle's mood changed from cloudy to sunny, and as he and Lu Ruyan brushed past, he slowed down his pace and said softly, and then the two of them went away. Ruyan, I, Lin Ming, who had regained his strength, just wanted to explain, but was disliked by an angry look from Ruyan Lu. Where exactly did I go wrong? Lu Ruyan looked at the direction Zhao Rin had left and fell into deep thought. She only knew that she had done something wrong, but she could never find the location. She didn't know where she had done wrong and to what extent. Ruyan, I'll leave first. Mu Qingqing, who had witnessed the whole process from the perspective of a bystander, took a deep look at this bosom friend of hers. It was hard to bring up the heart of admonishment again, and after a simple goodbye, she turned around and left directly without any delay. Hey, Xing Cheng, looking at her best friend's perverse behavior, Lu Ruyan's heart suddenly produced a sense of loss, as if something precious had been lost, and her unspoken words were thus choked in her throat. Ruyan, your father's car is driving over, let's go. At this time, Mother Lu, who had checked out of the hospital, came out and said as she walked over, you dead girl, what did you say last night? The moment she saw Lin Ming, Mother Lu's face instantly changed and she couldn't help but raise her voice. Auntie, I, Lin Ming was just about to greet him when he was choked back by Mother Lu's next words. Lin Ming, on the basis of you and Ruyan's friendship for many years, I'll say it again for the last time, Ruyan is already Rin's person. What you want to do, Ruyan can't see it, but I can see it clearly. You have to know that even the sun is big, there are places it can't shine. Mother Lu gave the other party a meaningful look, and then pulled her daughter away. In the car, Ruyan Lu sat in the back row and retold what had just happened in its original form. What did you say? You let Lin Ming off the hook and let him apologize to Rin? After listening to Lu Ruyan's recapitulation, Lu mother has not yet spoken. Lu father did not hold back exclaimed. A foot breakdown, directly to abs or stepped out. 
Fortunately close to the morning rush hour, the traffic flow is large, the speed of the car is slow, or else, a quasi is a series of thumping bang thump 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 Ruyan, you're confused. Don't you know why Rin is like this? What did you say last night? Why are you so confused after one night? What did Lin Ming put in your head? You're on the verge of even losing your husband, and at this juncture you're still organizing all of this. Lu's father slowed down and loudly scolded. It's not easy for the relationship to have a chance to ease up, and you're screwing it up again? Are you a pig brain? Lu father bing bong bong a flurry of output. Lu Ruyan er scolded silly. For a moment actually do not know how to respond. You dead girl. I told you several times. Lin Ming is a green tea whore with a handle. How come you just don't listen? After Lu father finished, Lu Ruyan hadn't even breathed a sigh of relief when she saw Lu mother looking at her with a look of hatred, opening her mouth and saying, a strong sense of powerlessness filled between her words. Mom, but in the morning Lin Ming was kneeling and kowtowing and crying, so I thought it wasn't a big deal, so I forgave him. Lu Ruyan inwardly vaguely felt as if something was wrong, but she couldn't say it out loud. Some bottom line, AI, wife, ah. How did we give birth to such a dumbass? Father Lu, who was sitting in front, sighed, and upon hearing these words, Mother Lu also looked deeply at Ruyan Lu and leaned back on her seat powerlessly. Lu Ruyan, who had been talked to by her parents all the way back to her parents' place, as soon as she entered the house, her entire body collapsed helplessly on the sofa. Zhao Rin's words in the hospital always lingered in her ears. Did he mean it? Lu Ruyan thought about it and felt like her head was about to explode from thinking about it. He clearly already knew that he had done wrong and apologized sincerely, and in order to show his sincerity, he even asked Lin Ming to sincerely apologize to Zhao Rin as well, but why Zhao Rin is more and more cold, he really does not love himself, didn't he say that to love someone you have to love the house and everything about her, why is it like this, Lu Ruyan started brainstorming like this, looking for a reason, until her cell phone rang a beep, when she saw a large small essay sent over by Lin Ming, looking at that long string of words, and then associating it with Zhao Rin's last words before she left the hospital. Lu Ruyan instantly had her eyes rounded, and her eyes instantly appeared finished, desperate. So it turned out that Rin was so angry today because of this. An emotion of fear that was even stronger than when Zhao Rin moved away from the villa earlier suddenly came out first at this moment, and then completely overwhelmed her entire being, and she really regretted it. On the other hand, Zhao Rin brought Li Changle back to the apartment. Changle, are you going back to your room? Or are you staying in 201 for a while? Your Chinese medicine still needs to be fried. Standing downstairs, Zhao Rin raised the bag of Chinese medicine in her hand and said with a smile, Zhao Rin, you're a bit impulsive today. Li Changde lightly glanced at the bag of Chinese medicine hanging in midair and said with a serious expression, In a society where the rule of law prevails, there are some bottom lines that can't be crossed. Understand, understand, I won't make it difficult for you. Zhao Rin smiled and nodded, not saying yes or no. Because of this Lin Ming, he still decided to give the other person a good beating. This person was just too disgusting. He must help the original body out. I hope you do as you say. Li Changle glanced at Zhao Rin, his eyes flickering as he nodded. Go, go to 201 and sit for a while. I'll decoct the Chinese medicine up for you, or I'll see that you definitely won't drink it. Zhao Rin digressed and said, Just give me the medicine. I'll do it myself. Li Changle pursed his lips and reached out to snatch the Chinese medicine from the other party's hand. It's better if I do it. Surely I won't be able to boil medicine. Zhao Rin said as he hid his hands behind his back. How do you know I won't? Li Changle sniffed and said with some confusion. Would that scene from last night have occurred if you had the intention to temper it? Zhao Rin said smugly. Humph. Li Changle knew that he couldn't say anything to the other party. So he snorted coldly, took a pair of long legs to accelerate his speed, and walked in front. Talking is talking. Why are you suddenly flipping out? Zhao Rin caught up and said breathlessly. No way. Girl's privilege. You hit me. Perhaps it was because of her physical discomfort. Today's Lee Changle was completely different from yesterday's gym. The one with the clever body and hands. And even learned to play a rogue. Okay, okay, okay. Zhao Rin breathlessly gave a thumbs up. Girls are unreasonable what kind of crookedness is this. But also could only silently follow behind. Preparing to boil medicine for the other party. As for Mu Qingqing, she also went back to her own home. And was shrinking on the sofa by herself looking at the scenery outside the balcony. Her house was quite large, with a suite area of 180 and 4 rooms, and judging by this, her family environment should be quite good, but unfortunately, because of her parents' patriarchal mindset and favoritism towards her younger brother, after the college entrance exam was over, she had begun to earn her own living, so last night when she saw that Ruyan Lu's parents cared for Ruyan Lu so much, 
and that kind of love was overflowing, it made her very envious and jealous, after all, her heart longed for this the most ah, Zhao Rin, I think I'm starting to like you, through the crystal clear glass, Mu Qingqing couldn't help but mutter under her breath as if the scene of Zhao Rin sitting in front of her with a chair, chatting with her and caring for her appeared before her eyes, at the time when she needed care the most, Zhao Rin appeared in front of her like a ray of light and made a deep mark in her heart, Mu Qingqing, who had always been rational and calm, was certain at this moment that the one she had been waiting for, him, had appeared, Zhao Rin, can I not drink this medicine, it smells so bitter, in room 201, sitting on the sofa, Li Changdo looked at the black and Chinese medicine on the coffee table and said carefully, just like a little daughter-in-law, where was the valor of a police flower, I say, officer Li, Li sir, as a vigilante serving the people, how come you don't carry fear when you catch criminals, how come drinking this bitter medicine doesn't work, Zhao Rin was helpless for a while, how is this police flower not quite the same as the one played on TV, don't you realize, my main focus is contrast, Li Changdo suddenly raised his head, his eyes fluttering and blinking in an attempt to muddle through, don't, Changle, you'd better be serious, I'm afraid of you being cute, I'm afraid that you'll suddenly jump up and give me a lightning five lash whip, Zhao Rin silently took a step back and said with a serious face, Zhao Rin, you you you, when Li Changle heard this, she was momentarily furious and looked at Zhao Rin with a puff of air, Humph, I'm not going to drink anymore, after saying that, Li Changle took out her cell phone from her pocket and read a novel to herself, ha, huh? the beautiful president is begging to get back together, Zhao Rin glanced at it and said with some surprise, how do you know, upon hearing this, Li Changdel immediately raised his head and said suspiciously, do you also read this kind of urban novel, I don't read it, I write it, this novel is what I wrote, Zhao Rin said with some pride, at this time he remembered that there were still tens of thousands of words in the original owner's tomato app, this manuscript fee is quite a good income ah, uh, suitable for lazy people like him to touch the fish, and now that he is mixing and wearing the original owner, naturally, he is not polite law, I don't believe it, Li Changdel revealed a foxy look and said in disbelief, okay, I'll show my cards, I'm done pretending, I'm the schoolboy who wants to be a schoolboy, nah, this is my tomato pen name and my account, Zhao Rin said while tapping on the app and pretending to be 13, you're the school scum who says every day that if you can't write well, you'll go to the address and let the readers greatly send you razor blades, along with the focus of his sight, Li Changdel changed his previous week look of insufficient chi and blood and stood up fiercely, saying with a face full of anger, eh, should, maybe, probably, 80% of it is me, seeing the change in Li Changdel, Zhao Rin gave an unexplained wince and said uncertainly, to be honest, what was written before this novel, even if the original owner was still around, he would at best know a rough idea, let alone himself, a soul wearer, it was really just the rough of the rough, after all, there was an intermediary ah, you also my Xiao Xiao and Pan Shan Shan, you write novels like this, be careful to go out and be knocked by people, Li Changdel huffed and puffed, a few days ago you posted these 10 or so chapters, really pissed me off, and now you're a big living person right here, I'll just knife you directly and forget about it, and save the courier fee for sending a razor blade, crap, finished, finished, black powder black powder, the original owner of your pot dumped on my head you made it, look at this situation, Zhao Rin hate to give himself a big pussy bucket, pretend what 13 ah pretend, calm down, calm down, hurry up and drink the medicine, Zhao Rin hurriedly said with a smiling face, humph, don't drink anymore, all pissed off by you, can't see, this Li Changdel usually valiant actually still read these novels, this contrast ah, nah, I've got about 10 more saved up here, tell you what, if you drink this bowl, I'll post it, with a clench of his teeth, Zhao Rin offered a masterstroke, nah, this is what you said, I didn't threaten you, as soon as he heard this, Li Changdel instantly changed his face, picked up the Chinese medicine, and gulped it down, yo hey, women are so good at this trick of trying to escape, when Zhao Rin sniffed, he immediately had a feeling of being fooled, I'm done drinking, so send it out, Li Changdel reversed the bowl upside down, with a smug feeling of a successful plot on his face, nah, I'm done posting, take your time to read, I'll soak the medicine, I have to decoct it once more in the afternoon, Zhao Rin looked at the other party's expression, and suddenly got an idea, operated a few times on the app, sent two chapters up, and then started to pack up her things, Zhao Rin, that's it, how come only two chapters have been updated, Li Changdel was reading on the top of his head, when his finger moved, the good guy was gone, and immediately started questioning Zhao Rin, yeah, it's called warm fire and slow baking, Zhao Rin said with a justified face, what if the reader's interest goes down when it's all sent out at once, 
You, you're so hateful with these selling words, purposely leaving a suspense, breaking chapters, and wetting the appetite. Li Changle spat without a good breath. It's a long time coming. In that case, if you drink the medicine at night, I'll send you two more. Is that okay? Zhao Rin said with a smile. Deal. Li Changle sniffed and responded with a delighted face. All right, I'm going to bed. Last night, it was hard on you. Li Changle pursed her bloodless lips and sincerely thanked Zhao Rin. Helping people is my fine quality, Zhao Rin said in a smelly manner, livening up the atmosphere that was originally a bit heavy again. This man is quite interesting. No wonder apart from that ex-fiancé of his at the hospital entrance, even the girl named Qingqing Qing beside her seemed to have some interest in him. No wonder they say that women's intuition is amazing. Just a quick glance and she gave it away. Okay, you go to sleep first. If you feel hungry, remember the number above the door. I'll buy it and send it up for you. Zhao Rin didn't notice the other party's abnormality, but instead said very enthusiastically, Eh, are you always this attached to girls? At those words, Li Changle was stunned and puzzled. Nope, I'm only this attached to beautiful women. And besides, last night was so memorable. Zhao Rin began to talk nonsense in a serious manner. Roll roll roll, Li Changle said with great disgust. On the other hand, Lu Ruyan, who had come back to her senses, Drove her car alone away from her parents' place and drove straight to this urban village where Zhao Rin worked. Originally, Lu Ruyan and Zhao Rin, the original body, just together. The original body in order to express their fidelity to love, but also for their own insurance. The two people each tied the other's cell phone positioning, so that the other party at any time to know their whereabouts. This is also the reason why Lu Ruyan could find Zhao Rin in the clubhouse so smoothly last time. Apartment manager, I really don't know what you're thinking. Ruyan Lu followed the positioning all the way and soon drove to the front of the building shown by the positioning. After Ruyan Lu parked the car in the empty parking space, she sat in the car and glanced at the building in front of her, and then muttered, the second floor of the is sitting in front of the computer, concentrating on the code words, want to rewrite the original body of this novel. Zhao Rin, suddenly felt a burst of discomfort, cannot help but stop the hands on the keyboard jumping rapidly. Strange, I don't have a cold or fever either, how come it's so uncomfortable? The uncomfortable feeling without any warning made Zhao Rin's thoughts all at once, and a pair of hands hovered over the keyboard. Right at this moment, Zhao Rin's corner of the eye felt a silhouette swaying, and he couldn't help but raise his head, his line of sight crossing over the computer's display and landing on the 201 doorway, and it just so happened that at this time, Lu Ruyan's little head poked in, and the two of them met eye to eye. Husband, Ruyan Lu's eyes lit up, the happiness and pleasure in her eyes showing without concealment. As for Zhao Rin, his originally calm eyes instantly turned cold, first in surprise and then in disgust. How did you find your way here? Zhao Rin said in a cold tone. Hubby, I, I came here specifically to apologize to you. Feeling Zhao Rin's unprecedentedly cold eyes, Lu Ruyan felt very uncomfortable in her heart, but she still revealed a smile and took the initiative to speak. Don't call me husband. Zhao Rin stood up and responded in a cold voice. I have good teeth that bite hard. Obviously, Zhao Rin was reminding her of what she had done before. Honey, I was wrong. I didn't mean that. Will you forgive me? Listening to Zhao Rin's yin and yang, Lu Ruyan had to feel very uncomfortable inside. The Zhao Rin who used to be obedient to herself and never lashed out at herself suddenly seemed like a different person. No longer speaking softly to herself, there was only endless estrangement and indifference. Hubby, I really love you so much. My heart only has you in it. I promise to cut off contact with Lin Ming in the future. Will you forgive me one last time? On this journey driving over. Ruyan Lu had completely figured out that Lin Ning was a pile of poop. Everyone had already reminded themselves of this fact more than once, and only she, like a fool, had blinded herself to see him as a poop can. M.S. Lu, is there any point in telling me now, to forgive or not to forgive? Don't you think it's too late? Zhao Rin looked at the lowly Lu Ruyan in front of him and said in a very flat tone, with no waves in his heart. M.S. Willow, you called me Miss Lu? Hearing this distant to the extreme name. Ruyan Lu instantly widened her eyes, and inside her dark eyes, there was a look of disbelief. Or what? Originally I thought that even if the engagement didn't work out, we could still be friends. That's why I went to the bar yesterday afternoon to save you in Cheng Cheng. Speaking here, Zhao Rin paused, then gave Lu Ruyan a deep look and shook his head in disappointment. The words that followed speaking for themselves. Hubby, I, I really know it's wrong. Come on, I'll give you my cell phone. You black out all of Lin Ming's V-mail. Numbers. In the future, if you tell me to go east, I will never go west. I'll listen to you in everything. Okay, husband. Distant address. As well as Zhao Rin's eyes no longer had the love and tolerance that he used to have when he looked at her. 
Lu Ruyan panicked, and while moving forward, she opened her mouth and said, Forget it, you go back, our three views don't match, barely blending together will not be happy. Zhao Rin shook his head, although he had sensed the lost emotions left behind by the original owner. Zhao Rin still maintained the sanity that he should have, the love brain thing was better not to have, how could it be? We've known each other for so many years, if it wasn't appropriate it would have been inappropriate a long time ago, how could we get to the point of being engaged? Lu Ruyan tilted her head, barely controlling the tears in her eyes to keep them from flowing down, then looked at Zhao Rin and choked out a sob as she asked, because, it's all about me adapting to you, of course you don't know it's inappropriate, Zhao Rin gave her a faint look and said, aren't I getting used to you too? Ruyan Lu said, yeah, then how come I didn't know you were adapting to me? The corners of Zhao Rin's mouth turned up slightly as she asked rhetorically. Then tell me, which kind of milk tea do I prefer? Warm or iced? Full sugar? 5% sugar or no sugar? Ni ni ni. Yang Ji mana? Iced? No sugar. As soon as Lu Ruyan heard this, she stiffened, and after a week of her mind racing, she casually said an answer, leaving the fate to the heavens to decide. The heavens must bless me to say yes. In the future, I will put up a good tribute for you to worship you every year. Lu Ruyan's heart panicked, frantically praying to the heavens. As time passed by, Ruyan Lu looked at the indifferent Zhao Rin, and the string in her heart was strained to the limit. Suddenly, Zhao Rin laughed, so loudly that those who didn't know thought that he had encountered a heavenly good thing and was having a good laugh there. Rin, am I right? Seeing Zhao Rin smile, Lu Ruyan felt her little heart that was about to jump into her throat fall and said with a sigh of relief, I don't drink milk tea, and every time we go on a date, I'm the one who buys you a cup of Yang Ji Gan Gan. Iced and sugar-free, not for myself. Zhao Rin's smile slowly tightened, but the words that came out made Lu Ruyan instantly go limp. Hubby, give me another chance. I will definitely say the right thing this time. Ruyan Lu barely supported her body with her arms and pleaded. Enough, do you still want to avoid it? Admit it, Ruyan Lu. In all the time we've been together, your mind hasn't been on me at all. The only reason you haven't felt out of place is because I've been adapting to you. Zhao Rin eventually lost his patience and shouted out directly piercing the last layer of window paper. No, husband, my mind has been on you, will you forgive me this time? Zhao Ren's words were like a heavy hammer that hit Lu Ruyan's heart so hard that she almost fainted from the pain and could only cover her chest and plead. Ruyan Lu, you go back, the two of us, it's over. Oh no, to be precise, it's my dog licking career. Over. Looking at the other party crying in pain, Zhao Ren surprisingly didn't even have the slightest touch, and just looked on with such a calm expression. Honey, I don't want to, will you forgive me one last time? Not knowing where Lu Ruyan got her strength from, she suddenly jumped into Zhao Rin's arms, her hands deadlocked around Zhao Rin's waist, and begged in a low voice, Ruyan Lu, will you stop this? The two of us, it's impossible, you'll find a better boy with better conditions than me. Zhao Rin raised her hands in midair and said indifferently, what Lu Ruyan experienced today was only the skinny of what the original body experienced, think of it as helping the original body to get back some interest okay? Oh, what are you doing? The sudden touch and a hint of sweetness coming from his lips made Zhao Rin instantly widen his eyes before he pushed Lu Ruyan away with a loud rebuke. Honey, why? How did you become like this? Didn't you used to love kissing me? You even said that my lips were sweet. Lu Ruyan, who was pushed away, trembled and questioned. A man and a woman are not related. That's what you said. Zhao Rin shook his head and responded. Also, how do I know if you're already that way? It's better to pay attention. Nothing happened between Lin Ming and I, how could I possibly do something to wrong you? Ruyan Lu choked. You often go out at night to look for him. How do I know if it's true or not? How do you expect me to believe you? Zhao Rin said with a cold smile. Just then, his cell phone rang, Zhao Rin picked it up and looked at it, and the picture that showed up on the screen made him think of an excellent plan to hit Lu Ruyan hard, and at the same time, be able to give Lin Ming a lesson that would be engraved in his heart. Ruyan, I used to treat you with the attitude of keeping each other for a lifetime. But my love for you was all worn out bit by bit under your behavior of abandoning me time and time again. Zhao Rin's face straightened and opened his mouth, the deep love in his eyes, as he finished his words, also began to slowly dissipate. And finally the deep love dispersed, leaving behind endless indifference, looking at Lu Ruyan a few times wanting to be broken hearted. There's no need to look at me like that. If you want to blame it on your own blindness, you can't see the green tea behavior of this scum Lin Ming. Zhao Rin laughed flipped the screen of his cell phone and displayed it in front of Lu Ruyan, and opened his mouth. This is Lin Ming, Ruyan Lu exclaimed as she looked at the picture displayed in Zhao Rin's cell phone screen. That's right, I remember when I saw him in the morning, he had to have his left hand still bandaged. Right, 
Now you take a closer look at it. Does it kind of look like he's been in a car accident? Looking at the other party's surprised look, Zhao Rin had fully understood that Lu Ruyan was a dumbass. A dumbass that others could easily take under the cloak of friendship, and would even hurt the people around her who were genuinely good to her because of it. Where did this picture come from? Ruyan Lu slowed down and spoke. When Zhang Lei went to work, he accidentally met her and secretly took a picture of her. I can't see. Lin Ming this green tea so heavy taste ah, this kind of woman all dare to approach. Zhao Rin said in a conspiratorial manner, but it's normal. This kind of pseudo maiden, delicate and weak appearance. Hangzhou rich women so many, there are good this bite is not strange. Hubby, give me an afternoon, I'll go and find this out. Lu Ruyan slowly calmed down, instantly associating it with every time in the past when she had told the other party in the middle of a chat about her next schedule, and then the other party would have a problem. Once or twice was a coincidence. Every time it was like this, then it was not a coincidence. Looks like you've come to your senses. Not bad, you haven't lost your brain. Zhao Rin snorted. You don't need to investigate either. It's a waste of time. Why? Ruyin Lu queried. Something will always happen to him when you and I are alone. Zhao Rin, who had inherited the original owner's memories, had long since summarized the pattern. Ruyin Lu's eyes dimmed, and she had the heart to retort. But it was an indisputable fact. Okay, do things one at a time. Just send him a message telling him that you've come to see me but I'm ignoring you and not answering your calls, and finally tell him to come to my barbecue stand downstairs here, I have a way for you to see the other side's true colors, at this moment, Zhao Rin's eyes flashed with a hint of wisdom, and an indescribable meaning began to linger around him, so handsome, why didn't I realize before that Rin is so handsome, Lu Ruyan looked at Zhao Rin suddenly in front of him, as if he came from inside the light, his heart trembled, why didn't he realize it before, he only felt that he was so ordinary, and that it was his good fortune that he looked at him. With Lu Ruyan's finger bouncing on the cell phone screen, the message was quickly sent out. Lin Ming, hasn't gotten back to me yet. Lu Ruyan looked at the screen, bit her lip and said, she had to think of some indescribable images in her mind. A square rich woman, holding the handsome Lin Ming in her arms, up and down, normal. How can you serve a rich woman so quickly? Do you think Happy Wire Ball is just talking? Zhao Rin nodded and said with a calm face, without serving a rich woman comfortably. Lin Ming, a sissy, would be free to look at his cell phone? Happy wireball? Shouldn't I be mad? Why do I like it so much? Listening to Zhao Rin's little dirty talk that doesn't even count as a star, Lu Ruyan inwardly actually felt that she liked Zhao Rin more and more. P.S. Zhao Rin's heart. Lu Ruyan you dead pervert. The original yellow hair is your favorite. On the other hand, in a VIP room of a hotel in Hangzhou, the delicate and handsome Lin Ming was being held in the arms of a tiger-backed rich woman, going up and down. The greasy rich woman looked at the thin, skinny man in her arms, and her small eyes, covered by fat, suddenly lit up, and she couldn't help but pounce on him. Sister, can you not use that pleasure ball? Lin Ming held back the feeling of vomiting that was rolling around in his stomach, and said delicately, all called on sister, where would I want to bully a little brother like you? The rich woman revealed what she thought was a charming smile and said, but the voice that came out of her throat was as unpleasant as sandpaper that was polished, and almost Lin Ming couldn't hold back. 45. Good performance. Here's another $10,000. Go find a Chinese medicine practitioner to take care of it. In a few days I'll call my sisters over as well. We like little puppies. After transferring the account, the rich woman took out another bunch of bundled cash from her own handbag, and slammed it in Lin Ming's face, covering his vision at the same time when, but also letting his eyes only have money left in front of him. I don't know how long, the face of the unlovable Lin Ming came back to God. His right hand trembling will be a thick pile of cash from their own eyes, and then difficult to support the body from the bed sat up. The whole body pain can't, as if the bones fall apart, especially the second brother, the pole axis, life free of a caterpillar, finally making money. Zhao Rin, I, Lin Ming, am not weak in this life. Your monthly salary of 10, 000 or so dollars, I earn 20, 000 dollars in one afternoon. I'm much more powerful than you. Lin Ming looked at the pile of cash in his right hand, and a bit of smugness even appeared on his face. Taking over the cell phone, Lin Ming, who was planning to check the transfer situation, opened the screen a little and read the message sent by Lu Ruyan. Ruyan, now that I've earned money, I can be worthy of you. Lin Ming, who thought he felt the complaint between the lines of Ruyan Lu, muttered, then got up and entered the bathroom. After a bath, Lin Ming will be thrown on the floor of the clothes or put back. After the rich woman's pressure, his face is more pale. Give a person a kind of Lin Dayu feeling. Slowed down the spirit. Lin Ming took out his cell phone and Lu Ruyan chat up. On this side, 
The board Lu Ruyan sent a localization over after a tug of war with the other party. Honey, he'll be here soon. Ruyan Lu said as she pointed at the screen of her cell phone. Don't you call me husband, we're barely considered ordinary friends now. Zhao Rin sniffed and nodded, then spoke, when this matter is resolved, do whatever you need to do, hubby, I don't want it, Ruyan Lu said with a gloomy expression, this is the price you have to pay for the stupid things you did to me before, Zhao Rin was unmoved and said, alright, you've been here for so long, let's go eat first, I'm guessing that I won't have any food later, after saying this, he put his cell phone to rest and walked straight out of room 201 Lu Ruyan naturally followed immediately, what do you want to eat, standing downstairs, Looking at the array of signs outside, Zhao Rin said in a cold tone, I thought you said we didn't know each other well, what's it to you what I eat? Hearing Zhao Rin's question, Lu Ruyan's heart was suddenly relieved that this big lady's temper was back, love to eat or not eat? A polite comment and you're still serious. Zhao Rin lightly glanced at Lu Ruyan, the look was as if she was looking at a fool. After saying that, Zhao Rin directly turned around and walked straight to the Shaxian Hotel. There was no way, as an ordinary person. The duck leg rice plus bean skin from the San County Hotel. YYDS. AI AI AI. I'll eat I'll eat. Seeing Zhao Rin directly flip her face, Lu Ruyan was dumbfounded and hurriedly followed up. Softening. Boss, I'll have a duck leg rice with a bean skin. At this time of the day, there weren't many dining customers in the store, but more yellow robed and blue robed little brothers. So Zhao Rin quickly got his duck leg rice with a piece of bean skin on top. Where's mine? Watching Zhao Rin eating to himself. Lu Ruyan also couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of water, feeling the revolt of the five organs, and sat down opposite Zhao Rin to ask, Do you want to eat what you want to order yourself? What are you saying to me? Zhao Rin was pinching and eating a duck leg with his left hand with great relish. Sniffing, he glanced at Lu Ruyan and said in disgust, That's right, you don't see these. Old, Rin, you've become so strange. You weren't like this before. Seeing Zhao Rin's eyes, Lu Ruyan still changed her words, feeling a little aggrieved. What? What's this? I treat you the way you treat me and you don't like it? Eat what you like. Don't eat and get out. Zhao Rin laughed. And don't look for me when you pay for what you ordered. There's no obligation. Without that obligation? Hearing those words, Ruyan Lu's heart hurt even more. Boss, have a fish scent shredded pork covered rice. Mildly spicy. Pack it. Just as Lu Ruyan's heart was aching, Zhao Rin suddenly put down his chopsticks and turned around to shout towards the boss who was busy in the back kitchen. Okay. The boss sniffed and happily answered, I can't eat spicy, can I not put spicy? Hearing Zhao Rin shouting, Lu Ruyan thought that the other party this is called for himself, his heart was not happy, knowing that I can't eat spicy, at this time also want to straighten me out, couldn't help but skimming his lips, are you deaf? You can order whatever you want yourself, I ordered this for Changle, she's not feeling well. Zhao Rin was speechless, was this woman spoiled? Changle, the one from the hospital in the morning, Zhao Rin. You 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 you, how can you bring food to other girls? When Lu Ruyan heard this, she was instantly agitated. No, how come I'm not allowed to bring food to other girls? Who are you to me? Zhao Rin took out her cell phone and scanned the code for herself, paying for two meals. Then she put down a sentence, picked up her punching bag, and left, leaving Lu Ruyan sitting motionless with a bleak glance. Until Zhao Rin's back disappeared, she reacted and hurriedly chased after her. Whom? Not eating? Looking at the time that had come to 16, 30, seeing Lu Ruyan walking over, Zhao Rin, who was waiting for the elevator, was a bit surprised and said, no more food, all pissed off and full, Lu Ruyan said with a puff of anger, oh, whatever then, he said, and walked straight into the elevator, I'm going too, Ruyan Lu beamed and said, also following on the spot, watching the other party enter the sedan chair, Zhao Rin didn't say anything and just silently pressed the number 5 button. Along with the slow closing of the elevator doors, the atmosphere in the car slowly began to become subtle, and Zhao Rin couldn't help but rub his nose with his fingers. Fortunately, this time of the day is not yet the peak of the off-duty elevator. It did not take long for the fifth floor to arrive. Zhao Rin carried the food and walked along the stairs to the door of the room, and was about to knock on the door, but he didn't expect the entry door to open on its own, and it turned out to be Li Changle who had heard the commotion and opened the door on her own accord. Zhao Rin, you're here. Although she had slightly regained some energy after sleeping for the afternoon, Li Changle's pretty little face was still pale, looking like a sickly beauty. Come on, here's some rice for you. Zhao Rin pointed to the fish-flavored shredded pork-covered rice in her hand and said with a smile, Come in first. Li Changle took a step back to make room, with a hint of an inexplicable smile on his face, and was about to say something else when he saw Lu Ruyan following closely behind him. 
then the smile instantly froze on his face. Lu Ruyan likewise did not give in. A pair of watery eyes looked straight at each other. Her face was even more jealous. Her rosy little mouth tootled so high that it could hang a gourd. Zhao Rin, what are you guys? At this moment, the displeasure in the heart of Li Changle, who had been single for many years in her mother's womb, grew stronger. What else could it be? Come over and beg me to get back together. Zhao Rin said indifferently. Come, you guys come in first. When Li Changle heard this, his heart was delighted and he hurriedly said, No need, the two of us still have things to do. Miss sister, you take your time to eat. Zhao Rin hadn't even said anything yet. Lu Ruyan suddenly took the initiative to reach out and pulled Zhao Rin's empty left hand and said with a smile, All right then, come play sometime. Li Changle glanced at Lu Ruyan and said, How could she not see Zhao Rin's explicit and implicit resistance to Ruyan Lu? And look deeply at the hands the two were holding. It seems like Zhao Rin was holding me like this in the morning. Li Changle's heart suddenly popped up. No, what's wrong with me? Li Changle was a bit shocked at her own thoughts, which was a strange thought for her who was single by motherhood. Ruyan Lu, what are you doing? Can I talk to someone else for a few more minutes? At the entrance of the stairs, Zhao Rin shook off Lu Ruyan's hand and said with a frown, Ah Rin, angry at me you have also been angry. Why do you still want to torture me? Lu Ruyan said her eyes were red. Those who didn't know thought that she had suffered a great deal of aggression. Isn't it uncomfortable? I felt the same way every time you left me behind to find Lin Ming. Zhao Rin mocked. Do you have any idea how I lived back then? You were at least able to lash out at me. What about me? Who do I lash out at? As soon as these words came out, Ruyan Lu instantly shut her mouth. The shame within her made it impossible for her to say any more retorting words. Just then, her cell phone rang, and it turned out to be Lin Ming arriving. You go down first, there's a barbecue stand down there. Just order something to eat, let him drink some wine, just don't get drunk. The main thing came, Zhao Rin was instantly energized. He wanted to clean up this bastard Lin Ming once and for all, to give the original owner an outlet. You're asking me, to drink with him? After hearing Zhao Rin's words, Lu Ruyan instantly froze in surprise. What? It didn't feel wrong to abandon me at the engagement party, and it didn't feel wrong to leave me to find him and spend the night. Now it feels wrong? Zhao Rin grinned and said in a conspiratorial manner. I, I'll go. Ruyan Lu was speechless and could only choose to accept it silently. Soon, Ruyan Lu went downstairs and after meeting up with Lin Ming, she went to a barbecue stand while Rin Zhao watched from behind 201's window. I do not know what the two people said. I saw Lin Ming actually took the initiative to open a bottle of snowflakes, three times, to the bottle to blow. Good fellow, you're quite hardworking for the sake of acting. Zhao Rin stood behind the window of the balcony and sneered. As the sky was gradually enveloped by night, Lin Ming had a few more bottles of wine at his feet. It's about time. Anticipation appeared in Zhao Rin's eyes. TSK, 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 I say Lu Ruyan, you can ah, I'm just on duty and you're drinking with strange men? Just as Lu Ruyan and Lin Ming were sitting at the barbecue stand talking about things, Zhao Rin quietly arrived and deliberately said the above. Rin, I, Lu Ruyan sniffed. Her face showed surprise. Wasn't it you who told me to come over? Why are you still blaming me? Taking advantage of Lu Ruyan's days, Zhao Rin continued to add fuel to the fire. Surname Lin, do you have any shame? Why are you staring at other people's wives every day? Don't think that I wouldn't dare to beat you up if you look like the Durian country demoness. As soon as Zhao Rin's words came out, they immediately caught the attention of the next few tables of guests who were waiting for the barbecue, and everyone turned their attention to the table of Lu Ruyan. Rin, don't be like this, you sit down first. Feeling the gazes of the people around her, Lu Ruyan felt her face burning hot. She couldn't help but tug on Zhao Rin's pants and muttered in a small voice. The gazes of the people around her made her somewhat afraid to raise her head. What? Speaking up for this pseudo-maiden ah, heartbroken? Zhao Rin sneered. How does it feel to be publicly humiliated in public like this? You can't stand it after just one time. Ha! Huh? Along with Zhao Rin getting more and more agitated as she spoke, Lu Ruyan's head lowered even shorter, and she was even more choked up that she couldn't even speak. At that moment, Lin Ming, who had been sitting on the side drinking several bottles of horse urine, suddenly spoke up. Brother Rin, you can insult me. You don't insult Ruyan. She is my good friend, the very good kind. As the saying goes, wine strengthens one's courage. Under the double stimulation of Zhao Rin's continuous cynicism as well as alcohol, Lin Ming, who already had some mischievous attempts on Ruyan Lu, stood up at this moment and opened his mouth. Ha, insult you? You're less likely to put gold on your own face. With the look of this little white girl who can't even be considered a pseudo maiden, you also deserve the word insult. You're insulting the word insult. Hearing Lin Ming open his mouth, 
Zhao Rain finally breathed a sigh of relief inwardly, he had said so much nonsense just to irritate the other party, if this protagonist child didn't play along, all of this would be for nothing. Lin Ming, shut up. Lu Ruyan, who was silently enduring Zhao Rin's yin and yang, saw that Lin Ming actually took the initiative to open his mouth and hurriedly told him to shut up, lest he add fuel to the fire and make things worse. Ruyan, what are you afraid of? Even though he was at fault first, but putting aside the facts, isn't he at fault? A boyfriend who can't always sympathize with a girl and think from her point of view, is he worthy of a lifetime together? Worthy of being a green tea with a handle? The moment Lin Ming opened his mouth, he brought his own PUA attributes with him. The moment these words came out, whether it was Lu Ruyan, Zhao Rin or the surrounding tables that had dropped their attention on this side of the eating crowd, all of them were stunned, so it could be seen that these words had a great power to kill. Fine, fine, Lin Ming, you're actually saying I'm at fault. I've suffered a lot of grievances. At the engagement banquet, in public, she left me because of you, a bastard, and left, letting me lose face, and this is actually still my fault? Zhao Rin in his heart was very pleased, finally forced Lin Ming to this step, but on the surface he made a look of anger and smiled back and said, Zhao Rin, as a man, can't you have a bigger pattern? I had a car accident, it's normal for Ruyan to come and take care of me. Since the words had come to this point and had already torn his face apart, Lin Ming also broke down and said without any shame, Pattern, Gnome Bureau, according to your argument, I in your wedding night, in front of your face, you wife, to a line, brother, you this body bone cannot, I take over for you, you pattern bigger, okay? Said here, Zhao Rin also cannot help but bring some emotions, set out words although brown, but inside the reason is not brown. Zhao Rin, you, you're going too far, can this be the same? Lin Ming was choked by Zhao Rin's words and couldn't say anything else in rebuttal, so he could only colorfully say, what's different about it, tell me instead. Zhao Rin grinned, and a lurid gleam began to shine in his eyes. Rin, stop it. This matter is I'm sorry for you. I won't see him again in the future. Let's go back first. Okay. Seeing the two of them face each other, coupled with the surrounding people's strange gazes, Lu Ruyan's shame at the moment. At this time she deeply understood that what she did that day for Zhao Rin. What a great shame. What? You're fucking still sorry? Zhao Rin actually keyed in on the words at this moment, confusing the concept. No no. I didn't apologize to you. The two of us are innocent. Hearing this, Ruyan Lu completely panicked. Not realizing in the slightest that Zhao Rin was stealing concepts, she hurriedly stood up and denied it. Never mind. It seems that the sissy still has an advantage. I didn't expect ah, this kind of pseudopussy with no money and no ability. I would actually lose to him. But this kind of lousy person who can cheat people. In the future you wipe your eyes to see clearly. Who had a car accident and hurt his bones for two or three days can drink. Zhao Rin's face showed a heartbroken expression, and with tears in her eyes, she glanced at Lu Ruyan and opened her mouth to warn, then turned around, intending to leave. At this moment, seeing his lies were broken, the alcohol addled Lin Ming, under Zhao Rin's continued humiliation, as well as under the stimulation of the last five words, no money, no ability, stood up and looked fiercely at Zhao Rin and said, who says I have no money, no ability, I earned twenty thousand dollars in one afternoon, ha ha, made twenty thousand dollars you made twenty zero 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 dollars by sleeping with a rich woman that's not bad at all how's that the taste of a happy steel wire ball is great right Zhao rin taunted and intentionally increased his voice to make sure everyone could hear it clearly you're slandering and envying me for earning more in one afternoon than you do in a month's salary lin ming said with a trembling body then what do you see here Zhao rin pulled out his cell phone he had been prepared for anything and the phone stayed on the picture's screen finally the photo became the last straw that crushed Lin Ming's sanity, and he violently copied the bottle and smashed it towards Zhao Rin's head. Bang sound, the beer bottle hit Zhao Rin's head, accompanied by a sharp pain. Zhao Rin's mind only left a thought. Ah oh, finally hooked. Then both eyes went black and fainted. Hubby, hubby, Lu Ruyan witnessed all of this happening, watched Zhao Rin being knocked out on the ground by a bottle. A hole was smashed out of his brain, blood was flowing out, soon flowing on the ground. She hurriedly came up and called out Zhao Rin's name, feeling an endless sense of remorse, and at this moment, along with this sound of a broken beer bottle, Lin Ming was suddenly covered in a cold sweat, instantly sobered up, looking at the half of the beer bottle in his hand, he also froze, he actually committed murder and hurt people in public, before anyone could react, Lin Ming was about to run away when he saw the woman he had met at the hospital in the morning appear in front of him, I'm a police officer, put down your weapon and crouch down with your hands on your head. Li Changle, who appeared at an unknown time, 
Although her face was pale, she still chose to fulfill her duty. Her left hand cupped her ID and her right hand held up her gun as she opened her mouth. I'm going to fuck you. Not knowing what Win Lin Ming had drawn, he actually threw the half-empty beer bottle in his hand towards Li Changle, only to have Li Changle's head tilt and give it a dodge. At this time, the crowd of onlookers reacted. A few big men surrounded. Three times, Lin Ming hands and feet control, with his feet on the ground. When Zhao Rin woke up, it was already noon the next day. Lu father and mother, as well as Lu Ruyan, as well as his best friend Zhang Lei, the four of them were gathered around the bedside looking at him with a worried face, especially Ruyan Lu. Her look was haggard, her eyes were red, and she looked as if she had just cried. A Rin how are you feeling? Zhang Lei's reaction was the fastest, immediately asking with concern. Hiss, my head hurts and I'm very dizzy. Zhao Rin shook his head slightly and opened his mouth, and before he could even finish his words, he saw Zhao Rin's face turn white and began to violently dry heave, frightening Zhang Lei to hurriedly raise the trash can on the ground in front of him. Honey, honey, how are you feeling? I'll call the doctor right away. Seeing Zhao Rin's head wrapped in bandages and his face pale with pain, Lu Ruyan was unbearable and hurriedly came over to him wanting to reach out and pat Zhao Rin's back to help him smooth out his breath. You, don't touch, you, me. Surprisingly, Zhao Rin finished her sentence in front of Mother Lu's mother, Lu Ruyan's mother, as she knocked her hand away accompanied by the obvious sound of vomiting. Seeing this, Mother Lu gave Father Lu a wink, and then moved up herself, gently patting the others back with her hand. It was only after a long time that Zhao Rin stopped vomiting, his face was like gold paper, and his entire body was paralyzed with weakness. Thank you auntie, Zhao Rin, who had slowed down, looked at Mother Lu's concerned face and took the initiative to speak. It's all our own people, get some rest, you'll soon be discharged from the hospital. A trace of heartache flashed in Mother Lu's eyes, then she softly said, Right, 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 you take a good rest and don't think too much about anything else. Father Lu also hurriedly responded, at the same time not forgetting to glance towards his own incompetent daughter, who was really getting pissed off by her. Just then, the sound of the door opening came from the doorway, and then he watched the uniformed Lee Changle walk in, with a camcorder hanging from his chest and a black notebook in his hand. Looking at this formation, it was to record a confession. Zhao Rin, how are you feeling? Looking at Zhao Rin, who was reclining on the hospital bed in a half-lying form, with gauze tied around her head, Li Changle felt very distressed, but she was in a position of duty, so it was inconvenient for her to ask too much. What are you doing over here? Before Zhao Rin could answer, Lu Ruyan couldn't help but snatch her words first. I'm here to make a statement. Li Changle glanced at Lu Ruyan in surprise. She couldn't believe that a normal person wouldn't even be able to see the uniform and camcorder. It was clear that there was something else going on. However, she didn't choose to reveal it, but said in a formulaic manner, What are you doing? Don't disturb the police comrades from taking evidence. Seeing this, Lu's father, who often dealt with people, immediately pulled Lu Ruyan and falsely scolded a few times before apologizing to Li Changle. It's fine. Please make way. I want to give a statement to the person in question. Li Changle nodded. This small matter was not something she was up to. Soon, Li Changdel turned on the camcorder pinned to his chest, spread out his notebook, and began to make a statement. She asked. He answered. And the pulse of the whole thing was clarified. In the process, Zhou Rin's dry heaves returned, and the camcorder recorded it all tangibly. Well, you get some rest. I'm going back to the office. Li Changdel finished speaking and reached out to turn off the camcorder. Comrade, Changdel, Mother Lu and Zhao Rin's voices sounded at the same time, and both of them looked at each other with some surprise. Something wrong? Obstructed by the occasion and his current public status, Li Changle didn't show too much enthusiasm towards Zhao Rin, keeping a calm tone as he spoke. Lin Ming, aka the criminal, to what extent can he be guilty? Zhao Rin asked. Since he wasn't very familiar with the law, he needed to get a general idea. Armed assault, resisting arrest, assaulting a police officer, and the rest to the court. I've already handed over the surveillance video under the apartment building to the office. All right, you rest first. I'll send you a v-mail if there's any new news. Li Changle glanced at him and smiled, then turned to leave. Rin, what's your relationship with this officer? Why does she have your v-mail? The sensitive mother Lu immediately sensed something was wrong and couldn't help but open her mouth to question. Uncle Lu, aren't you guys getting the focus wrong here? Zhang Lei, who had been sitting on the sidelines, sniffed and was instantly displeased. Lei Zi, it's fine. You go back and rest. Don't delay your work to earn money. Seeing this, Zhao Rin hurriedly opened his mouth and stopped the other party from speaking further. After all, this was his personal matter, and he didn't want to cause unnecessary trouble to the people around him. Rinzi, 
Zhang Lei sniffed and wanted to say something more, but was stopped by a look from Zhao Rin. Don't miss things because of me. It's not just a scoop. It'll be fine after a few days of feeding. Just like that. Under Zhao Rin's dissuasion, Zhang Lei reluctantly left. Rin, tell me honestly, why do you know the policewoman from earlier? Now that it was just the four of them present, Mother Rio simply spoke bluntly. I'm looking for a job as an apartment manager right now. And then she's a tenant of the apartment. And that's how we met. Zhao Rin explained lightly. When did you get a job? Don't care about the company anymore? At those words, Father Lu was dumbfounded. When did Zhao Rin quit his job? How did he not know? The day after the engagement party, I put the key to the villa, and the key to A4, and a few other things, all in a filing bag and gave it to MS. Willow, she didn't give it to you guys? Hearing this, Zhao Rin was a bit surprised. He thought that father and mother Lu had already known about it. Rin, I was wrong. Can we start over again? I will definitely listen to you from now on. Don't leave me, okay? Now that there were no outsiders in the hospital room, Ruyan Lu couldn't hold back her emotions any longer and sat on Zhao Rin's bedside, choking back tears. Ruyan, I'm really tired. Zhao Rin barely revealed a hint of a smile and said, After the engagement banquet, I thought about it for a long time, and I'm really climbing high. Your family has a lot of money and I have nothing, so it's not strange for you, Ruyan, to develop the idea of a benefactor. I didn't. Rin, I really only treat Lin Ming as a good friend. There's nothing between me and him, believe me. Lu Ruyan said eagerly with tears in her eyes. I believe you. Zhao Rin nodded and said softly. So this is you forgiving me? Lu Ruyan sniffed and immediately cried out in joy. Lu father and mother who stood behind her also breathed a sigh of relief. As long as Zhao Rin could forgive his own precious daughter, there was still a chance for everything, and he could be compensated slowly. Because the matter of the engagement banquet, it is true that it was done too unethically. They themselves do not have the face to mention it again. Just because I believe you doesn't mean I'll forgive you. But no matter what, we're still friends, aren't we? Zhao Rin's words changed as she spoke. Ugh. Hearing this big gasp of speech, Father Lu shook his head helplessly. It looked like Zhao Rin had been hurt too deeply. Okay, hubby, there are still things to do with the company. Let's go back to the company first. It's fine to have Ruyan accompany us here. In the end, it was still Mother Lu who had reacted. She immediately opened her mouth to break this awkward scene. Oh, right, right, right. Let's go first. Ruyan, take care of your husband. Father Lu looked at the wink that Mother Lu gave herself and immediately understood. So the two of them hurriedly slipped away, giving the space of this single ward to the two of them. As for Zhao Rin, he also saw through it and didn't say anything, because the current state of his body really didn't quite allow him to look deeply into these things anymore. His head was dizzy. I didn't realize that Lin Ming, this pseudo motherfucker's hand was quite heavy, and his brain was still dizzy now, and would still hurt from time to time. At that moment, the door opened with a creak. The nurse on duty outside came in, pushing a wheelchair in her hand. Patient Zhao Rin. The doctor has prescribed tests and now he needs to go for a brain CT. The masked nurse said softly. Thank you nurse, I will push my husband there. Ruyan Lu gave the nurse a hostile look. Okay, here's where the CT room is. The nurse felt a bit puzzled. So she nodded, placed the examination guideline sheet in her pocket on the wheelchair and instructed. Then turned to leave. Ruyan, why are you being so bitter? Zhao Rin said somewhat breathlessly. From now on, I will do my duty and obligation as a wife and do my part as a wife. Lu Ruyan looked deeply at Zhao Rin. Her ebony eyes just looked straight at Zhao Rin and said in a jar, her eyes looking very guilty. Bring me my cell phone for a second. The two buffs, dizziness and headache, were stacked on top of each other, making Zhao Rin look breathless at the moment. Good. Lu Ruyan nodded and handed the cell phone that was on the nightstand to Zhao Rin, unlocking it and finding Hua Qingxuan's chat history. Zhao Rin was just about to send her a voice message when he saw the screen light up and Hua Qingxian actually dumped a video directly over. Zhao Rin froze and chose to connect, just in time to explain the situation to her. How are you feeling? As soon as he connected, Zhao Rin saw Hua Qingxian on the screen with red eyes, looking like she had just cried, and opened her mouth to inquire towards herself. It's fine. It hasn't opened up yet. Zhao Rin sniffed and said with a forced smile. What time is it? And you're still in the mood to joke around? Hua Qingxian looked at the three layers inside and outside of Zhao Rin's head and said with great heartache, It's fine. I'll be fine after a few days of recuperating in the hospital. Zhao Rin said in an attempt to ease the other party's anxiety, and deliberately put on a relaxed face. It's just the apartment thing. I'm afraid I'm going to be delayed for the next few days. It's okay. I don't have much to do at school these days. I'll just watch myself for a few days while you recuperate. Hua Qingxian said as she looked at Zhao Rin's pale face, her mood also very heavy. 
Thank you sister for your concern, I will take care of my husband. Right at this moment, Ruyin Lu's voice suddenly rang out. The meaning revealed between her words was clearly a declaration of sovereignty. As soon as these words came out, Huo Qingxin froze, and then Zhao Rin watched through the screen as her face clouded over at a speed visible to the naked eye. Even through the screen, Zhao Rin could feel a murderous aura emanating from the other party's body if nothing else. She likes me? Zhao Rin's mind unexpectedly popped up such a thought, and then immediately rejected by him. This is one of life's three major illusion ah, not Xing have. Xing Xian, don't listen to her nonsense, I'm not her husband. Accompanied by Zhao Rin's words, Lu Ruyin's expression was bleak, as if she were a frosted eggplant with a wan look. Huo Qing Xian, on the other hand, revealed a smile and hung up the video after exchanging a few pleasantries. Hubby, how on earth can you forgive me? Lin Ming and I are really innocent. As Ruyin Lu spoke, her eyes reddened and she almost even shed tears. There's no such thing as forgiving or not forgiving. We both need time to revisit this relationship. Let's get along as friends for now, okay? Zhao Rin shook her head slightly in response. Well then, since you said so, I'll follow you, but I will never give up on you. Ruyin Lu nodded her head and said with a firm resolve. Seeing this, Zhao Lin didn't respond, just silently braced himself and stood up from the hospital bed before sitting on his butt in the wheelchair. Naturally, Lu Ruyin could also see Zhao Rin's meaning and didn't say anything, pushing Zhao Rin towards the CT room. Half an hour later, after the CT was taken, Lu Ruyin pushed Zhao Rin back to the floor where the ward was located. Along with the elevator door opening, Zhao Rin's line of sight landed on the doorway of the ward not far away, and under the sunlight, a footprint was revealed. Looking again, at the cleaning ant who was pushing a cleaning cart past, Zhao Rin had already guessed a few things. Buy me a bottle of water. Coming out from inside the elevator, Zhao Rin pointed to the ATM placed on the side of the nurse's station and said, Okay, you wait. Lu Ruyin sniffed and thought that Zhao Rin was thirsty, and quickly swept a bottle of mineral water with her cell phone and brought it to Zhao Rin. The two of them returned to the hospital room, and when they saw the scene in the room, Lu Ruyin was stunned, and her expression instantly froze on her face. As for Zhao Rin, it was as if he was possessed by a movie star, and his expression, which was still quite calm, instantly turned into anger. Lin Ming, you asshole, you still have the face to come? As he spoke, the unopened bottle of mineral water in Zhao Rin's hand was directly flung out by him, and very accurately smashed at Lin Ming's feet. This move was undoubtedly telling the other party that it was impossible to let this matter rest. Of course, this was also Zhao Rin's deliberate action. He also wanted to smash the mineral water directly on the other party's head, but in this case, it was tantamount to a mutual assault, and all the preliminaries would be completely null and void, which is why he chose to smash it on the other party's feet, but did not touch the other party's body, and gave the other party an opportunity to give him a downward spiral. With a bang, the mineral water bottle landed heavily at Lin Ming's feet, and the sudden sound made his entire body involuntarily sway. Brother Rin, I came to see how your injuries are. Rin Ming said with a trembling body, if someone who didn't know saw his pitiful appearance, they would definitely feel pity, and then it would be another moral kidnapping drama. Weasels pay homage to chickens, right? Zhao Rin glanced at him and snorted coldly. Zhao Rin, it's like this, the suspect wants to make a private settlement with you, hoping that the case can be mediated away. At this time, Li Changle, who was in charge of the case, said formulaically, and after a day's rest, her face had recovered a bit. Comrade police officer, this is my latest brain CT report. I refuse mediation and compensation. Since I've broken the law, I have to pay accordingly. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin said while taking out the CT paper report sheet that he had put in his pocket. Rin, I'm wrong, I'm really wrong. How much did you say? I'll compensate you like an ox. Take pity on me as an orphan. I don't want to go to jail. Hearing Zhao Rin refuse to mediate, Lin Ming immediately flung himself on his knees in front of Zhao Rin begging bitterly with snot and tears, that lowly appearance, looking at Zhao Rin in a happy mood, it was not in vain that he acted for such a long time, it's not a matter of money, as an adult, you have to take responsibility for the things you've done and pay for the things you've done wrong, Zhao Rin lowered her head and looked at Lin Ming, who was kneeling on the ground, and said in an icy tone, there are some things that since you dare to do them, you have to be ready to take the corresponding responsibility, accompanied by this double entendre, Zhao Rin obviously felt the wheelchair under his buttocks shook. Obviously Lu Ruyin also heard the meaning of the words, the effect he wanted to achieve. Given Zhao Rin's resolute attitude, coupled with Lin Ming's resisting arrest, assaulting a police officer, and the combination of several offenses, the joy of 10 years of national rice, the sewing machine is stepping on smoke, because it wasn't a major case. 
Li Changdel didn't notify Zhao Rin to attend and testify in court, but only told him the final verdict. Lin Ming went to prison for 10 years, after 10 years out, is also a waste of time. Zhao Rin will rest the phone screen leaning on the hospital bed said, the original owner of this breath, he gave, out of the sound kind. However, Li Changdel was a bit surprised by this maneuver. The process seemed to be progressing a bit fast, but this doubt didn't last too long and was put behind him, because he was going to be discharged from the hospital. After being discharged from the hospital, Zhao Rin didn't tell anyone, and after going through the discharge procedures by herself, with a small bag in her hand, she took the elevator and walked out of the hospitalization department. As soon as he went downstairs, he had only just walked to the hospital's parking lot when he saw the Audi parked in front of him. Looking at the deep black body and the imposing body, Zhao Rin knew that this was Hu Qingxian driving her Huoshi out. As expected, Zhao Rin's mind had only just popped up with this thought when he saw the main driver's window come down, revealing Hu Qingxuan's perfect face that was so beautiful. As my employee, how can you not notify me of something like you being discharged from the hospital? You're the one who hurt your head. Hu Qingxian looked at Zhao Rin, who she hadn't seen in days, and said with a deliberate frown, Hey, I'm just A.A. Brown. It's not like it's anything. Zhao Rin smiled. It seems that this Li Changdel and Hua Qingxuan's relationship between the two isn't generally good ah. Hua Qingxian can actually know when she was discharged from the hospital. After all, as the organizing magistrate of the case, she was aware of Zhao Rin's recent situation. Let's go. Ah Brown, just in time now that the morning rush hour has passed. Hua Qingxian said with a smile. Yeah. Zhao Rin nods and is about to pull open the car door when he sees a white paramara just straight across in front of Hua Qingxuan's Huashi. Luckily the parking lot is big enough and it's a relatively corner location, which didn't cause any blockage in the parking lot. Hubby, why didn't you tell me that you were discharged from the hospital today? Before Zhao Rin could say anything, Lu Ruyan opened the car door and walked out, puffing towards him. If it wasn't for the fact that he had secretly bound the medical card a few days ago, he was afraid that he would be in the dark and wouldn't even know that the person had left. Don't you have things to do in your company? This little matter of mine can't delay making money. Zhao Rin said calmly, besides, I'm not your husband, it's not quite appropriate. Simple words, concise, but full of rejection. Listening to Lu Ruyan heart a burst of powerlessness. All right, Rin, get in the car. Hua Qingxian is still leaning on the driver's seat. She doesn't get out of the car. Her face has sunglasses so big that they cover half of her face. Just like this, she looks at Lu Ruyan not far away through the lenses, and says indifferently, who doesn't know what she's thinking at this moment? Don't leave. Rin, go back to me don't want all that luggage of yours, I'll buy you all new ones. Hearing this, Lu Ruyan was anxious. If Zhao Rin really obediently went with Hua Qingxian, wouldn't it mean that she, the queen mother, lost to Hua Qingxian, the junior later? Go back? Back where? That's not my home. Zhao Rin asked rhetorically. Besides, I've already resigned. So it seems like you don't have the power to make decisions for me in public and private. This sister, between you and Arin, it's over. Even though you used to have enviable memories and experiences, it's in the past. Seeing that Lu Ruyan still looks like she's pulling her weight, Hua Qingxian simply gets out of the car, strides her own long legs to the side of the duo, and opens her mouth. This is between me and him. It has nothing to do with you. Hearing this, Lu Ruyan inclined her head and said viciously those eyes looked itching to break Hua Qingxian into pieces. Rin, he doesn't like you anymore. Can't you be a little more self-aware and save yourself some decency? Do you have to break the ice? After Hua Qingxian finished speaking, she felt her face getting a little hot, and couldn't help but sneak a glance at Zhao Rin with her afterglow, realizing that the other party didn't object to her meaning, and only then did she feel relieved. What are you doing? Being snatched by Hua Qingxian for a while, how had Lu Ruyan, who had been arrogant since she was a child, ever experienced such an experience, raised her right hand and wanted to give Hua Qingxian a big force sinus on the spot, but was stopped by Zhao Rin, who was quick on her feet and quick on her eyes. What are you doing? Zhao Rin held Lu Ruyan's right hand that was raised in midair and chided. Do you know that you're prone to getting into trouble like this? I'm not who you are. What business is it of yours if I get into trouble? Lu Ruyan was very stubborn and said, I don't want you to care. Woo woo woo. After saying that, she could no longer hold down her inner aggression and cried out. Originally a Hoshi, a Paramila, the same million level of luxury cars, it is easy to attract attention. Plus two weekdays are rare super beautiful. The most important thing is that the two people in the middle of the man stood in a few dozen roadside stall clothes. This kind of suspicion of two women fighting for their husbands in the TV drama picture, appeared in reality, naturally had to become the focus of the crowd. Wow, what is this kid capable of? Two rich white women are fighting to pick him up. Look at his posture. He should have just been discharged from the hospital. 
Passerbaya said. That's right, what's so great about this kid? Isn't he just a little taller than me? A little thinner than me? A little cleaner in the face than me? Am I not a good person? How come this kind of good thing can't be my turn? Passerby be said with great displeasure. Bro, AI winter melon and lunar surface fit you. Hearing this, the onlookers couldn't help but say as they looked at the 16160 square and the large faceplate that resembled the surface of the moon. This is the two women competing for the husband. This Paramila, this was she, met the rich woman, not only can stand and eat the soft rice, do not have to experience the happy steel wire ball of awesome, but also can let the rich woman so lowly. Awesome, awesome, soft rice hard to eat. I did not expect to see the real version of Chao De Hua. Today is really the right place. Well, there are more and more people now. You guys park the car first. Let's find a place with less people. Zhao Rin looked around. Not far away looking at them pointing at the melon eating crowd let him a burst of powerlessness. Can only softly comfort said. I, uh, you drive. Ruyin Lu said. Still sobbing. All right, you stand to the side. Seeing this, Zhao Rin directly nodded and then looked at Huo Qingxian. It's okay with me. Huo Qingxian responded. Then returned to the car and parked it back in the empty space. Go, there's a cafe nearby. After parking the car, in order to avoid unnecessary moths, Zhao Rin gritted his teeth and actually left the hospital in public, pulling the two women's soft rays. Really envious ah, even if Chao Dahua personally down. I'm afraid it's not as good as him. Soft rice hard to eat. Two rich women also so obedient to let him hold hands. This good thing how come it is not my turn? The surface of the moon just now spoke the common voice of the male compatriots present, but also heard the sound of their respective heartbreak. Near the hospital. Cafe XX. As soon as the three came in, they became the center of attention of this cafe. The male was tall and handsome. The female was white and beautiful. The super top face value attracted the attention of a crowd of male compatriots. And the most important thing was that this kind of rare and super big beauty appeared two at a time. How come this kind of good thing can't be my turn? A group of male compatriots who prided themselves on their successful careers looked at the female companion sitting across from them, and then looked at the two women, each of them gnashing their teeth in envy, itching to take Zhao Rin's place. What would you guys like to drink? Zhao Rin used her cell phone to scan the ordering code on the table and opened her mouth to ask, for these unobtrusive sites in the neighborhood directly chose to ignore. The two women had naturally long been accustomed to it because of their looks. Cappuccino bar, ice americano. The two women spoke at the same time. Good. Zhao Rin nodded, and then operated the order on his cell phone. Hubby, do I attract your dislike so much? Taking advantage of the fact that the waiter had not yet brought up the coffee, Ruyin Lu pursed her lips and asked with a very aggrieved expression. It's not smack. Ruyin. Zhao Rin glanced at Ruyin Lu. What I've already told you before. You didn't actually create troubles for yourself. Then why do you always reject me and treat me nonchalantly? Ruyin Lu pursued. Ruyin. Actually why I treat you like this cause you don't know. Zhao Rin sniffed. Suddenly a burst of powerlessness. The same words he seems to have spoken more than once. This Lu Ruyin is the skill points all points in the outside? How the brain a little memory no. I don't listen I don't listen. Upon hearing this, Ruyin Lu immediately covered her ears. Her head shaking like a rattle drum in an evasive manner. What's the point of this? While talking, the pickup number of Zhao Rin's pickup rang out at the pickup counter, and without bothering to say anything more, Zhao Rin took the initiative to stand up and walk to the pickup entrance. Hubby, why don't you drink? Looking at the cappuccino and iced americano placed on the tabletop, the two women froze, but only Lu Ruyin took the initiative to open her mouth, and Huo Qingxian was relatively subtle, but a few moments of doubt flashed within a pair of large eyes. Ruyin, it's best if you don't aggravate yourself anymore. It's really not appropriate between us. Hearing these words, Zhao Rin gave the other party a bashful glance and said, Ha! Huh? Zhao Rin spoke with such a big gasp, Lu Ruyin was directly confused. She didn't understand the relationship between the two at all. I never drink milk tea or coffee. Zhao Rin opened his mouth. He felt bad for the original owner. He didn't realize that Lu Ruyin had never paid attention. Me. The thousand words in Lu Ruyin's heart were so pale and powerless at this moment. She silently lowered her head. In the past, on dates between the two of them, it seemed like she had never focused on herself and paid attention to her own feelings. She had never cared about Zhao Rin's hobbies and feelings. Give each other space and time. For now we're still friends. Zhao Rin was too lazy to delve into the details, and said lightly, then tore open the outer packaging of the straw, and with a low boom sound, inserted the straw into the cup and handed it to Lu Ruyin. I know. Ruyin Lu looked so bloomy that she took her own iced Americano and took a sip. Yuck. Why is today's iced Americano so bitter? I'm going to complain about it. Rin, would you be a little too hurtful like this? When Ruyin Lu leaves, Huo Qingxian, 
who has been quietly sipping her cappuccino, passes her line of sight through the large floor-to-ceiling glass and looks at Ruyan Lu's back as she leaves alone, and she can't help but feel compassionate. Hurtful? You wouldn't have said that if you had known in detail about my past with her. Zhao Rin laughed and shook her head, saying that her current fruit was the cause she had planted before, and the bullet shot by her own hand had hit herself at this moment, accomplishing nothing more than closing a loop. Maybe. Hua Qingxian nods thoughtfully, let's go. You can go on duty. I can get a good night's sleep. The apartment bits and pieces and school stuff these past few days have given me a headache. Yeah. Zhao Rin was also in a hurry to get on the job. There was no way. Touching fish to get a paycheck was something that should be taken care of. So the two of them didn't stay any longer and returned to the parking lot together. Let's hope she can figure it out. Looking at the vacant parking space opposite was she. Zhao Rin said with some size. He could design Lin Ming to go in and step on the sewing machine. But he couldn't make any retaliatory moves against Lu Ruyan or else the original owner would definitely die with him, and the fusion of the two's minds and souls was already an unchangeable reality. I don't think so. Hua Qingxian smiled, then sat straight into the passenger side, her eyes falling on an inconspicuous corner where a white Primera was parked, although she couldn't see the license plate number. A woman's sixth sense told her that Ruyan Lu must be there. At those words, Zhao Rin inclined his head to look at the other party without responding much and started the vehicle to drive out of the hospital's parking lot. Pretending to be an idiot might not solve all problems, but at least it could avoid a lot of trouble. Zhao Rin, no matter where you go, I recognize you. In the past, you chased me and loved me. Now it's my turn to love you and chase you. I will definitely get you back. When Huashi left, the door of the white Primera opened, and Lu Ruyan got down from the driver's seat, looking at the black Huashi's increasingly distant rear end, and said with red eyes, the tear stains on her face indicating that she had cried not long ago. As it turns out, Hua Qingxian guessed correctly, Ruyan Lu was indeed there and stayed in the car, and Zhou Rin, who knew nothing about the matter, had arrived safely at the apartment. Brother Rin, have you considered starting a new relationship again next? After backing into the garage, Hua Qingxian unbuckled her seatbelt and put on an air of casual conversation, asking tentatively, a new romance? By the looks of it, Zhou Rin seemed a bit surprised by the other's question. Yeah, can't be a bachelor for the rest of your life, right? Looking at the other party's mute appearance, Hua Qingxian felt a slight sense of powerlessness in her heart. Let's talk about it. I haven't even gotten to the bottom of things with Rui and Lu yet. Zhao Rin shook his head and said, before the last relationship was completely over, blindly starting the next relationship in order to make up for what was missing inside was unfair to the current one. I see. Hua Qingxian nodded thoughtfully. She had already understood Zhao Rin's thoughts. Let's go. Didn't you just say that there are so many things for me to do? Zhao Rin didn't want to delve into this more personal topic, so he took the initiative to digress and said, Oh yes, there are several tenant responses that I haven't resolved yet, and it's just the right time to use you. Hua Qingxian slapped her head and opened her mouth. Ouch I go. This job is not good either. Standing at the edge of the water tower at the highest point on the roof of the building, Zhao Rin looked at the newly connected booster pump at the water outlet, wiped a handful of beads of sweat on his forehead, and complained. This afternoon, Zhao Rinquang dealt with it. There is no way. The water pressure is not enough. In order to solve the problem of water for himself and his tenants, adding a high power booster pump to the outlet of the water tower is the only solution. Back on the ninth floor, Hua Qingxian, who had heard the commotion, stood waiting at the door early and watched Zhao Rin come down, taking the initiative to hand over a cup of water. Gulp, 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 gulp. Zhao Rin was not polite. An afternoon consumed with working on the roof of the building making him feel that his throat was so dry that it was about to smoke, so he took the water and gave it to Dazzle in one gulp. Phew, comfortable. It must be said that Hua Qingxian was very well thought out and didn't use the almighty hot water, but instead took a cup of cool water. A cup of cool water went down, and Zhao Rin only felt penetratingly cool and his heart soared. Hard work, Hua Qingxian said with a sweet smile on her pretty face, although she could have paid for a plumber to come over and help with the installation. The fact that Zhao Rin volunteered did make her very happy. Go to the bathroom and use the lotus head to try to see if the water pressure is enough. Zhao Rin, who had slowed down, handed the cup back and said, If the water pressure is all normal, then I'll go downstairs. Yeah, wait. Upon hearing this, Hua Qingxian nodded, then turned around and entered the bathroom. In a few seconds, along with the sound of running water in the room, the roar of a high-powered booster pump came from the ceiling overhead. The water pressure is so great, so no worries about bathing. Soon after. Hua Qingxian ran out from inside and said excitedly, Okay, I'll go down first. Zhao Rin nodded, then turned around and walked down the stairs. 
The thing he wanted to do the most right now was to go to the Shasian Hotel on the first floor to eat a duck leg rice. He was really hungry. What do you want to eat? Pick whatever you want. It's on me. Soon, Zhao Rin met Hua Qingxian again in Shasian. Really? With such a nice boss lady, Zhou Rin was a little less accustomed to it. It has to be. Hua Qingxian nodded. Isn't this Xiao Xian? How is Shasian worthy of you? In case you get a bad stomach? Let's go. I'll take you to a three-star restaurant for dinner. Zhao Rin hadn't even said anything yet, when suddenly a slightly frivolous voice came from the entrance of the store, followed by a burst of footsteps, and the smile on Ho Qingxuan's face slowly disappears until it finally converges completely and vanishes completely. Did you forget to brush your teeth today? Lu Chuan, Huo Qingxian said as she turned around indifferently, her pretty face as cold as ice. It was obvious that Huo Qingxian hated this person called Lu Chuan in front of her. Brush your teeth for what? That's something people who need to get up in the morning need to do. I'm the one who sleeps until noon. What does brushing my teeth have to do with me? Lu Chuan hasn't heard the displeasure and mockery within Huo Qingxuan's words, but instead says smugly, Hey, didn't you get it? Qingxian said that your mouth stinks. Seeing the other party's dejected look, Zhao Rin simply said it straight. Who are you? Dare to control my business? Self-conscious little brother in front of a foreigner lost face. Lu Chuan got face. Instantly glue me down. He's my boyfriend. Right at this moment, Zhao Rin's sentence. I'm the apartment janitor she hired hadn't even been uttered yet. When Hua Qingxian suddenly took his arm very affectionately and opened her mouth. What? Boyfriend? Is that in the apartment manager's code? Zhao Rin froze as well. Watery on the surface. But in her heart, waves of shock had already risen. Boyfriend? Xiao Xian. Even if you perfume me, also please find a reliable it. You look at him this all over the ground floor goods together. For fear that even the price of my cufflinks cannot compare to it. Lu Chuan was initially stunned. But when he saw Zhao Rin's outfit, he immediately became contemptuous and opened his mouth to mock. Do you think anyone is like you? Uneducated. Only knowing how to lie on top of the house and live. Hua Qingxian said disdainfully. Now I have a boyfriend. Lu Chuan. Please don't even bother me anymore in the future. I wouldn't have liked you before. I won't like you now. And I won't like you even more in the end. I don't believe it. Isn't he just taller, whiter and more handsome than me? I'm rich. How can he possibly compare to me? Being counted down by Hua Qingxian for a while, Lu Chuan's face turns green for a while before he opens his mouth to respond. With a bark, the whole audience was dumbfounded. Hua Qingxian actually kissed Zhao Rin directly mouth to mouth in public. Feeling the flickering touch on her lips, Hua Qingxian actually blushed in shame. Do you believe it now? Hua Qingxian directly released a big move. Exasperated Lu Chuan was unable to speak for half a day, and finally left helplessly after a cold snort. Qingxian, who is this person? Why do you look as if you hate him so much? After the person had walked away, Zhao Rin still couldn't hold back her gossipy heart and took the initiative to speak up. He's the son of our village chief. His family has 10 buildings for rent. He can't read since he was a kid. And he only acts like a bully in the village every day. Hua Qingxian spat disdainfully, looking contemptuous. Oh oh oh. Just now, Zhao Rin was interrupted by Hua Qingxian before she could finish her sentence. What happened just now belongs to my personal behavior. I just want to get rid of this hateful cowlick. You mustn't take it to heart. And don't misunderstand. Hua Qingxian anxiously explains. Of course this face ah is still red. Understood. Zhao Rin nodded non-committally. This was the best. He could still feel the fish with peace of mind, seemingly sensing the awkwardness of the atmosphere. Hua Qingxian took the initiative to pay for the duck leg rice ordered by Zhao Rin before leaving with her own dinner. On the other hand, Lu Chuan, who had returned to himself, was throwing a tantrum in the living room, and the events of today had made him very angry. After a long time, one of his juniors suddenly brightened up, attached himself to his ear, and whispered a few words. Is what you said feasible? When Lu Chuan heard this, his eyebrows instantly went up, as if he was attracted by this statement from his little brother. Of course it's feasible. There are so many people out there doing this these days. The little brother nodded with conviction. All right, then I'll leave this matter to you. Money is not a problem. If you let me get what I want, the benefits won't be short of you. In the end, Lu Chuan, the spermatozoa guy, agreed with his little brother's statement and gave him a hit of money to let his little brother go and get things done. On Hua Qingxuan's side, unaware of the danger slowly descending upon her, her entire mental state is still immersed in the bold behavior she just achieved. Will he think less of me? Hua Qingxian complained bitterly as she looked at the empty computer screen. How could she have done this in her own hot-headedness? This is good. How can I meet people? In the next few days, Zhao Rin also completely entered the work state. Something to do. Nothing to touch the fish. Days of leisure. Since that day at the cafe, 
Ruyan Lu never appeared in his life, not even a phone call, not a single email message, which made Zhao Rin's life a lot easier. As for Huo Qingxian, from that day in front of that Lu Chuan face kissed his own mouth, played the disappearance, if not occasionally dealing with the upstairs tenants' complaints and maintenance, will flash, reimbursement of maintenance expenditures, Zhao Rin suspect that she is not a fairy, after half a month of comfortably living a happy day of groping for fish, perhaps the heavens couldn't stand to look at Zhao Rin's look of a mixed bag of food and waiting for death, and found him a little something to do, that afternoon, Zhao Rin was leaning back on the 201's living room couch taking a nap when his cell phone rang, and after looking at the caller ID, it turned out to be Mu Qingqing, whom, what is Lu Ruyan's best friend calling me for? Zhao Rin looked at the text jumping on the screen and was very puzzled inwardly, skipping Ruyan Lu as the intermediary. The friendship between the two didn't seem to be that deep. Zhao Rin's mind just turned, only delayed for a moment of work. The opposite side automatically hung up. Zhao Rin had just breathed a sigh of relief when his cell phone rang again. He had no choice but to pick it up. Ching Ching, what do you want to see me about? Zhao Rin picked up the phone and spoke. Rin, from what Ruyan said, you're working as an apartment janitor now? In the receiver, Mu Qingqing's voice was low, and her words seemed very tired and feeble. Yeah, what's wrong? Ching Ching, you don't seem to be very comfortable today. As soon as Zhao Rin heard this, she sensed something was wrong and couldn't help but speak up. Do you still have a house for rent in that apartment? Mu Qingqing continued, but this time her tone was quite a bit more normal. It was obvious that just now, in this gap of a few seconds, she had completed an emotional self-adjustment. Yes. Do you want to rent it? Hearing this, Zhao Rin told the truth even though she was very doubtful in her heart. Because, in his memory, he knew that Mu Qingqing's family situation is also very generous. Not dare to say that the great wealth, but at least compared to the general small people that is too good. Large area. For bedroom, parents have a career. Although compared to Lu Ruyan relatively poor, but still much higher than the end of many people. Then send me a location. I'll go over there now. When Mu Qingqing heard this, she immediately came in spirit and said, Okay, then I'll wait for you here. After saying that, Zhao Rin hung up the call and sent the apartment's localization through Vmail. Really can't understand these rich people. Put their own home so big and so comfortable house does not live, but also out to rent a house? It's really full of people who don't know how hungry they are. Zhao Rin looked at the chat interface between the two of them and shook his head. Sometimes these people's thoughts as an orphan he really couldn't understand. Looking at the positioning displayed on her cell phone, Mu Qingqing couldn't help but raise her head and look again at the four-bedroom apartment in front of her that seemed to belong to a mansion in the eyes of an ordinary person. Recalling her parents and her own brother's face, a drop of clear tears in her eyes crossed her eyes, and then she resolutely picked up her suitcase and left the place. Almost after an hour or so, Zhao Rin received a message from Mu Qingqing that she had already arrived in the neighborhood, but the suitcase was too heavy for her to pull, so she wanted to ask him for a favor to pull it. Seeing the message, Zhao Rin was even more strange. The suitcase couldn't be pulled. What kind of show is she singing? With doubts, Zhao Rin walked down the stairs, just circled out from the back door, and at a glance he saw Mu Qingqing who was quietly standing by the side of the road waiting. She is wearing a loose sportswear, with a duck tongue cap, high ponytail bunched behind her head. The breeze comes, but also swaying, her feet stepping on a pair of small white shoes, giving people a suffing feeling. The most important thing is that she also has a large 29-inch suitcase standing by her side. Now Zhao Ren somewhat understands why she wants to ask for her help. Such a large suitcase has to be pushed up the slope in front of Huo Qingxuan's apartment. It's really a bit difficult for girls with less strength. Hey, Qing Xian, hell, how did you become like this? Zhao Rin, who had taken the initiative to come up to him, had just opened his mouth to greet him, and the moment he saw Mu Qingqing, who had raised her head, he instantly screamed out, Zhao Rin, don't scream, let's go in first. Unlike the voice on the phone, at this moment, Mu Qingqing's voice was hoarse, and her words were filled with exhaustion and powerlessness, compared to the original glowing and elegant her. The current Mu Qingqing's face was haggard, her eyes were lifeless, her eye circles were dark, her face was bloodless, and she looked as if she was the dainty Lin Dayu in the Red Mansion. Ah, good, Zhao Rin responded, then pulled his suitcase and left. However, not more than a few steps out, he stopped where he was because there were no footsteps coming from behind him indicating that Mu Qingqing wasn't following, as expected. When Zhao Rin turned his head, he realized that Mu Qingqing was moving slowly and was pulled away from him by a large distance, as if the whole person had little strength. Seeing this, Zhao Rin pulled the suitcase back again and stood in front of her. Zhao Rin, you go up first. I'm just a bit tired. I'll catch up with you soon. Seeing Zhao Rin go and return, Mu Qingqing tried to explain, 
but was dumbfounded by Zhao Rin's next action. He only saw Zhao Rin switch the trolley case to his left hand, gently grabbed her thin wrist with his right hand, pushed the trolley case with one hand, and led Mu Qingqing up the small slope with the other. Seeing this scene, Mu Qingqing inwardly all kinds of tastes surged to her heart, can be said to be a hundred turns, finally all kinds of tastes faded away. Only left behind belongs to the young girl's share of shyness, he is so considerate ah, Qingqing, don't mistake me for taking advantage of you, this slope is a bit long, and if I don't pull you like this, I'm afraid you won't be able to get up. Only after walking all the way to the flat ground did Zhao Rin open his mouth to explain. This does not explain would have been able to ambiguously muddle through. This explanation, Zhao Rin felt wrong. Mu Qingqing how half a day no reaction, could not help but turn around. It so happened that at this time, two steps behind Zhao Rin Mu Qingqing is silently looking at Zhao Rin's back. The two of them looked at each other. The line of sight intersected in midair. Come come, she must have had a very tiring few days. Zhao Rin looked at the other party's tired eyes, and haggard face, Zhao Rin couldn't help but feel compassion, his eyes filled with heartache, and this scene was then sensitively captured by Mu Qingqing, he's so gentle, so considerate, recalling in her mind what Zhao Rin had just said, and overlaying Zhao Rin's unintentionally changing eyes just now, Mu Qingqing admitted that she had fallen, Qingqing, what kind of house are you planning to rent, do you have a budget, and this series of psychological changes, Zhao Rin knew nothing about it, Instead he opened his mouth and asked about renting an apartment, because there were still a few empty rooms inside this apartment, but it was afraid that it would be a bit difficult to find a suitable one for a while. I, I don't know. Zhao Rin's words pulled Mu Qingqing back from the world of fantasy. I've always lived at home except for the school dormitory where I lived when I was studying. Ah, uh, then which show are you singing about this big move? When Zhao Rin heard this, he froze and couldn't help but be nosy. My parents are planning to marry me off to one of their business partners in exchange for the growth of their business and my brother. Mu Qingqing had endured the whole journey and finally broke her defense at this time, only just arrived at the elevator. Zhao Rin asked. Mu Qingqing could no longer hold back her inner aggression and let out a cry. Well, my aunt yo, you can never cry. You cry. This upstairs people come and go tenants so much. Do not know that I thought I put you how it? Zhao Rin most cannot see a girl crying, hurriedly said. Who? Who is your aunt that? I'm so pretty, as expected, in a woman's list of concerns, the number one ranking is always age, and Mu Qingqing was no exception, immediately opening her mouth with tears and laughter, alright, alright, let's go to where I live first, I'll help you get it together, seeing the other party break into a smile, Zhao Rin was instantly filled with black lines and pulled her into the elevator, back in room 201, before anyone had even entered the room, Mu Qingqing's subsequent sentence caused the smile on Zhao Rin's face to freeze directly on his face, Zhao, Zhao Rin, I only have $1,000 on me. Looking at Zhao Rin pulling the suitcase in the front, Mu Qingqing pursed her lips and said the words that were suppressed in her heart. Qingqing, what happened? Why is it like this? I remember you had at least 15 W's saved up. Zhao Rin stopped and turned her head to ask, her tone looking surprised. How did you know I have so much money? Hearing Zhao Rin report such an accurate figure, Mu Qingqing was surprised. I overheard it earlier when I heard you and Ruyan Lu chatting. Zhao Rin smiled and explained, why has it become like this now, I I I, looking at Zhao Rin's caring look, Mu Qingqing felt very sweet in her heart and at the same time, there was also a slight panic, as to why she was flustered, she couldn't tell, probably because she didn't want to lose face in front of her beloved, come in first, seeing the other party's slightly flustered appearance, Zhao Rin didn't ask any more questions and opened his mouth to signal the other party to come in first, is this where your office is, Mu Qingqing, who had followed Zhao Rin into room 201, looked at the warm and cozy decor of the room and felt herself relaxing a lot, so she couldn't help but open her mouth and ask, yeah, I'm staying in the room inside, and outside there's a fitness area, a rest area, and a specialized office area, Zhao Rin introduced the various areas in the house roughly, then placed the trolley case to the side and led Mu Qingqing to the resting area, sit down, let's talk slowly, while saying that, Zhao Rin pointed at the sofa, good, hearing this, Mu Qingqing also stopped squirming and directly sat down on her butt, this way over, even though she was sitting in a car, she did get a little tired. After a brief chat, Zhao Rin had a rough understanding of Mu Qingqing's recent situation. One could only say that she was really unlucky to run into a pair of patriarchal parents who chose to sacrifice Mu Qingqing as their daughter for the sake of so-called benefits and their son's future. So what are you going to do next? You gave them all your savings over the years and quit your job. Regarding the other party's behavior of being so brave. Zhao Rin didn't know what vocabulary comment to use to evaluate it, and could only choose to digress. I don't know. Mu Qingqing thought for a moment and shook her head. 
Then what kind of job are you planning on getting? Mu Qingqing shook her head again. So are you going to just mix it up first? Mu Qingqing shook her head for the third time, asking three questions. This can be used directly for elementary school students to analyze his idioms. After Zhao Rin belabored him, he stood up. Come on, there are a few more rooms upstairs. Let me take you to take a look. Don't worry about the money. I'll advance it for you first. When you get paid then pay me back isn't it? Seeing the other party sitting on the sofa squirming, Zhao Rin immediately understood what was in her mind and opened her mouth. Really? At those words, Mu Qingqing suddenly raised her head, and a bright light began to appear in her confused eyes. True, truer than real gold. Zhao Rin nodded. But I don't know when I can pay you back. I don't even have a job now. Thinking of this, Mu Qingqing's tone lowered again, while her heart was a bit chagrined. Why did she quit her job in a hot-headed manner, making herself so embarrassed? It's only a few thousand dollars. It's not a big deal. If you think you can't pay it back, then you can give your body to me. In order to liven up the atmosphere, Zhao Rin suddenly joked. Ha, huh? Zhao Rin. You, hearing these words, Mu Qingqing immediately became alert and said with her hands shielding her chest in a very vigilant manner. While she admitted to liking each other a little bit, that didn't mean the duo was ready to have a little something up close or zero distance at this stage. I'm just kidding. You've known me for so long. When have I ever taken half a step beyond the thunder pool? Seeing the other party's nervous appearance, Zhao Rin couldn't help but laugh out, sort of easing the somewhat heavy atmosphere. Unexpectedly, the other party's next sentence made Zhao Rin wish to slap her upturned pp a hundred times. It's also true that a wimp like you can't do anything out of the ordinary. Otherwise, if Ruyin was so beautiful, she would have already been developed by you. How could she still be a teenager? Mu Qingqing sniffed and said in a serious manner, not caring in the slightest about Zhao Rin's greenish white face standing beside her. Mu Qingqing, revealing people's shortcomings indiscriminately. Are you polite? Suddenly, Zhao Rin's head appeared by her ear, his voice ringing out, trying to scare her. As expected, Mu Qingqing was startled by the sudden noise and her entire body panicked. Suddenly boo. In the panic, Mu Qingqing unexpectedly kissed Zhao Rin's cheek. Both of them were dumbfounded, and the atmosphere between them began to be awkward. Crap, playing big, feeling the soft touch on his cheek. Zhao Rin was dumbfounded. Is it too late to bail out? Wait online. I, me. After a few seconds of silence, the two spoke at the same time. You first, you first. Followed by another in unison. Good guy. Here to play the repeater is it? The two of them sang and harmonized. The dull atmosphere was dissipated a lot. Mu Qingqing's face also appeared a long lost smile. Let's go. I'll take you up there to have a look. And after I've chosen a room, I'll ask Qing Xian if it can be a little less. Or what? Zhao Rin said with a smile. Qing Xian? You call it so affectionately. Hearing Zhao Rin address another girl so intimately. Especially since this girl was also exceptionally pretty. Mu Qingqing couldn't help but sour. Ha? Huh? I'm friends with her ah. Uh. It's the same as me calling you ah. Uh. Zhao Rin was a bit puzzled. What's all this about? Oh. Well then. Mu Qingqing indifferently spread her hands and said. At this time, her pretty face was still full of redness. That rare sense of teenage shyness made Zhao Rin unable to resist looking at her twice more. Oh yeah. What happened just now? Do you believe me when I say it was an accident? Suddenly, Zhao Rin stopped and said with a solemn face, You go to hell ah, you still say, took advantage of this girl so big, people still first kiss ah. Zhao Rin's words, gave Mu Qingqing a big red face and said without a good mood, Then I'll give you a kiss, and that'll be the end of it. It's not polite to come without a kiss. Zhao Rin teased, Get lost, don't try to take advantage of me, quickly show me the house, I'm exhausted. Mu Qingqing's face turned even redder and she lowered her head and urged. Only when Zhao Rin turned around, she raised her head and looked at Zhao Rin's back. Her eyes were filled with that kind of shyness unique to young girls. Have you chosen? Looking at the empty room in front of him, Zhao Rin asked, still holding the universal room card given by Hua Qingxian. Well, that's it. Mu Qingqing nodded. Okay, this house is okay. It just happens to be a companion with Changle. Maybe you can even have more girlfriends. Zhao Rin nodded and spoke and his careless words instantly aroused Mu Qingqing's alertness, and a figure immediately surfaced in front of her eyes. Are you guys close? Mu Qingqing asked the doubt in her heart. Yeah. Zhao Rin nodded. Unlike Li Changle, the enhancement of their relationship had to start from the night they caught the thief. What about us? Mu Qingqing bit her lip and said, We, too, are good friends. Zhao Rin said without thinking. No difference? Mu Qingqing said in a roundabout way. Yeah, there's no difference. Zhao Rin nodded. Only then did Mu Qingqing put her heart down. After settling down with Mu Qingqing, Zhao Rin helped her pay a quarter's rent in advance and transferred it directly to Huo Qingxian. 
He then took the initiative to call Hua Qingxian and openly and honestly told her what had happened to Mu Qingqing. Of course, he wouldn't say anything about this advancing a quarter's rent, just that Mu Qingqing asked him to help forward it, otherwise it would inevitably feel like a moral abduction. All right, since it's Rin's friend, it's my friend, let Sister Mu stay at ease first. If you're really shorthanded and the rent isn't urgent, you can hold off for a few days. Hua Qingxian, who is beautiful and kind-hearted, makes her attitude clear. Hearing this, Zhao Rin's heart is relieved. After all, the houses here are all Hua Qingxuan's, and the host family's opinion is something that must be taken into account. After glancing at the time, Zhao Rin was just about to dazzle the meal when she received a call from Hua Qingxian for the second time. What did you say? Auntie got into a fight with someone playing cards? Hearing Hua Qingxuan's words, Zhao Rin is dumbfounded. What era is this? You still think it's back then? However, Zhao Rin didn't have to wonder for long before Hua Qingxian sent a locator to Zhao Rin's cell phone, telling him to go and bring Hua's mother back immediately, and notify Li Changdel if necessary. Seeing this, Zhao Rin didn't care about anything else, took out Hua Xi's car keys from the desk drawer, closed the door and ran out. Luckily, it was now midday and the traffic on the road was fairly smooth, so Zhao Rin quickly drove Hua Xi to a nearby chess room. The talent had just gotten out of the car when the sharp-eyed waiter greeted him. Take me to VIP 888. Looking at the smiling waiter, Zhao Rin didn't say much and directly opened the door. This room number was naturally given by Hua Qingxian as well, which saved a lot of effort. Ah, uh, this. When the waiter heard it, he was a bit embarrassed. The guests who enter the VIP are all rich and powerful characters in the neighborhood. If he casually brings someone in, in case there is something to say, he can't afford to take this responsibility. Scared of what? See this Audi. 6 horizontal and 12 vertical. It's not an A8. It's called Horshi. Seeing the shirking look on the other side, Zhao Ring calmly pointed to Hoshi behind him and said, Hoshi? The waiter sniffed. TCH? No one knows a hundred years of Audi, but the world knows a first love. This is a seven-figure Hohi. Zhao Ring gave the other party a disgusted look and said, You'll know when you have your first love in the future. It's just seven figures. That's all. Ah. No. Please. The waiter who had just reacted immediately made a please gesture, and then led Zhao Ring to room VIP 888. Cough cough cough, the interior of the chess room was a bit pandemonium, the air was filled with thick cigarettes mixed with some alcohol gas, choking Zhao Rin with a cough, it was hard to slow down the energy, in the end is VIP box, this sound isolation is really good, even froze a little sound did not come out, Zhao Rin held his breath, put his right hand on the door handle, slowly increased the force, pushed open the door, this alcohol odor, as soon as he pushed open the door, the odor of liquor, red wine, and beer mixed with three kinds of alcohol immediately hit his face, causing Zhao Rin to almost not give you out. Fortunately, he had held his breath when he came in just now, and only then was he able to suppress the urge to retch. Sister Lin, willing to gamble. At this time, voices rang out from inside the box, because as soon as the room came in, there was a bathroom, isolating the interior from view, so it was obvious that no one had realized that someone had already come in. Really, I lost, I will definitely admit it but you're obviously cheating, how can you have cards like this all the time, do you think you're the god of gambling, at this moment, another voice rang out, and on first listen, it was Hua Qingxuan's mother, Aunt Lin, you can eat nonsense, but you can't talk nonsense, who cheated, you can be responsible for your words, which I did you see cheating, at this time, another voice rang out, obviously is the beginning of the person's help, if you cheated, would you let me see it, Aunt Lin snorted coldly, isn't it just a matter of finding a connoisseur to take a look if you're cheating? Looking for a connoisseur? Yo, Sister Lin, are you drunk out of your mind? The man who had just started said, his tone sounding very tricky. A single field and a single grain will lose. Do you think that old me is a fool? With several people singing in unison, Aunt Lin's patience reached an extreme point and slammed the table, scolding, Auntie, so you're here. Hearing that the situation was not right, Zhao Rin immediately opened his mouth pretending to have just found this place and spoke. The few people in the room froze when they heard an unfamiliar male voice, and all of them couldn't help but cast their eyes in the direction of the door of the room. Seeing Zhao Rin who appeared in the field of vision, Little Zhao, why are you here? Seeing Zhao Rin appear, Aunt Lin immediately reacted, knowing that the other party was called by her own daughter to help her out, so she let out a sigh of relief and said, Did you inform Changle? Auntie, this kind of occasion Changle to come is not appropriate. We are all country folks. The relationship is not good. Zhao Rin took the opportunity to speak and quickly stood by Aunt Lin's side. It's more appropriate for Li Changle not to come unless it's necessary. After all, playing cards involves money again, which is not good. Yo, 
Sister Lin, after Big Brother has been gone for so many years, it seems like you figured it out and found such a young lad, a few middle-aged women who had nothing to do all day and relied on their husband's rents to get by, their eyes instantly lit up when they saw Zhao Rin, who was tall and had decent features, that straight look, looking at even Zhao Rin, a thick-skinned person who boasted that he couldn't even be blasted by an atomic bomb, felt a bit overwhelmed, Sister Lin Ah, if you do not want to give money can also, we are all country folks, who is not a relative with the old, as long as you lend me this little friend for a few hours, this money will be waived today, sisters say right ah, the middle-aged woman at the beginning gazed at Zhao Rin and said, almost drooling, yes, yes, kid, play with us, if you make us happy, you can earn a year's worth of money in one day, the remaining two also coaxed, since the economic development of Hangzhou, relying on the geographical advantage, relying on the rising rent to earn a pot full of money, since the family's deadbeat take most of the rent all day outside the day spend days and nights, early emptied the body, the so-called 30 like a wolf, 40 like a tiger, starting middle-aged women cannot be nourished empty for many years, see Zhao Rin's strong body, and the arm that has a clear contour of the muscles, which if you drag the pp, clamped the waist, must be very strong, go go go, don't think I can't see what kind of crooked ideas you all have in your head, I'm telling you, put away your crooked thoughts, if you want to do that, go and find a duck by yourself, anyway, you all have a lot of money, call 10 ducks, as soon as Aunt Lin saw the opposite formation, she immediately stopped in front of Zhao Rin and opened her mouth to scold, Sister Lin Ah, this is your fault, how can you keep something good for yourself, hearing this, the middle-aged woman had a count, and was instantly unhappy, living to the age of half a hundred, having money and leisure, as long as it doesn't affect the family, what's wrong with this kind of thing, get lost, this is my son-in-law, Ching Xuan's boyfriend, here to take me home. As she watched her poker buddy's words of tiger and wolf continue one after another, Aunt Lin's face turned a little red, so she hurriedly opened her mouth to scold them. Ching Xuan's boyfriend. Ah, the famous grass has a master. That's no fun. Upon hearing that it's what Ching Xuan's boyfriend, one immediately loses sexual interest. It seems that the bottom line is still there. Slow down, Sister Lin. You have to pay this money first. Seeing that that thing was out of the question, the middle-aged woman who started it pulled the question back, I told you, you guys are definitely cheating, as soon as Aunt Lin heard this, her face instantly grimaced, Humph, willing to gamble, we didn't force you, if you don't pay today, I'll make sure you can't leave the store, the middle-aged woman who started the conversation did not show any weakness, I just won't give it, big deal, call the police, Aunt Lin sniffed and also took out her cell phone unwillingly and said, are you guys sure? Just as the atmosphere in the box began to be tense, Zhao Rin's voice suddenly rang out, two cards still in his hand, looking at the other three people in the box besides Aunt Lin, or rather the three poker players, with a smirk, a single field and a single grain will lose, are we fools? Little Zhao, ah, how did you see that there was something wrong with those cards? On the way back to the apartment, Aunt Lin leaned on the passenger door, looked at Zhao Rin, and asked the doubt in her heart, Auntie, I actually didn't realize it at first. I just felt something was wrong when I heard you guys arguing, then I weighed those cards, and sure enough, the weight was different, Zhao Rin explained, just a little bit of weight, and you can weigh it? Hearing this, Aunt Lin was very surprised, took an elective in college to learn a material proportioning, that weight often have to use the hand to feel, and after a long time they practiced the feel out, Zhao Rin vaguely said, could he tell the other party that he had contacted these chicken stealing tricks in his previous life in order to make a living? Beware of being arrested as a mental illness. Oh so. Aunt Lin nodded with a thoughtful look. Aunt Lin ah. In the future, you'd better not socialize with these people. They don't have clean hands. Seeing that the other party was still thinking about this matter, Zhao Rin took the initiative to change the subject. It will be. I don't want to get myself into trouble by letting go of a good life. Aunt Lin nodded with great approval and said. Just before the two of them spoke, the car drove up to the entrance of the apartment, and Hua Qingxian, who had gotten the news, was standing on the steps with her arms crossed, puffing up and looking at the two of them, miserable, through the glass of the car, seeing her daughter looking like she wanted to eat someone, Aunt Lin felt her scalp go numb all of a sudden, Zhao Rin, on the other hand, wisely parked his car and silently stepped aside, Mom, do you have something to say to me? Hua Qingxian said with a gloomy face, No! Qing Xin don't worry, I won't in the future. Aunt Lin patted her plump breasts and assured, do you think I believe it? Hu Qing Xin rolled her eyes, speechless, aren't I bored? What am I going to do to pass the time if I don't go play cards? I can't just sit upstairs and smother myself in the house. Aunt Lin cried and explained, unless, 
Unless what? Seeing her mother speak with such a big gasp of effort, Huo Qingxian feels 10,000 grass mud horses running wild in her head. Unless you and little Zhao give me a grandchild to bring around, so I won't be bored. Aunt Lin suddenly made a U-turn and pointed at Zhao Rin, who was standing on the sidelines eating melon, and said, Mom, what are you talking about? Hearing these thunderous words, Huo Qingxian was instantly made a big red face, her little head lowered, not daring to raise her head to look at Zhao Rin, obviously shy. Auntie, you're making a big joke. Qingxian is still in school. It's not appropriate to talk about this now. Zhao Rin saw the melon eating on himself, and also had a black line on his face. This Huo Qingxuan's mom is so avant-garde in her thinking? Her daughter is still in college, so she's thinking about these things. I'm not joking. I'm serious. Do you like Qingxian? If you like her, hurry up and go after her. Get married if you do, and I'll bring you a child when you have one. Aunt Lin started talking with her mouth full. Aya, mom, what are you saying? After hearing her mother get more and more outrageous, Huo Qingxian gave a chorus of rebukes and hurriedly pulled her away. Just before leaving, she gave Zhao Rin a deep look. The shyness inside her eyes couldn't be hidden. Feeling the other party's gaze in the strange, Zhao Rin also embarrassed. Originally after the other day downstairs that thing, between the two had already produced a slight ambiguity. It didn't occur to me that Aunt Lin, who is half a hundred years old, is still like an old codger, and she's comfortable with a mouthful of words. So what can he do? In case Huo Qingxian felt unable to face her own firing, what could she do if this good day of groping fish was gone? And if Huo Qingxian, who had dragged her own mother away in a hurry, had known that Zhao Rin was now considering whether or not he would be fired, she would have exploded like a pressure cooker and sent a flurry of output towards him. After standing downstairs for a while to make sure that they had returned to room 902, Zhao Rin was also ready to move back to 201. After all, touching the fish is also about touching the fish. Just then, the cell phone rang, and Zhao Rin pulled it out to see that it was Li Changle calling. Nagar, is something wrong? Zhao Rin picked up the phone and said naturally, Zhao Rin, is it convenient for you to talk now? In the earpiece, Li Changle's voice sounded a bit mysterious. Convenient, you say? Is it because you need me to bring you dinner? Zhou Rin joked, uh, no no, it's just that I'm resting tomorrow. I finished that herbal medicine for a few days now, and the last time I made an appointment. Weren't you hospitalized? I didn't dare to go alone. I made an appointment for tomorrow morning. Can you accompany me again? Speaking of which, Li Changdel on the other end of the phone was already shy to the point of being unable to do so, always used to being independent. She actually had Zhao Rin as the first thing that came to her mind when she needed to see a traditional Chinese medicine gynecologist. Uh, so, then it's a deal. Zhao Rin agreed after a brief thought. Success, then we'll set off together tomorrow. Hearing Zhao Rin agree, Li Changdel's heart suddenly let out a long sigh of relief. She was afraid that the other party would refuse. After all, a gynecology kind of place. Men would not dabble in it except to accompany their wives or girlfriends, and it wasn't like she was who he was, so he had a reason to refuse. Okay, Zhao Rin answered, then hung up the phone. Just as he was about to go up, he saw Mu Qingqing suddenly appear in front of his eyes, his hair a little messy, looking like he had slept, a pair of eyes fluttering as he looked at himself. What's wrong? Qing Qing, do I have flowers on my face? Looking at the other party looking at him with a smirk, Zhao Rin couldn't help but say, Nope, I'm just wondering, who were you talking to on the phone just now? Mu Qingqing probed, just now she stood slightly farther away and only heard a mere whisper. No one, just asking a question, Zhao Rin said with a smile. Oh, then you get busy first, I'm going up to eat. Mu Qingqing nodded her head and pretended to look unconcerned, but in fact, her heart was already playing tricks on her because she had just heard the word jangle. After such a toss, Zhao Rin also felt that he was hungry. So he went back into the Shaxian Hotel, with the standard duck leg rice plus bean skin, YYDS, unbeknownst to her. There were two girls in this very apartment thinking about her. One was Huo Qingxian. At this moment, she was sitting on the sofa, looking at her own mother sitting across from her with a lifeless expression as she chattered about Zhao Rin's situation. One was Mu Qingxing. She stood at the window and was eating her dinner with a bite or two. Her cell phone was placed on the other side of the window sill and the screen of the phone was displaying Lu Ruyan's chat interface, and in the security bureau, Li Changdel hung up the phone with a smile on her face, recalling that she could be alone with Zhao Rin for at least two hours tomorrow, she felt so happy, and this unconscious behavior of hers instantly caught the attention of the office area, of the others, looking at the notorious little pepper in the institute actually revealed such a nice smile, everyone was coincidentally glancing at each other, and everyone had the same judgment, that is, Li Changdel was either in love or having an affair, Regarding the changes in the colleagues around her, 
Li Changel was naturally oblivious at the moment. All she could think about now was tomorrow's meeting. If it wasn't for the fact that it was her turn to be on duty today, I'm afraid that she wouldn't be able to hold back her inner joy by now. Zhao Rin, who knew nothing about it, continued his day of groping for fish, and along with the nightfall, the day passed. The next morning, perhaps because he had agreed to someone else's invitation in the morning, Zhao Rin woke up early and sat down at his desk early. When the clock needle was pointing at 7 o'clock, Li Changdel appeared at the door of 201. You got up so early? Looking at Zhao Rin, who was already sitting in front of the computer leisurely watching a drama, Li Changdel said with a smile, Yeah, a beautiful woman invited me. How can I break my promise? Zhao Rin also joked, TSK, 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 today's mouth is smeared with honey, why is it so sweet? Hearing this, Li Changdel was also in a good mood and said, After all, there was some ambiguity between the two of them. Let's go. I've already asked Qing Xian for a vacation. Seeing the other party appear, Zhao Rin also stood up and spoke. Ha, huh? Qing Xian also knows that you accompanied me to the gynecologist? As soon as she heard this, Li Changdel's little face immediately collapsed, looking like she was unhappy. What the hell is going on in this head of yours? Didn't I tell you that you guys have a high IQ when it comes to finding clues and solving crimes? Would I say that? Hearing these words, Zhao Rin said without any good sense of humor, and at the same time gave the other party a suspicious look as he began to question how the other party had gotten into this position. What? Work is work. Normal is normal. Working with the brain is already a lot of effort. My brain is empty on my days off and I don't think about it. Hearing Zhao Rin's answer, Li Changdel spat out her tongue and said, Now she was in a good mood again. When the two of them came down from the stairs with a smile on their faces, they didn't expect Mu Qingqing's figure to appear at the corner not far from them. Thinking back to last night's meeting with Li Changdel, the other party's kind of heartfelt wariness and vigilance towards himself, Mu Qingqing's eyes narrowed slightly. It seems that this Li Changdel also has that aspect towards Arin, because the distance between the urban village and the hospital was not particularly far. The two chose a very tacit choice to walk to the hospital, avoiding the morning rush hour once a day. Is it the same doctor from last time? Walking to the hospital's outpatient building, Zhao Rin opened his mouth to confirm. Yeah, after drinking her medicine, I felt like I recovered a lot faster. Li Changdel nodded. I'm miserable then. At those words, recalling the other party's flurry of output that day, Zhao Rin couldn't help but skim his lips. Why? Hearing that Zhao Rin had said so, Li Changdel felt like his mind was spinning all of a sudden. It wasn't like he was the one who was seeing the doctor. Why did he have to be miserable? Last time I was scolded to death you forgot. Zhao Rin said bitterly. But Li Changdel didn't hold back her laughter. And the flavor that was displayed in a flash made Zhao Rin instantly brighten up her eyes, while also attracting quite a number of passing patients who were also coming to see the doctor. It had to be said that a beautiful woman who looked pretty was the center of attention everywhere she went. No no no, it's going to be extra money. Zhao Rin disguised himself as a money-adding resident and said with a face full of aggravation, Go go go, this girl is so honorable that she lets you accompany me to see the doctor, and you actually want to add money. When Li Changdel heard this, he also couldn't help but match Zhao Rin's joke. Want money or not? There's a pair of silver bracelets do you want them? Public weapon for private use. You're bullying the little people. The corner of Zhao Rin's mouth twitched. This couldn't be played with. Haha <laughs> just kidding. Let's go. First go to the nurse's station and sign in. So as not to be late and let someone else see it first. Li Changdel smiled. Took out his medical insurance card and walked towards the obstetrics and gynecology outpatient area. A beautiful young girl was the center of attention everywhere she went. As Li Changdel walked into the outpatient area of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology one step ahead of Zhao Rin, the old ladies sitting on the benches outside waiting for their numbers to be called raised their heads. The gynecology department was fine. After all, the majority of women came to see the doctor alone. Many people just look at it. There is no special action. But on the other side of the obstetrics department is different. Are a pair of small couples, the husband holding things, the wife holding a belly kind of. A lot of male compatriots see the color of the vulgar powder inside. Suddenly appeared a valiant, face value burst table girls, feel that kind of completely different temperament, and then look at their own side with a big belly face wife. One of the eyes are straight. A lot of people even his wife is still sitting next to them have forgotten, staring straight at Li Changdel look. Men are all big pig's hooves, their own wives holding their stomachs so hard, actually still thinking about other things, feeling those male compatriots on the maternity department side of the fiery gaze. Li Changdel was a bit indignant, secretly slandering in her heart. She most despised this kind of unfocused man. Come on, put on the mask. Right at this moment, Zhao Rin suddenly appeared in front of Li Changdel and handed a blue mask to the other party's eyes, gently saying, You're so pretty. 
Take the mask to block your face, just as a way to give other girls a way to live. Zhao Rin's words were humorous and witty, and Li Changdel nodded in satisfaction before taking the mask and putting it on his face, hiding most of his beauty. Say, with such a sweet mouth, do you often coax that ex-wife of yours? After putting on the mask, Li Changdel, who had returned to his senses, thought of this again and asked in a low voice, I did coax her when I liked her before, but I didn't say the same thing with. Hearing this, Zhao Rin was a bit speechless. Why is it that the focus of a girl's attention is always on these have-nots? Seriously? I don't believe it. Li Changdel gave Zhao Rin a skeptical look and said in disbelief. This this this. Hey, it's your turn. Quickly go in. Zhao Rin, who felt that he was cornered by the other party, saw that the monitor at the entrance of the clinic popped up with Li Changdel's name and clinic number, and hurriedly digressed and said, If you want to run, if I get scolded by the doctor, you won't be able to run either. Thinking of the doctor's words of a tiger and a wolf the other day, Li Changdel's small face hidden behind the mask felt hot to the touch, and simply tugged Zhao Rin's arm and walked in. Feeling the force coming from her arm, Zhao Rin just wanted to refuse, but she saw Li Changdel's eyes, which were full of threatening meanings, coupled with the fact that it was not good to pull and tug in public, she was dragged into the clinic room in this way. Girl, you're a few days late. Come on, put your right hand on the mat and I'll take your pulse. It was the same doctor from last time who took a faint look at Li Changdel and immediately remembered and opened his mouth. Okay, doctor. Li Changdel nodded and took the initiative to let go of pulling Zhao Rin's arm, while not forgetting to give him a threatening look, as if it was like saying, you dare to walk a try, try and pass away kind of thing. Girl, you this chi in blood or almost, the stomach also cannot, is not three meals or not regular eat, but also often eat cold things, worthy of being a Chinese and Western medicine dual cultivation of cattle. This pulse a ride the patient's situation to the analysis of the clear. The three fingers simply whisked up those hundreds of thousands of millions of high-end medical instruments. Uh, yeah, I can't eat on time sometimes with my job. Hearing this, Li Changdel nodded somewhat awkwardly, and under the pressure of the doctor's powerful aura, even her voice of explanation seemed so cautious. What kind of boyfriend are you? Your girlfriend can't eat on time due to her work. Won't you prepare some hot food for her to take with her? After hearing Li Changdel's explanation, the doctor's head lifted and fired towards Zhao Rin. Me? Zhao Rin was dumbfounded. Doctors don't act like this. Can this also involve me? Could it be me then? Do you know that there are many boys and few girls nowadays? Especially one as beautiful as your girlfriend. If you don't treat her better, when she gets snatched away by someone else, you'll cry you, the doctor said in a good-natured manner, while not forgetting to pull over Li Changdel's left hand and take the pulse of his left hand. Doctor, I, you, hey, I admit it. In the consultation room, three people with three mouths and six eyes, Zhao Rin was about to explain, when she saw the smug look in Li Changel's eyes, and the doctor's eyes that were about to overflow with dislike. Thinking back to think about it seems like there is no need to explain, just can only suffer. Alright, I'll first prescribe you an expedited ultrasound for a detailed examination. Seeing Zhao Rin softening, the doctor temporarily curbed his fire, and with a flurry of hands on the keyboard, he then returned the medical insurance card on the card reader to Li Changdel. Young man, now take your girlfriend to the ultrasound room at the end of the corridor for an expedited ultrasound. The doctor casually picked up the small slip of paper on the table, wrote a few words on it, handed it to Zhao Rin, and ordered. Oh, thank you doctor. Seeing this, Zhao Rin couldn't be bothered to explain and hurriedly took the note before walking out of the consultation room with Li Changdel. How does it feel to be my boyfriend? In the end, the nervous policewoman actually asked directly. Eh, first go to do ultrasound. Don't delay. When Zhao Rin heard this, he hastily digressed. He was not going to let the other party know no matter what. He was a little uptight about this kind of ambiguity, or else he would be allowed to give a scolding as a pervert. Humph, just know how to digress. Li Changdel didn't get the answer she wanted, so she vaguely lost a few points inwardly. But on the surface, she pouted her rosy little mouth and said, All right, all right, you go right in. I'll give the note to the nurse. Zhao Rin didn't dare to answer again pushing Li Changdel's back and pushing the person in hard, then handed the note in her hand to the nurse standing at the door. Mail stop. Receiving the note handed over by Zhao Rin, the nurse seemed to have gotten used to it a long time ago, putting it away and speaking in a calm tone. Thank you nurse. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin immediately took a self-conscious step back and then thanked her. Ten minutes later, Li Changdel came out from inside with a red face and a report card in his hand. Nagar, what's wrong with you? Did you get smoked by the heater inside? Looking at the other party's flushed face, Zhao Rin admired it, but at the same time, it was a bit strange. Aya, don't ask. Li Changdel's walking posture was a bit squirmy now, 
And when she heard Zhao Rin's question, her pretty face turned even redder. Your girlfriend just had a in ultrasound, the kind where the probe goes in. The nurse standing in the doorway saw Zhao Rin and Li Changel both chickening out with the feeling of a show of affection, so she couldn't help but open her mouth. Hurry up and go. I did not expect the nurse to suddenly come to such an outburst, such a private matter let Zhao Rin here. Li Changdel's face suddenly became redder, hurriedly pulling Zhao Rin to leave in a hurry. However, what the duo didn't know was that just as the duo left on the front foot, the door to the opposite B ultrasound room opened on the back foot, and Lu Ruyan walked out with the report card, and happened to see Li Changdel pulling Zhao Rin's back as he hurriedly left. Rin, Li Changdel, although she only saw a back, Ruyan Lu was confident that she would never be mistaken. Nurse, what were those two doing just now? Wasn't it just an ultrasound? Why is it so chaotic? I heard it from my side. Lu Ruyan's brain spun fast and immediately put on a curious look, pretending to set the nurse's words without thinking. I guess it's a negative ultrasound without a gynecological pregnancy preparation test. Just now the girl came out, did not have time to put on a mask, her face was red. Her boyfriend asked her what was wrong, pulling a little. It seems like we need to stop it in time next time. Hearing Lu Ruyan's words, the nurse thought that the sound was really so loud, secretly thankful. Standing together with Lu Ruyan heard the preparation for pregnancy. In ultrasound this two sensitive words, the face instantly became white, followed by a soft legs and feet, almost could not stand. But fortunately the nurse on the side of the quick eye and hand, I'll hold her. How are you doing? This young lady? Is it alright? Hearing the nurse's concerned voice, Lu Ruyan also immediately came back to her senses and reluctantly smiled before standing up straight herself. Thanks, I'm just a little anemic, Lu Ruyan casually said. But her sight was already locked on the duo of Zhao Rin and Li Changdel. Well then, take care of yourself. Anemia can be a big deal. Upon hearing this, the nurse nodded and said, Most young teenage girls nowadays have this problem. It's all been seen and done. On the other hand, Zhao Rin and Li Changdel had already returned to the consultation room and handed the report card to the doctor while there was still an opening behind them. Girl, the condition of this uterus of yours is not particularly good. You must remember to take medicine on time to regulate it and strive for the next time you have a period, it won't hurt, the doctor instructed while operating on the computer, and soon prescribed the medicine, and you, young man, a girl's physique is more golden, so you'll have to work harder, soak her feet more often on weekdays to promote blood circulation, otherwise, if you guys get married in the future, I'm afraid it won't be that easy to have a child, the doctor was still uneasy and instructed, good good, thank you doctor, look at this moment medical ethics Max got doctor, Zhao Rin where to care about explaining. This head nodded with the same as pounding garlic and responded. The two inadvertently glanced at each other, from each other's eyes to see a different look. Under this doctor's divine assistance, the ambiguous atmosphere between Zhao Rin and Li Changdel quickly sublimated, and began to advance towards Na Ji's aspect. I don't know the old saying that walls have ears. Oh no. To be precise, there are ears through the door. Lu Ruyan was standing in the doorway and listened to the movements inside the clinic. Squeak sound. Zhao Rin pulled open the door of the clinic. People have not yet moved. A look up to see the outside eyes read Lu Ruyan. The smile on his face instantly solidified. Immediately after that, there was a pop sound, and the whole scene instantly fell silent. This slap, slap that called a clear and loud. Zhao Rin directly to the fan confused. He did not provoke her. This crazy woman in the end to do? What's wrong with her? Ruyan Lu, what are you doing? Worthy of being a police officer, Li Changdel was the first to react immediately stepping forward, pushing Lu Ruyan away, then blocking in front of Zhao Rin, his eyes rounded, angrily looking at Lu Ruyan, loudly questioning, Li Changdel, right, didn't your mom teach you what propriety, justice, honesty and shame are, what is moral code, looking at the girl in front of her whose appearance was not similar to her own, Lu Ruyan felt that the anger in her heart had already reached the edge of eruption, as soon as she remembered the voice she heard just now, Lu Ruyan could no longer hold back the anger in her heart and opened her mouth. What do you mean? Li Changdel was a bit puzzled by what he heard. Why was this woman like a mad dog, baring her teeth to whoever she caught? So he forced himself to hold back the anger in his heart and asked, Changdel, let's go out first. We can't delay others from seeing the doctor. Zhao Rin rubbed his left cheek to ease the pain, then spoke. He couldn't let Li Changdel, a public official, start a conflict with others in public. After saying the words, Zhao Rin's cheek had a throbbing pain, just now Lu Ruyan that one time, the hand can be really hard, Zhao Rin felt that his left cheek was so painful that it was numb, and there was a feeling of redness and swelling when he touched it, after making such a big commotion, at this moment, most of the people's attention in the corridor were all attracted by Zhao Rin's three people, 
Feeling a little uncomfortable, Zhao Rin hurriedly pulled Li Changle to the side. He didn't want to be treated like a monkey. Zhao Rin, you scum. Seeing this behavior of Zhao Rin pulling the hand of Li Changle, the vixen, aside like no one else, was like pouring oil on the fire, causing the anger in Lu Ruyan's heart to burn more and more ferociously. Zhao Rin sniffed and frowned, but his footsteps didn't stop, and he walked straight to the side in the emergency passageway, where a fire door had been installed to isolate the majority of the people's line of sight. Ruyan Lu, have you taken the wrong medicine? Seeing that Ruyan Lu had followed her, Zhao Rin closed the fire door and spoke with a tense face. Did I take the wrong medicine? Zhao Rin, do you want to be shameless? I'm your fiancé. You actually came over with this vixen to see a doctor to adjust and prepare for pregnancy. Can you stand up to me? It was fine if Zhao Rin didn't speak. As soon as he opened his mouth, Lu Ruyan instantly exploded and directed a flurry of output towards Zhao Rin, sounding as if she was standing on the moral high ground. It was called righteousness and righteous indignation. Ruyan Lu, are you sick in the head? You're the one who abandoned me at the engagement party. And you have the nerve to tell me you're my fiancé? We didn't even have a traditional engagement party. How can you say you're my fiancé? Because I licked you before? Was I too good to you in the past? So good that you lost the ability to distinguish normal things? Zhao Rin heard. Immediately gave angry music. This woman has what qualifications in front of their own yelling and shouting. Also gave himself a slap. So cold voice said. Zhao Rin. I've already apologized to you. What more do you want? Lin Ming was also sent in by you to step on a sewing machine. And for that matter it's still even using me. Did I ever say a word about you know? Lu Ruyan sniffed and froze. It seemed that this was the first time Zhao Rin had exploded in front of her. And only after a long while did she open her mouth. Looking at her puffed up appearance. It was as if I didn't do anything wrong. What's an apology? If apologizing worked. Then no one who made a mistake would have to take responsibility. So what's the point of having laws? Zhao Rin let out a cold laugh. Then said disdainfully. What's more? Ruyan Lu. Do you know what forgiveness means to me? Forgiveness is forgiveness? Is there any other deep meaning? Lu Ruyan angrily said. In short, I won't forgive you yet. Knew you'd say that. For so many years, including the time when I was in love. Every time I think about it, you left me to go to Lin Ming. And often you would come back after a night. My heart hurts like a pinprick. There is a saying that you think that forgiveness is just a momentary thing. But then you experience it and realize that it's bullshit. That's just bullshit. That's trying to forgive once every time you think about it in the days to come. There was a time when I convinced myself time and time again to forget all doubts and choose to believe you. But, at the engagement banquet, your actions became the last straw that broke the camel's back. Zhao Rin said slowly, his tone ranging from flat to angry, his demeanor ranging from calm to slightly hysterical. Speaking of Lu Ruyan's inner remorse. That's right, Ruyan Lu, nothing else. Just now you indiscriminately slapped Rin. What exactly do you want? Did you hit him? Say you're sorry, and the pain and redness on his face will recede Li Changle said at the drop of a hat, seeing that Zhao Rin's left cheek was a bit reddened and swollen. He was immediately heartbroken. He cheated on me, betrayed my relationship with him. Shouldn't he be beaten? Even though her heart was full of remorse, Lu Ruyan, who thought that she had done the right thing and hadn't done anything wrong to Zhao Rin, was still stubborn enough to think that Zhao Rin had chosen to end her relationship with her because he had a new love outside. I betrayed our relationship? Truly a person is sitting at home. The pot comes from the sky. Zhao Rin felt like he was getting sidetracked by Lu Ruyan. What's all this with ah? Stop. 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 Ruyan Lu. I'm going to state this to you one last time. First, the marriage contract between the two of US was cancelled the moment you left the engagement party. Secondly, I didn't get a license with you either. Whether it's from the emotional or legal point of view, there's no connection between us. Therefore, I'm not scum. Understand? Zhao Rin rubbed his numb left cheek and spoke. So, the term betrayal doesn't go well with me. If it's necessary to say betrayal, then it's you who betrayed the relationship first. I I didn't. Realizing she couldn't stand her ground, Ruyan Lu panicked. Forget it, it doesn't matter if there is one or not. At this moment, Zhao Rin completely lost the will to talk to her and pulled Li Changle over to leave. No one is allowed to leave. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan hurriedly blocked in front of Zhao Rin, her hands outstretched to block. Have you gone crazy enough? Ruyan Lu's actions made Zhao Rin completely lose his patience. He reached out his hand and flicked the other party aside, but he didn't expect to momentarily confiscate his strength. Caught off guard, Lu Ruyan instantly lost her center of gravity. Her feet stumbled, and she fell to the ground. Zhao Rin, you bastard. How dare you do this to me? Lu Ruyan couldn't care less about struggling to get up and looked at Zhao Rin with a surprised face, hysterically saying, what about my slap? I'm merely returning the favor in kind. 
you can justifiably, without pressure, hit me, but I can't, it's not the same, who let you and this vixen tune up to prepare for pregnancy, Lu Ruyan, who had been favored since childhood, had her Tao heart shattered at this moment and lost her voice as she cried out in pain, accusing, crap, prepare for pregnancy, as soon as Zhao Rin heard this, his scalp went numb and he couldn't help but glance at Li Changle beside him, and it was only then that he recalled that when he had closed the fire door just now, Lu Ruyan had said something similar, Zhao Rin sort of realized that he was more than a sinus, I've gotten this slap for nothing, Zhao Rin covered her face and said with a bitter smile, Changle, can you add money, think beautifully, at most I'll treat you to something at noon, Li Changle said said on the surface with a smile on his face, but only a trace of bloom flashed inside, then I want you to put down a bowl of noodles for me, Zhao Rin suddenly blushed and opened his mouth, only the upturned corners of his mouth that were harder to suppress than AK made Li Changle somewhat suspicious that he seemed a bit immodest, what are you guys talking about, it was only at this time that Ruyan Lu was sort of shaken, vaguely seeming to understand a bit, but never able to grasp the point, you stupid woman, stay away from me in the future, seeing this, Zhao Rin barely suppressed the thought of bursting the other party's head and rolled her eyes as she explained the matter, you understand now, it's you who misunderstood, Li Changle said without a trace of humor from the sidelines, ha, huh? sorry sorry sorry, after hearing Zhao Rin's explanation, Lu Ruyan was instantly dumbfounded, a bit chagrined as to why she had been so impulsive, striking without even making things clear, forget it, forget it, you quickly go see a doctor, just now also pushed the other party a bit, Zhao Rin just as returned the favor forget about it, lazy, so digressing from the topic said, so are you guys going to get the medicine now, Ruyan Lu sniffed and asked rhetorically, yeah, not only do I have to get the medicine, a Rin he's going to decoct it for me later, perhaps out of disgusting revenge, Li Changdle deliberately came closer, pretending to be unconcerned, and spoke, decoction, I know, Lu Ruyan sniffed, her heart was very hard, but as Zhao Rin said just now, there was nothing between the two of them, so what qualifications did she have, comrade Zhao Rin, why are you acting like Mr. Nice Guy, people slapped you, and you actually didn't fight back, on the way back, Li Changdle asked tentatively with a twinkle in his eyes, fight back, I want to, there are some things I can't help but do, Zhao Rin shook his head and explained, all right, since you don't want to talk about it, then I won't ask, Li Changdle said wisely, after all, everyone has their own little secrets, there's no need to delve deeper, however, I still advise you to think about it, so what's next, will you continue to work as a fish warden in Qing Shuan's apartment and just muddle through, or something else, thanks, I'll think it over, Hearing these words, Zhao Rin's advancing footsteps lurched, and after a few seconds, he revealed a smile and said that he knew that the other party was reminding him that it was better to keep the days of groping for fish shallow. After such a delay by Rui and Lu, by the time the two of them got the medicine and returned to the apartment, it was already noon, and both of their stomachs were rumbling with hunger. What are you going to eat at noon? Li Changdal asked as he rubbed his stomach and looked at Zhao Rin. Didn't I say? I want you to put down a bowl of noodles for me to eat. Hearing this, Zhao Rin suddenly had a bad taste and said with a bad smile on his face, although I don't understand what kind of stunt this sentence is, I can assure you that if you say it a third time, you will definitely be beaten up by me, unlike Zhao Rin who had been mixing with the city for years, Li Changdal knew very little about these little paragraphs of bad stems and simply felt bad, so he opened his mouth to threaten, okay, okay, no kidding, I'll just eat a duck leg rice, Zhao Rin is also very sensible to answer, joking also have to have a degree, some of the old saying more annoying people, after the wine and dinner, the two of them went back to their respective lodgings, as for Zhao Rin, he rarely touched the fish to watch the video, and moved a chair alone, sitting on the balcony, through the thick floor to ceiling glass, Zhao Rin looked at the people outside, but his brain was thinking about those endless trivialities, originally, he still quite liked this kind of fish life, a month to get a few thousand dollars, and have a place to live, this is how many people want to not come to the leisurely days, but in the morning after Li Changle said so, Zhao Rin actually began to be a little tired of the current life. Inside his heart, the flame called Dream, which had long been extinguished by the cold water of reality, was rekindled at this moment. Zhao Rin had the urge to do something for his own life. After all, they had become a member of the crossing army, touching the fish to touch a lifetime. As if sorry for the title of this crosser, ah, but this thinking, and cannot think of any clues, so Zhao Rin once again fell into a daze recalling the bumbling in his previous life, as well as the fact that after his soul was transformed into this place, he seemed to be mucking around all day long, in addition to sending Lin Ming, the green tea whore with a handle, he was dealing with a few girls, and in the morning, 
He was even a little bit obsessed with the ambiguity with Li Changle. Zhao Rin was enlightened, and he came to an epiphany. But what can he do? Starting a business? What a joke. As long as the eastern countries, there are different degrees of involution. His pocket only the original master left 30 million savings, thrown into the entrepreneurship of this ocean for fear that even a splash cannot rise. Write a novel. Don't make a fuss. 30 years east of the river, 30 years west of the river. Here has long been similar to the good bar. Thinking about it, Zhao Rind inner contradiction cannot. In the contradiction and entanglement, the day slowly darkened. This entanglement even passed in afternoon. Looking at the sky do not know when quietly appeared around moon. The heart for a long time cannot calm Zhao Rin alone downstairs. Intends to take a walk. As for the apartment if there is something, the tenants will be in the group 8 own. Then rushed back to deal with it. Walking alone on the road. The old antique street lamps in the middle of the city village that had been out of repair for many years used its eerie white light to pull Zhao Rin's back in a long and lengthy manner. He, it seems like he's lonely. On the fifth floor, in Mu Qingqing's room, she stood by the window and looked at the glimpse of the back downstairs, although it wasn't really clear to see because of the light in the distance. Mu Qingqing could be 100% sure that it was Zhao Rin, the next room to her, Li Changle, who was boiling Chinese medicine, likewise saw this scene, and in order to be sure of her guess, she even took out the binoculars that she had bought before, and after determining that this back was Zhao Rin, she revealed a meaningful smile, I hope you can figure it out, Zhao Rin, walking alone on the not-so-spacious village road, I watched the crowds of people coming and going, some relaxed and cozy, some with furrowed brows, and some with tired faces, raising his head, not far away, is the only theme hotel in this urban village, large neon signs, in the ever-changing lights help appear extremely conspicuous, Looking at the entire building lined up window face, spread out the light, and then look at the hotel door those embracing in and out of a pair of men and women. Zhao Rin felt that his line of sight had passed through the steel and concrete, peering into the room where the couples who were confiding in each other, tall and short, fat and thin, rose and fell, and it was as if he could hear in his ears the cries that were being sent out out because of the pleasure, so much so that, squinting slightly, he felt as if the entire hotel building was shaking violently as a result. The same night, some people just got off work, with all the fatigue, some people are in pairs, enjoying the most primitive soul in the warm blanket, some even walk alone on the street, enduring endless loneliness, the cool wind came, Zhao Rin unconsciously shivered, the stark contrast made him realize the three-dimensionality and reality of this side of the world, this world is originally a complex collection of contradictions, loneliness and silence always someone to experience, to try, so he does not need to be aggrieved, not to mention the need to complain, Back to 201, Zhao Rin unexpectedly had a Ming Dynasty Wan Young Ming Dragon Field Enlightenment sense of enlightenment, spirit where to this, God gave him a chance to restart his life, not compared to the previous life of nothing, this life, he has a card with 300,000 or so savings, can be said to be the day who opening, thinking of this, the confusion in Zhao Rin's eyes gradually dissipated, thank you, Changle, Zhao Rin picked up her cell phone and sent a text message to Li Changle, then got up and went to her room to take a shower, on the other hand, unlike Zhao Rin's epiphany, Lu Ruyan's family is now caught in a cloud of sadness. The three were sitting in a corner of the living room sofa, their faces miserable and sad. A moment of the atmosphere is depressing terrible. I don't know how long it took, but Willow's father spoke up. Ruyan, give Rin a call. Hey, is something wrong? Zhao Rin, who had taken a shower, was startled when he looked at the ten or so missed calls from Ruyan Lu on his cell phone. Looking at the uncharacteristic Ruyan Lu, he hesitated for a few seconds, but still took the initiative to reverse the call back. Hey, Rin, in the receiver, Lu Ruyan's voice was a little hoarse, sounding as if she had just cried, and hearing Zhao Rin gave him goosebumps. Don't be in a hurry, speak slowly if you have something to say. Zhao Rin pressed on and comforted. However, within a few seconds, his face instantly changed drastically, his eyes filled with a look of disbelief. What did you say? I'm going over there now. After listening to Lu Ruyan's complaint, Zhao couldn't sit still at once, and under the impact of strong emotions, he changed the pajamas he had to wear and put on the clothes he normally went out in, and then called a drop and went straight to Lu Ruyan's her house. More than half an hour later, Zhao Rin stood in front of the neighborhood, first gave Lu Ruyan a phone call, and then waited for the other party to pick him up. After all, this is a high-grade neighborhood, without that kind of access card, the security guards are in the way of the rules, and will not let go. Zhao Rin is also the bottom of the people naturally will not make things difficult for each other. Soon, Lu Ruyan drove an electric small four-wheeler to the entrance of the neighborhood, and waved her hand towards Zhao Rin through the light. Seeing the owner came out to pick up, 
The security guard also very simply let go. Is this thing a thousand percent true? Sitting on the co-pilot of the small four-wheeler, looking at the semi-dark green landscape under the orange streetlights, Zhao Rin asked in a heavy tone. In the afternoon. In the afternoon dad he found a relationship to take to the provincial hospitals big experts have seen, has been diagnosed. Hearing Zhao Rin's voice, Lu Ruyan, who had been barely suppressing her emotions, could no longer hold back, and directly lost her voice and cried. Don't be afraid. Tomorrow you guys take Uncle Lu to be treated first. Zhao Rin's mind worked quickly and opened his mouth, but the company sighed. Lu Ruyan wanted to say something, her mouth moved, but she didn't say a word. Now that she had been scolded awake by Zhao Rin, she also knew that she no longer had the qualifications to make demands at this point. Ugh, let's talk about it when we arrive. Zhao Rin sighed and said, not saying he would help or not. He really didn't want to get too involved with Lu Ruyan. The atmosphere between the two got instantly silent. Soon, the small four-wheeler drove to the entrance of the Lu family villa, and as soon as the car stopped, the two of them got out of the car. Rin, my dad, he's been refusing to go to the doctor. Looking at the darkened door under the light, Lu Ruyan finally couldn't hold back and took the initiative to reach out and pull Zhao Rin's arm, opening her mouth. Don't be afraid, go in first. Zhao Rin stopped and turned his head to look at Lu Ruyan and revealed a smile, while patting the back of Lu Ruyan's hand with his other hand and tenderly said, Good. Lu Ruyan resisted the urge to cry bitterly and nodded. Lu's father and mother, who had been staying in the living room, heard the movement at the door and took the initiative to get up and open the door, and the lights in the living room instantly illuminated this small platform on this side of the doorway. Uncle Lu, with the help of the light, looking at the other party's still rosy color, Zhao Rin was temporarily considered relieved. Rin, you're here. Wife, pour Rin a cup of tea. Seeing Zhao Rin appear in front of him with his own eyes, Father Lu's originally tightly wrinkled brow loosened up and a smile appeared on his face. Several people chatted as they walked into the living room and sat down in turn on the couch. Uncle, is it too late? Zhao Rin asked in a calm tone as his eyes fell on the coffee table where a diagnosis was sitting. I don't know. Life and death has its own destiny wealth and honor. Unlike Mother Lu and Lu Ruyan who were full of despair. Father Lu shook his head with a relaxed and open face. Now that he saw Zhao Rin had arrived, he was also relieved. Go to Yinjing, make connections, and look for experts from Concordia. Zhao Rin retracted his eyes from falling on the diagnosis and looked at Father Lu Dao, saying in a calm tone, Why, could it be that the medical standard of Hangzhou or Shanghai City is not good? Hearing Zhao Rin speak up, Father Lu's heart let out a sigh of relief and asked back. As he spoke, he couldn't help but raise his head to look at Zhao Rin and the two of them's eyes met in mid-air. Zhao Rin saw in the other's eyes the kind of calmness and relief that was similar to explaining one's last words. Hades wants you to die on the third night. Concord stays until the fifth night, without delving deeper in this area. Zhao Rin recalled two phrases that had been circulating in the medical community and explained, I'm not going. A smile appeared on Father Lu's face, but he still shook his head and refused. Sometimes the direction of things and how they turn out is not shifted by one's will, because the outcome is already predetermined. Dad, what time is it? Why are you still saying such nonsense words? When Ruyan Lu heard this, she, who was already worried and anxious inside, still didn't quite understand and couldn't help but open her mouth to chide. Father Lu didn't answer Ruyan Lu's question. He just gave her a deep look. The complicated eyes seemed to say, Daughter, ah, when father will help you one last time. As for Mother Lu, she was stunned at the words. Her eyes first fell on Father Lu, then on Zhao Rin. She seemed to understand something as well and just wanted to say something, but was stopped by Father Lu. Uncle Lu rest assured that you will be able to see the doctor. I will take care of the business and wait for you to return from your healing. Zhao Rin sighed in his heart and opened his mouth, whether he wanted to or not. He who had inherited the original owner's memories as well as everything, had to accept this fact. Words to this point, how could he not hear the subtext of Lu's father's words, hoping that he could take over the business of the Lu family, because whether it is Lu's mother or Lu Ruyan, the two of them simply cannot face all the complexities of the situation in the shopping mall. Once he went to the cure, the family lost his this pin. If the Lu family of the scale of the furniture business of 10 billion, immediately will be eyeing peers as well as internal ill-intentioned shareholders to eat even a crumb left. Okay, Rin, please. Father Lu finally got the answer he wanted and a satisfied smile appeared on his face. Ruyin, I'll leave it to you as well. Don't take into account your aunt and I. If she makes any mistakes, scold her when she does and punish her when she does. While saying that, Father Lu also took Ruyan Lu's hand and handed it over to Zhao Rin. Dad, Ruyan Lu choked, and it was only at this moment that it dawned on her why her own father had insisted on calling Zhao Rin over, as well as the meaning of what he had just said. Ruyan she didn't know better before and did a lot of things wrong, but don't worry, 
she's still a big girl. Lu father at this moment is no longer that outside the word of the old boss, but an old father who cares about his daughter, do their last strength to protect their daughter. Uncle Lu, don't talk about this. I'll book you a plane ticket, and tomorrow you'll all go to Yanjing together to see the doctor. The soldiers are precious. Looking at the other party's gaze, Zhao Rin also understood what the other party had in mind. But to be honest, at this time, he really couldn't call out that word, so he could only stiffly digress and said, Tomorrow Ruyan won't go. I'll go to Yanjing with your Aunt Lu. I'll leave Ruyan and the company all to you. Seeing Zhao Rin's move to diverge from the topic, knowing that the other party still had a misunderstanding in his heart, the helpless Lu father gently sighed and continued. He was making a last ditch effort, because in this huge Hang city, the only person who could let him lay his heart down high and dry was Zhao Rin in front of him. No matter what, today he had to ask Zhao Rin for an attitude. This statement was undoubtedly putting all things on the table and saying them in the open. And the focus of the three members of the Lu family all fell on Zhao Rin at the moment. This kind of feeling, which was similar to consigning an orphan as well as moral kidnapping, made Zhao Rin very uncomfortable, and his first reaction was to refuse. However, this thought of his had only just appeared, and immediately a strong impulse surged through his body and he knew that he had to agree. Good. I'll take care of Ruyan and the company. Zhao Rin nodded and sort of made his attitude clear. Late at night, Zhao Rin declined Lu Ruyan's kind offer to let him drive back and chose to take a taxi back alone, leaving time and space for the three of them as a family. Tonight, they must have a lot to say. Back to 201, he was worried about how to tell what Qin Xian about resigning, thinking about it as if no matter what reason he made up, it always felt so unorthodox. Brother Rin, why aren't you sleeping this late? Just as Zhao Rin was caught in a tangle, Huo Qingxuan's voice suddenly rang out. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin couldn't help but raise his head slightly, and his line of sight crossed over the computer desk to see Huo Qingxian, who was standing in the doorway of 201, only to see that she was wearing loose long-sleeved pajamas at this time. Standing in the doorway, perhaps she had just washed her hair in the evening, a head of dark and shiny hair was just draped over her shoulders, a pair of slightly sleepy eyes were looking straight at Zhao Rin, as if waiting for Zhao Rin's reply. Embarrassing is as embarrassing as it gets. Zhao Rin gritted his teeth and opened his mouth to talk things over. The next day, Zhao Rin woke up early. His mind kept going back to Huo Qingxuan's odd behavior last night. He had thought that Huo Qingxian would agree to him leaving, but he didn't expect Huo Qingxian to give him an unexpected suggestion. The suggestion was simple. Change the full-time janitor to a part-time janitor and just come over regularly every week to fix the apartment facilities. She's still strangely nice. Zhao Rin gave a conclusion in the end after some shuffling. There was a ding, and just as Zhao Rin was leisurely picking himself up, his cell phone rang. Clicked to see. It turned out to be Lu father and mother Lu boarded the plane to Yanjing. Now the plane is waiting for the airport runway it. Seeing the Lu family action so quickly, Zhao Rin is also temporarily put down the hanging heart. After cleaning himself up, Zhao Rin gently slapped his face with his slightly cold hands so that he could clear his head. His left cheek was still vaguely painful. This stupid woman's hands could be really hard. Going downstairs. Zhao Rin bought a breakfast on the side of the road, and after paying for it, he thought that it wasn't right, and then bought another one, and then got on the drop to the Lu family home, Lu family furniture headquarters entrance. When Lu Ruyan drove Paramara parked in the parking space in front of the home store not even a few seconds, originally parked on the side of the road and a few cars hula down a number of people, towards Lu Ruyan surrounded over. You guys this is? Worried all night Lu Ruyan, and got up early to send his parents to the airport to take a plane. The whole person has been tired. See hula group of people toward came over. For a moment some overwhelmed. You are boss Lu's daughter, right? The man at the head of the group, who was big and thick, had to confirm Lu Ruyan's identity first as soon as he came up. That's right. Which one are you? Lu Ruyan nodded her head. Drowsy. At this moment she also had to force herself to deal with these people who looked like they were coming from a bad place. Where's your father? The man continued to ask. My father is traveling today. Do you have something to do? Lu Ruyan opened her mouth. She did have the basic precaution of not telling the truth. A business trip? It's to Yanjing to cure cancer, right? The man sniffed and snorted coldly. What are you talking about? I don't quite understand. After hearing this, Ruyan Lu responded with a calm face on the surface. But inwardly, she thumped, knowing that it was going to be bad. Although she had long anticipated this kind of scene, she did not expect it to come so quickly. All right, we are all old foxes who have become fine. So don't put aside here to play any chit chat. I'll be straight with you. I'm here today to ask for money. A while ago, your Lu family home from my factory ordered five sets of home. Until now the money has not given me. Today you are quick. Give money. When the words were said here, 
The man also completely broke that layer of window paper. The agreed time limit for payment between us has not yet expired, has it? I'm such a big home furnishing store. Would I renege on my debt? Hearing that the other party came to the door early in the morning to ask for money, Lu Ruyan was not happy at once. The payment for their home store is always settled at the end of each year. It's only October now. How can they give money? You're right. It does tie up at the end of the year. But that was based on the premise that your father was still in charge. Because he was honest enough. Now that your father has gone to Yin Jing for treatment, if there is any eventuality, I have to take precautions. The man also said very frankly. And what about you guys? Think so too? Lu Ruyan's heart a burst of powerlessness. Lu father is now not yet how it is. This group of people's mouth changed. This will be what will happen in the future. She is not even dare to think about it. That's right, M.S. Lu, to be honest, we don't want to make things difficult for you. Several of us are running household factories in the neighborhood. And we've relied on boss Lu's list all these years to make some money. But times are different nowadays. We are also small business. We still hope that Miss Lu can be convenient with us. The several people behind the man also said stiffly. Everyone was a little red in the face. After all, this kind of falling down the well is really a little unseemly. Looking at the crowd's aggressive posture, Lu Ruyan suddenly felt weak all over. At this moment, she realized that Lu father in the business world, facing what kind of wind and waves, the years are quiet, just someone to mention their own weight forward. Convenient. You all ungrateful things. How did Uncle Lu treat you all before? Have you all forgotten? Right at this moment, a familiar voice rang out, and a bright light instantly flashed in Ruyan Lu's gray eyes. Little brother Zhao, hearing this familiar voice, these few furniture factory bosses turned their heads, seemingly a little surprised as to how Zhao Rin had appeared here. Hadn't he left the Lu family because of the previous engagement banquet? Several old bosses, feel your conscience and think about it. If it wasn't for Uncle Lu giving you orders, your factory would have closed down five years ago for fear of dying. Zhao Rin ignored them and walked idly to Lu Ruyan's front, very naturally blocking Lu Ruyan behind him, saying with a disgusted face, How did you guys hook up with the Ryu family home? Don't you have any idea? What? You just ate fine chaff for two days and you dislike coarse grains? What's more? When has the Lu family ever delayed a payment? When have they not paid on time? I'm afraid that time is more accurate than the time your wives have their period. Zhao Rin grinned conspiratorially and said, I'll put it here. If you want to settle the payment, come here and find me at 1 o'clock this afternoon and we'll settle it face to face. We are all businessmen. Coming to someone's store door early in the morning to ask for money, rushes the wealth. You guys don't even know this rule? Accompanied by Zhao Rin's output of a flurry of vulgar words, the faces of the home factory bosses, who were originally a bit apprehensive, looked a bit ugly, feeling that they couldn't save face. After all, they were being taught a lesson by Zhao Rin, such a young man in his twenties, but the reality of the situation there, cannot allow them not to face up to. After all, some years ago, if not Zhao Rin to find the door, will be a lot of Lu family home orders from the south of Guangdong province to them here to do. They were able to come back to life. For Lu's father, they may only be a business relationship on the relationship. For Zhao Rin, that can really have a favor in it. Little brother Zhao, you can still make a decision? The previous engagement banquet was not. The man at the head of the group sniffed, and immediately got tangled up. And only after a long time did he speak out to test the waters. But he didn't quite dare to say it explicitly. Zhao Rin didn't say anything when he heard this, but instead took a step to the side, letting out Lu Ruyan who was blocking the way. There were some words that had to be said by her, a member of the Lu family. Naturally, my dad is on a business trip right now. His words are our words. Ruyan Lu also said very cooperatively. That's fine. A few of us will rush to little brother Zhao's face and still follow the old rules. A few home factory bosses discussed and gritted their teeth. Painful. But I can understand your concerns. It just so happens that it's almost the end of the year now. And our sales are not bad. Let's do it this way. Within five days, I'll first give a few of you 30% of the payment for the goods. Of course, it refers to the orders that have been recorded. Ah, today's doesn't count. Seeing the other party state, Zhao Rin's hanging heart is sort of relaxed. To be honest, he is not the original body after all. The original body only left the memory, but did not leave the negotiation skills. Ah, good. Happy cooperation. A few home factory bosses looked at each other. Their hanging hearts instantly put back into their stomachs and extended their hands one after another. When they had all left, the road in front of the entrance was suddenly wider. Ruyan, immediately have sales count the orders that have paid deposits, and if the deliveries have been completed, press for payment as soon as possible. Also, inform finance to immediately count the money on the company's books after deducting salaries and various operating expenses. This time must stabilize these home factories, 
Zhao Rin stood in the doorway, looking at the seven-seat minivan that gradually drove away as well as a few private cars, and opened his mouth to command. Okay, I'll do it right away. Lu Ruyan glanced at Zhao Rin, as if she had found her backbone, obviously working in the same company, how come she couldn't do it herself? No rush, eat first. Only then did Lu Ruyan see the two breakfasts that Zhao Rin was carrying in her hand, and her eyes suddenly reddened. Well, still familiar with it, on the second floor office area, Ruyan Lu led Zhao Rin back to the office that had been away for many days. Is it cleaned every day? Zhao Rin brushed his fingers across the desktop. His fingertips were silky smooth for a while. He couldn't feel the slightest sense of grit. He couldn't help but be a little surprised. He thought that this office had become dusty because no one was using it. Since you left, I often come to clean it myself personally. Ruyan Lu forced a smile and explained. It was obvious that for this office, Ruyan Lu also had complex emotions in it. Come on, eat your breakfast. After tossing around downstairs for so long just now, I hope the buns haven't gotten cold yet. Zhao Rin took out a breakfast and handed it to Lu Ruyan. Thanks, thanks. This was the first time Lu Ruyan had gotten along with Zhao Rin in such a peaceful state since the two of them had fallen out at the engagement banquet, and for a moment she actually forgot about the rest, and after receiving the bun, she shyly didn't dare to raise her head. Next, things like this morning may become more and more frequent. Uncle Lu is healing. You, Missy, can grow up fast. Zhao Rin took a bite of the bun and said with a smile, Ha, huh? hearing this, Ruyan Lu froze, looking very surprised by Zhao Rin's words. Why this expression? This Lu family home is Uncle Lu's half-life's endeavor. I'm an outsider. Can't it be that you really intend to let me have the final say? Looking at Lu Ruyan's straight face, Zhao Rin was instantly helpless. You come with me. Feeling that Zhao Rin had to have a lump deep inside, Lu Ruyan pursed her lips and took the initiative to pull over Zhao Rin's arm and said, Where are you taking me? This is a company, where a lot of people are. Oops, don't ask so many questions. Lu Ruyan's pretty face slightly reddened as she ranted. Soon, Lu Ruyan pulled Zhao Rin to her office, then locked the door as soon as she could. In the middle of the day, it's not a good idea. Seeing Lu Ruyan's mysterious face, Zhao Rin instantly thought wrongly and took a step back with his hands clasping his chest and said, Ha, huh? what do you want? Zhao Rin's words made Lu Ruyan froze, and in the next second, she immediately reacted and spat with a red pretty face. I I I I. I just want to show you something. What is it? Lock the door in broad daylight to see. Zhao Rin was also a little confused. Work business doesn't require locking the door. You, you'll know when you see it. Lu Ruyan clenched her teeth and opened the laptop on her desk, and after a flurry of operations, unlocked an encrypted file, followed by a screen full of videos. What do these videos mean? Looking at the videos inside that ranged in size from tens of megabytes, Hundreds of megabytes and even gigabytes. Zhao Rin somewhat didn't quite understand. Hubby, there is innocence between Lin Ming and me. Every time I went over there, I brought a pinhole camcorder with me. This is the video I recorded. It's all from my first view. Ruyan Lu lowered her head and carefully explained. What? Hearing this, Zhao Rin was dumbfounded. Is this how a pinhole camcorder is used? Isn't that what the locking brother uses to spy on the geeks? You're leaving evidence here. I know what I did in the past was excessive. But what I want to tell you is that Lin Ming and I are innocent. My body is still clean. These are the evidence. Inside are all the videos. I labeled each video with the time and place and the event. What can be seen above is about 10G of video. There are also 10G I got a compressed package. You can flip through it at any time. What I said is absolutely no half sentence of false words. Lu Ruyan said with a guilty face. At this moment she is also glad that she has more heart. What's the point of you being like this? What I care about is your choices. Your behavior. Do you think this is like writing code and messing with software? And patching things up when there's a bug? Zhao Rin took a bite of the bun and laughed. If you were so measured, then you wouldn't have abandoned me on the day of the engagement banquet. Zhao Rin's words were unbiased, emphasizing that this little cleverness of Lu Ruyan's was like a child playing house. I, I know that you have a lump in your heart. Ruyan Lu lowered her voice and said, I'm not praying for your forgiveness. I just want to tell you that I really only went out of friendship, and I haven't done anything to wrong you. Lu Ruyan's low tone of voice made Zhao Rin's heart flutter, and he felt like he almost went soft. Unfortunately, not breaking the bottom line didn't mean that no mistakes were made, especially the behavior at the engagement banquet, which was undoubtedly a big mistake. Let's talk about this matter. First, let's get through this hurdle in front of us first. What happened in the morning was just the beginning, and trouble will follow. Zhao Rin politely said that he did not want to talk about feelings at this time. Rin, does it still hurt? Seeing Zhao Rin facing a screen of video, not the slightest bit moved. Lu Ruyan failed in one plan and gave birth to another. Enough. 
Seeing that the other party was endlessly testing the waters and ignoring his repeated polite reminders, Zhao Ren's patience was wearing thin and he opened his mouth to stop. I, being yelled at like this by Zhao Ren, Lu Ruyan instantly froze, and her eyes reddened as if she was about to shed tears immediately. I've already been morally kidnapped once by Uncle Lu when I came here to help. Do you want to do another moral kidnapping now? Zhao Ren's heart was getting a bit impatient, so his tone more or less carried a bit of fire. I didn't mean that. Ruyan Lu shook her head and tried to explain. Save yourself a few moments of decency. Will you? Also, put your focus on business. Uncle Lu needs lots and lots of money for his treatment. Zhao Rin didn't want to put words in his mouth. After all, this was a special time. And as he spoke, his tone softened again. I, I know. Zhao Rin's words were like an enlightenment, causing Lu Ruyan to instantly come to her senses. Her own father was in dire need of money now, but she herself was indulging in these childish feelings, causing her to lower her head in shame. Go on. Follow what I just said, and you immediately instruct the people below to do it. Seeing that the other party had come to his senses, Zhao Rin immediately changed his tone and continued. Rin, why don't you go ahead and say it, or I'll always feel that something is strange. Ruyan Lu timidly said, the company is Uncle Lu's single-handedly fought out. You are Uncle Lu's only heir, understand? Looking at this stupid woman in front of her, Zhao Rin developed the urge to give a big forced fight. I promised Uncle Lu that I will guard the company's business well but I will only take the share that I deserve. I understand. Lu Ruyan heard the meaning in Zhao Rin's words, and after taking a deep breath, she calmed down and nodded her head, saying that a daughter inherits her father's business, and no matter if Zhao Rin helps her or not, this signboard of the Lu family home, she must carry it. Very well, finish your buns and post a notice. When all the data is summarized first, you notify me and I'll teach you to analyze it. Although he didn't know how to do business, but the original body's memories were still there. A simple analysis. Zhao Rin was still able to do it. Back to his office. Only half an hour it. Zhao Rin did not even sit on his ass hot. He saw an anxious face Lu Ruyan pushed the door in, holding a document. What happened? Looking at the other party's fiery appearance, Zhao Rin was a bit speechless. How could this stupid woman be so calm? It was already an eventful time. If this was shown to the staff, wouldn't it be unstable for the military and cause a lot more trouble out of nowhere? There's a payment of half a million dollars for a shipment that's not coming through. Closing the door, Ruyan Lu spread out the document in her hand and asked, pointing to the text on it, 500,000 payment only. Who sells let who to urge? Here but half a million payment only. Zhao Rin waved his hand in a careless way. Before he was involved in sales work, the highest a whole 800,000 furniture orders are not afraid of. Half a million is nothing? It would be good if it was just that. The most important thing is that five days ago, the branch sales in charge of this order suddenly left. Even the commission of this order is not wanted. Play disappeared. Lu Ruyan said nervously. It doesn't matter if you don't check. Once you check it you are shocked. The sales department actually made such a big mistake. Keep it quiet for now. You find out all the orders from the sales department from almost the point in time I left after the engagement banquet and give them to me. I'll check them. Zhao Rin sniffed and was inwardly shocked. But on the surface, he did not move and ordered. Okay, I'll go now. Ruyan Lu nodded and was just about to turn around to do it when suddenly Zhao Rin seemed to think of something and called her back. Don't be too obvious with your intentions. Zhao Rin's eyes flickered with intent. Understood. Ruyan Lu nodded. She didn't realize that she was also working for her own company and actually made such a big mistake without realizing it. Time passed for another half an hour. Taking advantage of Lu Ruyan's efforts to look for orders, Zhao double-checked the financial reports. And sure enough, there were several large pre-receipts with time frames that had far exceeded the normal cycle but were slow to be collected. What is a normal cycle? It's simple. For the home furnishing industry, every time a customer looks at furniture and pays a 20% deposit, the sales department will immediately place an order with the corresponding manufacturer. The normal lead time is around 40 days. Because of Zhao Rin's reasons, Lu Family Home in the beginning stage of the selected Hangzhou near the home factory as a supplier. So the delivery cycle is shortened by almost a week or so. Usually once the stuff arrives, it will immediately arrange for delivery to the customer, door-to-door -door installation, etc. Usually 40 days at the latest 45 days can receive the remaining 80% of the purchase price, and now the financial statement shows the time has been a full two months. The money is delayed. It seems that this group of people is getting ready to make a scene. Zhao Rin looked at the two documents in his hands and smelled a hint of conspiracy in them. At this time, Lu Ruyan pushed her way in. She didn't say a word. Her face just looked a little pale and placed a document in her hand on Zhao Rin's desk. The white A4 paper was slippery to the touch, and even had a few moments of heat, and when flipping the paper, 
It vaguely smelled a flavor of ink. Zhao Rin briefly flipped through it and immediately reacted. As expected, there are bad guys in this team. What to do ah? Rin, the sales department actually have so many people suddenly left. Even the salary do not want. I just took a look in passing. This period of time left five people. Each person who left during this period of time have closed a considerable amount of performance. The lowest 100. 000. The highest is just now this 500. 000. The five people add up to a total of more than one. Six million. This more than one. Six million of the purchase price if we can't get it back. We'll be finished. Ruyan Lu looked a little overwhelmed. It's not just that. The report from the finance department shows that there's still a large amount of presale money that hasn't been collected, and it's already past the normal deadline. After listening to Ruyan Lu's feedback, Zhao Rin handed over the financial report. Instantly, Lu Ruyan's face turned even whiter. What to do? Lu Ruyan, who was at her wit's end, her sight fell on Zhao Rin. Know your enemy and know yourself. I remember you know a few private detectives, right? So give them a heavy dose of money and investigate the background of these few buyers. Zhao Rin sat in her seat for a while and spoke. By the way, how many more days until this month's shareholders meeting? There's still about 10 days to go. Do you suspect it's them? Lu Ruyan reacted furiously, stretching out her fingers and comparing them to a yeah as well as an okay. Not skeptical. Zhao Rin shook his head. We have limited time. We must be quick. Good. Seeing Zhao Rin's calm and collected command, Lu Ruyan's apprehensive heart slowly calmed down. Pulling out her cell phone she began to contact a private detective. Heavy rewards would be rewarded. And soon Zhao Rin got first-hand news. In the afternoon, the city center village. Looking at the familiar scene, Zhao Rin bitterly smiled and shook his head. He was tossing and turning, and he was back to square one. Following the address recorded on the company's delivery slip, Zhao Rin quickly locked onto a building that was nine stories tall and walked over. Compared to the building of Huo Qingxuan's mother and daughter, this building looked quite new. And looking at the brand new exterior paint on the surface of the facade, one could tell that this was a newly completed building. Looking at the brand new building, Zhao Rin roughly estimated a half a million dollars for the goods. A big difference. Hello, how are you? I'm from Willow Home Furnishings. My last name is Zhao. The home you ordered with us. Zhao Rin hadn't even finished speaking when an impatient voice came from the opposite side. Interrupting Zhao Rin's words, it's to ask for money. Okay, you come to me. As long as you can convince me, I don't mind giving you the settlement. The address you there must have. Room number 601. Good. Since the opposite party said so, Zhao Rin also agreed obediently. Then hung up the phone, as long as he was allowed to see the person. He naturally had a way to get the money. However, the voice in the earpiece sounded familiar, as if he had heard it somewhere before. However, Zhao Rin still couldn't find the owner of this voice after thinking about it for a long time. Whatever. Room 601. Half a million dollars. I'm coming. Zhao Rin cried out in his heart and immediately walked towards the building. According to the consistent nature of these rental houses, Zhao Rin went around the back and found the stairway. According to the other party's instructions, Zhao Rin leisurely walked up the stairs. As for why not take the elevator, the reason is very simple. He is not a tenant. There is no sensor card ah. At the 601 door, Zhao Rin pressed the doorbell mounted on the side of the doorframe. After about half a minute, the door opened. A familiar figure came into view. Crap, it's actually her. Shit, Zhao Rin shouted in his mind. Yo, isn't this the Hua family's son-in-law? What are you doing knocking on my door? It turned out that the person at the door was the starting middle-aged woman who had set up a scheme to trap Hua Qingxian when her mom was playing cards earlier. Hello, I'm from the Lu family home. Zhao Rin inwardly MMP, but on the surface, he responded with a formulaic smile. Want money ah, uh, can, you dare to come in to talk? As soon as she heard that she was coming over to ask for money, the middle-aged woman's eyes instantly lit up moving her plump body to take a step back and said, but the unsuspecting eyes were close to sticking her thoughts directly to her head. You, this dead fat woman, if not for not getting the money, the laborer kicked you in the head. Looking at the other party's straight eyes, although he had gotten first-hand information from the private detective, he still felt a wave of revulsion, and inwardly bellyached. What? Don't dare to come in? Looking at the other party's hesitant appearance, the middle-aged woman laughed evilly. A greasy dish face suddenly seemed like a grinning pig's head. Looking at Zhao Rin almost did not hold back. Even the breakfast gave you out. Why don't you dare? Zhao Rin responded without moving. And even though he was slightly apprehensive inside, he took off his shoes and walked in. Where's the chap who greeted me earlier? Why didn't he come? The middle-aged woman sat down opposite Zhao Rin with a playful face. Everyone's heart is in the right place, right? Zhao Rin glanced at the other party and said with intent. 
Mindfulness? I don't quite get it, the middle-aged woman said, still unmoved. In that case, I'll open up. As a rent collector who collects rent for a living, doesn't it smell good to collect rent honestly? There's no need to have to stick your nose in the mall. Zhao Rin laughed. How nice to collect hundreds of thousands of dollars of rent a year peacefully. I somewhat don't quite understand. The middle-aged woman sniffed, and the teasing in her eyes gradually faded, but she still shook her head. Do not understand. That does not matter. I came over today ah, uh, brought a book for your son, which is a scarce thing on the market oh. Words were not enough. Seeing that the other party was still playing dumb, Zhao Rin also didn't bother to say more, and took out a book from his accompanying briefcase, placing it on the coffee table. The middle-aged woman, who had thought that there would be a big show of begging for money to watch, had just breathed a sigh of relief, but when she read the title of the book, her whole person instantly froze. Auntie, think about it. This is my company's collection account number. Remember to make a note of it after payment. Farewell. Zhao Rin said as he took out a card with Lu Family Home's collection account number written on it. After saying that, Zhao Rin also did not say anything more, directly stood up and left the house, leaving the middle-aged woman alone. Looking at the book on the coffee table, after thinking about it again and again, she made a decision. On this side, Zhao Rin was originally planning to make a trip to Huo Qingxuan's apartment, but at that moment he received a call from an acquaintance in the company. This stupid woman doesn't have enough to do, does she? Zhao Rin hung up the phone and cursed, then called a drop and rushed over in a hurry. On the other hand, the top floor of an office building in Hangzhou, Lu Ruyan, who was dressed in an OL outfit, was sitting in the conference room, glancing at her cell phone from time to time, looking very anxious, and in one corner of the conference room, a pinhole camcorder is constantly transmitting real-time images to the president's office near the conference room. TSK, TSK, sometimes I'm quite envious of old Lu. Look at his daughter. Her skin is white and beautiful. I can't help but shudder when I look at her. A balding man from a local support center was sitting in front of his desk with a lecherous face. All right, old Huang, getting down to business is important. When I get the decision-making power of the company and bring down the Lu family, won't his daughter be at your mercy sooner or later in order to live? At this time, the person sitting opposite old Huang spoke up. If Lu Ruyan was here, she would have been shocked, because this person was the second largest shareholder of their company, and also one of her father's partners when he started his business back then. Yang Yu. Fair enough. However, are you sure these arrangements of yours will work? It's only a few million dollars. Even if you make a scene at the shareholders meeting, you may not be able to bring down the Lu family, right? The person known as Old Huang sniffed and said in disbelief, his words all questioning the other party's methods. Things are for everyone. If the Old Willow is still in charge of things, I'm sure this operation is not enough to see, but now the Old Willow is gone. Without him this pin, the remaining several small shareholders is just a wall grass. Yang Yu heard the other side of the words between the test, very confidently said, then I'll go out and have some fun with this chick? Hearing this, Old Yellow couldn't help but nod his head and said, Can, but at this juncture, you don't want to get into any trouble. It doesn't matter if you play around. Looking at the other party's look of colorfulness, Yang Yu was a little contemptuous. A strange uncle who only focuses on the opposite sex between the legs, if not for the sake of getting to the top and becoming the boss, how could he hold back the nausea to work with this kind of person? All right, just keep an eye on it. After receiving his partner's approval, Old Huang stood up and walked straight out. Little Lu General, just now the company things delayed, really sorry ah, old Huang pushed open the door of the conference room, as soon as he came in, he apologized with a very formulaic smile, at first glance it didn't look like much, but the straight eyes never left Lu Ruyan, you're welcome, Mr. Huang, hearing the commotion, Ruyan Lu also took the initiative to stand up and politely reply towards Mr. Huang, the company's major customer, I wonder, how has general manager Lu been doing lately? It's the peak season for new house decoration and housewarming. I think the general manager Lu is also in a springtime. Old Huang naturally sat on the main seat of the conference room and said with a smile, feeling the other party's line of sight falling on his body. Lu Ruyan instinctively frowned. This Mr. Huang came before she knew, is a famous colorful embryo in the business world of Hangzhou, likes to use money to smash women, by his use of money to smash into the bed of women shaking more than can be counted. If it is not to do things clean, not very messy. Did not offend the upper big brother? I'm afraid that has long been caught in the dismantling of the sewing machine. My dad he's been busy with the company lately, while being pushed by customers to ship goods, while pushing the factory to ship goods. It's back to back, pushing down the feeling of displeasure within her heart. Lu Ruyan slightly raised her head and looked at old Huang who was sitting not far away and said, her words, the subtext is very simple. 
My father is in good shape now. The company business is too busy. He can't get away so I came. Then, Mr. Little Lu, what is the purpose of your visit to my company? Old Huang saw that one move did not work, and immediately pretended to be an idiot, asking knowingly, Oh, it's like this. When we were reconciling our accounts these past few days, we found out that your company, Mr. Huang, redecorated not too long ago and ordered a large batch of office furniture from my company. So today, my dad asked me to come here to take a look and confirm the status of this batch of goods. Upon hearing this, Ruyan Lu cursed the old fox while putting on a bashful look and said, Oh, right, right, right. I've been so busy with my business during this period of time that I actually didn't think of it all of a sudden. Speaking of this batch of goods, ah, Mr. Shaoli you came just in time. Some after sale problems I was planning to ask you to send someone to take a look. After market problems? Good ah. Upon hearing this, it was obviously the other party's words of excuses, but on the surface Lu Ruyan still maintained a bland look and responded. Then please also ask Mr. Huang to lead the way, and I'll see if I can solve it for you on the spot. Yeah. Since Lu Ruyan said so, the old yellow direct snake on the stick, with Lu Ruyan in addition to their own office in addition to all the other places to walk again. Find some of the problem is not a perfunctory question. Half an hour to toss down. Lu Ruyan's pretty face gradually showed a hint of impatience color. And this all fell on the old yellow body. In the end, the young girl is a young girl. That kind of untouched sense of youthfulness. And full of youthful vitality carcass for the old Huang this kind of people to the middle-aged bald old man of color has a fatal attraction. If you use a word to describe words, that is not shuddering ah. At the same time, his mind, an evil idea is quietly forming. About another quarter of an hour or so passed, and the look of impatience on Ruyan Lu's face grew thicker and thicker, seeing that the time was almost up. Old Huang began his next move. General Manager Xiao Lu, look at these problems. It's not that I don't pay, it's that I just can't. How about this? When you solve all these problems I just mentioned, I'll settle the bill for you immediately. Old Huang said with a stern face, looking at Lu Ruyan with a colorful look, as if the big bad wolf was looking at a little sheep. Mr. Huang, these are all small problems. I'll let someone come over now to get it for you, and I'll directly replace it for you if you can't get it right. But this payment can't be delayed any longer. It's been almost two months. Hearing this, Ruyan Lu was very anxious inwardly, not having much experience in asking for payment. She said what was in her heart all of a sudden. Mr. Little Lu. Words can't be said like that. What do you mean the payment for the goods can't be delayed anymore? It's your family's products that have problems. Watching Lu Ruyan fall into his predetermined pocket step by step. Old Huang was smug, but on the surface, he revealed a color of disappointment and shook his head. Mr. Huang, after sales problem, you are a big customer of my company. We'll absolutely handle it properly for you. Ruyan Lu seemed to not realize the crisis in the slightest at the moment, and continued to say with conviction. Success. Just for the sake of Mr. Lu's face, a tiger's father is not a dog's daughter. I will settle the money for you today. But before settling the money, I still have a small request. Old Huang pretended to say with a reluctant look, but only the glint of conspiratorial triumph in his eyes was impossible to hide. Lu Ruyan naturally also caught this glint in her eye, but although she already had a bad feeling in her heart, she had to follow the other party's words down the line. I wonder what Mr. Huang is talking about? Accompanied by Lu Ruyan's words. Old Huang felt that he was going to succeed in his plot. Come, go back to the conference room. Old Huang didn't explicitly say anything, only signaling the other party to follow him back to the conference room. As soon as he arrived at the conference room, Lu Ruyan saw three tall glasses placed on the large conference table. Each glass poured about half of the white wine inside a little more. It is clear that this is just now Lao Huang let his men instructed his men to do. General Manager Xiao Lu, I'm a pain in the ass. This is a check for 300. Zero 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 dollars for the goods. I've already signed it. As long as you drink these three glasses of wine in one gulp, this check will be taken away by you immediately. Even the after sales are waived. Old Huang said at this moment, revealing an expression that looked like a smile. This, Lu Ruyan was caught in a dilemma. Drinking a girl of her own is fierce. If she doesn't drink, this money definitely can't be taken. Chief Little Lu, the check is here. You can see for yourself. Old Huang was also very calm. He used this trick time and time again, and did not know how many girls he had taken advantage of. Lu Ruyan sniffed, some face to leave, but things came to a head. If she left, this money is certainly not get, even if it is a lawsuit. It will be time-consuming and laborious. In the end, Lu Ruyan remembered the anti-wolf spray inside her bag. If the general manager Huang in front of her, really moved a crooked mind, she would use the anti-wolf spray to spray his eyes blind. 
I hope that Mr. Huang is true to his word. Ruyan Lu gritted her teeth and spoke. While speaking, she reached out and picked up a cup of white wine. With a tilt of his head, he instantly drank it all in one go. A cup of high concentration white wine down. Lu Ruyan immediately began to get dizzy. The brain seems to lose control of the body. The scene in front of her eyes began to rotate up in the sky. Little Lu always has a good capacity for alcohol. When old Huang saw Lu Ruyan's reddened face from the alcohol, his entire body began to eroticize, but he still sat in the main seat and did not move, but cooperated by giving a thumbs up. Hiccup, I hope that Mr. Huang says, does what he says. Ruyan Lu bit her tongue, the pain restoring her some sobriety, and tremblingly picked up a second glass of wine. Naturally, I, old Huang, have always kept my word. Old Huang patted his chest and assured. With a gulp, Ruyan Lu's second glass of wine went down her throat. The hot white wine choked her throat, and her entire consciousness began to drift off. As for old Huang, looking at Lu Ruyan's torrid red face, and the snow-white delicate crystalline calves under the professional skirt, he felt that his kunai was quite lifted up, and he also started to get excited. One more cup, the old yellow at the moment still sitting on the seat, said faintly. He was sure that as long as this third cup of white wine down, Lu Ruyan will definitely be drunk unconscious. To that time, his round as flat is at his mercy. The second brother ah, you are blessed today. Just as Lu Ruyan staggered his feet, reaching for the third glass of wine, suddenly the door of the conference room issued a bang sound. Instantly the two a jolt. Lu Ruyan was frightened by the sudden sound, suddenly broke out in a lot of cold sweat. The whole person actually sobered up a few points. Mr. Huang, I'll drink this wine. His line of sight fell on the two empty goblets on the conference table and looked at the other glass of wine. Zhao Rin instantly understood and said with a bashful face, Zhao Rin, didn't you leave the Lu family? Seeing Zhao Rin who went single-handedly, old Huang's eyelids jumped. He knew that he had made this commotion for nothing today, and that in addition to Lu's father, Zhao Rin had the most credit for the Lu family's home company being able to open up so much, but he still didn't die and said, after all, a while ago, the things that happened at the duo's engagement banquet, he had also heard about it. I, Hu Hansan, am back again. Zhao Rin had a sorrowful smile on his face as he said, Mr. Huang, I'll give you two choices. One, I'll drink this cup of wine and I'll take the person away. Two, I'll beat you up and I'll take the person away. You directly take the person away. The more one reaches middle age, the more one cherishes one's life. And in accordance with old Huang's such a lustful nature, to be able to stand firm in Hangzhou's shopping malls for so many years, recognizing the time is his greatest merit. Then thank you, Mr. Huang. Zhao Rin responded, then took the initiative to step forward and assisted Lu Ruyan's body. A. Rin. And that, that you, the check, alcohol on the head of Lu Ruyan this time to speak even tongue-tied, still cannot forget the check. Mr. Huang, we're too clear. Zhao Rin sniffed and inwardly spat while putting away the check that was placed on one side of the desktop, then said in a double entendre. Naturally. Although old Huang regretted inwardly, he did not stop him, and between three words, the two reached a deal. People's names and trees, Zhao Rin's ability he is aware of, can make the Lu family so a furniture seller to the scale of one billion. The ability of non-natural is the same general. He did not need to set up a rival for himself. Downstairs in the office building, Zhao Rin, who was assisting Lu Ruyan, suddenly had cold hairs towering behind him, and couldn't help but pause, slightly deflecting his body and then raising his head high, his line of sight looked toward the top floor of the office building. Ha, nice guy, on the top floor, in old Huang's office, Yang Yu, who was holding the binoculars, suddenly shook his body and looked a little surprised. This was because from inside the binoculars, he saw Zhao Rin casting a line of sight as if he had discovered his voyeuristic behavior. As for Zhao Rin, he guessed that someone on the top floor must be watching him, but who it was that was unknown. Soon, Zhao Rin opened a room in a nearby hotel. And after asking the hotel staff to help him buy a box of sobriety pills, he took his room card and went up the elevator under the strange eyes of the hotel's receptionist girl. You stupid woman. Looking at Lu Ruyan, who had alcohol on her face and a turbulent red color, Zhao Rin cursed angrily. After the staff of the hotel sent the sobering medicine, Zhao Rin directly unscrewed the cap of the mineral water bottle on the small coffee table in the room. Cool water with medicine. And hard to pour it in. Cough cough cough. A short period of time a large amount of cool water gushed into the throat. In a daze, Lu Ruyan first unconsciously swallowed a few mouthfuls, and then the speed of swallowing couldn't keep up with the speed of the cool water gushing in, and directly choked and sat up, and then there was a burst of violent coughing. Instant sobriety medicine efficacy in the stomach and intestines quickly evaporated out, 
Lu Ruyan's alcohol gradually subsided. People began to slowly sober up. Rin, where are we? Lu Ruyan, who had just come to her senses, was all out of energy at this point, and said in a hoarse voice as she looked at the familiar figure in front of her. This is in a hotel. Seeing that the other party was gradually coming to her senses, Zhao Rin responded indifferently, then ran to the bathroom and wet a disposable towel with cold water before walking out and handing it to Lu Ruyan. I, I don't have strength in my hands, will you wipe my face? I have to say, Lu Ruyan this woman ah, say she's not stupid, actually dared to go to the Hongmen banquet, say she's stupid, but at this time she's drunk and will find excuses to be petulant, looking at the other party's pretty face that was half drunk and half awake. Above both cheeks there was still a little bit of gyroscopic red. Zhao Rin found that Lu Ruyan after drunkenness, the seductive power of a man instantly max, especially that pair of snow-white delicate long legs, unconsciously friction, even though there is oh well the middle section of the skirt of the cover, but still look at the person's blood. Zhao Rin couldn't help but gulp a mouthful of water. Let me help you wash? Zhao Rin said as he clutched the wet towel in his hand, unconsciously using a stronger hand and part of the water even flowed down his palm and dripped onto the floor. Yeah, Lu Ruyan said and shook her head. It was obvious that even with the help of the sobriety medicine, the alcohol in her body didn't break down so quickly. After all, what she drank was serious white wine. Unexpectedly, on her side even before the words fell, a white towel instantly fell from the sky. Before she could react, the towel under the manipulation of a large hand, quickly slid across her face. The icy cold feeling, let Lu Ruyan instantly a jolt. The wine went down a few more points. This is comfortable, right? Zhao Rin looked at the time was almost up. Retrieve the towel, said with a smug face. At the same time, his afterglow swept over the towel, the side that was in contact with Lu Ruyan's face. There was red and white. At a glance, it was clear that he wiped down the cosmetics on Lu Ruyan's face. Rin, why are you so rude? Lu Ruyan, who was confused by Zhao Rin's flurry of maneuvers, only managed to react after a long period of time and said with some surprise. It's not because you're angry, you stupid woman. Hearing the other party's voice, Zhao Rin immediately became furious and slammed the watery towel in her hand onto the floor, the two colliding with each other with a muffled bang sound, accompanied by the sound of smashing on the ground. Lu Ruyan's body swayed and silently lowered her head, somewhat not quite daring to look directly at Zhao Rin. I, I just want to help, Lu Ruyan said timidly, afraid that Zhao Rin would not be able to hold back and teach her a lesson. Help help help, you're almost helping out you know? As Zhao Rin spoke, she couldn't help but poke Lu Ruyan's head with her finger and exclaimed, that one surnamed Huang, he's notorious for being a hungry man of color, especially for unmarried girls between 18 to 25, what's your own posture, don't you have any points in your heart, I, 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 how was I to know that he was so bold that he actually had crooked thoughts in the conference room, listening to Zhao Rin's barrage of words, Lu Ruyan rubbed her head and couldn't help but retort, I'll fuck you, in a moment of impulse, Zhao Rin suddenly reached out and pushed Lu Ruyan, directly pushing her down onto the large soft bed. The old ancestor was sending goose feathers for thousands of miles. The gift is light. How about you? You are sending a thousand miles. As he spoke, Zhao Rin also felt that the topic seemed a bit sensitive, so he stopped talking about it. Well, then, it's not like I did it on purpose. I'll give it to you for a thousand miles. Do you want it? Anyway, there are measures here as well. And of course if you want the full sense of experience. I'll let you. Zhao Rin's unexpected rude action, let Lu Ruyan surprised at the same time, actually produced a stimulating enjoyment of a strange feeling. So the brain is short circuit, said the above words. What time is it? And you're still thinking about these vain things? Are you damn sick? Looking at the other party's pretentious appearance, Zhao Rin couldn't help but burst out, his words filled with disgust. What do you mean by something vain? Lu Ruyan looked at Zhao Rin's somewhat middle-aged appearance and was very lost. She realized that she had almost played all the cards in her hand, but Zhao Rin was still unmoved. So what should she do? Saying you're a stupid woman, you're really a stupid woman. Zhao Rin felt that this Lu Ruyan in front of her. It seems that she has put all her skill points on her face and body. This IQ is worrying ah. No wonder so many presales are not recovered without realizing it. In the future, I'll personally handle the matter of debt collection, and you'll be responsible for the company's daily work. Right, this check is for you. Saying that, Zhao Rin suddenly thought of the check thing, casually took out the check and handed it to Lu Ruyan. Count your luck today. Don't do this kind of thing in the future. Good. I know. Lu Ruyan received the check. Nodded. Recalling the previous scene, the heart produced a feeling of after the robbery. This if drunk by a bald middle-aged uncle that what? She can be in the future. Time passed quickly and soon came the day of the company's shareholders meeting. 
Today is your first big test. Whether or not the company is still surnamed Lu depends on your performance today. Zhao Rin handed over the pre-prepared statements to Rui and Lu, then prepared to go back to the office. Rin, aren't you going in? Seeing Zhao Rin's appearance, seemingly not intending to go into the conference room for the meeting, Lu Ruyan hurriedly called out to him, puzzled. This is the shareholders meeting today. Uncle Lu is not here, so you are the spokesperson. Zhao Rin explained. In fact, there was still a sentence in his heart that he didn't say. That is, if you, Ruyan Lu, didn't grow up, he himself would definitely not be able to complete the final and complete cut with the Lu family. All right then. Lu Ruyan sniffed and nodded thoughtfully, then took the statement and walked inside, where several large and small shareholders of the Lu family home had already been waiting inside. Niece Ruyan, why are you the one who came? Where is brother Lu? Seeing Ruyan Lu pushing the door in alone, a glint flashed in the eyes of Yan Yu, who was sitting in the second chair, and then he opened his mouth. The words are polite, but the person is leaning on the soft leather seat, just like a senior appearance. Uncle Yang, my father has gone for a physical examination, so let me take his place to go through the motions. Lu Ruyan sniffed, and inwardly, she immediately had a judgment. However, on the surface, she made a look of indifference and explained with a smile. Oh, like this. That's fine. It's just the regular shareholders meeting. It doesn't matter if brother Lu comes or not. I'll look after it for him. Yan Yu sniffed and didn't say much else, but said with a face of rightfulness. It's no bother for you Uncle Yang. I've already prepared the report. Lu Ruyan naturally heard the meaning inside the other party's words. It was clear that he was directly ignoring himself as a youngster, intending to show that he, Yang Yu, could manage the company equally well. So Ruyan Lu put down the report in her hand without slowing down, pointed to the report in her hand and said, That's fine, niece Ruyan, you feel free to make your report. If there is something wrong, I as an elder will help you look at it again. Through a short exchange of words, Yang Yu did not take the slightest advantage, so he raised the platitude of his seniority and said, Good ah, then I, as a junior, if what I say is wrong, please ask Uncle Yang to not be stingy with his advice. Ruyan Lu smiled and obliged by pretending to respect her seniors. Hoof. Feeling that he had touched a small nail that wasn't hard or soft, Yang Yu let out a cold snort before sitting down on his seat with his butt. All right, several shareholders, the shareholders meeting will now begin. I'm not quite the same as my father. After all, I'm your junior. I like to get right to the point. This side only says to focus on two figures, the turnover and the dividends after tax. Lu Ruyan said, while the hands of several statements prepared in advance, in turn distributed to the hands of several shareholders, in three words, the complex text into a grounded simple figures, can be described as simple and concise. Nice Ruyan, how do I feel that what you said is not right? Yang Yu took the statement and pretended to read a few pages, then threw the statement and leaned on the backrest of the seat, saying in a conspiratorial manner. As soon as these words came out, the few remaining minority shareholders immediately turned their heads, their eyes focused, and the focus suddenly landed on Yan Yu's body. Seeing this good brother, who was honest and obedient in his father's mouth, suddenly make an attack at this moment, Lu Ruyan's heart was not very panicked. After all, he had already made sufficient preparations. I don't know where Uncle Yang feels wrong? Lu Ruyan had a smile on her face and looked like she was humbly asking for advice. To the uninformed it looked as if she was really a newcomer who was humbly asking for advice from her seniors. The statement of the Ministry of Finance is not right ah. Here these sums of money is clearly the advance receipts. The final payment has not yet received it. How do you count in the dividend inside? Looking at the other side of a look of total ignorance. Yan Yu gently coughed. Said, hasn't my dad always been like this in the past? What's the problem? Seeing Yan Yu say this, Lu Ruyan revealed a look of deservedness and wondered. This is certainly problematic. Dividends are called dividends only when the money is divided into hands and actually freely disposable. You use this one statement to fool us elders. What's the difference with writing a blank check? Looking at the statement on the string of familiar figures, Yang Yu put on a look of righteous indignation said, but the heart is very pleased. Lu father is not there. A little girl how is his opponent? Just find a reason to let her down. Uncle Yang, then what do you mean? Lu Ruyan's heart was clear. It's true that a fortress can only be breached from within. This Yang Yu is planning to be the boss ah. I remember the company's finance department is for you to manage, right? After all this talk, it was only at this time that it sort of came around to the point. The finance department. That's right. Ruyan Lu nodded. It was something the whole company knew. There was no point in arguing about it. These advance receipts have already exceeded the normal billing period. Why didn't you find out in time? Yang Yu said. His face straightened. A hat of negligence was immediately snapped. I took a rough look at it. It's about a million. 
$560,000, right? Where is the money? I remember some days ago. I received wind that those few home factories came to our main store early in the morning to block the door. Are you going to give us a few elders to explain the explanation? Yang Yu's words, said quite organized, interlocking, captured the most important in the business world interests word. A few add up to only 20% of the shares of the small shareholders at this time have to look at Lu Ruyan, although Lu Ruyan her father's past power did not speak, but the silent look, has been their attitude and position clarified. The company's management has been working hard to ensure that the company will be able to fulfill its mission. Uncle Yang, you are uniting these uncles and intend to force the palace. Lu Ruyan's face was as normal, nervous as nervous, but on the surface it didn't show at all. As usual, she said, no no, I just need you to give me, or rather our several shareholders a reasonable explanation. Yang Yu said with a smile on his face, just how the smile looked like that kind of conspiracy to succeed. Seeing this, Ruyan Lu was about to open her mouth when a knock sounded on the conference room's door. Knock, knock, knock. A crisp knock on the door sounded. The tense atmosphere in the conference room for a lag, accompanied by a few knocks on the door. The conference room door creak, opened. And then the accountant of the Ministry of Finance cautiously poked his head in, and saw a few shareholders coincidentally looking at themselves. Cannot help but be a little nervous. Something wrong? Ruyan Lu glanced at the other party and opened her mouth to ask. General Manager Xiao Lu. I just received a few payments. According to the notes they are all customers who ordered furniture from our company some time ago. I've already called and confirmed them all just now. The small accountant said somewhat uncomfortably, and I've already organized it into a report. Saying that, he also specially held up the statement in his hand. Thanks. Hearing these words, Lu Ruyan instantly breathed a sigh of relief in her heart and waved to the other party, signaling for him to bring the things in. Now what? Uncle Yang, is there anything else wrong? Ruyan Lu flipped through the statement and then placed it on the conference table, leaving it to be accessed by several shareholders. On the statement, bank vouchers, how much money, remittance time, all show plainly, spare Yang Yu the old fox for a moment, is also the face of a green burst of white burst, cannot think of any rebuttal words, if there's nothing else, today's regular shareholders meeting will end here, since the advantage is mine, Ruyan Lu would not give the other party another chance to think about a counterattack, waved her hand and directly gave an expulsion order. Slow down. Just when several other minority shareholders had organized the several statements distributed to them and were ready to take them home to look at them, Yang Yu, the second in command of the company, spoke up again. I don't know what Uncle Yang has to teach me? Lu Ruyan's hand that was organizing the statement paused. Lu Ruyan was impatient inside, but on the surface, she still did enough to be polite. It's fine. You remember to talk to your dad. Give me a call back when the physical examination is over. I'm looking for him for something, Yang Yu smiled, meaning to say, once the words came out, the remaining several small shareholders also immediately alerted down, after all, everyone is in the shopping mall to mix the people, should have the alert have, yeah, feeling the subtle changes in the atmosphere on the scene, Lu Ruyan knew that this time absolutely cannot show timidity, otherwise Yang Yu will definitely take advantage of the opportunity to make trouble, a few small shareholders were originally wallflowers, who earns more with whom? If they fell to Yang Yu, a few people together to get the shares can be higher than their own shares, and so naturally agree to do so. Do not show the slightest panic face. Natural fluent tone. For a moment, actually let Yang Yu also began to question the news he received. Began to be a little difficult to distinguish between true and false. As for the remaining several small shareholders, see the situation also no longer say, after all, for them, as long as the interests of the hand unchanged, there is no need to blindly stand in the situation is not clear. All right, then I still have things to do. So I'll leave first. Yang Yu smiled meaningfully and got up to say a few words before leaving. The several minority shareholders naturally also said their goodbyes and left. Personally watched all the people down the stairs. Lu Ruyan is considered to be a sigh of relief. The whole person instantly paralyzed leaning back in the chair. Until he felt a cold behind. And only then reacted to. He originally did not know when he had already broken out in a cold sweat. Well. It's not easy facing these old guys, is it? Just then, Zhao Rin walked in and said with a faint smile on his face, Yeah, it's so hard, if only you were there. Ruyan Lu felt like she had just lived through a palace drama, albeit a low-profile version. Don't, don't, don't drag me along. I'm just a part-time worker. I won't do this kind of thankless thing. Zhao Rin waved her hand and refused. To be honest, I still have to thank you. Thank me for what? Lu Ruyan froze and couldn't help but blurt out. But before the words fell, she immediately reacted. This was pointing at her awe. 
If she hadn't been blinded by Lard at the engagement party and openly abandoned him, the two of them would be an unmarried couple now, and he would have had to carry the responsibility for all of this himself. Ah Rin, you, do the two of us really have no chance? Having figured this out, as Lu Ruyan spoke, a mist had risen in her eyes, and even her voice took on a hint of choking. What do you think? Zhao Rin said indifferently, if it wasn't for that strong emotional reaction of the original soul, he wouldn't care about the death of the Lu family. But, but I've obviously already given you all the videos ah, Lin Ming and I are really innocent, I've always treated him as a good friend. Ruyan Lu's voice was tinged with tears as she still hadn't waited for the words her heart had hoped for. So what? The video can only prove that you didn't have a male-female Xing relationship with Lin Ming, and I'm willing to believe that you didn't have that aspect of your heart in your treatment of Lin Ming, but that doesn't seem to be enough of a qualification to say that you forgive, right? Zhao Rin asked rhetorically, what could a 20 gigabyte video show? It shows that innocence is still there? Then why are you still refusing to forgive me? Zhao Rin's words fell on Lu Ruyan's ears like thunderbolts from a clear sky, but she still still pursued the question without dying. You know to use a pinhole camcorder to record a video to prove your innocence. Can this IQ thought of this? Did you not consider my feelings at all? Did you not think about Lin Ming's green tea behavior? Or do you think that your parents, Mu Qingqing and the previous me, are all stupid by? Zhao Rin lightly glanced at Lu Ruyan and mocked. At this time, Lu Ruyan's eyes were red and her expression looked indescribably aggrieved. In the past, I've always self-brainwashed myself into thinking that you're a person with a pure nature, and that as long as I treat you well and speak to you, you'll come to understand. But sadly, that's not the case. Zhao Rin smiled and continued. He now felt that he was almost fused with his original soul. As long as he didn't do anything too excessive to the Lu family, he wouldn't cause his original soul to have overly impulsive emotions. Didn't I wake up? Ruyan Lu sophomorically said. You call this waking up? Zhao Rin laughed softly. You have no sense of boundaries at all. Lin Ming, that son of a bitch. One phone call and you're there. Have you ever seen anyone who was in a car accident and still called someone else? I. Zhao Rin's light sentence choked Lu Ruyan, who couldn't say a word, and her entire body slumped helplessly in her seat. All the past days, me and Lin Ming, between the two of us, you will always choose the latter. Even in the engagement banquet this kind of life first class big thing above, your choice is still him. Do not know. Thought I was the one who interfered in the feelings of the third party it. I think this kind of humiliation, on the head of any person with a normal mind, not love brain, cannot stand it, right? How many times did I endure it? Once, twice, three times, I'm afraid it's too many to count. The sense of boundaries, the foundation of a relationship, is built on those three words. Zhao Rin waved his hand, obviously not wanting to talk nonsense on top of these things. He was now thinking of helping Lu Ruyan take care of the company's affairs, and when she got on board, she would do the cutting. Can I, then, still pursue you again? Ruyan Lu asked in a low voice. Let's not mention what we know by heart. Let's leave a few points of decency for each other. Zhao Rin sniffed and did not answer positively. After a few seconds pause, seeing that Ruyan Lu didn't answer, Zhao Rin cleared his throat and said, I came over to talk to you about the company, and you don't want a repeat of what happened today, do you? Hearing that it is about the company, Lu Ruyan cannot help but sit up straight. The cause of the life of the body and family can be more important than the personal feelings of children and women. Let's institutionalize the company's operation. That previous model relied too much on the leader. Uncle Lu has only just left for Yanjing, and this surnamed Yang is up in arms. After Zhao Rin fully digested the original body's memories, he summarized the company's bugs. That is, everything relied too much on individual abilities, and the management model appeared to be too sloppy, which gave Yang Yu, the second in command, the opportunity to make trouble. Good. Ru Yan Lu nodded. All right, I'll leave first. Look for me again when you encounter anything that can't be solved. Seeing that the other party had adopted his idea, Zhao Rin didn't stay any longer and turned around to leave, looking at each other gradually leaving the back. Lu Ruyan raised his right hand to try to voice to stay, but found himself no matter how can not send a voice to, can only let the other side disappear in front of the eyes. Walking out of the company building, Zhao Rin stood on the side of the road looking at the endless stream of vehicles on the road, for a moment actually do not know where to go. Unbeknownst to him, a pair of eyes were staring at him from an inconspicuous corner nearby. Zhao Rin, you're really a licking dog. At the engagement banquet, Lu Ruyan treated you as Zhou Jirua, you actually even inferior to Zhou Jirua, no backbone at all, and still helping her so much, you're a boiling goat Max, aren't you? Yang Yu, who was hiding in a small car not far away, had a ferocious gaze and stared at Zhao Rin with disdain, Ah Chu, for no reason, Zhao Rin suddenly sneezed, who's talking bad about me behind my back? 
Zhao Rin rubbed his nose and looked around. The line of sight fell on a sliver of small cars on the side of the road, and didn't find anything strange, so he shook his head and took it all as his own illusion. I didn't expect this guy to be a talent. Amazing intuition ah, uh, actually able to feel something wrong twice. After making sure Zhao Rin left, Yang Yu pulled the seat backrest adjustment lever and carefully sat up while lamenting. Finally, Yang Yu seemed to have thought of something, took out his cell phone and made a call out. On this side, Zhao Rin, who knew nothing about this, swayed and turned back. After all, it's not time to get off work yet. Since he promised Father Lu to help Ruyan Lu look after the company, he should do what he said he would do. In the office, Zhao Rin just stayed alone, stealing half a day of leisure. Running the sales only need the sales department. Just then, his cell phone rang, and when he looked at the caller ID, it was a call from Mu Qingqing. A Rin, how come you're not in 201 these days ah? I came down several times and didn't see you person. As soon as it was connected, Mu Qingqing's voice came from the receiver. Obviously she didn't know about Zhao Rin going back to the Lu family to do something. I'm here at Ruyan Lu's company right now, Zhao Rin explained. Of course hiding Lu's father's condition. Just telling Mu Qingqing that Lu's father and mother were away from the company on some personal matters and asked for his help. So, then you won't be with Ruyin. Mu Qingqing was shocked by what she heard, a faint jealousy bubbling up in her heart, her tone sounding sour. Even she herself hadn't realized it yet. Stop it. It's impossible. She and I are now, at best, just friends. And as for the love between a man and a woman, it's long since faded away. Zhao Rin replied. And after the two of them exchanged pleasantries, Mu Qingqing stated her request. Hmm, is that appropriate? You're looking for me to hold up the fort? After hearing this, Zhao Rin froze and opened his mouth again to confirm, seemingly not quite believing his own ears and thinking he had heard wrong. What's inappropriate? I'm also just an insurance policy. In case I fall out with them, you can still take me away. It's hard for me to call the police, right? Mu Qingqing said very naturally, but just what exactly she was playing with in her heart. I'm afraid only she knows. Didn't you say you want to stay away from your parents and your brother? Zhao Rin was puzzled. It's fine to avoid them a bit. Hongzhou is so big, they may not be able to find you, right? There's no need to meet them, right? Zhao Rin was a bit confused about Mu Qingqing's operation. Isn't this just taking off her pants and farting around? I'm just going to piss them off. The patriarchy. Besides, I can't hide for the rest of my life. Mu Qingqing replied. All right then, then name a place. I'll just take a cab over there later when I get off work. Zhao Rin nodded and considered it an agreement. Not long after hanging up, he received a locate that was a seafood restaurant. An afternoon passed quickly, and as soon as 5 o'clock arrived, Zhao Rin picked up his cell phone and walked out in a flurry, not noticing that he was followed by a small follower. The so-called cannot get is always in commotion. This sentence on the Lu Ruyan is also very apt. She was busy in her office. Once idol will remember the past all sorts of things. Endless remorse as if it has a magic general, urging her to find Zhao Rin. It was hard to get through to the end of work. Lu Ruyan ran out with the things she had packed up long ago, and hurriedly went to look for Zhao Rin, but she only had time to see Zhao Rin's back at the stairway, and under suspicion, she gently followed her. Unfortunately, she was a step too slow and not fast enough, and when she followed her downstairs, she watched as Zhao Rin got into a cab and took off. However, Lu Ruyan was not discouraged, only to see that she unhurriedly took out her cell phone and tapped on the cell phone positioning which accurately showed Zhao Rin's movement trajectory. She only needed to follow this movement trajectory, open the door, light the flowers, and set off. Accompanied by a roar from the Paramera, Ruyan Lu followed with a kick of the gas, following the running track shown on the cell phone. Lu Ruyan barely managed to not lose her in seven turns and finally stopped in front of the seafood restaurant. Rin what is he doing here? Ruyan Lu muttered in a low voice as she parked her car in the corner. He came here to eat alone? It's not realistic either. Just as Lu Ruyan was puzzled, a familiar figure flashed in front of her eyes. Lu Ruyan froze and her brain started to wander again. A terrible idea for her sprouted in her inner mind, causing her to instantly blush. It won't. It won't. Lu Ruyan watched Mu Qingqing walk past in front of her, her mouth constantly self-hypnotizing herself. As for Mu Qingqing, probably because she will soon meet her parents, the mood is a little apprehensive. Surprisingly did not see the Primera parked on the side of the road, but where she turned her head to look at so much. The next thing, perhaps the back is not so many things. After waiting for Mu Qingqing to disappear in her line of sight, Lu Ruyan glanced at Zhao Rin's positioning, and the trajectory on her cell phone had stopped changing and stabilized inside the hotel, and the worry in her heart intensified by a few points. After taking several deep breaths in one breath, Ruyan Lu was just about to get off the bus when she received a call from her mother. Not bothering with pleasantries, 
Ruyan Lu immediately asked about her father's situation. Your father is already undergoing checkups now and is in good shape. So you and Rin don't need to worry too much. Mother Lu didn't say too much. And after instructing a few words, she hung up the phone. A few simple words of comfort. Let Lu Ruyan's worries in her heart subside a little. She immediately carried her bag and got out of the car. Only, let her did not expect. Lu mother hung up the phone. Two lines of tears fell from the corner of her eyes. Because this restaurant's seafood is one of the best. Lu Ruyan not less and Lu father and mother came to eat. So this can be said to be familiar. As soon as she entered the hotel, Lu Ruyan refused the guidance of the welcoming guests at the entrance and searched for Zhao Rin in the lobby of the second floor of the hotel all by herself. Lu Ruyan carried her bag, walked around the hall, froze and didn't see Zhao Rin's figure, couldn't help but be a little puzzled. Ha, huh? where is the person? At this moment, on the third floor of the hotel, Mu Qingqing, her parents and her brother, a family of four, were sitting on both sides of the table the four of them staring blankly at each other. Behind Mu Qingqing, Zhao Rin was sitting there, and there was only a screen between them. I have to say, this hotel will still play tricks off. Ah. The first floor to welcome guests, order food. The second floor of the hall used to hold banquets or other. Third floor with a screen will be separated from each table, forming a semi-enclosed space, together with the ancient ancient decoration, so that the guests to eat a kind of feeling of being in the ancient court. As for the fourth floor, that is the luxury box usually used by some business owners to hold private banquets. Mom and dad, I've said it before, I'm not marrying. Looking at her parents sitting across from her and her brother Mu Chuan, who she had always tolerated a lot, she was staring at herself with a displeased face at the moment. Mu Qingqing was also on fire from the heart, so she just directly picked it out and said, Qingqing, do you know what you're saying? Seeing his own daughter's rebellious behavior, Mu's father was instantly displeased and spoke with a gloomy face. Of course I know what I'm talking about. But mom and dad, do you two realize what you're doing? Trading my lifelong happiness for a bright future for him? Mu Qingqing, who had always been filial, finally stopped holding back at this moment and pointed at Mu Chuan, who was sitting on the side, and said angrily, Him? What about him? He is your own brother, and is not an outsider. Your brother is now also working. Nowadays society, men establish a career in order to become a family. Now society is so difficult. You as a sister, shouldn't you help out a little? Sitting across the table has not said anything Mu mother opened her mouth at this time. One opening is a huge hat buckle down. This person ah, as long as it is standing on the moral high ground, this PUA skill value directly max. I didn't help? Hearing these words, Mu Qingqing felt a pang of disappointment inside her heart, and her tone of voice grew colder and colder. Do you have help? If you didn't have your father and your brother fighting next door in Yong City, would you be able to live in a small 200 square feet large flat in this Hang City? Mother Mu sniffed and looked at Mu Qingqing and asked rhetorically, How do you want me to help? I've given you all my hard-earned savings from working for so many years. How else do you want me to help? Mu Qingqing said loudly, Savings? What savings? Upon hearing this, Mu's father froze. How did he not know about this? Still playing the idiot here? The card I put on the coffee table in the living room. Mu Qingqing sniffed and let out a cold laugh, sliding her finger on the phone a few times before flipping the screen and turning it face up towards the three of them. The money on this card is my entire savings over the years. And last night it showed over $70.000 being used. How do you guys explain that? Mu Qingqing's large watery eyes contained anger as she looked at the three, waiting for them to have to explain. Sis, what are you talking about? As soon as mom and dad and I got home last night, we cleaned up and went straight to bed. And we didn't see any bank card ah. At this time, a silent Mu Chuan opened his mouth. Only that unnatural expression and the eyes that flickered from time to time were undoubtedly a manifestation of here and now. You dead girl. So little money, you take it as filial piety to your mom. A handful of shit and a handful of urine. Raising you so big. How about giving me some money to use? Reacting to this, Mu's mother immediately opened her mouth. Interrupting the sibling's conversation. And it was clear that she was the one who knew about this money. And she that whether it is the tone of voice, or out of the words, sounds so acerbic and mean. Spare have been sitting behind Mu Qingqing Zhao Rin also cannot listen to it. But Mu Qingqing didn't open her mouth to ask for help at this time. He can only eat the dishes in front of him silently by himself. A wild rhubarb fish plus a few small dishes. Almost running on 800. Can't be wasted. A handful of shits and a handful of pisses. Mom you're saying it better than you're singing it, aren't you? Mu Qingqing's eyes filled with tears and said in a low tone. Outsiders look at me as a glamorous. Thousand dollar lady who lives in a big house. Oh. Have you guys paid anything for me? I even earned my own money for my living expenses and half of my tuition fees for college. And you guys still have the face to say that? Ching Ching, 
How do you talk to mom and dad? What's wrong with working and studying hard in college? Letting you experience some social practice. It's good for your future. When the words came out, Moose father was not happy and immediately raised his fatherly stance. The moment he opened his mouth, he was all kinds of thinking about you and your future development. I'm really bolting QO. Mom and dad you guys are still strange good Lou. For the sake of the daughter's future. So painstakingly, Mu Qingqing revealed a mocking smile and kindly laughed. What do you mean? Looking at the mocking color on her daughter's face, Mu mother's eyelids jumped. It always sounded like something wasn't quite right. But at first glance, she couldn't seem to find anything wrong. So she couldn't help but ask back. What about him? This drunkard. Why don't you guys let him work part-time off campus to earn money? You know I go to a public first class. And he, on the other hand, is nothing but a private college, and his tuition for one semester is almost as much as my four semesters. My dear mom and dad, I wonder if you can explain this, along with affection being suppressed by reason. Mu Qingqing's mind became clearer and clearer, and the things she said became more and more tricky and irrefutable. This, Mu father and mother were choked out of a sentence. The couple looked at each other. For a moment they couldn't even find the words to retort. The scene was frozen. Time did not know how long it had passed. The atmosphere between the two sides became more and more stagnant Mu's father finally lost his patience slammed the table, breaking the deadlock. With a bang, Mu's big, heavy hoof hit the tabletop, causing the tableware on the table to make a pinging sound. That's enough, Xing Cheng. Watch your tone. What class are you? Questioning mom and dad's decisions. Do you still need to ask for your opinion on how mom and dad do things? Mu father's Jared voice said, just that the words that clearly played tricks on the exit, just as if he didn't want to explain. All right. You guys are marvelous. You're noble. All right. Mu Qingqing showed a look of despair. But, I won't marry. Using my lifelong happiness in exchange for your family's happiness. I don't want it. When she said the last three words, Mu Qingqing even aggravated her tone. Why don't you marry? Next door to the Yongqing's Wang's group's crown prince. Wang Tung, youthful genius, just after 30 years old, has been promoted to the position of CEO of Wang's group, just like already have the Yongqing's richest man. When you marry into the Wang family, in time, as long as he is on top, half of the Wang group is yours, 10 billion group chairman's wife, how scenic to call. When mother Mu heard this, she gave father Mu and Mu Chuan a look respectively, signaling the two of them to keep quiet, and then a caring expression appeared on her face, softly portraying a big pie to Mu Qingqing. Mom, you've drawn this big pie really well. The Yangcheng Wang clan, Wang Tung, the crown prince of the Wang clan group, despite his outstanding business ability, has a dragon and yang fetish. After listening to her mother's introduction, Mu Qingqing responded with a cold smile. It was obvious that she had long inquired about the situation. Anyway, what's wrong with sacrificing yourself for the sake of your brother's future? So what if you have a dragon penis fetish? Wouldn't it lose you a bite of food? Mother Mu continued. I don't know. Her words are like a saw. In a rope called affection keep cutting around. Although the rope is very thick and thick, but can't withstand the saw constantly cutting around. Ah, get to the end. The rope was sawing more and more thin, more and more thin. I won't marry. Mu Qingqing burst into tears, having had to pay and sacrifice since childhood, as well as being aggrieved. She completely couldn't hold back her innermost emotions, and her tears snapped down, landing on the desktop. You have to marry even if you marry, and you have to marry even if you don't. Listening to the back and forth between the two sides, Mu's father completely lost his patience. If you don't want to, I'll tie you up to the Wang family. Accompanying the fall of the words of this statement, Mu Qingqing's eyes instantly changed. Swoosh. Mu Qingqing only felt that the rope in her mind broke. A strange feeling began to gradually diffuse the whole body. Obviously now even the cold air is not open. But Mu Qingqing felt indescribably cold all over her body. Her heart is cool and cold. If you want to marry, you marry. I won't. Mu Qingqing angrily shouted. Without waiting for the three to respond, she directly picked up her bag, got up and was about to leave. I'm leaving. From today onwards, I'm no longer a member of the Mu family. Do you think you can still walk? Mu Chuan, stop your sister. Mother Mu had already anticipated this situation and ordered without panic. Then Mu Chuan, who had gotten the order, stood up, intending to stop Mu Qingqing. Sister, you've loved me since I was a child, and you'd always let me have everything first, so this time you'll just help your younger brother one last time. I will remember your goodness for the rest of my life. Mu Chuan's side said words of thanks but the expression on his face was that of a plotting man. What a disgusting face. I say, you three guys, are you done with the nonsense? Right at this moment, Zhao Rin stood up and blocked in front of Mu Chuan, his tall stature directly stopping Mu Chuan's advancing steps in place. Young man, we're talking as a family. 
What's the matter with you? Stay wherever you are. Moose father saw that things were on the brink, and suddenly a Chang Bai Jin came out of the way. Instantly his mood was bad. You're interrupting my dinner, he's my boyfriend. Zhao Ring casually found a reason to excuse himself, but he didn't expect Mu Qingqing, who was right behind him, to coldly come up with such a sentence, causing him to freeze for a moment. What? Hearing this, the faces of the three instantly changed, obviously having a bit of a hard time accepting this news. When did she find a boyfriend? Young man, leave my daughter. Father Mu, who was the first to react, spoke up. Mom and dad, we, it's absolutely impossible for us to separate unless I die. Looking at her parents still being aggressive, Mu Qingqing clenched her teeth and took the initiative to hold Zhao Rin's arm and spoke. What are you doing? In public, hurry up and let go. Although there were not many people dining on the third floor, there were still a few tables. Mu father had already noticed the gazes of those melon eaters, in case anyone was curious for a moment and took a video and posted it online. It would all be too late. This time could not be a lost cause. I, I already have his child, so I definitely won't marry that what's his name Wang Tang. Mu Qingqing counted on going out on a limb, and even directly undid her outer garment, revealing the slender body inside, as well as that slightly bulging belly. It was only at this time that Zhao Rin reacted. No wonder the reason why this girl who had always liked to wear slim fit clothes suddenly broke the mold and wore sportswear today. It turned out that she had secretly prepared for everything. What did you say for all? Hearing this, Mu father was completely enraged, picking up the teapot on the table and smashing it towards Mu Qingqing. Seeing that the teapot was about to hit his body, Zhao Rin's quick eyes and hands grabbed the teapot, which prevented Mu Qingqing from having a tragic situation of being covered in tea leaves. That's the end of my words. If you guys force me, I'll almost die for you. Two lives in one body. Mu Qingqing, who was extremely disappointed, gritted her teeth and said. After saying that, he no longer paid any attention to the reactions of the three people, and pulled Zhao Rin's arm and walked out. But at the corner of the stairs, he saw Lu Ruyan with a miserable face. Ruyan, why are you here? Mu Qingqing stopped in her tracks, surprised. Lu Ruyan did not speak, just a gloomy face looked to Mu Qingqing's stomach. At this time Mu Qingqing's coat zipper is not yet closed, that slightly convex stomach and the light of the irradiation appeared particularly eye-catching. How long have you two been at it? Lu Ruyan's gaze was dull, staring deathly at Mu Qingqing's slightly protruding stomach as she opened her mouth, her tone sounding flat and uninteresting. How long has it been? Zhao Rin glanced at her. The question was inexplicable. A discerning person would know that this was an act, right? Sure enough, she was a stupid woman. Ruyan, my parents are coming after us soon. Let's leave first. Not being able to say that much, listening to the footsteps that were getting closer and closer, Mu Qingqing urged. Okay. Lu Ruyan nodded, then turned around. The three of them left the hotel in a hurry. But Mu Qingqing's parents and her younger brother Mu Chuan were not so lucky. The two of them had just chased from the third floor to the second floor when they were blocked by the hotel's lobby manager with a few security guards. What are you doing? My daughter has been abducted. Looking at the two tall security guards in front of him, Mu's father pressed down the idea of forcing his way in and said in a loud voice, That's it, you guys are breaking the law. Watching his money tree run away, Mu Chuan was not happy and doggedly said, Gentlemen, you haven't paid your bill yet? How can you leave? The manager had a formulaic smile on his face and said without being condescending, The bill? By what bill? At those words, Mu's father froze, not reacting for a moment. Just now your table ordered a king crab. The manager still had a smile on his face as he explained. It was ordered using the QR code on the table, so please also move to the cashier. After saying that, the manager even made a pleased gesture. Crap. Mom. Dad. Sister pitched us. Actually didn't buy the bill first. As soon as he heard this, Mu Chuana did not hold back, said what he had in mind. While a few people were being held up by the restaurant. Zhao Rin's trio had already gotten into the Primera and merged into the traffic. The atmosphere inside the car was dull, and none of the three spoke. Finally, Ruyan Lu couldn't help herself and opened her mouth. How long has it been going on? You too? Looking at the traffic light in front of him tuned to red, Lu Ruyan's eyes, looking straight at Mu Qingqing, who was sitting in the passenger seat, opened her mouth and asked, What do you mean? Ruyan Lu, what are you imagining? Saying you're a stupid woman, you really are. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin in the back row was instantly helpless. This clear-eyed person knew it was a fake at a glance. Okay. Lu Ruyan didn't answer. Still looking dead at the co-pilot Mu Qingqing said, as if she wanted to wait for the other party to say it herself. At this time, the back row of a sharp drip 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 horn sound. See such a good opportunity to be interrupted. Lu Ruyan angrily looked at Mu Qingqing, had no choice but to release the brakes, stepped on the gas pedal, 
The Paramara's large displacement engine instantly issued a roar, and then took off. Can we talk now? Ruyan Lu drove the car into the underground parking lot of a shopping mall, and the car had only just stopped when her words came. Ruyan, first of all, this is just a pad. I'm not pregnant. Seeing this longtime bestie's face of distrust towards herself, Mu Qingqing suddenly felt a bit amused, but she didn't say anything more. Instead she lifted up her slim t-shirt, revealing the simulated pad inside to prove that what she said was true. Ching Ching, why are you looking for Rin? You obviously know. Seeing Mu Qingqing's simulated mat that was tied around her slender waist, Lu Ruyan's originally tense face slightly eased, but she still didn't intend to leave it at that. But before she could even finish her sentence, she was interrupted by Mu Qingqing. Ruyan, what do I obviously know? Or what should I know? Mu Qingqing looked at the best friend in front of her and didn't budge, saying, He's my husband, my man, how can you ask him for this kind of favor? Lu Ruyan's eyes revealed a complicated look as she opened her mouth. Stop, stop, Lu Ruyan, I'll reiterate once more, the two of us didn't complete the engagement ceremony, much less get a license, so I'm not your husband, I'm a dang yellow flower man, how can you defile someone's innocence out of thin air? Seeing Lu Ruyan once again say that she was her husband, Zhao Rin was speechless, had he known that she was still like this? He shouldn't have gone to help her manage some company. Ruyan, do you hear me? Now that you're like me, the relationship between us and Rin is just a good friend that's a little higher than an ordinary friend. So tell me, what do I need to understand? Seeing this, Mu Qingqing simply followed Zhao Rin's words down the line. She was just asking her good friend for a favor, and her line was straight. It's different. Lu Ruyan turned a deaf ear to Zhao Rin's words and continued to look at Mu Qingqing deadpan. Why did you look for him? Instead of looking for someone else? I don't have a male best friend, the only one I trust in my social circle is a Rin, so if I don't look for him, who will I look for? Mu Qingqing's words were a killer, instantly disliking Lu Ruyan into a corner, the kind that has no way back. Lin Ming has already gone in to cut the sewing machine, so why are you guys still biting on this? Don't people have to look ahead? Lu Ruyan's chest rose and fell rapidly, the clothes on her body followed suit and kept enlarging and shrinking, it was evident that she was in an agitated mood. Could it be that this matter is not considered to be uncovered? Ruyan, I'm not holding on to this Lin Ming thing. Mu Qingqing shook her head and explained. If it wasn't for Ruyan Lu's aggressive look, she wouldn't bother to repeat the same old story. Still say no? This matter of Lin Ming has already passed. It's equivalent to a Rin still being my husband. The reasoning that cars and husbands are not forgiven. Don't you understand? Lu Ruyan exasperatedly said. A Rin is my husband. Ruyan Lu spoke and finally reiterated. Ruyan Lu. Have you had enough? At this time, Zhao Rin, who had been sitting in the back row in silence, spoke up and yelled towards Ruyan Lu. You're the one who keeps grasping onto the past, okay? Lin Ming went in. Things are over, which means the relationship between the two of us is also over. Not a fresh start as you think. Understand? Honey, let's just end the old relationship when it's over. Aren't we starting over now? How can you do this to me? Hiding this from me and doing this with Qing Cheng. What will I do if someone takes a picture and posts it online? Ruyan Lu said forcefully, Who do you think you are? A hundred billionaire? Who pays attention to that? Ah shucks, almost got sidetracked by you. The two of us don't have an official certification, and we don't have a civil ceremony, so at most, it only affects the two of us, so it's none of your business, ha? Huh? Zhao Rin was halfway through her sentence when she suddenly reacted to the fact that she was almost brought into the role of her husband by the other party, so she hurriedly changed her words. That's right, if Rin was really your husband, would I do this? You planted the cause yourself, why do you want us to bear the consequences for you? Mu Qingqing's words were tricky, each word seemed like a descending dragon's 18 palms, hitting Lu Ruyan with no power to fight back. Rin, are we really good like this? Looking at the Paramara that was moving away, Mu Qingqing inclined her head and said as she looked at Zhao Rin who was standing beside her, a long pain is better than a short one, the words have been said to this extent, so it's better to cut her off. Lest every time there's a bit of something, it's taken out and talked about. Zhao Rin shook his head and said, After all, forgiveness isn't something that ends with a single talk, but rather, every time you think about it, you have to suffer through the pain and repeat the action of forgiveness over and over again. Makes sense. After Mu Qingqing heard this, she also nodded her head in great agreement. Just as the two of them were chatting, Zhao Rin's cell phone rang, and took it out to see that it was Zhang Lei's voice call. Hey, rebellious son. What is it that you are looking for my father? Pressing the answer button, Zhao Rin placed it in his ear and said, Rin Chan, is it convenient for you to talk now? On the other end, Zhang Lei didn't respond to Zhao Rin's joke, but instead asked this in an uncharacteristic manner. Convenient ah, what is it you say? 
The other party's voice sounded a bit low, but Zhao Rin didn't think too much about it, and just collected his jokes and replied. I was fairy jumped. Zhang Lei's voice got smaller and smaller, and if it wasn't for the power of Zhao Rin's cell phone, he was afraid that he wouldn't even be able to hear a single hairline. Cynical jumping? In the end what happened? Zhao Rin heard a shock. The heart immediately had a bad feeling. He was a little less convinced, although Zhang Lei got that bite, but every time is to go to the big healthcare inside. Never engage in other moths. Good. I'll come over right away. After listening to the other party briefly say a few words, Zhao Rin hung up the phone with a sad face. What's going on? Who got jumped by an immortal? Looking at Zhao Rin's worried look, Mu Qingqing couldn't help but speak. Zhang Lei, it's too late to say so much now. Take a taxi back yourself. I'm going to look for him now. Zhao Rin simply replied a few sentences, then stopped a cab and rushed towards the address that Zhang Lei had said. Mu Qingqing did know the importance of the situation and didn't ask any more questions, allowing Zhao Rin to leave in the car, standing in the same place for some time before she chose to leave. On the other hand, in an old neighborhood, rented house, Zhang Lei was wearing bare shoulders, sitting at the end of the bed, looking at the bald big man standing opposite him and a few minions behind him. One of the minions still had a bandage on his head, and the outermost circle of dark black dried bloodstains on the bandage appeared to be especially obvious. And at the head of the bed, a cloaked woman was wrapping her body with a quilt, revealing both sides of her snow-white delicate shoulders, and a head, but the woman was full of bashfulness and did not have the least bit of that sense of shame of being naked and being gazed at by a few big men. Hey, when will your brother arrive? The bald big man glanced at the time and said with some impatience. Should. Soon. Now it's the evening rush hour. A little late can't be helped. Zhang Lei said with some uncertainty. He was now very remorseful in his heart. Hey, bald guy. The few of you turn around for my old lady. My old lady is going to get dressed. The woman looked at the bald big man and his several little brothers. Their eyes had to glance and glance to their side from time to time, and couldn't help but get a little fired up. If you're in the business, you're still afraid of people watching, aren't you? You can change it. The bald man was unmoved, a lewd smile on his big greasy face full of horizontal meat. Zhang Lei sniffed and glanced at the woman, getting a flash of anger in his eyes. Unexpectedly, this action of his was discovered by the woman. The woman glanced at him as well, and said in a cold tone, Don't look at me like that, if not for your spermatozoa, we could have set you up? That's right, kid, if it wasn't for you not being able to control your lower body, our brothers wouldn't have been able to lasso you today, the bald big man said with a smile. Several big brothers, you do me a favor and let me go. I'll pay for this brother's medical expenses as much as I can, okay? Zhang Lei begged in a lowly manner, still trying to make a last-ditch effort. You broke my brother's head, and you simply want to get it over with? The bald man shook his head and refused, just as a few people were talking. There was a knock on the door of the rental house. My brother is here. Hearing the knock on the door, Zhang Lei's originally dark eyes instantly appeared brightly as he looked at the bald man and said, Go open the door. The bald big man nudged towards the door, and his own little brother went over and opened the door. Lei Zi, how are you? Seeing the scene in the rented room, Zhao Rin's face was unchanged, and his focus fell directly on Zhang Lei. There's nothing wrong with him, there's something wrong with my brother. Seeing that the main man had arrived, the bald big man immediately stood up and pointed at the little brother beside him who had a bandage on his head. Isn't it just getting ripped off? Say, what do you want? A look at this formation. Zhao Rin immediately reacted. Where is this what fairy jump ah? This is clearly rushing to their own ah. But calm down. A calm face stood in front of Zhang Lei said. What do you think I would want? The bald big man saw this and was a bit surprised inside. How was this different from the expected script? My brother is just an unusual laborer. Fairy jumping on his head. Do you really think I'm stupid? Zhao Rin grinned and said. Seeing this, the bald big man didn't bother to say the lines he had originally prepared, and pulled out his cell phone from his pocket, handing it to Zhao Rin. What do you mean? Zhao Rin looked at the cell phone in front of him and didn't reach out to pick it up, but instead looked at the bald man. My boss wants to have a chat with you. The bald man said with a cold expression. What kind of person? Pretending to be a god. Zhao Rin said with a disgusted look on her face, then picked up her cell phone. Zhao Rin. It's me. Over the receiver, a familiar voice came. Uncle Yang Ah. Hearing this voice, Zhao Rin first froze, and then immediately came to his senses. It really was a man who died of wealth. Zhao Rin Ah. Originally I didn't want to do this, but I'm a little less than happy that you made me lose all my efforts today. On the other end, Yang Yu leaned back in his boss chair and said with a playful face, Uncle Yang. Ah. A clear man doesn't speak in the dark. What do you want from me after taking such a big turn? Zhao Rin didn't bother pulling the other party's leg and directly opened the door. 
It's simple. I'll give you double of what the Lu family gives you. Yang Yu didn't nag, and directly took out the trick of luring. Double? Zhao Rin sniffed and kindly laughed. You're really generous. Uncle Yang, what are you laughing at? As an old fox, Yang Yu naturally heard the mockery within the other party's words. I'm alone, so a little money, a little more or less, it seems to be of little significance to me. Zhao Rin laughed coldly. Uncle Yang, you're so strange and good, take so much money yourself, share a little bit with me. If you are so good at counting, I suggest you to set up a stall under the flyover, and I will send you a pair of sunglasses. What about Zhang Lei? Is it enough for us to talk? Yang Yu saw Zhao Rin's look of not bending over for five buckets of rice, and immediately changed the lure to coercion. Coercion and lure, the basic skill of the modern superior. Rinko, I, on Zhang Lei's used car. Zhang Lei who had been driving silently couldn't help but open his mouth, his words full of guilt. It's fine, even if this matter is in the past, you've been implicated by me. This matter was originally caused by me. They were rushing towards the Lu family, rushing towards me. Zhao Rin waved his hand and simply explained a few sentences, signaling the other party not to take it to heart. But I, alas, after hearing this, Zhang Lei felt even more guilty in his heart. How did he get horny and follow that woman out today? Unfortunately, there is no regret medicine under the sky to eat. Well, it's time to eat and drink, and time to sleep. Control the number of times of great healthcare. The gentle land is a hero's mound. Young people do not know precious, old age empty tears. Feeling that his dead friend's mood was not right, Zhao Rin took the initiative to open up a small non-vegetarian story to liven up the atmosphere. All right, Rinzi, I owe you for this today. Zhang Lei nodded his head, and secretly decided in his heart that he would have to be a bit more restrained in the future, or else it would be bad if he got someone else involved. Okay, pull over in front, now the evening rush hour. Too much traffic. Zhao Rin saw the situation, did not say much, intends to get off. Zhang Lei refused to do so and the two of them grated for a while, and finally Zhao Rin got out of the car, and walked into the subway station not far away alone, buy a ticket, get on the car, Zhao Rin gripped the handrail on the floor with one hand and pinched his cell phone with the other, the evening rush hour carriage was full of beatniks returning home from work, Zhao Rin just like this alone and the crowded car wobble wobble back to the city center village, at this time, the sky was already dark, the night completely shrouded the world, looking at both sides of the road thick with fireworks, Zhao Rin's expression was indifferent, quickly walked through, and soon returned to 201, closing and locking the 201's entry door, Zhao Rin sat on his but on the soft sofa, at this time, the aura on Zhao Rin's body began to change, two completely different auras alternated on this body, and his eyes began to shift constantly, original body, I'll give you two choices, either you completely dissipate and let me fully inherit your memories and help the Lu family, and I can guarantee that the Lu family will still be the Lu family, either, I will jump down from the upper floor right now, so that this body will lose its vitality, and the two of us will die together, with the Lu family being annexed by the others, and Rui and Lu living on the streets. I don't know how long it took, but in the end, it was Zhao Rin, who had passed through the soul, who was skillful and took control of the body, and said to the air, good, I will completely dissipate, remember your words, it didn't take long for the original body, the already dead Zhao Rin, to finally reply back in his mind, and immediately afterward, Zhao Rin felt an unprecedented sense of ease come over him, as if some heavy burden had been lifted from his body, indescribable ease, and at the same time, inside his brain, there were quite a few more images that had never been seen before. At this moment, Zhao Rin was in complete control of this body. After leaning on the sofa and taking a short break, Zhao Rin opened his cell phone and sent a message to Li Changle. Within seconds, Li Changle, who had received the message, replied, is it convenient to make a trip to 201? Zhao Rin's finger bounced on his phone and quickly sent the message out. I'll be back in a few minutes. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Receiving the message, Li Changle did not delay, picked up his cell phone and walked out, but did not notice that the door to Mu Qingqing's room behind him did not know when, quietly had to open a crack. Arriving at the door of 201, Li Changle was just about to knock on the door when she realized that the door opened. It turned out to be Zhao Rin who heard the commotion and opened the door before her. Looking for me for something? Li Changle walked into 201 and opened the door. I want you to investigate someone. Zhao Rin said. What happened? Hearing this, Li Changle was startled and tensed, realizing that her identity was special, and if she was allowed to investigate, the nature of this matter would be different. Seeing this, Zhao Rin didn't choose to hide it, but instead told what had happened earlier, without any details. You want me to investigate this Yan Yu? Li Changle instantly grasped the heart of the matter. Yes. 
This person's tactics are a bit over the line now. It's no longer normal business tactics. Zhao Rin nodded and said, recalling the scene in the rented house where the other party threatened him with Zhang Lei, he was a bit upset. Restriction of personal freedom, extortion, and possibly blackmail. Li Changdo leaned back on the sofa and agreed. So what are you going to do? Nothing. Zhao Rin responded. Nothing? Aren't you afraid of that? You are now back at the old owner's place oh. Li Changdo sniffed with some doubt. I won't do anything that breaks the law. Zhao Rin smiled and said. All I can do is just tell you. After all, there's no way for me to call the police ah. There's not a single bit of evidence in my hands. All right. I'll keep an eye on it. Li Changdo spared a glance at Zhao Rin. How's it like working with your predecessor? What else could it be? That's all. I know what she wants, but that abyss I managed to climb out of with great difficulty, trying to get me stuck in it again. This brain of mine is a melon. Zhao Rin shook his head and said indifferently. Right now he just needed to fulfill his promise. As for anything else, it didn't matter. Let's hope you really can take yourself out of it. Every day we go to work together. We don't see each other's heads. It's a good thing you're not in a relationship right now. Or else whoever is your current incumbent would have no peace in their home. Li Chang was happy to point out. In response, Zhao Rin could only smile helplessly. He couldn't pick up this kind of topic. The next day, the Willow Home General Store. Zhao Rin walked into his office carrying a bun and soy milk, and was eating breakfast while brushing up on his dramas. With less interference from the original body's emotions, his entire state was much more relaxed. Knock, knock, came the crisp knock on the door. Zhao Rin frowned and could only get up and open the door because this time of the day was not yet business hours and he did not wish to be disturbed. He had specifically ducked into his office and locked the door to dazzle the meal. Ruyin Lu, is there something wrong? Zhao Rin expressionlessly glanced at the other party, and although he was a little curious as to how the other party came so early as well, he didn't express it on the surface. Rin, I, can I come in? Lu Ruyin, who had been tormented all night after returning home, had gotten up early to come to the office, just hoping to see Zhao Rin. But today's Zhao Rin gave her a completely different feeling, the eyes that looked at her as if she was looking at a stranger, as well as the address with even a name, all of them made Lu Ruyin's mood become worse and worse. Well, if there's anything you want to say, go ahead. Zhao Rin nodded, then stepped aside, signaling the other party to come in. I came to apologize to you for what happened last night. Ruyin Lu walked in with her long legs and pursed her lips. It's fine, you don't need to apologize to me, you only need to apologize to Qin Qing. Without the interference of the original body's emotions, Zhao Rin felt much more natural when facing Lu Ruyin. Ching Ching, Ching Ching, how can you call it so affectionately? Hearing Zhao Rin's slightly intimate address to her bosom friend, as well as this distant address to herself with her name, Lu Ruyin played up her missy temper. There's a disease, what do you care? Zhao Rin glanced at her. Without a trace of emotion in his eyes, if he had to say emotion, it would be disgust and impatience. Why, do you hate me that much? It's been so long since the incident. Why are you still holding on to it? I only made a mistake that all women make. Besides I didn't cheat on you. Once again seeing disgust and impatience in Zhao Rin's eyes, Lu Ruyin's heart was very broken. For you, things are in the past. But for me, the hurt caused by what happened can never be erased. Because the one who was aggrieved was me, not you. The reason why old scores are brought back up is because you never handled it properly, or never considered my feelings. Zhao Rin shook his head and continued. This was his true emotional outpouring. Along with Zhao Rin finished, the words have just fallen. Lu Ruyin plop, a butt fell to the ground. A long time cannot regain consciousness. And Zhao Rin also let the other party fall to sit on the ground. Anyway, just now when closing the door has been locked off. Even if there is anyone who went to work early, it will not be able to open in. It will not affect Lu Ruyin's image in front of the staff. He ate his own buns, drinking soybean milk, watching a funny little video laughing happily until after the things in his hands were wiped out, Zhao Rin lifted his head up, and only then did his line of sight fall on the face full of stagnant Lu Ruyin, I will not blame you, much less resent you, it is because my love for you has offset the sin for your faults, the two of them looked at each other with four eyes, and Zhao Rin softly said, Lu Ruyin sniffed and closed her eyes, two lines of tears running down from the corners of her eyes, instantly wetting her face, five minutes later, she stood up, walked over to Zhao Rin, and sat her butt down on the chair, Please teach me more about the company in the future. Ruyin Lu took the initiative to extend her hand. Please teach me more. Zhao Rin nodded and extended his hand as the two of them shook it. Take a look at this first. This is the company system I've organized. If you think it's okay I'll have the HR department draft internal documents. Lu Ruyin ignored the awkward atmosphere in the office and took out a flash drive from her carry-on bag and handed it to Zhao Rin. So fast? 
Zhao Rin was a bit surprised. It's only been a few days, but he actually got it out. Receiving the stuff and plugging it into the USB port of the computer, Zhao Rin quickly saw the document. There wasn't a lot of stuff, but Zhao Rin still spent about 20 minutes reading it. There's nothing wrong with the other systems in here. As long as the sales salary piece you have to deliver it, the company's main business should be emphasized. Zhao Rin retracted his gaze and said, unplugging the flash drive and placing it on the desktop before extending a thumbs up towards Ruyin Lu. I understand. Ruyin Lu nodded, and then got up to leave with the flash drive. A whole action clean and without delay. If this is really like this is also okay. Zhao Rin looked at the office door and said, after all, for Lu Ruyin he has nothing to hold a grudge. At best, it is considered to be a hate house and so Lu Ruyin can fully control their own company. He can complete the original body's commitment. Only, the thick nerve Zhao Rin didn't notice Lu Ruyin's micro-movement when she opened the door, and her entire body slowed down for a few seconds. As expected, Lu Ruyin was just pretending. Once back to their own office, she directly unlocked the door, and then lying on the table secretly weeping, no longer clean. In the past, Zhao Rin and her with all kinds of images floating in the mind, meticulous care, Always take good care of their own emotions consider it. Pile pieces are good for her. And she has failed each other's love again and again and again. Three times in N. When the two of them had dinner together. When they went out hand in hand. When they celebrated their birthdays. As well as when they celebrated the final major event of their lives. The engagement banquet. The number of times has been completely uncountable. And it is impossible to say. Thinking back to their own past all kinds of. Lu Ruyan's heart seems to cut like a knife. This kind of pain and cannot be that Area 20G video can be resolved? As Zhao Rin said, this 20G video was meaningless. What Zhao Rin cares about is her Lu Ruyin's choice, is her Lu Ruyin's behavior. Love is not writing code to engage in software. There is a bug patch can continue to run. Love is to run to each other. The more Lu Ruyin thought about it, the more difficult it was. The tears with the broken line of pearls, bar 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 flow out, dripping on the desk. After crying for a while, Lu Ruyin felt that all the emotions in her heart had been vented out a bit before she slowly stopped crying. No, I can't just give up. Lu Ruyin wiped a handful of tears and suddenly reacted. A bright light instantly erupted in her eyes. I can't let him see me disheveled. I have to pull myself together. I have to regain a Rin's heart. After some self-help pumping and psychological construction, Lu Ruyin also recovered some spirit, began to devote herself to business learning. She must familiarize herself with the company's business as soon as possible so as to create a common language with Zhao Rin, so that there will be a chance to rub out the sparks of love. It was a pity that all things were not always shifted by one's will. After working until noon, Lu Ruyin was just about to order a takeout, casually deal with her stomach, and then continue working when her cell phone rang. Picked up the phone, not a few seconds of time, Lu Ruyin originally quite normal facial expression instantly changed. The hands of the cell phone was not able to hold. Duang a smash in the heavy desktop. What to do? What to do? Lu Ruyin panicked. Even the cell phone smashed on the desktop did not care to pick it up. The whole person directly paralyzed in the chair. Half a long time back to God. But that didn't last long. And in less than five minutes there was a knock on her office door. Ruyin Lu didn't open the door. Because she was panicking and flustered right now. The news of her closest relative's critical illness draining her of the little essence she already had. Unexpectedly. At this time, the knocking sound at the door became more and more urgent. As if betting on the sound of her heartbeat making Lu Ruyin very difficult. It was hard to slow down. The phone on the desktop rang once again, but she couldn't slide the answer button because she hadn't clicked it in the right place. I got a call from Auntie. Open the door first. It was hard to scratch the answer. And Ruyin Lu had just put the receiver to her ear when Zhao Rin's voice rang out. Between the days, Lu Ruyin was like a walking corpse. The whole person's brain buzzing inside. Delayed response. Not to mention how Zhao Rin appeared in front of him. Go. Without too many words. Zhao Rin looked at Lu Ruyin, who was sitting in a chair with a dumbfounded look on her face, and opened her mouth. Go, where to? Ruyin Lu responded in a daze, her entire body still not coming back to her senses. Go to the airport and pick up the plane, Zhao Rin said in a bland tone, having to remain calm at this time. Good, hearing airport. Lu Ruyin's entire body only slightly slowed down and raised her head, but her eyes were still devoid of color. Wow. Just then, Zhao Rin, who couldn't stand watching. Suddenly copied the leftover cool water on the table and splashed it at once. Wake up for me. Encountering such a big thing, it was normal for people to experience mood swings such as trance. But Zhao Rin understood. The necessary sanity still had to exist. Especially at this critical time. Yang Yu was hiding in the shadows and sharpening his sword. If Lu Ruyin, a member of the Lu family, messed up himself, 
The rest of the people, they were done for. Wow sound. By Zhao Rin with cold water so splash. Lu Ruyan instantly awake. The extreme feeling of grief then surged to the heart can no longer hold back. She directly lost voice and cried out in pain. Fortunately, Zhao Rin came in the office door locked, or Lu Ruyan in the company crying news. Will certainly be Yang Yu's people will be news to Yang Yu ears. Alright, control your emotions. Seeing Lu Ruyan's six godless appearance, Zhao Rin's heart felt a little impatient. As an orphan, he was born and raised on the earth, for the peace of affection, is really not cold at all, and also unable to empathize, so he could not help but to chide. I, oh, Ruyan Lu sniffed and sort of curbed her crying, but the natural upturn in her head still took her a while to slow down. Your face is all cried out. Is it appropriate for you to go out like this? Zhao Rin looked at Lu Ruyan's appearance and spoke. Give me a little time. Hearing these words, Lu Ruyan looked up at Zhao Rin and first took a deep breath before starting to take out her own makeup bag to fix her makeup. Fortunately, she was perfectly prepared and quickly cleaned herself up, and other than her eyes still being a bit red, it was basically impossible to tell that she had just cried profusely. I'll drive. Remember to control your emotions. You must never cry in the company. You must remember. Zhao Rin picked up the car keys that were sitting on the desktop and instructed. I know. Ruyan Lu moved her facial expression for more details. Please refer to Star's movie Gambler. Then resumed her cool appearance. On the airport highway, Zhao Rin was holding the steering wheel, his eyes looking ahead without slanting, while Lu Ruyan was leaning back on the soft seat of the co-pilot, her eyes staring blankly ahead, and the atmosphere in the car appeared to be very dull. Time passed like this minute by minute. Ruyan Lu didn't say a word, and Zhao Rin was happy to be clean, and drove to the airport's internal parking lot in one breath. Rin, what should I do? At that moment, Ruyan Lu felt a shadowy fear envelop her entire body and said with a face full of despair, What else is there to do now? Eat, sleep, and play Dujinshi. Zhao Rin sat in the driver's seat, turned off the paramera, glanced at Lu Ruyan, and said in a jarred voice, How could you be so heartless? Lu Ruyan sniffed and seemed a bit surprised that Zhao Rin would actually say such cold-blooded words, and couldn't help but open her mouth to question. Then what else? Already doomed things, now you yourself have to learn to be strong. In the company Yang Yu, the second largest shareholder is stupid. Do you want to let Uncle Lu half of his life's blood to others to do the graft? Zhao Rin said in a cold voice. While saying that, he also tapped on his cell phone and pointed to the time displayed above the screen. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning. Uncle Lu and Auntie's plane, at the earliest, won't land until 10. 30 a. M. Why did I bring you out of the company? Do you know? Zhao Rin turned her head and looked at Lu Ruyan and said. I, I don't know. Lu Ruyan was already surrounded by fear three times inside and three times outside at this moment. How could she still have the time to think about this? Closing her eyes and shaking her head. If you are real, you are not real. The more you stay in the company every day, the more Yang you will think that you're hiding things. After all, you weren't the main person who stayed in the company often before. Zhao Rin explained. I see. Zhao Rin's few simple words were like an enlightenment. And Lu Ruyan was enlightened. Soon the time came to 11 o'clock. Finished the formalities of the Lu father and mother came to the exit. Zhao Rin counted the time to park the car at the exit. The two just met at the exit. Zhao Rin hurriedly parked the car and, not being able to look around much, got out of the car, intending to help Lu's father and mother put down a baggage. The next moment, Zhao Rin's footsteps stopped. Oh my god, it's only been a few days of light. How did Uncle Lu become like this? Dad, Lu Ruyan also stunned the whole person just like this pickpocket the passenger door. If not, she had to fall to the ground. Looking at Lu father's weak appearance, Lu Ruyan couldn't help but be saddened. How long has it been since I've seen him? How did he become like this? Ruyan, Rin, get in the car first. Mother Lu's face barely pulled out a smile and opened her mouth. Just that hoarse voice. It was heartbreaking to hear. It was evident how much pressure Mother Lu had borne in the Concord Hospital in these days. Yeah, Willow's father said with a weak nod. Zhao Rin sniffed and didn't say anything. It just silently took the trolley case and placed it in the trunk. More than an hour later, Zhao Rin drove his car with the three members of the Lu family and returned to the villa. It's good to be home. In the hospital room, every day and night, the smell of disinfectant is unbearable. In the villa, no one spoke, except for the sound of footsteps, only the sound of Zhao Rin moving the suitcases remained. Perhaps because of the depressing atmosphere, Father Lu braced himself and opened his mouth in an attempt to improve the mutual atmosphere. Only when he opened his mouth, Ruyan Lu couldn't tense up at all. Dad, Ruyan Lu wrapped her arms around her father and began to cry in his arms. It didn't matter if she cried. The mother who was barely suppressing her inner sadness couldn't hold it down. And the mother and daughter duo surrounded the father one after the other and cried loudly. In this situation, 
Even the orphan Zhao Rin could not help but be moved by this. He began to understand what is a father and son affection. Without speaking, Zhao Rin silently from around the three, from the coffee table picked up a packet of paper towels, pulled off two, respectively, to the two handed over. When Father Lu saw this, perhaps he was feeling a little embarrassed. He couldn't help but have a hint of redness pop up on his pale face and nodded towards Zhao Rin. Zhao Rin also smiled and shook his head slightly to show that he didn't care, and the two big men completed an exchange of opinions just like that. After a long time, under the patient persuasion of Lu's father, the two of them were a little bit more at ease, and only then did they let go of Lu's father, and silently took the tissue from Zhao Rin's hand and wiped the tears from the corners of their eyes. Ruyin, you sit with your mom for a while. I have a few words to say to Rin. Father Lu spoke up at that moment. Dad, Ruyin Lu sniffed and wanted to say something else, but she was stopped by a look from her mother. Ruyin, let your father and Rin have a chat. Mother Lu glanced at her husband, and where their eyes met, it was all in the air. Uncle Willow? It's only been a few days. Why is it like this? In the study room of the Lu family villa, Zhao Rin assisted the frail Lu father to sit down before sitting across from him and opened his mouth. It was discovered too late and the disease was terminal. After one chemotherapy session, the person was like this, so I simply gave up on the treatment. Instead of languishing in a hospital bed, it's better to live comfortably for three months. Father Lu waved his hand absent, just because of the weakness of his body, just such a simple movement, but it seemed to have used up his entire body's strength. Three months, hearing these words, Zhao Rin's eyes instantly widened. There was no way he could believe in this result no matter what, but when he saw Father Lu's eyes that had no ripples and even no fear of death, Zhao Rin had to believe that it was true. There is no need to be so surprised. As the saying goes, 30 is the right time, 40 is the right time, and 50 is the right time to know the fate of heaven. Your uncle I'm already over 50 this year, and I've seen it through. Father Lu said with a calm face as if he had already prepared himself mentally, knowing that he must have more to say. Zhao Rin didn't answer, but instead raised his head slightly, his eyes falling on the other party. As expected, Perhaps because he had spoken too much at once and consumed a lot of energy, Father Lu's speech slowed down, and after a pause of a few seconds, Father Lu opened his mouth again. Zhao Rin frowned. Lu's father's words, let his heart muttered. This is what with what ah, can never let him help take care of Lu Ruyin what? This cannot be ah. Rin, go open the lower cabinet of that bookshelf against the wall. However, to Zhao Rin's surprise, Father Lu didn't repeat the same old story, but told him to go open a cabinet. Zhao Rin nodded and stood up and walked over to the lower cabinet that was sitting on the floor, holding the handle and opening the door. Uncle Lu, what's the password for this safe? As soon as he opened the cabinet door, a black safe with a brushed metal luster appeared in front of him, so Zhao Rin couldn't help but open his mouth. The password is 950,513, Willow's father replied. This time, isn't it my? Zhao Rin sniffed and muttered. That's right, this is the birthday on your ID card. Father Lu was as if he had insight into everything at this moment, directly opening his mouth to give an accurate answer. Zhao Rin was stunned at his words, his heart was a little touched, he gritted his teeth and didn't reply, he just silently entered the passwords one by one on the buttons, drip, 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 with a few crunching sounds, the door to the safe opened, bring over that file bag at the top, Father Lu's weak voice sounded again, and Zhao Rin followed the order and took the file bag, then reclosed the safes, Uncle Lu, what's this? Zhao Rin placed the file bag on the table and wondered. This is what I've been collecting all along. There's evidence about Yang Yu's fake accounts, false VAT invoices, and involvement in blackmail. Speaking of this, Father Lu seemed to be energized and gave it all out in a brain, patiently waiting for Father Lu to finish. Zhao Rin then untied the rope on the file bag and saw the information inside. Soon, a smile appeared on his face. This time, Yang Yu was dead. I'll give this to you. Yang Yu's fate is in your hands. Father Lu breathed a sigh of relief and said with a relaxed expression, Uncle Lu, you'd better give this to Ruyin. After all, she is your heir. Zhao Rin thought about it, but still placed this document on the desktop. Since he now held Ruyin's ironclad evidence in his hands, it was time for him to leave. Rin, do we even need to play like this between the two of us? I don't believe you can't understand what I'm saying. Father Lu leaned back in his chair and said slowly, although his tone was weak, his wise eyes were still bright. Looking straight at Zhao Rin as if he wanted to see through him, Zhao Rin felt like a person who had been stripped naked at the moment. He was uncomfortable, but he still opened his mouth and spoke stiffly. Uncle Lu, I know what you mean, but I really can't do it. Ugh. Willow's father sighed, his eyes momentarily dimming. I'm very sorry, Uncle Lu. Zhao Rin still gritted his teeth and shook his head. It wasn't that he was hard-hearted. 
but he wasn't the original dog licker he used to be. He really didn't have a problem with Rui and Lu, nor did he have any interest in the Lu family's property. All right then. Thanks for your help these past few days. I'll take care of the rest. After getting Zhao Rin's attitude, it was as if Father Lu lost the need to continue the conversation and waved his hand, meaning that he could leave. Zhao Rin nodded. He was originally willing to come to the Lu family to help because his original body was acting up. And now that his master's family said he wasn't needed anymore, he was happy to relax. Walking out of the study and into the living room, Zhao Rin saw at a glance that Mother Lu was holding Lu Ruyan in her arms, and the mother-daughter duo were whispering something, so he didn't interrupt, but just silently walked to the front door and opened it to leave. Unbeknownst to him, after he left, Lu's father slowly walked out of the study as well, and just as he walked into the living room, he saw Lu's mother looking at him. Failed. Rin really died to Ruyan. Father Lu's heart was a little sad and desperate. Mother Lu and Ruyan Lu were really not familiar with this set of shopping malls. He was really worried about the livelihood of the duo in the future. Hearing these words, Lu Ruyan's eyelids twitched. If she had known that today, why would she have bothered? Dad, let's not talk about it. Could it be that with fewer men, your daughter will starve to death on the streets? Ruyan Lu said as she wiped a tear from her eye, trying to comfort her parents. No, while dad can still move now. Even if I have to fight for this breath I will help you solve the problem. Father Lu shook his head and vetoed. Dad, under the strong fatherly love, Ruyan Lu was touched and couldn't help herself. However, as she ambled along, father and mother Lu's eyes met in midair and finally landed simultaneously on the top of the living room liquor cabinet, the two seven-figure bottles of Roman A. Conti. Back in room 201 of the city center village, the time had already come to two o'clock in the afternoon, and Zhao Rin's stomach was hungry and grumbling. On the way back, Zhao Rin only felt a sense of relief. Now that there weren't so many things holding him back, he could start his own life. Only, just like what Father Lu said before, things don't shift by human will. This idea of Zhao Rin's was destined to be nothing more than a beautiful fantasy. After dinner, Zhao Rin groped for fish until the evening, during which no one came over to disturb him, and spent a rare period of leisure time. It was night, the hour hand had already pointed to 9 o'clock, groping for fish until his eyes were sore. Zhao Rin saw that there was nothing to do on a daily basis, so he planned to close the door and go to sleep. But just at this moment, a burst of quite rhythmic footsteps sounded. Zhao Rin only felt his body raise a burst of goosebumps, and then poked his head out from the doorway, and unsurprisingly saw Lu Ruyan at the corner of the stairs, and it seemed like she was still holding a wooden box in her hand. Hmm, not at home with Uncle Lu? Zhao Rin said after a pause, which made him feel redundant to say such a sentence. This person had come here. I bought a few of your favorite small dishes, as well as boiled pork slices. We haven't eaten together for a long, long time, right? Lu Ruyan shook her right hand, and only then did Zhao Rin notice that she was still holding something in her right hand, which happened to be blocked by the stair railing at the corner, and with the dim light line of the staircase lights in the night. This was why she didn't notice it in time. It's late at night, and it's not appropriate to be alone. Zhao Rin sniffed and refused. What's appropriate or not? We're so familiar with each other. I trust you, Ruyan Lu said carelessly. Then, Zhao Rin still wanted to refuse, but he didn't expect Lu Ruyan to suddenly speed up her steps and stand directly in front of his door. Don't worry, my mom arranged a driver for me. The car is parked downstairs. You can see it if you poke your head over the balcony. Lu Ruyan seemed to have seen through Zhao Rin's concerns and opened her mouth. Then, come in. As the saying goes, a hand that reaches out doesn't beat a smiling face. People had put their words to this point. So Zhao Rin couldn't find a reason to refuse for a moment, and could only take a step back sideways to give the doorway space. I didn't expect that the same scene, the second time I came, would be in this mood. Walking indoors, Lu Ruyan's pair of beautiful eyes looked around and asked tentatively, waiting with anticipation for Zhao Rin to speak. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin just lightly glanced at Lu Ruyan and didn't mean to reply. Seeing that Zhao Rin didn't answer, Lu Ruyan was very irritated inside, but on the surface, she didn't show it and just raised her hands upwards. Put it on the coffee table over there. Zhao Rin said indifferently, then turned around to get the dishes. Is there a corkscrew? Zhao Rin, who had returned with two sets of dishes, looked at the slices of boiled pork on the coffee table, as well as the four cold dishes on the side, and was just about to sit down when Lu Ruyan, who was sitting across from him, spoke up. Uh, corkscrew this really do not have. Hearing this, Zhao Rin's heart instantly relaxed down. No corkscrew. This red wine cannot drink it. Wait a moment to quickly dazzle the food. You can send this great god away. This can be had. Lu Ruyan went against the norm at this moment, and actually took out a corkscrew from her own bag, and then shook it in front of Zhao Rin, and said smugly, We are alone. 
It's not good to drink at night. Zhao Rin was a bit helpless. She wouldn't want to play the drunkenness thing. She really took him for a bean to see ah, uh, what's appropriate or not. This is just a breakup bureau. After eating this meal and drinking these wines, it's a clean break between you and me. Lu Ruyan said. Are you sure? Zhao Rin froze at his words and spoke again to confirm. I'm sure. I've also thought about it. Further entanglement like this will only make you even more tired of me. Rather than that, it's better for me to leave and style myself. Ruyan Lu said with a bitter smile on her face. Let's eat first. Zhao Rin sniffed and didn't reply directly, but handed the other party a set of bowls and chopsticks, for small dishes and a boiled sliced pork. Guys can be prepared. Thank you. Ruyan Lu took the bowls and chopsticks and said gently. No need to thank you. Let's get started. After some more time, this boiled pork slices will get cold. Zhao Rin smiled shallowly, then lifted the lids on the four lunchboxes one by one. Do you have a mug here? Ceramic cups. Ruyan Lu said as she reached for her chopsticks. There is. You wait. Zhao Rin nodded. The cups were still prepared here. And soon he brought over two cups. Open the rice. Ruyan Lu said. Then her chopsticks reached for the boiled pork slices. The two ate while reminiscing about the past. And on the surface it seemed very amicable. But in reality, Zhao Rin is impatient tight. Because the content of the chat, the chat of these experiences, is not his experience ah, help ah, how to quickly end the topic, online and so on. When she was talking, Lu Ruyan even used her chopsticks to take a bite of food and stuck it to Zhao Rin's mouth. You eat, we're not quite right for this right now. Seeing this, Zhao Rin slightly shrunk back and indifferently said, sure enough this woman still doesn't forget to test the waters for a moment. Rin, is it really impossible for us? Seeing Zhao Rin's cold appearance, Lu Ruyan, who had been acting for so long, finally couldn't hold herself together and silently lowered her head, choking back her sobs. It's impossible. Zhao Rin shook her head. There are some things that happened, so let it pass. Looking at Zhao Rin, Lu Ruyan couldn't help but close her eyes, as if she was avoiding this fact. The atmosphere instantly quieted down, and there wasn't a single sound except for the faint clash between the chopstick heads and the takeout box when Zhao Rin was pinching the food. Is it okay to open the wine? I want to drink. After about half a zoan or so, Ruyan Lu opened her eyes, and with a hint of sentimentality, she opened her mouth. Zhao Rin sniffed, unperturbed, still eating his own food. Have a drink with me. Ruyan Lu opened the wooden box and took out a bottle of Romane Conti. Uh, would this wine be too expensive? If you take this one sip, an ordinary small car will be gone. Seeing this, Zhao Rin gently pressed the other party's hand holding the red wine and refused. It's fine. Do you think that the feelings between us are still no better than this bottle of wine? Ruyan Lu raised her head and said with a bright smile on her face. I, Zhao Rin was about to speak, but there was a sudden knock on the door. Ha! Huh? Zhou Rin frowned in confusion. Who was it at this late hour? Lu Ruyan similarly heard the sound at this time, and her eyes fell on Zhao Rin. I don't know who it is. Zhao Rin shook his head and explained, then stood up and walked to the door to open the doorbell. Ching Ching, how come you're still awake this late? Opening the door and looking at Mu Ching Ching standing outside, Zhao Rin froze. What kind of day is this today? The two girlfriends are in a hurry. I couldn't sleep. I heard that you like to eat boiled pork slices. It just so happens that I've made some money in the past few days. So I'm treating you. Seeing that Zhao Rin was still awake, Mu Ching Ching was relieved inside her heart and said with a smile. Ah, when Zhao Rin heard this, she was dumbfounded. This is good. The two girlfriends today this is a date? Catching up. Hmm, what's the problem? Seeing that Zhao Rin's expression was a bit off, Mu Qingqing said with some doubt, feeling as if she had come at a bit of a bad time. Is it Ching Chang? Just then, Ruyan Lu, who had heard the commotion at the door, spoke up. Ruyan? When Mu Qingqing heard this, her eyes instantly widened, and a terrifying thought immediately surfaced in her mind. Eh, Qingqing, you come in too. It's cool outside. Boat to boat. Zhao Rin had no intention of escaping, so she simply owed her body open and let the other party come in. Ching Ching, what are you? Lu Ruyan looked at Mu Ching Ching who walked in and asked knowingly. I'll bring some food for Rin. Mu Ching Ching said with a smile. Such a coincidence. Ruyan Lu said as she pointed to something that was sitting on the coffee table. Pick a day. Let's eat something together. Listening to the two women's conversation. Zhao Rin was slightly uncomfortable and opened his mouth. Yeah. Mu Ching Ching nodded her head. Then carried the boiled meat slices in her hand to the edge of the sofa and placed the things on the coffee table. Would you like some wine? Ruyan Lu said as she pointed to the Romane Conti that was placed beside her. What about Rin? Mu Qingqing didn't answer whether to drink or not to drink. Instead, she looked her eyes towards Zhao Rin as if she was asking for his opinion. Drink. This is the last time. Zhao Rin nodded and said as he looked at Lu Ruyan. 
It was clear that he was reminding the other party that after drinking this wine, they should not come back to him. Mu Qingqing sniffed, didn't say anything and turned her head to look at Ruyin Lu. Lu Ruyin didn't say anything either. Picked up a bottle of Roman Aconte, put the corkscrew on it, rotated it, pulled it out, and the movement looked very skillful. Wait. Seeing this, Zhao Rin didn't say anything more, and after ordering, he brought over another set of dishes and cups. Come on, Qing Qing, Rin, Tweety Silk. Ruyin Lu said as she picked up her glass of wine and held it high. Bing sound, accompanied by a crisp clinking sound, the three people's cups touched together, and then Lu Ruyin made an example. A mouthful of red wine in the cup to smother, not the slightest fear of that top of the aftertaste. A cup of belly, Lu Ruyin's eyes slowly began to drift up, just a closer look down, the drift in the eyes and hides a few points of clarity. Keep drinking, Lu Ruyin didn't give the two of them time to react, they had just put their cups down when she poured them another cup. Hiss, it hurts. The next morning, not knowing what time it was, Zhao Rin rubbed his head and opened his eyes in a daze. As soon as I opened my eyes, there was that long forgotten but familiar hangover. The pain in the back of my head, the result of the after effects of the red wine. After looking at the snow white ceiling for a while, Zhao Rin was just about to get up. Suddenly he felt as if his left arm had touched something. In confusion, Zhao Rin lifted the covers. Crap. Looking at the two horizontal snow white carcasses, Zhao Rin dumbfounded. What did he do last night? Ah, broke into trouble. With a ding, just as Zhao Rin froze, Mu Qingqing's eyelids moved and she woke up in a trance. Rin, so early, as soon as she opened her eyes, she saw Zhao Rin's familiar handsome face. Mu Qingqing greeted her habitually and planned to catch up on her sleep. Having just closed her eyes for not even two seconds, Mu Qingqing immediately realized that something was wrong. How could Zhao Rin be by her bedside? So she instantly opened her eyes. The two of them looked at each other. And it was only then that Mu Qingqing realized that Zhao Rin was empty. Ah, ooh. Mu Qingqing instantly let out a scream, only to have Zhao Rin cover her rosy cherry mouth in the next moment. Don't scream, don't scream. Zhao Rin hurriedly covered the other party's mouth to prevent her from making a sound. Otherwise if she screamed, in case she startled the others, her own reputation would be ruined. Aha, aha. After such a mess, Mu Qingqing also calmed down and hurriedly nodded her head like garlic. And only then did Zhao Rin lower her hand. And at this time, Ruyin Lu also woke up. As soon as she opened her eyes, she saw two pairs of eyes staring at her without moving. What are you guys looking at me like that for? Ruyin Lu scratched her head in curiosity. At this point she clearly hadn't realized what wasn't quite right. But it was only temporary. And she soon realized that the three of them had studied the multiple ways of writing the word Kuan together. Ugh. Let's get dressed first. With things as they were, Zhao Rin could only say this. My clothes? There's no way to wear them. After a while. Mu Qingqing held up her long sleeve with a red face, on which there was a gash in the east and a gash in the west, obviously torn by Zhao Rin. Me? Mine too. Ruyin Lu also picked up her own clothes and said with a red face, Eh, I'll take my clothes to you guys. Zhao Rin was embarrassed by the two women making a big red face, and silently turned around, walked over to his closet, and took out two large-sized long sleeves from it, handing them over to the two women respectively. The clothes are a bit old. Just put them on for a while. I'll go downstairs later to the clothes store at the side to buy you a set. Zhao Rin's eyes were now not her eyes and her nose was not her nose. She didn't know where to look and felt very embarrassed. See, Rin, it's like this. What's so embarrassing? Just as Zhao Rin was feeling embarrassed as hell, Ruyin Lu spoke up. This result, she liked and disliked it. Liked it because she gave her body to Zhao Rin. Disliked it because her best friend likewise gave her body to Zhao Rin. Now it's good. What to do? Two women serving one husband? Uh. You guys wear them. I'll go outside first. Zhao Rin didn't reply. Gritting his teeth he turned around and said. He had to think about what to do next to face this complicated relationship. For him, a person who grew up under the red flag, some concepts were really hard to accept. In the living room, Zhao Rin watched as the two girls appeared in front of him wearing his plus size long sleeves. Their delicate bodies were wrapped by the wide clothes. The two girls were directly playing with the pants disappearing technique at the moment. And that charisma value was directly pulled full. His eyes just couldn't help but look at the other girls. No way. Who let those two pairs of white long legs is too good looking. Slender, long, straight and tight long legs, boarding the three rounds of the tool. Well, if this is used to clamp the waist, I daze. Zhao Rin dare not think about it, because his little Zhao Rin has been bang bang. How are you guys feeling? Does it still hurt? Looking at the two women walking in that awkward manner, Zhao Rin had a moment of scalp numbness. What did he do last night? You still say. Hearing this, Lu Ruyin spat in a bad mood, 
although she ended up drinking too much last night and her brain broke without any specific picture. But under her careful recall, she seemed to vaguely recall some intermittent images. Zhao Rin is a pile driver? Not to play to no electricity nonstop. Thinking about this, coupled with the strange feeling coming from her body and the hidden pain in her lower body, her face turned red in a flash. Ching Ching, what about you? Last night I, Zhao Rin touched a nail here in Lu Ruyan and didn't dare to continue asking again. So he could only look at Mu Qingqing with a hard head and opened his mouth to ask. Ouch. You were so fierce last night. Mu Qingqing also drank out of her mind. Her mind had only scattered fragments of memories. Seeing Zhao Rin asked her. She whispered with a red face. She was still worrying about another thing. She didn't take any safety measures yesterday. Me. Hearing this. Even Zhao Rin's face skin that was as thick as a city wall was somewhat unable to withstand it at the moment. How come he, the one who fought in the ring, didn't have a single impression in his head? Little Zhao Rin enjoyed himself, and then left himself as the big brother behind? Saying that, Zhao Rin even if he could not continue, silently sat on the sofa opposite the two women. The three of them were just like that. You looking at me and I looking at you, and no one took the initiative to speak up. Looking at her best friend's slightly frowning appearance, Lu Ruyan's heart sighed. Not knowing who Zhao Rin had explained to in the end, she felt like the piece of CPU inside her brain was drying up and burning, but she still hadn't come up with that final image. The same thing happened to Mu Qingqing. She was now in a complicated mood, with both elation, bitterness and helplessness inside her heart. Elation that she had a relationship with a boy she had a crush on, and bitterness that this relationship was an accident. As for the helplessness is that she and her own best friend, at the same time in the same place, the same bed and the same man had sex. The most important thing was that she just couldn't find that last scene in the fragments filled memory in her head, and she wasn't sure to whom Zhao Rin had explained it. Shall I? I'll go down and buy you guys some clothes and food while there are fewer people. It's not early. In the end, it was Zhao Rin who couldn't help but open his mouth and break the strange atmosphere. Good ah, good. The two women said almost in unison. Even the accent of their speech was exactly the same. Simply not too uniform. Then I'll go first. After I go out, you two mustn't open the door. I brought the key. Zhao Rin scratched his head. So he opened the door, probed the door for a bit, and then hurriedly slipped away. Not more than half an hour later, Zhao Rin returned with three meals and two outfits. You guys change your clothes first. I'll evade for a while. After saying this, Zhao Rin felt this old face of his burn. It was really too embarrassing. Mu Qingqing sniffed and nodded, silently accepting the clothes before walking to Zhao Rin's bedroom, twisting her body. She was still a bit unable to let go. Rin. It's okay. Last night, we all have already that, that what? At this time, it was still Lu Ruyan who was relatively open-minded. And after receiving the clothes, she took the initiative to pull Zhao Rin's hand and softly said, Let's change first. Zhou Rin didn't answer directly. And after giving him a smile, she turned around and closed the bedroom door behind her. Not long after, the two women changed their clothes and walked out. And it had to be said that Zhao Rin's vision was good. And the size she chose was just right. Rin. You have such a good eye. This size to me not too big not small eh? Slim and not tight. Mu Qingqing who had changed her clothes showed a happy face and opened her mouth to praise. She didn't expect Zhao Rin to be so good, buying so accurate. She was prepared for the clothes to be too big or too small, letting the other party take it to exchange. Nonsense. Last night he touched both of us. We're big and small. If he is not right to buy, do you know what he does for a living? Dry furniture. Without this intuition how he ate this bowl of rice. Zhao Rin has just revealed the dejected look. Lu Ruyan's words, is tantamount to give him a pot of cold water? So that his expression instantly stagnant in the face, hate to use his toes on the floor to pick a three-room hall out. And when Mu Qingqing heard it, she immediately turned red, so shy that she lowered her head, feeling that she was ashamed of her heavenly soul cover to between her toenails. It is a pity that her alcohol power is the worst, did not carefully experience the taste of that thing, just feel that the lower body is still a little pain now. The body is also indescribable sense of soreness. He should be very strong at. Ruyan Lu. Zhao Rin came back to his senses and opened his mouth. Looking at Lu Ruyan's dignified appearance. Zhao Rin was instantly offended. This was going to reverse the Big Dipper. Rin. Why are you looking at me like that? Feeling Zhao Rin's gaze. Lu Ruyan straightened her body and said without any timidity. Ruyan. Come over here. Zhao Rin sighed in her heart and said with a stern face. What for? I'm not going. Am I wrong? You've done that to both of us now, making people still uncomfortable down there. Can I still say a few words about you? Lu Ruyan shook her head and refused. It's not your fault, Zhao Rin said without a trace of anger, feeling as if he was being taken for a ride. Blame me? Rin, you're bringing up your pants and denying it. Lu Ruyan's face changed. 
and she immediately looked as if she was about to cry. At these words, Mu Qingqing instantly widened her eyes and raised her head, her eyes falling on Zhao Rin. I I didn't. When did I disown you? If it wasn't for the red wine you took, how could it be like this? When Zhao Rin heard this, and at the same time felt Mu Qingqing's gaze, he immediately denied it. The scummy behavior of disowning after having a good time, and lifting up his pants and saying it was an accident, he couldn't do it. That is to say, are you going to be responsible to the end? Finally, under Lu Ruyan's series of statements, Zhao Rin was successfully brought into the conversation, and the two women finally waited until now. Responsible, I will definitely be responsible. Gritting his teeth, Zhao Rin opened his mouth to show his attitude and said, Who are you in charge of? Me or Cheng Cheng? Lu Ruyan sniffed and inwardly breathed a sigh of relief as she had a brain fart and asked this low emotional and low intellectual question. This is a fucking giveaway. Zhao Rin felt as if he was being roasted on a fire. Stop. We can talk about this later. For now Rin you need to go out and buy one more thing. Just as Zhao Rin was struggling to figure out how to crack this surefire game, Mu Qingqing spoke up in time to save the day. Ha! Huh? Zhao Rin froze. Whatever he bought at this time, he did as he was told. Forget Cub QQ candy. Mu Qingqing glanced at him and said shyly but firmly. Ah, right, right, right. I'll go buy it right away. Zhao Rin immediately reacted at this moment. This is the big deal. Fortunately Mu Qingqing reminded him in time. Otherwise it would be bad after this point in time. When Lu Ruyan heard this, she was instantly unhappy, indignantly glancing at Mu Qingqing. What a pig of a teammate. Just like that, he was half a beat slow and watched Zhao Rin leave in a hurry. How damnable. Mu Qingqing, on the other hand, directly ignored the other party, picked up a breakfast for herself, and began to eat. Not long after, Zhao Rin went and returned, holding a box of forgotten pup QQ candies. Eh, one for each person. After smoothly closing the door behind him, Zhao Rin, still slightly panting, barely kept his composure and said, Ah Rin pour me a cup of water. I'll give it to eat now. Lu Ruyan had not yet spoken, but Mu Qingqing took the initiative to extend her hand and said, the main focus was a gentle and watery understanding. Qingqing you eat it, I won't, my great aunt just left. Lu Ruyan said as she played it safe. Having paid the price of two bottles of Romane Conti, how could she let Zhao Rin off so easily? It's not okay not to eat. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin instantly became anxious. This was a matter of human life. Oops, my great aunt just left. Won't won't, Lu Ruyan said immediately as she beamed. It was clear that she was was just pulling at the limit. Unfortunately, Mu Qingqing would not give her this opportunity. As a good girlfriend who has known each other for many years, she saw through each other's small minds at a glance, not to mention her aunt's cycle. Mu Qingqing knows everything about it. Ruyan, you'd better eat it. I remember your great aunt time is not now oh. If I remember correctly, it's your ovulation period oh. You just took over the company's affairs now. It's better not to take such a risk. Mu Qingqing said with a smile, then threw a QQ candy into her mouth and swallowed it with the water. As for Zhao Rin, he also gave her a look. After all, the soul wearer is very clear about Lu Ruyan's cycle. They are all playing chatty. So don't pretend to be a thousand year old fox at this time. Rin, you, what do you mean? Are you going to force me to eat this QQ candy too? Ruyan Lu froze, her emotions looking a little lost. She was fine with Mu Qingqing being like this, but with Zhao Rin still being like this, it was a bit hard for her. Or what? I've been in the wind for so long that I've long forgotten who I was waiting for. Zhao Rin grinned and said meaningfully, just because there are things I don't say doesn't mean I don't know. As he said that, Zhao Rin also glanced at the two bottles of Romane Conti that were still sitting on the coffee table. What do you mean? Ruyan Lu's eyelids jumped. Instantly alert. If you didn't tea bring the wine. How could I? Zhao Rin said lustfully. Okay, Rin, I'm tired. I'll go back and clean myself up first. Mu Qingqing, who had been sitting on the side in silence, suddenly stood up at this time and waved her hand with some interest. She didn't have much interest in arguing right and wrong right now. Things had already happened. Sending Zhao Rin in to step on a sewing machine so that his future would be ruined? This was clearly impossible. And forcing him to take a stand now didn't seem to make much sense. It was better to leave him alone to think things through. After saying this, Mu Qingqing who got up silently turned around and went back to Zhao Rin's room. Immediately after that a clattering sound was heard. Not long after that, she came out with two blood-stained cloths in her hands. Oh no! To be precise this was Zhao Rin's bed sheet. I don't know which piece it is, so I'll just take a random piece. Here, Mu Qingqing bit her lip and handed a piece of the bed sheet to Lu Ruyan, holding another piece in her own hand. Qing Qing, what are you, doing? Zhao Rin got a little overwhelmed all of a sudden. He didn't understand what the other party was trying to do here. Rin, 
I'll keep a memento of the traditional virtues of the East. You, take your time to think it over. Mu Qingqing pursed her lips and said, then silently packed up her things and left. She's finally gone. Cozy. As soon as the door to the room closed, Lu Ruyan immediately changed her expression and naturally wanted to jump into Zhao Rin's arms. What are you doing? Unexpectedly, Zhao Rin stopped the other party. I, I just want to kiss my husband. Ruyan Lu froze. She didn't expect Zhao Rin to be so resistant to her even at this point. I'm not your husband. Recalling Lu Ruyan's past all kinds of things, Zhao Rin was a little guilty of nausea. He was incomparably regretting at this time. Why did he let Lu Ruyan come in last night in his hot-headedness? This time, it's good. Trouble. You've done this to me. If you don't want me, I'll call the police and have you go in and step on the sewing machine. Ruyan Lu threatened. As you wish, Zhao Rin said with an icy expression. Anyway, he could be in charge, but he definitely wouldn't marry Lu Ruyan. Why? It's my first time too, Ruyan Lu said excitedly. Does it even matter why or why not? How about this? I'll help you take full control of the company and I'll be responsible. But I won't marry you. Zhao Rin opened his mouth, thinking that he had come up with a plan to get the best of both worlds. What else is responsible for not being able to marry me? When Lu Ruyan heard this, she immediately got anxious and said, I, I understand. You must want to marry Mu Qingqing right? I knew it. You men don't have a single good thing. Looking at Lu Ruyan's agitated appearance, Zhao Rin simply gave her a big earful directly to calm her down. Enough. Ruyan Lu. Do you want me to take these two red wine bottles for a lab test? Is it a human or a ghost? Don't you know in your own heart? I've dragged Qingqing into this, taking away someone's innocence for no reason. Recalling Mu Qingqing's calm to terrifying appearance when she left, Zhao Rin's heart was very guilty. It was herself who dragged people down ah. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Ruyan Lu lowered her head, her eyes a little evasive, not daring to look straight into Zhao Rin's eyes. Let's stop here. This kind of thing, even though the culture is open now. I'll still take the responsibility that I should. If you're angry, then call the police to arrest me. Zhao Rin opened his mouth. I, Ruyan Lu's rosy cherry mouth grew long, and in the end, she couldn't speak. Ching Ching, I'm very sorry about last night. I will be responsible for you. Listening to the clattering sound of the shower in the bathroom, Zhao Rin picked up his cell phone and sent a text message to Mu Ching Ching. Responsible? Responsible for what? We're both in a relationship with you. Are you still thinking about the happiness of a man? Mu Qingqing who received the message quickly replied. Looking at the text displayed on the screen, Zhao Rin froze, yeah what should he do? For a moment did not know how to reply. Forget it, I won't force you, the cause of this matter is not you. Just as Zhao Rin froze, Mu Qingqing sent another message over, and it was obvious that Mu Qingqing had guessed something too. Zhao Rin was just about to type a few more words when he heard a creak. The bathroom door opened. Zhao Rin could only extinguish the cell phone screen and put the phone away. As soon as she looked up, she saw Lu Ruyan walking out wearing a clothes-fitting underwear, and basically all of that perfect carcass was exposed in front of Zhao Rin's eyes, except for the important parts. Ruyan Lu, what are you doing? Zhao Rin frowned and said unhappily. The probability was that it was a double ring last night, right? Zhao Rin was in the extended period of sage time at this time, and surprisingly, he appeared to be oblivious to this naked temptation of Lu Ruyan. You are my husband. There are no outsiders here. It's nothing to show you. Lu Ruyan smiled said without caring, since you can't use to have a relationship to force marriage, then color seduction, hard not to eat, eat soft try, there is always a time when you can't help it, but, Zhao Rin suddenly couldn't help but laugh, you, what are you laughing at, Ruyan Lu asked suspiciously while wearing her clothes, laughing at myself, I feel like I used to be quite ridiculous, Zhao Rin said in a self-deprecating manner, HM, Ruyan Lu frowned, she still didn't quite understand what Zhao Rin meant, it used to be that you were about to get engaged and were living together, and you were still constantly looking for all kinds of reasons to refuse to be overly intimate with me, and you were so close to wrapping yourself up in front of me 24-7, that you even had to sleep in separate rooms, to the point where you couldn't even share a bathroom, and now, you not only thousands of miles to send the door for me to possess your body, you also in order to curry favor with me, this green day, just wearing a three-pointed out, white body with me to see, to put it mildly, I'm afraid that you're now ready to play poker with me at any time. Saying that, the corner of Zhao Rin's mouth rose slightly, the color of mockery overflowing, and in his heart, he was also being unworthy for the past days. I, I didn't. Hearing that in the end, Lu Ruyan, who had been told what was on her mind, began to slow down the movements of her hands, and denied with a hardened head. There is no, you know in your own heart. Zhao Rin was not in a hurry, smiled faintly and got up. All right, let's go. 
Father Lu only has you as a daughter. You can't leave him for too long. Rin, I, I really know I was wrong. I just want to make up for what you liked in the past and do my best to make it up to you. Lu Ruyan lowered her head and stood in front of Zhao Rin, saying in a low voice. Hearing this, Zhao Rin's footsteps paused, then walked straight towards the gate. Halfway there, he suddenly stopped in his tracks. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan thought that the other party had suddenly opened up the two chakras and figured it out, and hurriedly walked over quickly and took the initiative to stretch out her hand, and the scene of interlocking her fingers with Zhao Rin had already appeared in her mind. What are you doing? Unexpectedly, Zhao Rin suddenly turned around, saw Lu Ruyan following behind him, and opened his mouth to ask, I, I'm fine. Ruyan Lu's right hand stopped in midair, feeling embarrassed. She asked stiffly, Here, eat this. Unexpectedly, Zhao Rin didn't care what Ruyan Lu said at all, but instead took advantage of Ruyan Lu's speaking to walk to the edge of the coffee table, and brought back the Forget Pups QQ candy that she had put down by playing a trick on her, and at the same time holding it in her hand, there was also a cup of water. Rin, what do you mean? Looking at the forgotten cub's QQ candy and also water in front of her, Lu Ruyin froze, she was a bit incredulous that Zhao Rin would actually be so heartless, to know, she is now in the ovulation period ah, if Zhao Rin really explained to her last night, a high probability, she will be pregnant, at that time, Zhao Rin can be a father, take the medicine, what happened last night was not my will, Zhao Rin ignored her angry eyes and said with a cold face, with the current situation, between the two of us, it's not suitable to have a child. Okay, I'll eat. After listening to Zhao Rin's words, Lu Ruyan only felt sad inside. In the end, he made a big mistake ah, have been so lowly begging for forgiveness, also paid so much, why Zhao Rin from the beginning to the end, cannot let go of the lump in his heart, to re-accept her. Receiving the forgotten QQ candy and water, Ruyan Lu put it into her mouth and then drank the water from the water cup in one go. Come on, it's time to go home. Ruyan Lu casually placed the cup on the cabinet to the side before putting on her shoes. Open your mouth. However, Zhao Rin was unmoved at this point, not moving his feet in the slightest, but instead said uneasily. Ah, Lu Ruyan sniffed and also opened her cherry mouth quite openly, letting Zhao Rin have a look. I know you feel aggrieved, but don't you feel aggrieved, because I once suffered a much greater aggravation than this. Zhao Rin nodded, his face unchanged as he said, then opened the door and walked out. Upon hearing this, Ruyan Lu didn't say anything and just silently followed. After locking the door, the two came downstairs. Can you still drive? Looking at the familiar Primera in his line of sight and thinking of the way Ruyan Lu walked and squirmed, Zhao Rin asked, You know you care about me now? Last night, still, still so hard, like a pile driver running at full power on a construction site. Upon hearing this, Lu Ruyan's face turned slightly red, lowered her head, and muttered in a small voice, There's no discomfort. Then you drive yourself. Zhao Rin also had the good sense not to ask where the so-called driver was at the moment, since Ruyan Lu had said so, then let her drive herself. Yes, I still feel a fiery pain right now. Lu Ruyan heard, now let her drive. This cannot be, hurriedly said, give me the keys, you take the passenger seat. Zhao Rin extended his hand and asked for the keys. After a few moments, the duo closed the car door. Ha, huh? why don't you turn on the ignition? Lu Ruyan leaned on the co-pilot and looked at Zhao Rin, who was half unmoving and wondered, uh, last night, was I fierce? Her words hadn't even fallen, followed by Zhao Rin's sentence, which instantly gave her a big red face, the words out, the atmosphere inside the car immediately settled up, Lu Ruyan red face, just do not speak, accurately speaking, do not know how to say, sit firmly, seeing this, Zhao Rin also felt as if he was being a bit abrupt, gently coughed, and then said, stepping on the brakes, putting the gears in gear, and accelerating the gas, before Ruyan Lu could even answer, Zhao Rin had already started the car, and after a dashing U-turn, drove quickly towards the Lu family villa. On the other hand, this side of the Lu family villa was staged to force the issue. Lu family villa, living room, old young, what do you mean by this? Father Lu, who had not yet fully recovered from his physical state, sat on the main seat of the sofa and looked at Yang Yu, who was sitting on the side, as well as the several small shareholders following him, and said with a strong spirit, it doesn't mean much, brother Lu Ah, you and I have been brothers for many years, we have always shared the same blessings and difficulties, this is not it, brother I recently received news that you, brother Lu, have been unwell lately, so I, as a younger brother, want to help you manage the company for a few days, Yang Yu sat on the side seat, his mouth said politely, but that arrogant expression and behavior was not polite at all ah, the company is not your turn yet, I am the biggest shareholder, 
you get out. Hearing this, Lu Father looked a bit agitated, and some blood color appeared on his pale face, which could be seen at this time the emotional excitement. Largest shareholder? I can't see it. Right. Me and a few of them combined can be more than your 40% shares. Yang Yu said smugly, besides, it's not like I'm going to lose your share. When you're healed old brother, I'll naturally return the first share to you. Looking at Lu Father's sickly appearance, Yang Yu was complacent. Doing business, it's not about who earns more, it's about who lives longer. Everyone is an old hand at playing with eagles. What you get your hands on you would be willing to spit out? Father Lu disdainfully kindly laughed, although he did not live long, but it does not mean that when he was alive, the original little brother could make trouble in front of him. Brother Lu, you'd better hand over the management rights, just as Lu's father was bracing his spirit to verbally fight with Yang Yu, one of the small shareholders who had been standing behind Yang Yu, fought the courage to open his mouth. It doesn't matter if he opens his mouth, it's as if he breaks some kind of balance. The remaining two two small shareholders also open their mouths, as if they are afraid that they will offend Yang Yu if they speak slowly. Really a group of white-eyed wolf ah, looked at the front of this group of former followers of their own small brother, now one by one wearing gold and silver feel their wings hard, to their own singing the opposite, Lu father is angry, if his body is okay, must be one by one of them threw the pack up, surname Yang, and you guys, when you were poor, who brought you all to a good life, what, just after eating fine chaff for a few days, you forget the days when you used to eat coarse grains, mother Lu was also furious, pointing at Yang Yu and several small shareholders, cursing, on Zhao Rin's side, because of the traffic jam, he was slightly late, and just as he arrived at the entrance of the villa, he vaguely heard the movement inside, the two looked at each other, did not dare to delay, then opened the door, the sword fighting scene in the living room gave way with the sound of the door opening, Zhao Rin, Yang Yu, as their eyes focused, Zhao Rin and Yang Yu actually shouted out in unison, Zhao Rin, what are you doing here, Yang Yu frowned, hadn't the matter of using Zhang Lei's matter to force him to leave been settled that day, why is he here again, what does it matter to you if I'm here, Zhao Rin grinned, if you don't want your brother to step on the sewing machine, leave right now, and I'll do what I promised you, Yang Yu threatened with a stern face, Yang Yu, you seek death, upon hearing this, Zhao Rin's face instantly turned gloomy, he hated it when people threatened him, solely, he directly took out his cell phone and sent a picture to Yang Yu's cell phone, how did you get this picture, Yang Yu at first thought who sent him a message, puzzled and clicked on the screen to take a look, instantly dumbfounded, his eyes showed a look of fear, trembling and asked, if you want people to not know, you can't do it unless you do it yourself, Zhao Rin said in a cold voice, you're bluffing me, after the shock, Yang Yu immediately calmed down and spoke, if you report me to the police, then I'll also report Zhang Lei with something, we'll both die together, you could have tried, you went in, but I didn't, do you think it's the over the hill tiger that's powerful, or is it in the mountain who that scares people, Zhao Rin laughed coldly, against this kind of person, if he's fierce, you have to be more fierce than him, he is ruthless, you have to be more ruthless than him, so there can't be the slightest bit of timidity and retreat, you, Yang Yu, who had been pinned down, was furious, his eyes were on fire, he couldn't wait to split Zhao Rin's body into five pieces right now, if his eyes could kill, he was afraid that Zhao Rin would already have no bones left, you what you, get lost for me, Zhao Rin who didn't have any soft underbelly, unlike his usual modest and courteous behavior, at this moment, he was uncharacteristically domineering, looking at Yang Yu with his eyes rounded and roaring lowly, the sudden change made everyone present look dumbfounded, it turned out that the fluttering gentleman in their impression was so intimidating when he launched into a rage. Hoof. Yang Yu gave a cold snort, then got up and walked straight out of the Lu family villa, and the few small shareholders standing behind him could only follow behind and walk away in a grayish manner. Rin, I didn't expect you to have such a strong aura when you start a fire. I thought that you wouldn't be able to suppress these guys. After everyone had left, Father Lu said with some excitement. Unconsciously, his face also flushed quite a bit, because he noticed a detail. That is, Ruyin Lu's clothes changed, not the same set that she left last night, the reason is naturally called out, Uncle Lu, Auntie, Zhao Rin took the initiative to greet, Ah Rin, in the future, I can leave Ruyin to you, you must help look after the company and their mother and child, a satisfied smile appeared on Father Lu's face, he could finally rest assured, Uncle Lu, I will, Zhao Rin sniffed, glanced at Lu Ruyin with his afterglow, nodded and said without giving a clear answer, then digressed, Uncle Lu, why don't we hand over all the evidence of Yang Yu's crimes to the police, so that we don't have a long night and a lot of complications, send him in, recalling the other party's unscrupulousness and threatening himself with Zhang Lei, 
Zhao Rin still made this decision. I told you a long time ago, you make up your own mind. Father Lu nodded in response. He was now unconditionally supportive of Zhao Rin's decision. The thing to do, the so-called the army is precious godspeed. Zhao Rin did not stay in the Lu family villa for too long. With Lu father gave him evidence about Yang Yu's criminal offense and left. While leaving, he also contacted Li Changle and then went straight to the sheriff's department. In two lifetimes, this was the first time Zhao Ren had entered the security bureau. When he got down from the dripping car, looking at the imposing gate of the security bureau, which was low-key with a bit of majesty, he actually started to get nervous for no reason. At this time, his cell phone rang and took it out to see that it was Li Changle who had called. Hey, Rin, where have you gotten to? Zhao Ren's sight had only just connected when he heard Li Changle's slightly anxious voice coming through the receiver. I'm at the door of your security bureau, a little afraid to go in. Since ancient times, when the common people see the black hat, their hearts are consciously three times shorter. Zhao Rin just like this stood in front of the security bureau, said with some embarrassment, then, then wait a moment. Li Changle, who was sitting in the office, sniffed and frowned as she responded. She planned to go down and pick it up herself. To be honest, she was a little less than understanding. It wasn't like she had broken any laws. Zhao Rin, didn't he come to call the police? What was the song about being so scared? Okay, you come, I'll wait at your door. Zhao Rin nodded and was relieved. It was great that she could come down to pick it up in person. It was only after waiting downstairs for about almost 10 minutes that Zhao Rin saw Li Changle walking out of the security bureau building, heading in his direction, and coming over at a brisk pace, with a creak, accompanied by a sound of metal rubbing against metal. Li Changle stepped out of the small door on the side of the retractable gate and stood in front of Zhao Rin with his hands behind his back. Zhao Rin just wanted to speak, heard a burst of pure engine sound behind him, could not help but turn his head to look. Good guy, license plate number 003, Hongzhou 3 handles, and then silently stood to the side, lest it stick to others. Unexpectedly, the window at the back of the car fell down, revealing the face of a rather imposing middle-aged man. He looked at Li Changle, who was full of smiles, and then at Zhao Rin, who was tall, handsome and sunny, and after looking at Li Changle and nodding his head slightly, a smile flashed across his eyes, and then the window of the car rose, and he drove into the security bureau. This is your director, right? Zhao Rin asked as he turned back and looked at Li Changle's beautiful, pretty face. Eh, yeah. Li Changle nodded her head a little squirmily, and at the same time her pretty face was slightly reddened. But unfortunately, because of her nervousness, Zhao Rin didn't notice the other party's abnormality at the moment. Okay, let's go. Let's go in first. Differences came and went quickly, and Li Changle quickly returned to normal, waving her hand and signaling Zhao Rin to follow her inside. Along the way, the towering building, spacious parking lot, lined up police cars, bright reception hall, as well as a variety of office guides on the wall, and the national emblem in the center of the office hall, pro people at the same time, but also a few more points of official majesty. As soon as the duo entered, the few vigilantes working in the hall raised their heads in unison, a few of them were a bit surprised, looking like they wanted to ask but didn't dare to, Li Changle directly chose to ignore them, leading Zhao Rin to turn into the corridor. What's wrong with you? Li Changle, who was leading the way in front, noticed that Zhao Rin's gait was a bit squirmy, so he stopped and turned around to ask. This place has too much aura, it's a bit tense. Zhao Rin scratched his head somewhat awkwardly and said in a less than kind manner. What's so tense about this? Li Changle said without any good humor. Go, I'll take you to the reception room. Good. Zhao Rin nodded and pushed down the nervousness inside, quickly following, and the two of them quickly arrived at the reception room. Rin, don't be nervous. This is the program and procedure of our work. Li Changle placed a camcorder in front of the two of them and then started the conversation. In the reception room, it was just him and Li Changle. Zhao Rin had calmed down quite a bit in his heart, and after briefly introducing the situation, he directly handed over the dossier bag he had been pinching in his hand to Li Changle. Li Changle took the dossier bag, unsealed it, and took the contents out to take a look. And two short minutes later, she ran out with it, before Zhao Rin could understand the situation. She walked in with several people, and looking at that formation, it looked like a high-level leader. Zhao Rin, this is our criminal police chief. Li Changle saw Zhao Rin's confusion and introduced the visitor. After a brief understanding, the chief of the criminal police immediately gave the order. And soon, several police cars whirred out and began to arrest the relevant people involved in the case as noted in the material. Seeing that his mission had been accomplished, and that the rest of the arrest was not something he could participate in, Zhao Rin did not want to stay here for too long and simply offered his farewell. Okay, just so happens I'm going out too. Let's go back together. 
Li Changle sniffed and said without thinking, but he forgot that there were still a few colleagues beside him who were checking the contents of the documents in the file bag together. Everyone, meaning of course all the gay men, immediately paused in their hands when they heard these words, and it was as if all of them heard the sound of their hearts breaking, going back together, their boyfriend and girlfriend, and living together, the busy people looked at each other, and all of them saw in each other's eyes the dumbfoundedness and surprise that the Hangzhou police flower had been abducted by an outsider just like that, ah, uh, as soon as he heard this, Zhao Rin instinctively had a strong sense of crisis, his body involuntarily shivered, strange, this is the top authority in Hangzhou city, ah, uh, the place where justice is shrouded, how could there be a sense of crisis, until he looked around, and looked at the Li Changle has not yet left, it suddenly realized, so it is all the trouble caused by the beauty ah, uh, hey, Rin, I'm talking to you, what are you staring at, Zhao Rin was so distracted that Li Changle, who hadn't waited for a reply, was not happy, and immediately said with an unhappy beak, only after she finished did she reacted, damn, there was someone else on the side, as expected, all the co-workers around him, including the female co-workers as well, had an expression like they had seen a ghost, full of disbelief, after realizing this, with a swish, Li Changle's face turned red, luckily, Zhao Rin was awakened by her voice and came back to her senses, so she used an excuse to leave, brother, you honestly say, are you in our Hangzhou city flower, only after Li Changle left did someone come up to Zhao Rin, prying for information with a skeptical face, each, officers, no kidding, the two of us are just friends, it's not what you think, as soon as Zhao Rin heard this, he knew that the situation was not good and explained stiffly, unexpectedly, at this time, Li Changle ran back in a hurry, and immediately after that, she then said something that instantly creeped Zhao Rin out, Yang Yu, he ran away, what for all, hearing this, Zhao Rin instantly exploded, is Yang Yu able to pinpoint, actually able to run away, I'm not sure of the situation either, Li Changle shook his head and continued, right now, you and the three members of the Lu family are in danger, so tell them not to go out for the time being, our police will immediately arrange for manpower to set up controls near the Lu family's villa and protect them in the meantime, good, Zhao Rin nodded, he had thought that his movements had been fast enough, he didn't think that Yang Yu, this old fox's movements were even faster, this sense of smell was simply more sensitive than the Tibetan Mastiff, he had only just squeezed him a little bit, but he immediately smelled the murderous aura, and slipped away in advance, pulling out the phone, Zhao Rin immediately called Lu Ruyan, Lu father and mother he is not afraid of, one is not good health, the other to take care of, now he is most worried about Lu Ruyan, if this woman ran to work in the company, then it would be bad, hello, Ruyan Lu, where are you now, as soon as the phone was connected, Zhao Rin couldn't wait to ask, me, I'm on my way to work at the office, didn't you go to the sheriff's office to call the police, how come you have time to call me, I heard that there are a lot of procedures to go through to call the police, Ruyan Lu was like a long-winded woman at the moment, with a flurry of questions, you listen to me now and navigate to the nearest sheriff's office or sheriff's precinct immediately, not being able to say much, Zhao Rin directly grabbed the point and said, why do I have to go to the sheriff's office and the police station, Rin, what do you mean, also, you just actually called me Lu Ruyan, I I even gave you my body, although, unfortunately, this lack of hard eyes Lu Ruyan didn't think about that much at all, but instead focused on the messy things like name calling, this makes Xiao Rin think of the scene in old Who's spy drama where the big sister, who said to her own brother, he dared to hit me, Yang Yu ran away, Zhao Rin growled in a low voice, and then heard a sharp sound of breaks coming from the earpiece, and was startled, thinking that something had happened on the other side, ran away, luckily, it didn't take long for Lu Ruyan's voice to resound in the earpiece, which allowed Zhao Rin to put his heart back in his stomach, don't ask so many questions, go to the nearest police station or police bureau, Yang Yu has a gang-related background, after saying these words, Zhao Rin immediately hung up the phone, he planned to go to the Lu family villa right away because Lu's father and mother were still there, Rin, let's go to the Lu family villa right away, changed his clothes Li Changle said with a serious face, now is not the time to gossip, as soon as he said it, Li Changle drove Zhao Rin in a car from the security bureau towards the Lu family's villa, this old man, still saying he's a brother, after knowing each other for so many years, he actually dares to sneak around and investigate me, outside the Lu family's high-end villa area. Yang Yu, who had disguised himself after some time, was currently standing outside the cell where the Lu family's villa was located, looking at the cell's gate with a gloomy face. Obviously, he already knows. He has done these things over the years, know the ins and outs of the people and have the possibility to get the evidence. There are only a few. Those few have interests related to, 
the only one who does not have private interests related to, only Lu father. Just then, the cell phone placed in the inner pocket of his outer jacket began to vibrate, and Yang Yu coldly grunted and picked it up. Hey, where are you? I've already arranged the way. You go to the Hangbei Highway exit. There's someone there to meet you. In the receiver, a slightly urgent voice rang out, urging him to hurry up and leave. Don't worry, I'll leave after I finish the last thing, and I definitely won't involve you. Yang Yu directly hung up the phone after he sorrowfully finished the sentence. It turned out that this was his backer in the Hongzhou Security Bureau, and on weekdays, if there was any breeze in the Security Bureau, he would be given news by this backer, thus avoiding a lot of trouble. As soon as he heard this, the other end of the person anxious, but did not expect, their words have not finished it, heard beep 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 busy sound. Yang Yu hang up the phone. In order not to frighten the snakes, the Hangzhou Security Bureau ordered all the security guards in control to wear civilian clothes, with some of them watching several entrances and exits, and some of them hiding in the vicinity of the Lu family's villa. And the police did all this, all fell in the eyes of Yang Yu who hid in the green bushes not far away, an upscale neighborhood. On weekdays, apart from cleaning cars and garbage trucks, cars below half a million dollars are rare. There are so many coming and going today. Do you really think I'm a pig brain? Yang Yu hid behind a landscape tree and laughed coldly, slightly raising the corners of his mouth as if he was mocking the security bureau officers who were laying down control. After hiding behind the tree for a long time, Yang Yu slowly backed away he thought of a way to enter the neighborhood. It was night, and all was silent as night enveloped the area. In the neighborhood, the starry lights show outsiders the difference between the life of the rich and the life of ordinary people, compared to the commercial housing that at a glance dense windows and lights. The rich people's villa area is dotted with stars. Between each villa, separated by greenery and walls, forming a small piece of private space, and right between this small piece of small private space, an agile figure was moving quickly, wandering recklessly in the darkness, dodging a surveillance. If Father Lu was here, he would be surprised. How could this young you be so agile? You know, he is over half a hundred years old ah, the age of life ah. Finally, young you, who had groped his way to his destination, stopped in his tracks. He hid his body completely in the darkness, and his pair of eyes stared dead center at the villa in front of him. It was here that the owner of this villa personally destroyed his years of hard work, money, house, all gone. He wants revenge. He wants to make the other side pay. However, Yang Yu was not reckless. He just stayed quietly in the darkness, observing the wind in the vicinity of the villa. In the villa, the whole house was brightly lit, and Li Changle and a few of her co-workers were observing everything around the villa from a 360-degree angle through two laptops placed on the coffee table. Rin, you say when we can go out ah? In the living room, Lu father, Lu mother and Lu Ruyan's family sat in the corner, looking at Li Changle and a few police comrades. Lu Ruyan couldn't help but quietly tug at Zhao Rin's corner, muttering in a low voice. Quiet, don't disturb Officer Li as they do their work. Before Zhao Rin could say anything, Father Lu, who was leaning on his wheelchair, stopped it. Yang Yu, Yang Yu, Zhao Rin was listening to the conversation between Lu's father and Lu Ruyan on this side, and a pair of eyes on that side went straight to the computer screen. Wait, can this location be zoomed in? Suddenly, Zhao Rin, who was staring at the computer monitoring display, his pupils shrunk. He noticed something wrong in the midst of a cloud of pitch blackness, how the shadows didn't seem to be very well proportioned. Turn on the night vision function to the maximum. Upon hearing this, Li Changdel then reacted to the fact that the night vision function needed to be turned on manually for this kind of temporarily installed monitor. So he hurriedly instructed. Soon, along with the police officer's fingers on the computer keyboard to operate, the original darkness shrouded villa outside the scene began to slowly become clear. Found it. Here it is. It was still Zhao Rin who was sharp-eyed and immediately saw the figure. And through the computer's display, he could still see the eyes that emitted an eerie green light. Just like an old cat hibernating in the night. Outside group. Green belt at the back door of the villa. Li Changdel didn't make any unnecessary movements. Picked up the walkie-talkie and reported what the surveillance had seen to his colleagues who were deployed at the outer perimeter of the annex. At the same time, Yang Yu, who was outside, also realized that something was wrong. Hidden in the darkness of the night. He actually saw flashing red dots outside the villa. He immediately reacted. He had been discovered. When it was too late, Yang Yu immediately retreated backward and exited the range of the surveillance before the people who had set up the control arrived. Where is the person? Inside the villa. Li Changdel's few people just watched as Yang Yu disappeared within the surveillance range. And immediately afterward, they received a message from the outer group that they didn't find anyone. Because all the people living in this neighborhood were rich people worth over a hundred million dollars. In order to avoid causing unnecessary panic and trouble, and to prevent Yang Yu from jumping over the wall in a hurry, 
Everyone also had no choice but to stop their actions, and everything returned to the original point. As for Yan Yu, it turned out that he was hiding in a garbage truck which was parked ostentatiously outside the switch room where the street lamps were lit, and this was the blackout of the lamp. Knowing that he couldn't possibly win, Yang Yu's entire body shrank in the garbage truck, not daring to move a muscle. Only when there was no more movement outside did he drill out of the carriage. Buzz buzz buzz. At this time, his cell phone vibrated a few times. Yang Yu clicked on it, and the message he received on his cell phone made him think of another way. The night passed, in addition to that little episode, everything is normal. However, the worries lingering in the heart of the Lu family three people did not subside, especially know the background of Yang Yu Lu's father is more nervous, a crazy gangster brother. What can be done? He did not even dare to think about it. All right, Uncle Lu, Auntie, you guys go ahead and rest. I'll just watch over here. After staying up all night and looking at the tired faces of several people, Zhao Ring pinched his nose and spoke. I, I'm not tired. Lu Ruyan, who was sitting on the sofa and kept dozing off, sniffed and immediately opened her eyes and shook her head in rejection. Ruyan, let's go and rest. Don't get in the way of the police comrades doing their business here. Mother Lu pulled Lu Ruyan and whispered. Just like that, Lu Ruyan was reluctantly dragged back to her room to rest by her own mother. Seeing the three of them go upstairs, Zhao Rin breathed a sigh of relief. And just when he wanted to take a break, his cell phone rang and it turned out to be Mu Qingqing calling him. Qing Qing, you're so early today. Thinking back to what happened between the two the night before, Zhao Rin was a bit embarrassed, but he still chose to pick it up. His unnatural tone, however, caught the attention of Li Changle on the side. Zhao Rin, it's me. In the receiver, there was actually Yang Yu's voice, which made Zhao Rin's nerves instantly tense up. Why was he using Mu Qingqing's number? Could it be that? Listen to me, I have Mu Qingqing. You come to the building on XX Road right now. I'll give you only one hour. Remember, you come alone. Otherwise all you'll see is Mu Qingqing's corpse. After saying this, Yang Yu directly hung up the phone. Listening to the busy tone coming from the receiver, Zhao Rin silently put away the cell phone. What to do now? Should I tell Changle? Thinking about it, Zhao Rin couldn't help but look at Li Changle. And it so happened that at this time the other party's gaze also looked over. And their gazes met in midair. What's wrong with you? Rin. Do you want to go rest first? Looking at Zhao Rin's sudden trance, Li Changle was a bit puzzled and thought that it was caused by staying up all night without resting well, so he took the initiative to let him go and rest. It's fine. It's a company matter. I'm going to take care of it. Zhao Rin, who had come back to his senses, finally decided not to tell Li Changle, and just traveled alone. Big deal. A life for a life. Then I'll give you a ride. Li Changle sniffed and said immediately without question. It's fine. I'm not Yang Yu's main target. There's no way he'll squat me. After working hard all night, everyone's tired. I'll go and return. Zhao Rin smiled, rejected Li Changle's offer, and went out of the villa. About 40 or so minutes later, Zhao Rin appeared in front of the rotten building on XX Road. The door is closed. Overgrown weeds. From a distance, although the rising sun has been scattered sunshine, but the red sunlight fell on a building modeled with rotten buildings above. More added a few parts of the depression and sadness. Finishing the last big meat bun he had bought and passing in his hand in one dazzling bite, Zhao Rin walked to the door of the rotten building with a wary face, right hand gently pushed forward, the rusty door, accompanied by creaking creaking sound that makes you feel too thick, opened, Zhao Rin nervously looked around, clumps of weeds, scattered bricks, construction equipment parts, and a number of scattered rebar heads, really bull ah, this kind of rebar head can be worth money, actually have not been picked up to sell money, in order to feel a little more secure, Zhao Rin bent down and picked up a piece of rebar head, holding it in his hand. Just then, his cell phone rang again. Needless to say there was no one else calling him at this time except Yang Yu, right? Zhao Rin, I see you. As soon as he picked up the phone, Yang Yu's voice rang out from the receiver. You're good and bold enough to go it alone. Yang Yu, who was standing on a high place, said with binoculars in his left hand and a cell phone in his right hand, Where are you? Zhao Rin clutched the rebar in his hand and said in a cold voice, at this time he couldn't wait to directly open a dipper to Yang Yu's head to see what was going on in his head? Shouldn't he be thinking about how to run away better at this time? Drop the rebar you're holding. You want to give me a scoop? Before Zhao Rin's words fell, Yang Yu's voice rang out once again, with some irritation between his words. The row. After saying that, Zhao Rin painfully dropped the rebar in his hand. Something smashed on the ground debris, issued a duong sound. Now you come over to your 2 o'clock direction. I'm on the second floor. You can see me if you come up the stairs. Yang Yu said. Okay, you wait. Zhao Rin sniffed and directly hung up the phone. 
then raised his head and looked towards the second floor of the rotten building at two o'clock. Zhao Rin, I didn't expect you kid to have some balls. I said for you to come alone, and you really came alone. Got guts, a man of honor. On the second floor of the rotten building, Yang Yu stood on the floor and said towards Zhao Rin on the first floor through the circular hollow by his feet. I say, Yang Yu, you're over 100 years old, you've got a good head on your shoulders, and you actually chose this place. I can see you but can't hit you. Zhao Rin stood underneath the empty circular cavity, tilted his head, and said in a calm manner, I really don't know what puffy designer designed this hole. Is this for styling purposes? You're the one who gave the stuff to the police? Standing high above, Yang Yu's eyes narrowed slightly as he said in a cold voice, I gave it to the police? When Zhao Rin heard this, his heart suddenly thumped, how did he know about this kind of thing? Could it be? Zhao Rin immediately reacted to the fact that Yang Yu had someone inside the security bureau, which made him break out in a cold sweat. Yang Yu's next words also verified his suspicions. Humph, less pretending in front of me. I, Yang Yu, have been crawling around Hangzhou for so many years, how can I not have this skill? Looking at Zhao Rin with a puzzled look, Yang Yu sneered disdainfully, if you're so capable, why don't you run? Zhao Rin heard the sarcasm between Yang Yu's words and hummed disdainfully, then said, run, if I wanted to leave, I would have done so long ago, can these crooked people catch me? Yang Yu said smugly, you're really confident. After hearing this, Zhao Rin even gave a very cooperative thumbs up. Oof, I spent so much money and fattened up so many people in Hangzhou for so many years, wasn't it just for today? Yang Yu said with some smugness, as if the people of the security bureau were all dry eats. Used today? Oh, if those people you fattened up were useful, you'd be at this point. Don't psych yourself up there. Zhao Rin laughed disdainfully. You asshole Zhao Rin. I wonder if you're a fighter amongst dog lickers ah, dog saint right you. The Lu family is treating you like this, why are you still helping them? If you have your eyes on Ruyan Lu, just wait for me to get my hands on the company and send someone to your bed? I I really can't understand you. Saying that, Yang Yu started cursing and swearing, it was obvious that he looked dissatisfied with Zhao Rin's actions. Okay, let's not talk so much. Where's Qingqing? You used her to lure me here. Where is she? At least let me see her with my own eyes. Waiting until the other party blah 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 finished his heart's depressed tease bullshit, Zhao Rin opened his mouth without any panic. After bullshitting for so long, the tension in his heart also eased quite a bit. You're a man who can take pity on a woman. It's just a woman. If I were you, I would at most call the police. Upon hearing this, Yang Yu laughed contemptuously, then yanked the paralyzed Mu Qingqing up and pulled her to his side, allowing Zhao Rin to see her. Wouldn't I be letting you down if I didn't come? Seeing that the other party was safe and sound for the time being, Zhao Rin's hanging heart relaxed quite a bit and disliked him nonchalantly. Makes sense. Yang Yu nodded, and immediately afterward, he watched as he pulled out a gun from his waist, the blackened muzzle pointing right at Zhao Rin. Crap, there is a gun. The moment he saw the pistol, Zhao Rin admitted that he wimped out, so close to the distance. If he was hit, it was three to seven ah, his own three seconds hiccups, seven days later everyone opened ah, Rin don't mind me, go, go call the police, right at this moment, I don't know where Mu Qingqing got the guts to actually yell at the top of her voice, little bitch, you've got some guts, I'll kill you first, then send this asshole Zhao Rin to his death, hearing these words, Yang Yu immediately became furious and turned his gun around, directly placing his pistol in front of Mu Qingqing's forehead, as if he was going to shoot in the next second, as for Mu Qingqing, she had to close her eyes like she was resigned to her fate, don't, seeing this, Zhao Rin panicked as he immediately opened his mouth, trying to stop the other party. Here, I'm in charge, and later, I'll send you on your way as well. At those words, Yang Yu looked at Zhao Rin with a fierce face, and his thumb dialed down the safety to fire. With a loud bang, Zhao Rin was startled and involuntarily trembled, then looked at Yang Yu and Mu Qingqing. Damn. Seeing that Yang Yu's shoulder was shot, his pale face instantly revealed a hint of ruthlessness, and with a force from his left hand, he pushed his tight hands and feet towards the large circular hole in the floor. Crap. See the situation. Zhao Rin also do not care what the danger is not dangerous. Spread the hands and feet. Ran over. This is a high floor ah. The height of the floor is 5 meters like. This if the fall is real. Not dead is also to go half a tube of blood ah. Fortunately, the area of the hole. Ah. Just this point. Zhao Rin a few steps to catch up. Grabbed Mu Qingqing landing before. A beautiful princess hugged to hold. The only thing he regretted was that because the impact of coming down from a height of about 5 meters was too great, coupled with the fact that Zhao Rin was walking over there at a fast pace, the time left for him was too short, which caused him to be unsteady at the moment he caught Mu Qingqing, 
and his entire body began to fall forward uncontrollably. However, at this moment, Zhao Rin was inspired by the potential in his body, only to see that he tried his best to hold Mu Qingqing without letting go of her hand, not letting her fall on the ground full of gravel waste, but he himself did not support himself, and his knees hit the music ground heavily, and a pained expression instantly appeared on his face. Ah Rin, seeing this moment, Mu Qingqing's heart instantly trembled, and she felt that the heartstring deep within her heart was viciously plucked. The original depression in her heart over the accidental loss of her body and the resentment towards Zhao Rin dissipated at this moment. No, it's fine. The sharp pain coming from his knees made Zhao Rin's entire face instantly bloodless, but he still controlled his arms and placed Mu Qingqing smoothly on the ground. Box, playing softly and softly here. Right, then I'll fulfill you guys, and you can fall in love when you get down there. Right at this moment, Yang Yu's voice rang out. In the afterglow, Zhao Rin saw Yang Yu whose body was half-dyed red by scarlet blood, with a pistol raised in his left hand, its blackened muzzle struggling against the two of them, him and Mu Qingqing, be careful, without even thinking about it, Zhao Rin fiercely jumped down in front of Mu Qingqing's body, using his own body to protect her underneath, Ah Rin, Mu Qingqing let out a mournful cry, immediately after, his bang a gunshot, Zhao Rin only feel a burst of pain in the back came, instantly lost consciousness, in the operating room of the best hospital in Hangzhou, Several chiefs and bigwigs were in the middle of a tight resuscitation, outside the operating room. Mu Qingqing, whose clothes were stained with blood, sat dully on the chair outside, seemingly not having recovered from the events of the party. As for Li Changle, at this moment, she was full of chagrin. How did she not choose a shot to the head? If that shot hit, perhaps Zhao Rin he could be safe and sound. A short while later, received the news of the Lu family rushed over in a flurry of wind, Lu mother pushed the weak Lu father, in order to be safe. Lu father also brought a N95 mask. Ruyan Lu ran in front, running towards Mu Qingqing with a worried face. Rin how come he got shot? Why did he get shot? Seeing the blood-stained Mu Qingqing, Lu Ruyan tugged on her shoulder as soon as she came up and asked hysterically. I, I don't know. As soon as she heard this, Mu Qingqing's eyes immediately flashed back to the scene where Zhao Rin jumped on her. And then there was a bang sound of a gunshot. And she watched as Zhao Rin's back exploded into a cloud of blood, with scarlet blood splattering all over her and even clouding her eyes, so she covered her head and said helplessly, no idea, how could you not know, Lu Ruyan felt her heart churning with anger and blood, only to see her shaking Mu Qingqing's shoulders non-stop, her face full of anger as she pressed the question, Ryu this can't be blamed on her, it's my fault, Li Changle, who was leaning against the wall without saying a word, couldn't help but speak at this time, your fault, hearing this, Lu Ruyan let go of Mu Qingqing, her gaze looking towards Li Changle as if she was waiting for an explanation. Seeing this, Li Changle sharply told the ins and outs of Zhao Rin getting shot. I'm going to kill you. When Lu Ruyan heard that the other party originally had the opportunity to use a sniper rifle to blow Yang Yu's head off with a single shot but chose to hit his shoulder instead, she instantly lost her mind and made a move to rush over, only to be stopped by the nurse who had heard the commotion. As for Zhao Rin, who was seriously injured and not awake, his consciousness was dazed and confused. He only felt that he was walking on a dark path where he couldn't see his fingers, and at the end of his sight, there was a dazzling light there, and he just walked and walked and walked towards that light, he didn't know how far he had traveled, and even more so how long he had traveled for, it was as if time and space seemed to have stood still at this moment, finally, Zhao Rin reached the end and dove headfirst into the glowing light, only to see someone who looked exactly like himself standing in the center of the light, just quietly looking at him, there you are, my half-brother. The man opened his mouth, and if it weren't for the fact that the other man's timbre sounded different, Zhao Rin would have wondered if he had a long-lost twin brother. Who are you? Are you the original body? Not sensing any hostility from the other party, Zhao Rin breathed a sigh of relief, it wasn't cost-effective to waste his energy in this hellhole. Yes, I'm the one who was pissed off alive by Rui and Lu at the engagement banquet. To be precise, licking dog Zhao Rin. Zhao Rin spoke, you don't need to be afraid, this is my consciousness space. You have fulfilled the promise you made, it's time for me to disappear. Forgive me for my previous deception. I was supposed to vanish the moment I promised you, but I wasn't sure, so I stayed until now. Then how do I get out? Since the other party had said so, Zhao Rin was relieved and opened his mouth to ask. Almost there. Thank you, for fulfilling my heart's desire. The original body looked deeply at Zhao Rin, and then its entire body began to gradually become illusory, and finally disappeared before Zhao Rin's eyes. Seeing this image that had only existed in a TV show become a reality in front of his eyes, Zhao Rin couldn't help but feel a little apprehensive. Just when he wanted to make a move, 
He saw that the space began to peel off layers like a smooth lens, and finally a series of cracks as dense as a spider's web extended to Zhao Rin's feet. Zhao Rin just watched as his feet cracked, and finally a strong sense of weightlessness came over him, and he fell into the endless abyss. Hearing the commotion, Mu Qing, who was sleeping soundly on the bedside table, woke up, tilted his head in a daze, and looked at Zhao Rin. The eyes that were still somewhat sleepy met Zhao Rin's brilliant star-like eyes, and Zhao Rin then watched as Mu Qingqing's eyes changed from confused, sleepy, to surprised. Rin, you're awake, how do you feel? Instantly awake. Mu Qingqing immediately sat up straight and asked, Water, give me water. Zhao Rin, who had just awakened, just wanted to speak, and as soon as he opened his mouth, he felt a pain in his throat, as if it was as painful as being cut by a knife, so he opened his mouth. Okay, okay, you wait. After so many days, Mu Qingqing finally heard Zhao Rin's voice again, and instantly cried tears of joy, not caring about anything else. She directly took a cup and walked over to the VIP ward's direct drinking machine, and connected half a cup of warm water to Zhao Rin. Gulp, 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 gulp. As Zhao Rin's half cup of warm water went down his throat, he felt that his dry throat instantly became moist, as if the parched land was being moisturized by rain. Much more comfortable. You, how are you feeling? While the other party was drinking water, Mu Qingqing wiped her tears with her empty hand and said with concern, It hurts. My back hurts. It was fine if Mu Qingqing didn't ask, but as soon as she did, Zhao Rin, who was gradually regaining consciousness, immediately felt a sharp pain in his back and couldn't help but open his mouth. You were shot in the back, but luckily, it didn't injure any vital organs. The doctor has already taken the bullet out for you. Mu Qingqing sniffed and opened her mouth to explain, There's also your knee. The doctor has seen you. There's nothing wrong with it. A superficial wound. Hearing this, Zhao Rin was relieved. As long as it wasn't too much damage. Rin, wait, I'll go find a doctor to come over. Seeing that Zhao Rin's state had recovered a bit, Mu Qingqing softly said two sentences and got up to go out. Unexpectedly, just as she turned around, Mu Qingqing seemed to have thought of something and suddenly turned back, then leaned down and gently kissed Zhao Rin's forehead, then ran away with a red face. This woman. Zhao Rin only felt a burst of girlish fragrance come to his face, and he didn't even have time to smell it a few more times before it left, and then he couldn't help but be speechless. Soon, Zhao Rin heard a rush of footsteps coming from outside, and it was obviously Mu Qingqing bringing the doctor over. After some examination by the doctor, Mu Qingqing's hanging heart was put at ease. Rin, why were you so stupid that day? That was a gun. Do you know that if it had missed a little bit more, you could have just opened the seat? After seeing the doctor's examination leave, Mu Qingqing didn't hold back her words. Recalling the menace of that time, she still looked terrified. Am I stupid? I'm celebrating that the bullet hit me. If it had hit you, I wouldn't even dare to imagine what I would have done. After hearing this, Zhao Rin smiled and said, Both of us already have that layer of relationship. Unless you explicitly say that you don't accept me, I will definitely do what a man should do to protect his woman. A Rin, when you are healed, let's pick a date. The words were not yet finished when he heard the door of the room creak and was opened from outside. The sound of the door opening interrupted the atmosphere of the conversation between the two of them, and at the same time, it also interrupted the courage that Mu Qingqing had managed to muster up. Mu Qingqing turned her head to look at the door, and sighed softly inwardly. The courage she had managed to muster up was gone just like that. Hubby, you're awake. Looking at Zhao Rin, who was lying on his back on the hospital bed, Lu Ruyan said with surprise on her face. When the nurse at the nurse's station sent her a V letter just now to tell her, she immediately left the work at hand and drove over furiously, her mind filled with nothing but thoughts of Zhao Rin. What brings you here? Uncle Lu and the company so many things. Seeing the person who came, Zhao Rin was a bit upset. If it wasn't for her blindly drugging a few times, where would things be so complicated? I heard the nurse outside say that you woke up, so I came over. Ruyan Lu looked in a very relaxed mood at this time and said with a smile. However, Zhao Rin didn't feel the same way, and the complicated relationship between the three people left him a bit overwhelmed. Rin, during the time you were unconscious, Ruyin really changed a lot, basically except for the company. She stayed here to take care of you, feeling Zhao Rin's emotional changes. After a slight consideration, Mu Qingqing still chose to tell the truth, telling Zhao Rin word for word about Ruyin Lu's changes during this period of time. After listening, Zhao Rin immediately a head too big, he is considered to be pit in the end. Two girls who had sex with themselves and their own in the same room. The relationship is not generally complex. This is not good to enjoy the blessings of a man ah. Come in and sit for a while. It's quite tiring to stand outside. Zhao Rin sighed in his heart and spoke. So Lu Ruyin logically sat on the other side as well. 
Looking at the two women were both looking at themselves unanimously, Zhao Rin felt ahead of too big, and did not know what to say, the atmosphere was immediately awkward. Ah Rin, husband. Just as Zhao Rin's brain was racing, wanting to say something to break this embarrassment, the two girls actually opened their mouths in unison. Immediately afterward, Zhao Rin hadn't even returned to her senses yet. The two women spoke again at the same time. Is your stomach hungry? Do you want to eat something? Saying that, the two women looked at each other without budging, and then turned their heads at the same time, looking at Zhao Rin who was lying on the hospital bed, as if they were waiting for his answer. My god, two people add up to four words. Zhao Rin feels that he has been wandering between life and death. A careless will fall into the abyss feeling. This led him how to answer. Can take care of this end, but cannot take care of that end ah. Uh, thinking, Zhao Rin's mood also slowly began to tense up. The atmosphere once again became delicate. Hiss. Just then, Zhao Rin suddenly couldn't hold back and let out a soft cry. Ah Rin where are you uncomfortable, husband are you alright? Listening to the two women's nervous words and looking at their faces full of concern, Zhao Rin felt the urgency to urinate become even more pronounced, and it didn't take long for him to hold it in, making his old face red. At this scene, the two women became more and more flustered, and Mu Qingqing made a gesture to stand up with the intention of pressing the call for help installed on the wall. Don't, I, I was trying to go to the restroom. Seeing this, Zhao Rin hurriedly opened his mouth to stop. If outsiders knew about this because he wanted to go to the restroom and press the pager, would he still want to lose his old face? He still had to hang around in Hangzhou. Then, then I'll help you to the restroom, that's good then. At this time, the two women's replies, finally appeared different, and Zhao Rin also sees the opportunity to come one by one, and under the gaze of Lu Ruyan's regretful eyes, let Mu Qingqing help herself to the bathroom. With great difficulty, Mu Qingqing, whose figure was not quite slender but did not have a few tails of excess meat either, held Zhao Rin's uninjured left arm and helped him to the toilet, but the duo discovered an embarrassing problem, that is, Zhao Rin does not have the strength to stand now. Because of the knee injury, if he wants to stand steadily, his hand has to hold the handrail on the side, but his right hand cannot exert force because of the gunshot wound, then he does not have a hand to hold. If he was holding on to that, the direction would be clear, but he might not be able to stand steadily. This put him in an awkward dilemma. Rin, why don't I hold you up? Hold yourself up. Rao Qingqing Mu, who was too intelligent, couldn't think of a suitable solution at this time or rather the solution was there, but she felt that the two people hadn't gotten close to that point yet, and although both people had, but Mu Qingqing still couldn't do this step. Just then, Lu Ruyan, who had returned to her senses, also walked in, and seeing the embarrassed appearance of the two of them, and looking at Zhao Rin's appearance, she vaguely guessed a few points in her heart. Honey, what's there to be embarrassed about? I'm all yours. Just as Mu Qingqing's pretty face was flushed and she was planning to support Zhao Rin, Lu Ruyan walked to the other end in a big way, and a pair of her hands went directly towards Zhao Rin's hospital gown. That's not appropriate. Seeing this, Zhao Rin barely suppressed the urge to open the gate. Embarrassed. What's appropriate or not? I don't understand. All I know is that it's all yours. We're all up close and personal. You're inconvenienced now. Isn't it right for me to take care of you? You hold the handrail with your left hand and leave the rest to me. And Qingqing, Qing, you hold his waist, lest he lose his strength all of a sudden. Lu Ruyan said calmly, oh, hiss, just then, Zhao Rin felt a relief, his waist was cool then what, he saw Lu Ruyan stretching out her jade hand, that slightly cold feeling made Zhao Rin's breath aggravate a few points, ha, huh? why don't you start, after waiting for a few seconds, Ruyan Lu didn't wait for the sound of water, so she asked suspiciously, ah, uh, a little bit higher, if his toes could move, Zhao Rin would hate to gouge a three room, oh no, four room, two room out of the tile floor, after the floodgates were easily opened and finished draining, Zhao Rin felt relieved and his body shook uncontrollably for a few moments. A, eh? Rin, don't move, you're too heavy. Just then, Mu Qingqing, who had been holding herself up to help Zhao Rin support the left half of his body, couldn't help but complain. Just now shaking these few times, she almost didn't hold it up. How was it? Shaking a few times feels, isn't it very nice? Sniffing, Lu Ruyan helped Zhao Rin pull up his clothes and pants while opening her mouth a pair of big watery eyes suddenly blinking rapidly, and a few moments of teasing flowed out of her eyes, I suspect you're driving and on the highway, but I don't have proof, at those words, Zhao Rin suddenly babbled in a serious manner, but, the two women sniffed, one didn't hold back and laughed out directly, red faced and blanked Zhao Rin, then held back her laughter and helped Zhao Rin out of the bathroom, unexpectedly, the front foot walked out of the bathroom, and before she could take two steps, the back foot saw Li Changle push the door in, she was also carrying a lunchbox in her hand, 
and it was naturally self-evident what was contained inside. What are you guys doing? Looking at the two girls whose face value was on par with his own, and could even be said to have their own unique characteristics, supporting the boy whom he had a slight good feeling about for the first time. Li Changle's inner heart suddenly had some strange emotions, feeling a little bit tasty, and couldn't help but open his mouth to ask. No, nothing, I just woke up not long ago, let them help me walk, feel body bones are rusty. At those words, Zhao Rin immediately blushed and pulled away from the topic. He didn't want the fourth person to know that he had to go to the toilet and still have the girls help him, and even more so, he didn't want the fourth person to know that Rui and Lu was holding up that thing. It's already awkward to let a girl help you to the bathroom, but if a third girl knew about it, wouldn't that be awkward? Really? I don't believe it. You're lying. As a vigilante of the security bureau, Li Changle had not only just studied theoretical psychology, but had also practiced the theoretical knowledge she had learned firsthand on many criminals, so she just glanced at Zhao Rin so faintly and immediately saw that something wasn't right, and that Zhao Rin had a ghost in her heart, so she said with conviction and skepticism, just now, together with Ching Ching, I helped my husband to go to the bathroom, his hands are not too convenient, looking at the other party's expression, so close to writing the word jealousy on her brain, Lu Ruyan immediately said with a smile, you said it, Ching Ching, a few simple words, let Zhao Rin feel a little surprised, good guy, Lu Ruyan's IQ was online at this time, right, actually playing a united front, knowing to pull in allies and gunning for a united front. Rin, I heard from the doctor that you're awake. I specially came to see you and brought you lunch. After hearing this, Li Changle gave Lu Ruyan a deep look. She didn't expect that this pig's mind that originally abandoned her husband for her so-called male best friend at the engagement banquet actually knew how to use her brain. However, on the surface, she did not respond and said towards Zhao Rin. Thanks. Zhao Rin sniffed and hurriedly thanked him. Come on don't say that. Rin. You've helped me so much and sacrificed your own rest time to accompany me to the doctor. It should be me who thanks you. Besides, you could have not been injured in the first place. Seeing that Zhao Rin had said so, coupled with the things Zhao Rin had helped her with in the past and the shot he had taken in his body, Li Changle felt very guilty and couldn't help but bring a few apologies into her tone of voice. How? Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin was a bit surprised. He clearly remembered that he had used the excuse of a company emergency to go to the rotten building. Why did Li Changle say that he could have stayed unharmed? This made him a bit puzzled. Rin, do you really think that I would believe those claims of yours? Li Changle said, and as he spoke, he walked inside the hospital room and placed the lunchbox in his hand on the side table. That's all the more reason to blame you. If I hadn't been a smartass and a slick go-go rotter, I wouldn't have gotten into this mess. In that case, I still have to thank you. Suddenly realizing this, Zhao Rin waved her intact left arm and said, on the surface it sounded like Li Changle hadn't said anything, but in reality she had already said everything, smart people don't need to say too much to bring it up when they talk, looking at Zhao Rin and Li Changle, this little foxy girl, talking to each other, completely forgetting that there were still two people standing next to them, Lu Ruyan and Mu Qingqing were instantly displeased, the two women looked at each other and made some eye contact, even if Li Changle brought lunch over, the two of them would definitely not let the other party have their way, Rin, eat first. Don't let the meal Changle brought get cold. While the two were talking, Mu Qingqing stepped in. She took the initiative to reach out, opened the lunchbox that Li Changle had just put on the table, and spoke. As a roommate who shared a room with Li Changle, Mu Qingqing was naturally able to speak logically and look like she wouldn't look so pretentious and deliberate. Oh, it smells so good. Mu Qingqing opened the lunchbox that was placed on the table. A fragrance that belonged solely to the food began to slowly diffuse, smelling the aroma. Mu Qingqing couldn't help but open her mouth, as she was talking on this side, Mu Qingqing's hands on the other side were not stopping, the three-in-one lunchbox was soon split into three small lunchboxes, one lunchbox was white rice, one lunchbox was four compartments of dishes, two meat and two veggies, and one lunchbox was soup, which could be described as four dishes and one soup, don't worry about eating, things are lighter, I asked the doctor, seeing that Zhao Rin was just quietly looking at things, Li Changle thought that he was worried about the diet and couldn't help but say. However, she did not expect that Mu Qingqing suddenly looked at her and smiled lightly, then picked up the cutlery and softly said, Ah Rin, your right hand is injured and has not recovered yet. Let me feed you. Clip sound. Listening to Mu Qingqing's somewhat whiny voice, Li Changle was speechless. She admitted that she had some good feelings for Zhao Rin, and would also feel jealous because of the excessive intimacy between him and other girls. But this kind of good feeling wasn't strong enough to the extent that she had to have him, much less commit a love brain because of it. Yeah, Rin have a sip of soup before it gets too dry and you choke yourself. Just as Li Changle was feeling helpless because of Mu Qingqing's clip sound, 
Lu Ruyan's voice rang out. She surprisingly held the soup in one hand, and with the other hand, she scooped up a small spoonful of soup with a small spoon, and in order to avoid Zhao Rin scalded when she drank the soup, she even placed it on the edge of her rosy cherry mouth, and gently blew on it before handing it over to Zhao Rin's mouth. The old ancestor had said that it takes a hundred days to injure your tendons and bones. Moreover, Zhao Rin's injury was much more serious than a broken tendon or bone, and he almost lost his life, so Zhao Rin recuperated in the hospital for a long time. During this period in addition to Lu Ruyan and Mu Qingqing, the two girls who had already had sex, Huo Qingxian also came several times, and every time he sat down, he was just full of heartache, looking at Zhao Rin with embarrassment, because every time he came, Mu Qingqing and Lu Ruyan looked as if they had an appointment, sitting on both sides of the hospital bed, one on the left and one on the right, looking at her as if they were enemies, time passed day by day, Zhao Rin began to slowly find that Lu Ruyan began to appear wrong, from the beginning of the smile full of face, to the later forced smile, to the back will be from time to time days out of focus, even in the end Zhao Rin called her, she may not be able to come back in time to God, at first, Zhao Rin didn't think so, he guessed that the probability is because the company's things became more, it's normal for people to be tired, after all, is it close to the end of the year, but then, he suddenly thought, as if Lu father said he still has more than three months of life, the whole person all of a sudden bad, damn, how did he forget about this, recalling Lu's father's condition in his head, Zhao Rin planned to go out and find the doctor in the relevant department to inquire about it, so he simply put a layer of outerwear on his body and planned to go out, unexpectedly, the front foot opened the door, the back foot saw Lu Ruyan standing in the doorway, both of them were stunned, the atmosphere was instantly subtle, taking advantage of the fact that neither side was talking, Zhao Rin took a closer look at the other side, although it wasn't quite an oily face, her eyes had a ring of hidden dark circles, the original pair of big watery eyes, at the moment has lost its luster, become dull, face also did not wipe the traces of cosmetics, the whole of the main a plain face, where's Uncle Willow, in which ward, the two of them looked at each other, you looked at me, I looked at you, and finally it was Zhao Rin who took the lead, my dad, ward, upon hearing this, Lu Ruyan first froze, her eyes flashed with a hint of surprise and surprise, but it was immediately covered up by her, and then she began to play dumb, trying to act like what are you talking about, why can't I hear you, after all, Zhao Lin is still in the recovery period, and she doesn't want anything else to interfere with his recovery, it's that time of the day and you're still trying to hide it from me? Do I think I'm blind? Seeing that Lu Ruyan denied it on her lips, but that panic look made Zhao Rin even more firm in his inner conjecture and said in a jarring voice, Old, husband, don't think too much, my dad, he's fine. Lu Ruyan pushed down her inner emotions and said stiffly, Take me to see him, it's okay for me to have this superficial injury, okay? Looking at the other party's dead duck's mouth, Master Zhao Rin slowed down his tone and softly said, Hubby, my dad, he, the doctor said, it's just a matter of time. Listening to Zhao Rin's gentle tone in her ears, Lu Ruyan could no longer suppress her inner sadness, and reached out her hand to embrace Zhao Rin's waist, and put her small head into Zhao Rin's embrace, and the whole person, as if she was like a small bird relying on others, pressed her pretty face against Zhao Rin's fine and strong chest, although inner resistance, but look at the other pearly appearance. Ears and constantly ringing Lu Ruyan crying choking voice, Zhao Rin also really cannot bear to push her away. Left hand in midair after about a minute, finally fell on Lu Ruyan's back. Fortunately, this is the VIP ward area. Basically nothing comes during the day. Otherwise, easy to directly social death. Okay, okay, don't cry anymore, don't cry anymore. Because he didn't look at the time. Zhao Rin didn't know how long Lu Ruyan had been crying by leaning into his arms, only knowing that the clothes on his chest had been tear dampened and stuck to his chest, which was a little bit uncomfortable. But he didn't know how to comfort it. And in the end, he could only say a million words, maybe it's because there's a man now, the mindset has changed, or maybe it's because she cried a lot and let her emotions out, hearing Zhao Rin open her mouth, Lu Ruyan also slowly calmed down, then loosened her hands around Zhao Rin's bare waist, withdrew from Zhao Rin's embrace, and wiped the tears from the corners of her eyes, alright, take me to see Uncle Lu, Zhao Rin smiled and said, it wasn't appropriate to count other things at this time, good, Ruyan Lu nodded, about 10 minutes later, Lu Ruyan brought Zhao Rin, who was moving relatively slowly due to her injuries, to another hospitalization building. Unlike the building where Zhao Rin lives, this side seems to be more quiet, and even the air monkler not because it is a hospital, and filled with if not the smell of base disinfectant water. Standing at the door of the hospital room, Zhao Rin pulled on his clothes before opening the door. When he opened the door, 
An easy smile had spread across Zhao Rin's face, and just as he was about to speak and greet Lu's father, the scene inside the house came into his eyes, and the smile on Zhao Rin's face then froze. He didn't expect that during the time he was in a coma recuperating from his injuries, Father Lu's condition would actually deteriorate so quickly. Hanging a bottle, face thin, eyes protruding, originally already appeared middle-aged fat Lu father, at this moment but thin almost better than skin and bones so a little bit, if not Lu Ruyan personally brought over. I believe that if Zhao Rin himself touched here, nine times out of ten will feel that he recognized the wrong person. Ah Rin ah, you're still here. Seeing the door of the room open, Lu father slightly inclined his head, looking at Zhao Rin who stood in the doorway with an incredulous face, and took the initiative to open his mouth. Only that tone of voice no longer sounded like the previous feeling of being in the company pointing the way and being confident, but instead appeared to be so weak. Zhao Rin smiled and didn't say anything, moving his feet to walk over to Father Ryu. I knew I couldn't hide it from you for long. Ruyan and Yurand even said they wanted to hide it from you, not wanting to affect your recovery. Still, I had the foresight to know that I definitely couldn't hide it from you for long. It looked like Father Lu was really open-minded, and at this point in time, he actually still had the mood to joke. Uncle Ryu. At those words, Zhao Rin still tried to sidetrack the topic, but he was stopped by Father Lu with a look. Ruyan, your mom went downstairs to buy fruit. Go help her with it. She might not be able to hold it very well. Father Lu looked at Lu Ruyan who was standing to the side and opened his mouth. Good. Ruyan Lu sniffed and didn't think too much about it, nodded and left. Uncle Lu, what are you doing? Seeing that the other party had branched out from Lu Ruyan, Zhao Rin felt something in his heart and said in confusion, Rin, I know that it's my Lu family that has wronged you, but can you help me take care of Ruyan's mother and child for old time's sake? Lu father looked at Zhao Rin and said, Ah Rin, let's pretend that Uncle Lu is begging you. Your aunt doesn't know how to do business. Ruyan doesn't have enough experience. I'm afraid that when I'm gone, they'll be eaten by their peers and not even fried. Father Lu's trembling hand tugged on Zhao Rin's arm and said with a hint of a pleading tone, Uncle Lu, I... Looking at the hospital bed describing the withered Lu father, Zhao Rin felt some annoyance in his heart, riding a tiger, even inexplicably some regret. Why do you have enough to come over to see the father of Lu? This is not to move a stone to stone their own feet? Rin, I know you have a knot in your heart that hasn't melted yet. If it weren't for my current condition, I really wouldn't have the face to say these words to you, but Uncle Lu really doesn't have many days left, so please do me a favor and help Uncle Lu with this last wish, okay? For the sake of his own family, Lu father, who had been hardened for a lifetime, lowered his head and begged. Not knowing where the strength came from, Father Lu actually managed to support his body with his arms that were so thin that they were almost only bones. His body trembled and he still wanted to continue to say a few words. Uncle Lu, quickly lie down. Seeing this, even if Zhao Rin's outsider's mentality was faced with this situation, he couldn't help but be a little moved inwardly. And while saying so, he wanted to help the other party lie down. Rin. Father Lu grabbed Zhao Rin's wrist with a death grip. His eyes fell on Zhao Rin, tensed his breath and waited for her answer. The whole scene was instantly subtle. Okay, Uncle Lu, I promise you. Zhao Rin sighed and nodded. What should come, came after all. This was the original body's shackles. Even though he was reluctant and wanted to avoid it, this still could not be avoided. Good, then your aunt and Ruyan, I'm counting on you. Finally hearing a satisfactory reply. Father Lu revealed a satisfied smile before allowing Zhao Rin to help him lie back down. After surviving for three days, in the VIP ward, Lu's father, on his deathbed, held on to his last breath and looked toward Zhao Rin, who had been standing at the head of the bed. Zhao Rin naturally understood and nodded very solemnly. After receiving confirmation once again, Father Lu trembled his hands, one in each hand, and took the hands of Mother Lu and Ruyan Lu, looked deeply at his mother and son, and closed his eyes with a smile. Even after countless times of mental preparation, when Zhao Rin saw Lu's father close his eyes, his heart was still quite shocked, and tears couldn't help but flow down from the corners of his eyes, even he is still so, not to mention Lu Ruyan mother and daughter. The two daughters flung themselves on the bed, crying their hearts out, completely unable to accept the news that Lu's father had passed away. As for the several doctors responsible for the resuscitation, I think they have seen more than enough of similar situations, and they looked at each other before slowly exiting the ward leaving time and space for Zhao Rin and the three of them. I do not know how long, Lu Ri and mother and daughters crying slowly stopped. Lu mother is more has cried off, just so sluggishly leaning on the bed. Delayed action. Auntie, Ruyan, I'm sorry for your loss. Zhao Rin wiped the tears from the corners of his eyes and said in a sad tone, Husband. Upon hearing this, Lu Ruyan raised her head and looked at Zhao Rin with red and swollen eyes, 
Her lips moving slightly as if she had a thousand words to say, but in this case, Zhao Rin had no intention of letting her continue. Was it hard for him to put his arm around someone else's daughter and whisper comfort in front of Mother Lu? This is not to find themselves uncomfortable? Auntie, Ruyan, let the doctor come in. Watching Ruyan Lu lower her head resentfully, Zhao Rin adjusted the emotions in her heart and opened her mouth. Listen to you, Rin, I'm a woman who doesn't want to deal with people outside, so I'm asking you to take full responsibility for your uncle's afterlife. At that moment, Mother Ryu spoke up, taking advantage of what she had just done. She had vented a lot of her inner emotions, so she looked a little calmer on the surface now. All right, Ruyan, accompany Auntie to the sofa to rest for a while. Hearing this, Zhao Rin spoke. At the same time, a trace of color flashed in his eyes, and it was clear that Mother Lu's words were also intended to mean something, and the meaning of the words was much the same as Father Lu's wishes during his lifetime, and between the lines, it was the son-in-law of the Lu family. Husband, thank you. Ruyan Lu nodded and opened her mouth. The word she said still sounding a bit silent as she stood up and walked over to where Mother Lu was on the other side of the room and helped her up. Not long after, Zhao Rin pressed the emergency button, and a doctor soon came over. As soon as the head doctor came in, he looked at Zhao Rin and seemed to be waiting for him to speak. Trouble doctor, Zhao Rin said in a calm tone. Don't worry, leave it to me. The doctor nodded. Obviously the hospital's VIP service, not just the ward, certainly included other services. The doctor waved his hand and the people standing behind him immediately moved. Soon, the doctor in the lead handed a paper document to Zhao Rin. This is that certificate for Mr. Rau, and I ask for the family's condolences, the doctor said in a calm tone, but his words sounded slightly shifty. It's true that once people are rich, especially if they have enough money, doctors aren't really emotionally incompetent or incapable of being humane, it's just that poor people don't deserve them to communicate with emotional intelligence. Thank you, doctor. Zhao Rin nodded and took Uncle Lu's death certificate. It should be. There will be a funeral parlor staff coming up later to take care of the follow-up. Please also ask Mrs. Lu, Miss Lu, and Mr. Lu for their condolences. The doctor's tone had a slight heaviness to it. A look of consideration for the patient's family. With pleasure. And I'm not Mr. Lu. Zhao Rin sniffed and politely corrected himself. Uh, sorry. The doctor listened and immediately apologized in embarrassment. It's all right. Thank you. Zhao Rin waved his hand to show that he didn't care, and the doctor left. Auntie, Ruyan, the funeral parlor is coming soon. I'll wait here. Do you guys want to go home and rest first? There are still a lot of troublesome things to do behind you. After watching the doctor leave with the people, Zhao Rin looked at Uncle Lu, who was covered with a white cloth, and then at Ruyan Lu and Mother Lu, and barely pulled out a smile and said, No, I want to stay here with Dad. Before Mother Lu could say anything, Ruyan Lu suddenly straightened up and said firmly, yeah, Rin, it's better if we do it. After all, you are now. Yanagi hadn't even finished his words before Rin Zhao interrupted. I promised Uncle Lu that I would take care of you, Auntie, and Ruyan, so just treat me as your son. At this time, there is a male present in the family, so that no one will bully you orphans and widows, Zhao Rin said. At the same time his heart is also a little helpless. All this time Lu, how still in the condescension. How to say, Lu Ruyan's father is also a billionaire assets with the news of his death spread. In the past with him and the business world have come and gone with the size of the bosses have taken time out. Came to the funeral parlor condolences. There are a lot of people coming. All kinds of people. All kinds of people from all walks of life. In addition to a part of the people are genuinely want to come over to offer condolences. More is to come to see check the situation. The Lu family has no men. They occupy the market share has become a piece of fat meat in the eyes of peers at the moment. What's more? Those seven aunts and aunts of the Lu family were like hungry wolves who saw fat meat. As soon as they saw Lu Ruyan's mother and daughter, they surrounded them, and one by one, in the name of defending their own businesses, they recommended their respective offspring to the two Lu Ruyans, dressed in mourning Lu mother and Lu Ruyan, originally because of the death of a loved one, inner grief, but also by this group of relatives who originally cannot beat, have the heart to attack, but do not want to call outsiders to see the joke, can only force themselves to endure. At this moment, Zhao Rin, who had finished the trivial affairs outside, appeared and saw the scene, and then saw the guests who came over to offer condolences with a good face, and immediately realized that some people are poor, there is really a reason for it, he straightened the hemp cloth on his arm, and then walked straight over under the gaze of a group of guests, hubby, you're here, seeing Zhao Rin appear in front of her eyes at this moment as if she was a godly warrior, Lu Ruyan's eyes instantly erupted with a bright light and said with a sigh of relief, as soon as the word husband came out, the Lu family's group of aunts and uncles all froze, 
Didn't Zhao Rin announce at the engagement banquet that his engagement with Lu Ruyan had been cancelled? How come Lu Ruyan still calls him her husband? It can't be a bluff. At those words, Zhao Rin froze, and for a moment he actually didn't know how to answer. Should he say that the other party was smart? Or should he say that the other party was smart? After just a few seconds of delay, the eyes of these seven aunts and uncles of the Lu family immediately flashed a different color. Sure enough, this little girl is bluffing, not seeing that Zhao Rin didn't even reply. Mom, Ruyin, the people are almost here. The ceremony can begin. Feeling the change in the eyes of these seven aunts and uncles, Zhao Rin knew that he had to finish the play even if the sky was falling. So with a light smile on his face, he looked at Mother Lu and Ruyin Lu and said, who made him promise Father Lu's dying trust. Good, son-in-law you've worked hard. Mother Lu sniffed and nodded, sort of personally realizing Zhao Rin's status as the Lu family's son-in-law. Accompanied by the fall of Mother Lu's words, the light in the eyes of these seven great aunts and eight great aunts of the Lu family began to slowly extinguish. The Lu family has a son-in-law, which is equivalent to having half a son. They have no chance. Ruyin, take these aunts and uncles over first. I still have some things to order in here. Sensing the change in the eyes of these poor relatives, Mother Lu continued. She intended to do something to create an impression to the people outside that she trusted Zhao Rin as her son-in-law very much, so that she could better hold on to the kingdom left behind by her husband. Okay, mom, then we'll go over first. Upon hearing this, Ruyin Lu also responded very cooperatively, then walked through the circle of the seven aunts and uncles and led the way out. Seeing that this family member had said so, these seven great aunts naturally couldn't be bothered to surround them anymore, and one by one they also grayed out and followed behind Lu Ruyin and walked out. Rin. It's been hard on you. When things are done here, you take a good rest and rest at home. Seeing that everyone had gone out, Mother Lu suddenly stepped forward, helped Zhao Rin straighten the collar of his clothes, and said gently, Auntie, I'm okay. Your condolences are in order. Although Zhao Rin was clear in his heart, Mother Lu was intentionally doing this to the people outside. He didn't even need to look back. He knew that a pair of eyes not far away were looking this way from time to time. But Zhao Rin's heart still feel a little strange. Even the expression on his face also began to become unnatural, so he could not help but say, Don't worry, with your Uncle Lu gone, Ruyin and I still have to live a good life, we won't cause you any trouble. Mother Lu's mood had recovered a lot now, which made Zhao Rin feel relieved, and at the same time meaning to say, Auntie, I, at those words, Zhao Rin wanted to explain something more, but was interrupted by Mother Lu's words, In the future, call me mom. After saying these words, Mother Lu crossed over to Zhao Rin and arrived at the center of the spiritual hall, where the ceremony officially began. As the crowd saw clearly the scene of Lu mother helping Zhao Rin to straighten his collar, whether they believed it or not, the matter of one son-in-law and half a son in the Lu family was already a nail in the coffin, coupled with the fact that the people who traveled with him knew Zhao Rin's status in the Lu family home. All those who coveted the Lu family's property could only temporarily hold down their inner thoughts and honestly participated in the morning ceremony. Zhao Rin who had been standing behind the duo of Mother Lu and Lu Ruyin, was expressionless and didn't say a word, as if he was a door god, and was considered to have successfully calmed the scene. After the ceremony, the crowd slowly dispersed after making some polite remarks. Soon, in addition to the staff of the funeral parlor, there was only Mother Lu, Ruyin Lu, and Zhao Rin left in the entire funeral hall. Watching the staff of the funeral parlor to remove all kinds of white decoration, finally came to the last moment. Even if they looked more open and thought thoroughly in their hearts, Mother Lu and Lu Ruyin were still in tears, looking at Father Lu's remains in a state of infatuation. Unable to speak, the staff could only look towards Zhao Rin, because they knew that the only person present who could make a decision was him. Auntie Ruyin, you guys rest in the restroom for a while, I'll go take out Uncle Lu's ashes. Feeling the gazes of the crowd, Zhao Rin opened his mouth. Things had come to this point, he didn't want to make things difficult for others. After all, the undertaker was only there for this job. No, let's go together. Lu Ruyin wiped a handful of tears and walked to Zhao Rin's side, then grabbed Zhao Rin's hand, because just now Zhao Rin's name changed. She had to seize the moment and win back the other person's heart. Yeah, let's go together. Mother Lu sniffed and also took the initiative to stand up. No matter what, she will accompany her husband on his last journey. After the funeral parlor was finished, Zhao Rin accompanied Mother Lu and Mother and Daughter Lu Ruyin and placed Father Lu's ashes in a cemetery on the outskirts of the city, and the three of them stayed in front of the grave for a long time before finally leaving reluctantly, driving back to the villa, looking at the expressionless mother and daughter. Zhao Rin didn't say much, but silently went back to the kitchen, intending to simply cook a meal and fill his stomach first. At the table, looking at the two who had no appetite, a sense of powerlessness rose within Zhao Rin as well. Ruyin, 
After dinner, why don't you and Rin go out later for a walk? I want to sleep for a while. After simply picking up a few mouthfuls of rice, Mother Lu spoke. When Zhao Rin heard this, he somewhat refused but was unable to open his mouth. So, in the end, he could only acquiesce. Half an hour later, the white Pramara drove out from the entrance of the villa and quickly disappeared in front of Mother Lu's eyes. In the carriage, Zhao Rin drove while using his afterglow to look at Lu Ruyan in the co-pilot from time to time. Eyes dull and silent, Zhao Rin silently shook his head. This kind of hurt could only rely on time to smooth it out. Let's go shopping at the mall. I just happened to be planning to buy something. Zhao Rin's words just fell, and did not wait for Lu Ruyan to answer. The steering wheel in his hand hit, and drove towards the nearest mall. Hubby, what are we going to do? In the parking lot elevator, Ruyan Lu said as she looked at Zhao Rin's back, I brought you out to play. During this period of time, busy before and after, exhausted, right? Zhao Rin sniffed, turned around and said with a smile, as for the title of husband, whatever, it was good that she could feel happy. As the saying goes, people can't come back from the dead. Since he promised Father Lu to take care of them, he naturally had to do what he said. Seeing that Zhao Rin didn't oppose herself, Lu Ruyan felt a surge of joy within her heart, washing away a lot of the sadness in her heart. She had finally gained Zhao Rin's initial approval, and this small step she had taken represented a big step in their relationship. I'm not in the mood to play right now. After hearing this, Ruyan Lu shook her head despondently. It was obvious that her father's death had hit her hard. How about you keep me company? Then, Zhao Rin thought about it and said in a different way. That's fine. Ruyan Lu nodded in agreement. Soon, the elevator went directly up to the fifth floor of the mall. Hubby, what are you doing in the arcade? Looking at the wide array of arcade machines in front of her, Ruyan Lu was a bit puzzled. Playing video games of course. Come with me. Zhao Rin smiled mysteriously. How can you get in a good mood? That would naturally be to vent out the bad mood in some way. So he brought Ruyan Lu to the arcade on the fifth floor of the mall. Very skillfully paying a hundred dollars from the self-service coin machine, Zhao Rin walked over with a box full of game coins. Video games? Are they fun? Looking at Zhao Rin's box full of game coins, coupled with the fact that the arcade was a hot mess, Ruyan Lu temporarily forgot her sadness and wondered. Come on, play and you'll see. Saying that, Zhao Rin pulled Lu Ruyan to the shooting machine. Is this playing basketball? Ruyan Lu looked at the shooting machine in front of her, and there was some hidden anticipation in her tone. Ding 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 ding. Zhao Rin dropped four game coins in one gulp, and then the shooting machine began to function, and as the dang board flipped back, seven or eight basketballs began to roll down the incline, rolling in front of the duo's eyes. Ready or not? Ready to start. Zhao Rin looked at Ruyan Lu and pressed his finger on the console. And the huge 30 second countdown began. Bang bang bang. Perhaps Lu Ruyan did not play much basketball. Three balls in a row have hit the iron. Zhao Rin saw the situation. Immediately picked up the basketball rolled down. Began to one ball after another to the basket inside the smash. And Lu Ruyan see Zhao Rin up to help. Also busy pick up the basketball. UAI a throw to the basket. But unfortunately, the duo did not cooperate with each other. Not to mention the rhythm and many times the basketballs thrown out by the duo touched each other in midair, and then smashed on top of the guards on both sides, and eventually, the time for the first level was up. Ugh, what a shame. Looking at the end of time, Ruyan Lu said as she felt some regret. What's wrong with that? Let's do it again. What Zhao Rin wanted was the other party's current attitude, so he decisively threw in another four game coins. After grinding once, the interplay between the duo appeared to be much more pure, and in one breath, they passed to the last level and then directly broke the record. Phew, it can be considered a win. Looking at the three numbers on the counter 405, Ruyan Lu wiped the beads of sweat on her forehead and let out a sigh of relief. Well, exercise feels good, right? Looking at Lu Ruyan's two red clouds that surfaced on her pretty face due to the accelerated blood circulation caused by the exercise, Zhao Rin smiled and said, Do you want to play another game? Yeah. The upper Lu Ruyan nodded excitedly. Then Zhao Rin put in another four game coins. Ten minutes later, the round ended with another successful explosion, and Ruyan Lu laughed out happily. Zhao Rin, who was on the side, naturally wouldn't bother at this time, and waited until Ruyan Lu had almost laughed before he picked up the box with the game coins. Hubby, where are we going? Seeing Zhao Rin in this leaving stance, Lu Ruyan gasped slightly. Change the program ah, this one is just for you to warm up. The next one, is the big one. Zhao Rin pointed in a direction and said, big project. Ruyan Lu froze then looked in the direction of Zhao Rin's finger, and then the whole person subsided and froze. Hmm, what's wrong with you? Seeing Lu Ruyan's micro-expression, Zhao Rin asked with some confusion. Look there, 
Only when she heard Zhao Rin's voice did Lu Ruyan sort of come back to her senses and turned her head to look at Zhao Rin with a displeased face and said, What's wrong there? Isn't it just simulated CS? Zhao Rin felt a bit puzzled, then glanced over his head. Crap. Mu Qingqing, Huo Qingxian and Li Changle, why are they all there? With these small odds, is this luck enough to go buy a lottery ticket? Honey, is it a coincidence? Or is it a coincidence? Lu Ruyan collected her expression and looked at Zhao Rin, saying with a depressed face, her newly recovered mood somewhat upset again. Hey, Rin, why are you staying with your ex-wife's sister? Among the three girls, it was Li Changle who was the most daring, walking directly towards Zhao Rin and saying with a derisive face, What ex-wife's sister? He is now my husband. As soon as she heard this, Lu Ruyan was immediately unhappy and took the initiative to stand out, blocking in front of Zhao Rin with a displeased face. Husband, do you think Xiao Rin agrees? If he can even endure such a great humiliation as repentance, I won't even hold up the wall. I'll obey him. Li Changle slightly inclined his head, and his eyes fell on Zhao Rin behind Lu Ruyan with a disdainful expression. What did you say? Being poked to the sore spot at once, Lu Ruyan was not happy about it. Changle Changle. Seeing that the scene froze for a while, Mu Qingqing, who knew what was going on, rushed forward and rounded up the scene, muttering a few words in Li Changle's ear in a low voice. Ha! Huh? After hearing that, Li Changle froze, glad that he was lucky he didn't talk more. Hubby, come talk to them, did you promise my dad that you would take care of me and my mom? On the other end, Zhao Rin saw that Mu Qingqing took the initiative to go up and relieve herself, and was relieved in her heart. But she didn't expect Lu Ruyan to suddenly commit a crime and directly push him to the front of the stage, and then reached out to take his arm and said with a confident face, Good guy, that formation looks as if it's the rightful queen who declares her sovereignty, which makes Zhao Rin embarrassed, especially at this time when Mu Qingqing is still present. If he says the wrong thing, and the one who says it doesn't mean it, won't it make Mu Qingqing sad? What to do? What to do? Needles didn't have two sharp ends, and today's bowl of water looked like it would be hard to even out. Just then, Zhao Rin raised his head and felt Mu Qingqing's fiery gaze, and he knew that the other party was also waiting for his answer. However, even if Zhao Rin thought about it, he could not imagine that, in a way, not only the two girls, Lu Ruyan and Mu Qingqing, but also the two girls, Huo Qingxian and Li Changle, were also waiting for his answer. As time passed by minute by minute, Zhao Rin, who was caught in a dilemma, finally made a decision after hesitating for a long time. Just as he was about to open his mouth, a current murmur suddenly rang in his ears. It didn't take more than a few seconds before it changed to music. And at that moment, Li Changle, who heard the music clearly, changed his face, and his entire body instantly tensed up. What's wrong with you? Seeing that the other party looked like an enemy, Zhao Rin was also alerted and couldn't help but ask. There might be a suspected wanted criminal coming in. Hearing Zhao Rin's voice, Li Changle looked around to ensure that there were no outsiders in the vicinity before opening his mouth to explain. Ha! Huh? That's okay? Zhao Rin was a bit surprised. He had always thought that these so-called musical code words were a stunt, but he didn't realize that this was actually true ah. As for Li Changle at this time, he couldn't care about saying too much, and took out his cell phone to make a call. And after briefly saying a few words, then his face looked even more gloomy. I called the answering desk and asked, The security department of this mall has called the police. There is a wanted man here. Li Changle's eyelids jumped and said with a nervous face, What then? Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin's heart suddenly thumped, inexplicably generating a sense of foreboding. Hubby, why don't we leave now? Seeing that Li Changle looked as if he was on the verge of an attack, a woman's sixth sense told Lu Ruyan that it was highly likely that something of great importance would happen today. So she came over to Zhao Rinji's ear and muttered in a low voice. Good. Zhao Rin nodded dryly. After all, with so many women around him, he couldn't let them fall deeper into danger. Upon hearing this, Li Changle glanced at Zhao Rin. There was something strange in her eyes but she didn't say much, first informing the bureau of her current location in her cell phone, and then letting Zhao Rin hurriedly leave with a few girls. Soldiers are precious. Zhao Rin cannot care about other things. Si Li Changolo looked like a big enemy. He knew that this matter could not be small. If it was only to arrest a few small carrot heads, Li Changol did not need to look like this. Soon, Zhao Rin took the three girls in the elevator straight to the parking lot on the negative two floors, and he had to hurry up and leave with the people. But it seemed like, Everyone had forgotten one thing, and that was forgetting to ask the mall security staff on which floor they found that person. You guys stay out. I'm going to go out and check it out. If there's something wrong, immediately press the elevator to go up. Accompanied by the ding sound of the elevator door opening, Zhao Rin suddenly thought of this problem, so his vigilance increased greatly, and after a simple command, he took the lead and walked out. 
also taking a fire extinguisher from the wall and putting it in his hand. After looking around the elevator entrance and no one was around, Zhao Rin whirled around and waved his hand, letting the three girls come out. And this nervous look of his, is to make the three women cannot help but feel very funny. The mall is so big, how could it be for them to meet? This as far as? Meanwhile, Li Changdel had already appeared in the surveillance room of the mall, holding a police officer's card and confirming her identity with the mall security department. She had to lock the exact location of the target as soon as possible. The large center screen, looking at the inside of a bald man behind the back of a similar cello box, not far away there are two people followed. Li Changdel instantly this frown, because this bald head she knows, the road has a nickname, Scorpion, specialized in helping people to do some unseemly things, which led to his becoming a wanted criminal. Ring ring ring, just then, Li Changdel's cell phone rang. Hello, chief, Li Changdel picked up the phone and spoke. Bureau what? I'm your father. I've already arranged for two groups of plainclothes to go over for backup, and there's also a SWAT team arriving soon. You must not act rashly. On the other end of the phone, a grumpy middle-aged male voice rang out. So it turned out that Li Changdel was actually the daughter of an official and powerful bigwig in Hangzhou City. I know. You tell them to hurry up. After arriving, immediately evacuate the surrounding people. I'll keep an eye here and report the scorpion's movements in real time. Listening to the earpiece, his own old man's grumpy voice, Li Changdel appeared unimpressed, still saying in a flat tone, Li Changdel, who are you talking to? I'm your old man and your superior. That cello box that scorpion's carrying behind his back must have AK heavy firepower inside. Just that gun on your waist is enough to look at? Li Changdel's own father, Li Bureau, was half dead with anger at his own daughter's attitude and said, I know, now Scorpion and his two followers have entered the gym on the fourth floor. Come over quickly. Li Changdel didn't care about his own father's angry dragon roar. And after briefly explaining Scorpion's movements, he immediately hung up the phone. This dead girl, in the command hall of Hangzhou Public Security Bureau, sitting in the main seat, Director Li Weigua Li put away his cell phone with a speechless face and cursed under his breath. Soon, with the personnel sent one by one in place, the various screens inside the command hall soon jumped out of the picture. It turned out to be the technicians will monitor the screen directly connected to the command hall. And even in addition to the internal view, there is also a full range of external views, almost the entire mall 360 degrees without dead ends to the monitoring up. On the other end, inside the gym, Scorpion brought his two minions and strutted in during which he surprisingly never saw anyone else outside of the receptionist in charge of reception at the entrance. Brother Scorpion, truly a true man, outside the gym lounge, before Scorpion's people even arrived, the people inside took the initiative to welcome him out, giving him a thumbs up and saying with a smile on their faces, Boss Wong, take someone's money, and take away someone's disaster. I've come to get the money. Seeing the visitor, Scorpion still responded with a face of indifference, not responding to the other party's initiative and enthusiasm directly giving it a miss. The money is ready. The $1 million deposit has already been given to you, and the $3 million final payment is in the lounge. Boss Wang's eyes flashed with a trace of displeasure, but thinking that the other party was a gang of outlaws, there was no need to be concerned about this, so he immediately revealed a smile and pretended to be unconcerned, saying, then thank you, Boss Wang. Hearing that the money was in the room, Scorpion's face couldn't help but spread a slight smile as he answered. Then followed Boss Wang into the lounge impatiently. Scorpion Brothers, two 24-inch suitcases. A million and a half dollars was placed inside each suitcase. You inspect it. Boss Wang said with a smile on his face as he watched the three outlaws inside the lounge with blood on their hands come in. You two take point. After hearing this, Scorpion nodded indifferently and ordered towards the two minions he brought with him. Boss, that's right. The two minions unzipped the trolley cases one by one to check them out. And then replied. Thanks a lot, Boss Wang. If there's anything similar, just look for brother me. Brother I guarantee to be at your beck and call. It was only then that Scorpion fully revealed his smile and thanked towards Boss Wang, only that his face was full of horizontal meat. Looking at it, one only wanted to retch. With a wave of his hand, Scorpion's two minions each grabbed a suitcase and headed outside. Before he could even step outside the gym area, Scorpion stopped dead in his tracks. Boss, what's wrong? Seeing this, the little brother following him also stopped in his tracks and was puzzled. Oh. It's fine. You guys go down first, Boss Wang and I still have a few more words to talk, Scorpion said with a bland face. Okay, boss. The two minions nodded, not doubting, and went straight to the elevator and down the stairs. In the monitoring room, Li Changdel frowned as he looked at the figures of the Scorpion's two minions on the big screen. He couldn't have realized that something was wrong, right? Li Changdel looked at the two 24-inch trolley boxes on the big screen, 
and then looked at the scorpion who was slow to come out, and this feel tricky thought floated in his head, because she could see at a glance that inside these two trolley cases, what they contained was definitely money, the reason why outlaws were outlaws was money, and the fact that he could let his little brother take all the money away spoke volumes, it didn't make sense, how could he sense that something was wrong, Li Changdel looked at the various screens in the mall, including those around the gym, and was puzzled, suddenly, she snapped out of it, so that was the crux of the problem, she found the problem, the noisy shopping mall was quiet all of a sudden, and for an outlaw like Scorpion who traveled between life and death, it would be perverse to go too far in the unusual, thinking of this, Li Changdel was a little panicked in her heart, and right at this moment, her cell phone received a message, and when she looked at the content on it, Li Changdel's pupils instantly shrunk, and then her right hand reached back, and then she rushed out with her gun, it turned out that from the sheriff's department from the mall property to provide architectural drawings found that this gym inside, installed a separate elevator, the scorpion is very likely to his two minions and the two trolley bags as bait, but they secretly sneak away in this independent elevator, also fortunately, the surveillance room was arranged in the corner of the second floor, not far from the gym, Li Changdel quickly rushed to the gym with his gun, a search was made, only to find that it was empty except for the receptionist in charge, where is the person inside just now? Glancing at the receptionist, Li Changdel said with gloomy eyes, the standardized matching gun in his hand exuded a deep metallic luster under the irradiation of the downlight, and the blackened muzzle scared the receptionist to death, in the changing area, then Mr. Wang and the others just went down, the receptionist said with shivering legs, after hearing this, Li Changdel didn't stay much longer and hurriedly followed the signs and ran to the changing area, attention everyone, attention everyone, the elevator is stuck on the first floor, the elevator is stuck on the first floor, immediately approach the entrance and exit of the first floor pedestrian street, looking at the reddish number 1 on the display screen at the top of the elevator, Li Changdel immediately took out his cell phone and spread the message, because the external exit of this elevator was on the pedestrian street outside the shopping mall, so he had to immediately call for people to seal the entrances and exits on both sides of the pedestrian street, immediately after that, she tapped the elevator and followed it to the first floor as well, unexpectedly, the first floor walkway that had been completely blocked off was empty, and the staff of those various stores had all been evacuated, at this time, Li Changdel's cell phone shocked, followed by Li Changdel took out his cell phone to see, instantly changed face, good a scorpion ah, play a good hand of strategy ah, actually came out of a open repair in road secretly Chinsung, and at this time, in the underground parking lot of the mall, Zhao Rin hid behind the thick load-bearing pillars, and with the help of the cold, Kiaraskuro white light from the top, he secretly took his cell phone and sent a text message to Li Changdel, informing him of all that he had seen, as for why it was chosen so accurately, don't ask, ask is to have the protagonist Sora, once you find one, our people have already gone down, you quickly find a place to hide, it's very dangerous there right now, soon after, Li Changdel sent a message, she was also speechless now, although Zhao Rin's message was sent in time, but shouldn't he have already left with the others, why was he still staying in the underground parking lot after so much time had passed, Roger, Zhao Rin smiled, replied, but in his heart there is some chagrin the three girls have already driven the car safely away, why do you still want to come back to see the fun, this is good, play hide and seek it, really in o do and o die, why you try, just as Zhao Rin froze, suddenly rang a burst of rapid footsteps, in the quiet and closed underground parking lot seems particularly ear piercing, really is not noticeable cannot, Zhao Rin saw the situation, rushed to shrink in the corner, this very fight, don't involve him in this mortal, there's a cop, hurry up, hearing the sound of footsteps, before even taking a picture, Scorpion, who had just been indifferent, suddenly let out a furious cry, then urged, freeze, just then, a warning sounded, and it was clear that Li Changdel and her colleagues had arrived, this side of the echo has not yet dissipated it, that side followed by bang a gunshot, Zhao Rin too lives together, see the number of times the gun although more than cannot, but that is limited to the movies and TV series above ah, he has not even played a real CS, which has experienced this battle, immediately gave a shock, he really felt regret, there were many people on one side, but because of the time constraints, the firepower was not sustained enough as it was clear of handguns except for a few automatic weapons, on the other hand, Scorpion's side is a bit different, although there were only three of them, they couldn't withstand the fact that they had AKs, a visualization of the old Moist's violent aesthetics, ferocious firepower began to output against the black pressurized piece of people, da did day 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 day, the bullets instantly formed a rain of bullets, for a moment Li Changdel and his party couldn't lift their heads up, 
One by one they could only spread out and hide behind the pillars to avoid the ferocious bullets. Li Changle, who was running at the front, hid behind the pillar closest to the scorpion trio, and every now and then a few bullets hit the pillar, splashing white putty that made her feel that death was so close. After about a minute of like, the gunfire stopped, followed by a crisp metallic clang, and it was clear that Scorpion had emptied all the bullets in his magazine in a straight shot. This is the time. Li Changle sees this fleeting moment. The whole person violently lunged outside, with the help of inertia, in the direction of the Scorpion. Bang 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 is three shots, using the opportunity to disrupt the Scorpion's rhythm of the three. Just as soon as he landed on the ground, Li Changle fired a fourth shot, a shot to hit the Scorpion's a little brother. Just wanted to fire another shot. Click sound. The gunshot impact sound. Li Changle's face instantly white. Finished. When it was too late. Just as Scorpion pulled out his pistol. Intending to shoot. There was suddenly a muffled swish sound. Followed by a burst of grayish white smoke appeared. Instantly confusing the vision of the two. It turned out that Zhao Rin. Who had summoned up enough courage. Had touched the Scorpion duo's side at some point and spread a wave of smoke with a fire extinguisher. Then. With a forceful throw. Zhao Rin directly smashed the fire extinguisher in the direction of the impressionable duo. Thunk, as if knocked into something, but Zhao Rin cannot care to check. Hurriedly hide behind the pillar. This if they are scared to shoot indiscriminately, it will be bad luck. And after seizing the opportunity, Li Changle also hurriedly hid behind the pillar. Fortunately this is an underground parking lot. There are many pillars, or else they don't know where to hide. After such a short delay, the belatedly arriving hordes immediately pushed forward with blast shields. Rin, thanks a lot, watching Scorpion and one of his men being handcuffed and taken away in a police car, with Scorpion's head still wrapped in gauze, Li Changle wiped the beads of sweat from his face and thanked Zhao Rin, but don't say it, Nagar, I still shiver when I think back on it, that was an AK, looking at the people from the security bureau who were holding a large plastic bag and putting the AK inside, Zhao Rin said with some trepidation, after all, looking at an AK through the internet and seeing one in reality were two different things, Changle, who is this? Just as the two of them were talking, a person who looked like a leader suddenly came over and said with a curious face, almost putting gossip on his face, Big Captain, this is my friend, thanks to him just now. Seeing her immediate superior appear, Li Changle's pretty face flushed, barely maintaining her composure as she introduced herself. I saw it just now. This friend of yours is extraordinary. If it wasn't for him suddenly using the fire extinguisher to do so, muddying the scorpion's eyes. I'm afraid you would have been in big trouble just now, the captain said with a smile on his face, remembering this matter, he was afraid, this is the jewel in the palm of director Lee's hand, if there is any loss, he will have to fall into blood bad luck, no, no, the first captain is polite, I'm just taking a gamble, seeing a solid leader appear in front of him, Zhao Rin was a bit surprised, but still maintained his politeness and said, ha ha, young man, do you know Changle's nickname inside our bureau, as they chatted, the first captain's words changed and he spoke. A nickname? You mean her? As soon as he heard this, Zhao Rin instantly looked at it suspiciously. What nickname could a valiant policewoman have? Zhao Rin, what kind of eyes are you looking at? This girl is also a hot-handed policewoman all right. Seeing this, Li Changdel immediately rolled her eyes and said indignantly, Spicy coppers? I think it's hot tongue cauliflower. Zhao Rin said half-jokingly. Zhao Rin, you, you've gone too far. Upon hearing this, Li Changdel's violent temper immediately came up, and with an arrow stepped forward, he grabbed Zhao Rin's collar and said through gritted teeth, I I I I, I was wrong. Seeing that the other party seems to be really angry, Zhao Rin hastily conceded, as the saying goes, a good man doesn't fight with a woman, a fight won or lost is a loss, not to mention the fact that people now have a bunch of co-workers around, he's going to get beat up if he wins, and he's still going to get beat up if he loses, that's more like it. Li Changle said with a smug smile after hearing this, Okay, okay, I say Changle ah, you spread dog food but pay attention to ah, anytime, anywhere, look at their eyes, I feel that one by one their hearts are broken ah, the eldest captain was older and had already started a family, looking at Li Changle on the side with another man spreading dog food to show love, kindly reminded, geez, captain, you you've got it all wrong, he is not my boyfriend, upon hearing this, Li Changle, who was always used to being valiant and spirited, froze, and in the next second, a pretty face instantly turned red, and her eyes somewhat averted as she explained, not your boyfriend? That is also a quasi-boyfriend. After all, Yuli Changle is the face value bearer in my door bureau, but whoever is a single man, who would not be moved by the sight of you? What's more, if he wasn't after you, who would be so full of himself that he would risk his life to save you? 
You know, that's A.K.A. The first captain said with a look of I understand. At first glance, it seems like a good quite reasonable. Oops, I I'll leave first. Feeling the eyes of his neighboring colleagues, Li Changdo lowered his head and muttered a few words before pulling Zhao Rin and leaving in a huff. Only after walking all the way to the corner of the parking lot did Li Changdo let go of Zhao Rin's hand. Looking at Zhao Rin's handsome features and blushing a little. After a long time, just as Zhao Rin was feeling awkward, Li Changdo opened her mouth. For what happened just now? Thank you. While speaking, her large, watery eyes were still staring straight at Zhao Rin, with a little bit of bright light shining in her eyes, as if she was expecting something. But what exactly she was expecting? She herself didn't know. Don't thank me. It's all trivial. Zhao Rin was very unnaturally stared at by the other party's bearing bearing eyes, scratched his head and opened his mouth. Whenever you're free, I'll treat you to dinner. Upon hearing this, Li Changdo's brain pondered and immediately spoke. How meaningless to invite for dinner. I caught the wanted criminal for you. Is there any bonus all whatsoever? Zhao Rin with a half-joking tone, opened his mouth to test the waters. This is in case if there is money. There is. This wanted man seems to have tens of thousands of dollars in prize money. Hearing this, Li Changdo cupped his chin and said in a nice manner. Then hey, 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 Changdo, for the sake of me being your boyfriend, hurry up and give it to me. As soon as he heard the word money, Zhao Rin's eyes immediately lit up and said with a smile on his face, This thing ah, depends on your performance. As the saying goes, a lover's eye reveals a beauty. Although the bridge of the hero rescuing the beauty appeared to be very cliched, but a specific occasion, a specific time, it would have an unexpectedly good effect. In her heart, Li Changle, who already had some favorable feelings towards Zhao Rin, after experiencing this incident, this moment, fell. Performance? How is this performance? Zhao Rin said with some confusion. You go back to the apartment first. When I'm done, I'll talk to you tonight. Li Changle thought about it and opened her mouth. She planned to play a big wave at night. All right then. For the sake of money, Zhao Rin could only obey obediently. After the matter was settled, Zhao Rin refused Li Changle's offer of a ride and insisted on going back on her own. Until he watched Li Changle leave in the car of the security bureau. Only after he reacted violently. As if Lu Ruyan and the girls drove the car away. After the reality that he could only hit the car, his face hung down, and he had to spend money again. Hey, have you arrived home yet? After thinking about it for a while, Zhao Rin decided to call Ruyan Lu. No, I was in the neighborhood. Just now I saw a few police cars driving away. Lu Ruyan's words, listening to Zhao Rin's heart warmed. Unexpectedly, the next, Lu Ruyan's sentence, directly Zhao Rin to the whole speechless. The two of them also did not. We just drove the car to the neighborhood. Okay. Then you let them go back first. You drive to pick me up. Zhao Rin thought about it and said, After all, Lu father's aftermath had just been over. And Lu mother was in a psychologically sensitive period. She still needed someone to accompany her even more. Okay. Hearing that Zhao Rin had said so, Lu Ruyan was inwardly delighted and was instantly happy. And after saying a few words to Mu Qingqing and also Huo Qingxian, she directly excused herself and left. The two looked at each other's departing backs and exchanged a glance. A moment of helplessness. Soon. Ruyan Lu found Zhao Rin and drove back to the Lu family's villa. You guys are back? How was your afternoon's fun? Hearing the commotion, Mother Lu, who had been leaning back in the massage chair in the living room, opened her eyes and looked at her daughter and son-in-law returning. So she opened her mouth and softly said, Mom, why are you lying here? The weather is so cool now. What if you catch a cold? Lu Ruyan saw her mother wearing thin clothes leaning on the massage chair, hurriedly put down the things in her hand and said with a worried face. However, Mother Lu acted as if she didn't hear her own daughter's voice, her eyes staring straight at Zhao Rin. It looked like she was waiting for Zhao Rin's reaction. Ugh. Zhao Rin silently sighed in his heart. He had long predicted this scene. Mother Lu would seize every opportunity to make him take a stand. And as he hesitated so much, the reactive Lu Ruyan also turned her gaze to him, feeling the gaze of the two people. Especially one of them had already had sex with himself. No matter how hard-hearted he was, he couldn't do the hook that lifted up his pants and denied it. Ah. This damned moral abduction. Ruyan, go to the room and add some clothes for mom. Zhao Rin gave Lu Ruyan a wink and said, Oh, uh, okay. Lu Ruyan sniffed and immediately got up and ran towards mother Lu's room. Rin, Ruyan and the company, I'll leave it all to you. Seeing that Zhao Rin took the initiative to open her mouth to sideline Ruyan Lu, mother Lu's face revealed a smile and said with a sigh of relief, Auntie, actually I. Zhao Rin thought about it, but he still mustered up the courage to try to say what was really in his heart. But Mother Lu wasn't going to give him that chance. I know that because of Ruyan's previous actions, I'm not in a good position to ask too much of you. 
I only hope that you can take good care of her and take good care of the industry your uncle left behind. As for the rest, let you young people look after yourselves. Spare Mother Lou again will use the time and place. She is really say once again to get married. Can only snort? Hope on the Tuesday today. After all, day to day this day word can be a noun, meaning time, can also be a verb, meaning that the two to go to Wushan together. That's fine. Zhao Rin said helplessly, this matter can only be said later. Some things are actually separated by a layer of window paper. Since he can't poke through it, he can only live his life underneath it. After dinner in the evening, under the strong request of the mother and daughter duo, Zhao Rin stiffly stayed. Of course, he stayed in the guest room. Ideal is very beautiful. Reality is very bony. Will Ruyin Lu let him do what he wants? Obviously it is impossible. At night, Zhao Rin was lying on his bed, his mind recalling the story that happened between himself and the two women, Lu Ruyin and Mu Qingqing, and the whole person was speechless, originally a heartless, a stump, to Lu Ruyin to a cut off on the good, but did not expect to be brought to such a situation by the Lu family now, promised Lu father must take care of their mother and daughter, this man to take care of the woman how to take care of, it is not that kind of care? Just when Zhao Rin's mind thinking about this matter in a daze, suddenly heard the creak creak sound, followed by the door was seen to be opened to a gap for people to turn around and enter. Soon, a slender silhouette flashed past, even if there is not much light in the night, Zhao Rin also know that this is definitely Lu Ruyin undoubtedly. What are you doing? Taking advantage of the commotion, Zhao Rin sat up with his hands propped on the bed, somewhat speechless. Which one of this Lu Ruyin's tendons is wrong? Hubby, my mom just fell asleep. I came to accompany you. Seeing Zhao Rin sitting up in the darkness, Lu Ruyin froze, she felt as if she had made a mistake in her wishful thinking, so she said with a hard head, thinking that she had made up a relatively reasonable reason, there's no need, Ruyin, it's late, go back to your room and sleep, Zhao Rin sniffed and politely refused without revealing it, I don't, you are my husband, shouldn't the two of us sleep together, upon hearing this, Lu Ruyin was instantly displeased and immediately opened her mouth to retort, with a pop, Zhao Rin pressed the switch at the head of the bed, and in the next second, the entire room lit up. Do you find this interesting? Zhao Rin rubbed his eyes, jumping from darkness to a brightly lit state. The light felt a little harsh to him. Husband, I, Ruyin Lu wanted to speak, wanting to explain but not knowing what to explain. Go back to sleep. Zhao Rin looked at Lu Ruyin indifferently and calmly said, I don't, I'll sleep with you. Lu Ruyin clenched her teeth, and simply unraveled her pajamas, untying the binding pajamas which directly fell to the ground along her silky skin, revealing her snow-white torso. Sleep with me? Are you trying to get me killed? Zhao Ring coldly glanced at the other party's luscious body, turning a blind eye to it, and sneered disdainfully. That, that day was an accident. I didn't know Qingqing Qing would come. Lu Ruyan naturally heard the other party's implication and also explained feebly. All right, you go to bed. Let me think about this matter. Zhao Rin didn't bother to listen to the other party's explanation and waved his hand directly giving an expulsion order. Zhao Rin, how could you? I've been honest in front of you. What else do you want from me? Seeing Zhao Rin's resolute appearance, Lu Ruyin felt very aggrieved, and points of tears began to flash in her watery eyes. Did I ask you to take it off? Zhao Rin mocked. If you were like before, playing high and mighty in front of me, I'd still respect you for having a three-point backbone. What are you now? You still need money for takeout? What about you? Giving me sex for free? Zhao Ren's words were as cold as the thousand-year-old basalt ice beneath ten thousand feet of cold ice, hurting Lu Ruyin with a thousand holes. Zhao Rin, I admit that I was in the wrong first, but you shouldn't hurt me like this. The tears in Lu Ruyin's eyes had to slowly start overflowing as she choked. Then why did you hurt me like that? I deserve you? Zhao Rin continued, chatting, the two people's contradictions are back to the old days. Okay, we do not talk more than half a sentence. You let me think about it. The three of us have to deal with the relationship how to deal with it. You should not be because of you and I have to do things between you and me. The Qingqing Sun live in. At 2 o'clock in the morning, Zhao Rin came out of the Lu family villa and returned to the apartment, not even turning on the lights yet. Someone turned on the lights one step ahead of him. You will indeed return. A familiar voice rang out, and the tone was filled with complacency. Qingqing, this, it's so late, why aren't you sleeping? Seeing Mu Qingqing on the sofa with a smug look on her face, Zhao Rin was a bit at a loss for words, Lu Ruyin he wasn't afraid of, after all, he was drugged by her, and belonged to the self-inflicted, but Mu Qingqing is different, no matter how to count, she is innocent, she has an irrefutable responsibility for her, do I need to explain the reason? Looking at Zhao Rin's embarrassed appearance, Mu Qingqing's face scraped up a faint smile and said, after giving you so much time, 
How's the consideration going? SH, how's what consideration going? Zhao Rin scratched his head awkwardly and said, feigning confusion because it was a question he used to answer well, but now it was difficult to answer. Zhao Rin, hearing Zhao Rin's answer, which was similar to playing a rogue. Mu Qingqing's willow eyebrows rose and her voice uncontrollably raised a few decibels. Qingqing, I, I'll choose you, somehow, most likely because of the guilt in his heart. As soon as he saw Mu Qingqing's state, Zhao Rin immediately said what was really in his heart. Really? No regrets? Upon hearing this, Mu Qingqing's eyes instantly lit up and she opened her mouth again to confirm. No regrets. With the words out of his mouth, what else did Zhao Rin have to squirm about? And nodded dryly. Then if, I say, we go get a license together. Do you dare? While saying that, Mu Qingqing also took out the account book that had already been prepared. The light in her eyes flickered, vaguely revealing a little sense of anticipation. Good. Zhao Rin sniffed and without bringing the slightest hesitation, he immediately nodded his head. As for taking care of Lu Ruyan's mother and daughter, he just needed to fulfill his promise. Then, Mr. Zhao Rin, congratulations, you from this moment on, let's fall in love. Looking at Zhao Rin's answer without the slightest hesitation, Mu Qingqing's heart looked very satisfied, so she revealed a shy smile and said, Ha, huh? upon hearing this, Zhao Rin was dumbfounded. This peak in turn, what kind of show is this? Ah uh, what ah, uh, I'm not that kind of woman, you took my first time. Are you still planning to deny it? When Mu Qingqing saw this, she immediately raised her willow eyebrows and became a bit unhappy. No no, it's just that when Uncle Lu was leaving, I promised her that I would take care of Lu Rui and her mother and child. Saying that, Zhao Rin's voice also lowered. He thought about it and still chose to confess. Anyway, stretching his head is a knife. Shrinking his head is still a knife. I guessed. Unexpectedly, Mu Qingqing looked very calm and said without even batting an eyelid after hearing Zhao Rin. It's kind of cheap. Seemingly thinking of something, Mu Qingqing suddenly blushed and shyly glanced at Zhao Rin and whispered, Ha, huh? Zhao Rin didn't seem to have understood, and instead hummed suspiciously, Quickly go take a shower, it's time to rest. Seeing that the other party was still in a daze, Mu Qingqing immediately urged. Under half pushing, Zhao Rin went into the bathroom in such a daze. Ten minutes later, Zhao Rin, who had finished washing up, walked out of the bathroom wearing a pair of pajamas, and first looked outside. The entire 201 indoor room, except for the room he was in which still had lights was already pitch black, but it's finally gone. Seeing that Mu Qingqing wasn't outside, Zhao Rin was instantly relieved and said. However, he didn't expect to be startled when, just as he turned around, he saw Mu Qingqing in her pajamas appear behind him. Who did you say left? Mu Qingqing's face showed an expression that looked like a smile, her tone teasing with a little bit of displeasure. That expression, that voice, startled Zhao Rin. No, no. No, I thought you'd gone back to the fifth floor. After all, it's late at night and it's not particularly appropriate for us to be alone. Zhao Rin said awkwardly, scratching the back of his head as he spoke, looking a bit rattled. I'll be living here from now on, and the upstairs is about to expire. After hearing this, Mu Qingqing smiled lightly and spoke. What? These words were like a heavy bomb exploding in Zhao Rin's mind, and he immediately cried out in shock. Oops, keep your voice down. In case someone hears it, the impact will be bad. Seeing that Zhao Rin had suddenly increased his voice, Mu Qingqing rushed forward and reached out to cover Zhao Rin's mouth, complaining helplessly. Mu Qingqing's sudden movement directly slowed down Zhao Rin's brain by half a beat, and his tongue unconsciously licked on Mu Qingqing's palm. After such an action, the two of them froze at the same time. Then one looked up, the other looked down, for eyes relative to each other, where their eyes met, rubbing out the peach color sparks. The next morning, Mu Qingqing's little head was lying on the washstand, vomiting nonstop. Zhao Rin on the side was worried and looked chagrined. Pour me a cup of hot water. It was only after a while that Mu Qingqing was able to get her strength back, and she said with a flare that made her give Zhao Rin a blank look. Okay, okay. Hearing this, Zhao Rin immediately nodded and complied, bringing her a cup of hot water. Zhao Rin, I'm a bit sick to my stomach. Seeing Zhao Rin handing over a cup of hot water, Mu Qingqing thought of the scene she had just gotten. Little Zhao Rin's angry look, and became a little scared so she opened her mouth to threaten. I, I didn't hold back. Hearing this, Zhao Rin's old face blushed and said with some embarrassment, Are you a dog? You can't eat enough? Mu Qingqing said without any good humor. I can tell you, you can't eat too much of this forgetful pup QQ candy. If you still want it next, you can either fix it yourself or go buy a rain-blocking umbrella. I, I know. Thinking back to the evening's food and drink, Zhao Rin became even more embarrassed. Was this taking out all the fire that Lu Ruyan had aroused on Mu Qingqing's body? After washing up, 
Mu Qingqing looked at Zhao Rin who was leaning on the bed with a depressed face, took the initiative to sit on his lap and wrapped her arms around his neck. I have to tell you something. Hmm, what's up? At those words, Zhao Rin's eyelids jumped in confusion. The Wang Teng I told you about last time. He came to our Hangzhou city to talk about business, and my parents had to drag him here to meet me. Even though he's a long yang pervert, but he was actually really persuaded by my parents. And yesterday my dad called me from an out of town number. Mu Qingqing wrapped her arms around Zhao Rin's neck and shrunk her little head into Zhao Rin's embrace as she narrated the whole story. Then what should I do? Smell Mu Qingqing hair between the faint fragrance. Zhao Rin directly opened the door to the mountain. With these complex personnel dealings, he is not very good at it, but involves his own woman, so he has no choice. Aren't you scared? Wang Tang is the son of the richest man in Yongcheng and the crown prince of the wine group. This sounded as if he had a plan. Mu Qingqing looked a little surprised and couldn't help but ask. A prince is a prince. As the saying goes, a strong dragon can't suppress a snake. So what does the richest man in Yongcheng have to do with Hangzhou? Is it possible that he can still turn against the heavens in Hangzhou city? Zhao Rin said indifferently. All right then, at two o'clock this afternoon, the two of us will go over together. Seeing that Zhao Rin looked confident, Mu Qingqing's hanging heart dropped quite a bit and then responded. Fine, if you say so, Zhao Rin nodded. Ah, uh, ah, uh. Mu Qingqing still wanted to say a few more words, but her red lips were directly blocked by Zhao Rin. Qingqing, how are you feeling? Seeing Mu Qingqing's walking legs twisting, Zhao Rin couldn't help but be concerned. In his heart he was remorseful and embarrassed. Air D A Air D. Why are you so disobedient? You care about people now? Those who don't know still think you're the one driving the pile driver on the construction site? Do not speak okay? A speak. Mu Qingqing suddenly this temper came up. To Zhao Rin is a taunt. Zhao Rin said hate on the spot on the ground with the toes to pick out a three rooms and two halls out. I I I I. I didn't hold back. Zhao Rin lowered his head in shame. I'm genuinely curious. How did you hold back when you were with Ruyin? I had always thought that you weren't close to women? Mu Qingqing said breathlessly. It's not like I didn't experience it at that time. Zhao Rin said somewhat shyly. Still don't come to hold me. You yourself are comfortable. I can be difficult to tight. When I think of Zhao Rin's appearance just now, Mu Qingqing is a little speechless. No wonder that day you can fight with yourself and Lu Ruyin landlords. This fighting strength is not covered. This LSP, belonging to the dog, not enough to eat. It was the same seafood restaurant as last time, and as soon as the two of them arrived upstairs, they saw the humanoid Mu Qingqing's parents as well as her younger brother Mu Chuan, and Wang Tung who was sitting in the main seat. Say, what did you call me over for? Mu Qingqing lightly glanced at her parents and her own brother and sat straight down, saying with a cold face, while Zhao Rin also sat beside her in silence. Qingqing, what do you mean by that? Didn't I tell you to come alone? Why did you bring this poor guy here? Before Mu's father could say anything, Mu's mother, who had always been acerbic and disliked the poor, opened her mouth, and hadn't even answered Mu Qingqing's question yet, and as soon as she opened her mouth, she rushed at Zhao Rin. Mom, please pay attention to your words. He is my boyfriend and your future son-in-law. His name is Zhao Rin. Rin as in righteous. Upon hearing this, Mu Qingqing's face straightened and she opened her mouth to correct herself. Future son-in-law? Just him? I have to have a son-in-law. There can only be one person in such a world. And that's Wang Xiao. When Mother Mu heard this, how could she hold back? She immediately opened her mouth, showing the Mu family's attitude. Uncle Mu. Auntie. Is this my fiancé? She's really quite beautiful. Wang Tung whose looks were a bit on the feminine side, opened his mouth at this moment, and those soft eyes looked at Mu Qingqing's city-defying appearance, and a hint of greed was actually revealed in his eyes. Hmm, didn't they say he's a dragon yin gun? This eyes, Zhao Rin, who was leaning to the side, keenly noticed the change in Wang Tang's eyes, and while he was silent on the surface, he began to calculate inwardly. Uncle Mu, auntie, as long as Qingqing is willing to marry, we can immediately sign the contract for the electromechanical city and consider it as my bride price. Wang Tang said very confidently, directly ignoring Zhao Rin who was sitting beside Mu Qingqing between his words. Stop, 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 stop. Wang Tung, right. I heard that you have the capital of the richest man in Yong City? Seeing that the other party was ignoring him so much, Zhao Rin felt a little bit upset in his heart, which felt like the Lu Ruyin at one time, so he moved towards Mu Qingqing's side and opened his mouth. Zhao Rin, right? I'm in a good mood today and don't want to talk too much nonsense with you. After glancing at Zhao Rin, Wang Tang's face remained unchanged. At his level, 
other than those who sat in an Audi A655 or were rich at the same level. Unusual people were not as valuable as his watch in his eyes. As he spoke, he heard a clatter. Wang Tingtsun took out a check from the inner pocket of his jacket, signed his name on it, and then crumpled it into a ball and threw it directly onto the table in front of Zhao Rin. I've already signed my name on the check, and you got a girlfriend as my fiancé from now on. How much money do you think you need to fill your anger? Write it yourself. The limit of this check is two small goals. Wang Tang looked as usual. His tone was calm, as if he had done something so unusual that it could not be unusual. And this action, directly sitting aside Mu father and mother and Mu Chuan looked silly. Three people's eyes coincidentally stared at Zhao Rin in front of the ball of paper. A already signed, but did not write the amount of the check. Means what? Means that they work hard to earn a year's money, but not compared to this check. This is a whole two small goals off. Move your hand can be captured. Seeing this, Mu Qingqing froze. She didn't expect the other party to come out so tricky and dry. The limit of two small goals means that Zhao Rin can directly fill in the amount of two small goals. So much money, he really will not be moved? This society, money is equal to have everything. Car Mansion Beauty, with their own beauty, in exchange for the second half of life life without worry. Mu Qingqing began to not confident up. And at the same time, Zhao Rin's hand moved. All the eyes have looked at Zhao Rin. Wang Tang is the corner of the mouth rose slightly, sneer slowly revealed. In the next second, Zhao Rin grabbed the paper ball and without even looking at it, he directly tore it to shreds and then threw it towards Wang Tang instantly. The sprawling confetti slowly fell in midair. Looking at the check confetti flying all over the sky, the smile on Wang Tang's face grew brighter and brighter, as if he was not touched by Zhao Rin's face-smashing behavior of tearing up his checks in public. But the light that flickered from time to time in his slightly sinister eyes made some people feel goosebumps. Zhao Rin, kneel down and apologize right now. As for the Mu family's side, looking at the flying confetti, the three members of the Mu family were heartbroken. So they started to rebuke Zhao Rin loudly. The money from the two small targets just went up in smoke in front of them, which made them hate their teeth. So they opened their mouths angrily. Apologize. Dao Nima's apology, in order to that three melons and two dates to sell your daughter. You still have reason. Right. At those words, Zhao Rin turned on the battle mode. To the three people is a mouth output. That kind of elegant vocabulary is just like a machine gun to get bullets. Da did did popped out from Zhao Rin's mouth. Directly to the three people to say stupid. Mu Qingqing, on the other hand, was listening in a daze, and hadn't reacted for most of the day. At this time, Wang Tung, who was sitting in the main seat watching the show, suddenly moved. Pa 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 pa, reaching out to applaud. Good. 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 I didn't think I'd be watching a good show. Wang Tang applauded while opening his mouth. His voice also sounded so feminine, completely devoid of the masculinity that a male should have. Zhao Rin, right? You're a real man. Don't hang out in Hangzhou. Go to Yongcheng. Be my private secretary. The close kind of oh. Open the door. I am your boss. Close the door. Wang Tang's words, speaking, suddenly came to an abrupt end. And what the meaning of the sentence he had not yet said was already self-evident. Wang Tang's words, said without fear, so that the presence of a few people are an instant face changed, and even more, like Mu father and Mu Qingqing got brother Mu Chuan, but also coincidentally covered their August 15th, even though the face changed, they do not dare to open their mouths to speak, for fear of a moment of inadvertence, offended the other side, crap, so you're not just a dragon yang monarch, you're also a receiver monarch, as for Zhao Rin, he didn't have such scruples anymore and spoke directly, completing Wang Tang's subsequent words that he hadn't finished yet, so what, to be honest, I, Wang Tang, have plenty of money, and I have no interest in female color, Wang Tang said without any concern after hearing this, I'm not interested in stirring shit, upon hearing this, Zhao Rin felt goosebumps instantly explode and hurriedly spoke, in my dictionary, there is no such word as giving up, I still have the same condition as just now, you can bring her along to Yongcheng Wang group, I have no interest in women, hearing this, Wang Tang was also clear that he would definitely not be able to achieve his goal today, so he directly got up, lightly left a sentence, and then twisted his body to leave. That's right, all of you readers who are more handsome than Chris Pang and more beautiful than Louis Fei. The word I used is wriggling. Young Wang, Young Wang. Seeing Wang Tang leave, the three members of the Mu family couldn't sit still and hurriedly got up, shouting as they chased after him. Right, settle the bill. Don't forget. Seeing this, Zhao Rin also didn't forget to give the trio a Philip. For this kind of people who regarded money as their life, especially for the sake of money to use their daughter's half-life happiness to exchange for their son's glory and wealth, a Philip was a must. As expected, as soon as these words came out, even before the words fell, 
Mu Qingqing saw Mu's father's footsteps stumbling from afar and almost didn't fall into a dog's poop. Let's go. Seeing that the villain had retreated, Zhao Rin immediately got up and extended his hand towards Mu Qingqing, signaling for the two of them to leave together. You're really leaving? Seeing Zhao Rin's movements, Mu Qingqing froze and then opened her mouth, asking uncertainly, or what? What? It's hard to stay here for the new year. Zhao Rin joked. Not buying the bill? Mu Qingqing asked. Buy the bill? It's not like I'm the son-in-law treating my old husband's mother-in-law to dinner. So what's the point of buying it? They're going to sell you to that receiver Jun A? What's in your little head? Zhao Rin was speechless for a moment and said without a trace of anger. At this time, Zhao Rin just remembered that the last time the unhappy parting was also Mu Qingqing's bill. This is how much poisoned by the original family ah, people are going to sell you. You actually rushed to help others count money. Is this appropriate? Mu Qingqing still said with some discomfort. What's wrong with that? We accept the butt sat on the chair. Not to mention food. Not even a mouthful of tea. So it's none of our business. Do you believe that as soon as you go downstairs? You will see your parents and your unproductive younger brother standing in the hall with a face of flesh pain waiting for you to come over. Zhao Rin said carelessly. All right then. Seeing this, Mu Qingqing could only nod and follow Zhao Rin down the stairs. Sure enough, Zhao Rin guessed correctly. And that was the case. Mu's father who was forced to pay the bill by the restaurant really stood in the hall with a gloomy face. Three people, six eyes, just like this staring at Zhao Rin and Mu Qingqing who walked down hand in hand with a face of displeasure. Why don't you pay the bill? As the two sides slowly approached, Mu Qingqing was just about to open her mouth, but her own mother snatched her words before she could speak. Why should she pay the bill? Zhao Rin snaps. You're going to trade the rest of her life's happiness for glory and riches, and you're still thinking about her paying for it? I raised her so big. What's wrong with spending some money for me and my family? People Wang Tang Wang De Xiao, leaving the company so much business specially come over for a blind date. Shouldn't they be entertained? Mother Mu said. To entertain, right? Let your son, clean August 15th. Night to Wang Tang De room is not good. I see him like this appearance. Is also considered half work it. Damage to people. Zhao Rin is not polite. Full power output of him. Ruthlessly taunted the Mu family three a meal. To help Mu Qingqing out of a mouthful of bad temper. Hey, surname Zhao, are you looking for death? As soon as Mu Chuan heard this, his temper immediately flared up. He had lowered his eyebrows in front of Wang Tang, a $10 billion tycoon. But at this moment, when he faced Zhao Rin, an ordinary person, his heart was bursting with a sense of superiority. Scram! Unexpectedly, Zhao Rin merely gave him a cold look, then let out a low roar, and unexpectedly directly drank this drunkard back a few steps. Today, for Ching Ching's sake, I don't want to gossip with you guys. From today onwards, Ching Ching is my person. I'll raise her on my own. I don't need you Mu family to worry about it. After drinking away Mu Chuan, Zhao Rin pulled over Mu Ching Ching's small hand and left as if no one was there. As soon as he returned to room 201, Zhao Rin saw a delighted Lu Ruyan appearing in the living room, and couldn't help but freeze, looking at Mu Ching Ching somewhat awkwardly. I'm the one who told her to come, who expected that Mu Ching Ching turned a blind eye to this and said with her face as usual. From today onwards, we are family, Mu Qingqing said with a bashful face, and in the eyes of the new age secular world, such a thing as two women serving one husband, which was against good customs, was just said by her with a light sentence, the tone of her voice was so relaxed that it was as if eating and drinking water was as natural as it should be, this, this is not good, upon hearing this, Zhao Rin instinctively said, only that the upward range of the corners of his mouth was afraid to be pressed with the strength of a pressed AK and it wasn't necessarily suppressed. Or what? What do you think is appropriate? The two of us gave you all of our clean bodies. As soon as you shiver well, you're thinking of putting on your pants and disowning us? Lu Ruyan was mentally shorter than Zhao Rin because of past transgressions, so she just had an aggrieved expression on her face. But Mu Qingqing was different. She wasn't spoiling him, and she still had the ability to think independently about things other than those involving her family of origin. So it was a direct flurry of output. I, it's not my fault either. When Zhao Rin heard this, his old face immediately blushed, but the corners of his mouth that were harder to suppress than AK were still curled so high, getting a bargain and still playing nice. If it wasn't for that, do you think I would be here? Looking at Zhao Rin's expression of getting a bargain and still selling out, Mu Qingqing spat disdainfully, I, Mu Qingqing, have identified you as a man in my life? Likewise Ruyan, since we can't talk about it, let's seek common ground. As Mu Qingqing's words fell, she took the initiative to step forward and take Lu Ruyan's arm. At this moment, the relationship between the two changed from bosom friends to teammates in Chuang. All right, you guys talk, I'll go upstairs to my room to rest. After being tossed around by you for so long, I'm really tired. 
Just as Lu Ruyan looked at the palm of Mu Qingqing's hand that was on her arm and froze, Mu Qingqing exerted a slight force and directly pushed Lu Ruyan into Zhao Rin's arms before she raised her head and left. Xing Qing, Zhao Rin hadn't even slowed down yet, but he felt the warm fragrance and soft jade in his arms, and then hurriedly opened his mouth to call out to Mu Qingqing, only to realize that he was one step too late. She had already gone upstairs and closed the door by hand. Hubby, last night, you and Xing Qing did the love thing? At this time, Ruyan Lu sighed quietly and opened her mouth. Her sour tone was like drinking old-aged vinegar. Yes, Zhao Rin didn't hold back and said frankly. Upon hearing this, Ruyan Lu didn't say anything. She just silently burrowed into Zhao Rin's arms, and for a moment the atmosphere began to quiet down. 201. How are you getting on with the company matter? In order to break the awkwardness, Zhao Rin took the initiative to talk about the company's matters, because other than that, it seemed like he had nothing else to say to Ruyan Lu. The company has established a set of systems, attendance, salary calculation, commission distribution model, operation management, just like software design. At first there will be bugs, when the days are long, a little bit of perfection will be fine. As soon as he heard the company's things, Lu Ruyan immediately came to the spirit, began to put his own these days in the company's doings, all of them one by one set out. This set of operations of yours is really good. After listening to Lu Ruyan's introduction, Zhao Rin was instantly a little surprised. He didn't expect that Lu Ruyan, who had been so well protected by her father and her original body, would produce such a noticeable change within such a short period of time. So, husband, can you forgive me? What Qing Qing can do for you, I can do the same. Speaking here, Lu Ruyan suddenly changed her words and drank in Zhao Rin's ear as if she were an orchid, and that unique first bloom young woman sent on her body kept drilling inside Zhao Rin's nostrils. Just let me think about it. Will you? Although he was slowly starting to get carried away, Zhao Rin always guarded a single point of lucidity and began to slowly push Lu Ruyan away, barely keeping his composure as he said, I don't. Before dad left, he asked the company, Mom, and me to you, will you stop resisting me? I've made mistakes and hurt you, so I'm not asking for a name. I'm only asking for you to stay by my side, because I know I don't have that qualification to be your Donggong's main wife. When she thought of last night, she took the initiative to undress in front of Zhao Rin. But he was unmoved and turned his head to be with Mu Qingqing. Lu Ruyan's heart was depressed to the core. If Zhao Rin is too good at shooting, no no no, Lu Ruyan is more and more afraid, so she took the initiative to lower her posture, and pleaded in a lowly manner. The main room of the Eastern Palace? What are you thinking? Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin was speechless for a moment, really treating himself as an emperor. Ah, the main room of the Eastern Palace. Ruyan Lu listened silently, not saying a word as if waiting for Zhao Rin to finish, as expected. As Zhao Rin's words fell, Lu Ruyan suddenly bit her rosy lower lip with her shell teeth, and made a decision in her heart that she would take the initiative. Well, is waiting for Lu Ruyan response Zhao Rin a surprise, was Lu Ruyan's sneak attack, her cherry lips directly pasted on Zhao Rin's mouth, her body's unique share of the first time to open the young woman's fragrance, began to desperately to Zhao Rin's nostrils inside the drilling, has not yet receded of lust, as if in the blazing fire sprinkled with a hot oil, instantly is the heavenly fire, the fire is a big fire, instantly is the sky fire, Zhao Rin took hold of the other party's soft waist, and with one force, he lifted Lu Ruyan up, Lu Ruyan was obediently with a pair of long taut legs, coiled in Zhao Rin's waist, a lonely man and a woman, dry fire, a touch of fire, and right at this moment, a sharp ringing of the phone rang, the sudden sound was like pouring a pot of cold water on Zhao Rin's head, Zhao Rin, who was preparing to bring his gun into battle, instantly came to his senses, and lowered his head to look at Lu Ruyan who was crouching in front of him, his face full of chagrin at the moment, be good, I'll answer the phone first, after this incident, although there was no substantial poker sport, the relationship between the two of them had improved too much from the past, Zhao Rin pinched Lu Ruyan's arse and softly said, aha, desire faded, it was not easy to muster up the courage of Lu Ruyan, at this moment a pretty face above the red haze, murmured intently answered a sentence, appeared incomparably shy, hey, Nagar, after slowing down, Zhao Rin picked the phone up, what took you so long to answer the phone, the voice is also a bit off, did you go play poker, Li Changle, who had been waiting for almost a minute, got a little upset that Zhao Rin didn't answer the phone in time and complained, cough, what's the matter with you, Zhao Rin sniffed and glanced somewhat awkwardly at Lu Ruyan, who was still shrinking in her arms, and gently coughed a few times and said, are you free tonight? I want to ask you out for dinner. Li Changle glanced at his slightly flushed self in the mirror and pretended to be calm and said. Hearing this, Zhao Rin realized that it was already past 5 o'clock in the afternoon and it was time for dinner again. 
But looking down at Lu Ruyan who was shrinking in his arms and Muqingqing on the fifth floor, he felt that it wasn't quite appropriate for him to be invited to dinner. Hubby, something's up? Lu Ruyan keenly sensed the change in Zhao Rin's mood and took the initiative to sit up straight and said, Just now Zhao Rin's call. Even though she didn't turn on the speaker, she still heard some of it. It's Li Changle, about the case at the mall yesterday. Zhao Rin sniffed, and after a brief thought, he explained, Of course he hid some of the details of it, so as not to cause some trouble when the time came. So where's the location? I'll drive you. It's almost time for me to go home. Mom is at home alone. I don't feel too comfortable coming out for too long. Perhaps it was because she was psychologically three points shorter. Even if she knew that Zhao Rin was going to see that Li Changle who was not inferior to herself in terms of looks or body, Lu Ruyan still didn't ask a single question. Instead, she was very considerate and offered to drive him there herself. No need. Hurry home and accompany your mom. She's in need of companionship right now. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin smiled, rubbed Lu Ruyan's hair, and then spoke. All right then. Seeing that Zhao Rin had said so, Lu Ruyan didn't dare to be too insistent and nodded. So the two of them went downstairs together. Looking at Lu Ruyan's paramorous taillights that were drifting away, Zhao Rin's mood looked a little complicated. In the end, this matter has become this way. Although in his favor, enjoy the happiness of all people. But what will happen in the future? No one knows. Is this three people to live a lifetime? The world's eyes, the good customs of the mortal world, are all factors that should be taken into account. Standing on the side of the road for a long time, Zhao Rin couldn't think of anything, so he just didn't think about it, took out his cell phone and called an online car, and drove towards the positioning sent by Li Changle, and all of this was seen by Mu Qingqing on the fifth floor, the evening rush hour had come, where was he going, at this moment, the cell phone she held in her hand vibrated, it turned out to be a text message from Zhao Rin, telling her that she was invited by Li Changle about that case at the mall, Li Changle, Mu Qingqing mumbled intently under her breath while opening the door to her room and took a look, and sure enough, Li Changle hadn't returned yet. More than half an hour later, Zhao Rin got out of the car. Looking at the neighborhood in front of him, he was a little curious. Isn't this area the allocated housing in the planned economy era? Why would Li Changle invite himself here for dinner? It's hard to believe that there's a low-profile restaurant here, the kind that's not afraid of the deep alley? But Zhao Rin didn't have to wonder for long, and soon he received a call from Li Changle. Rin, I see you. Look up. As soon as the phone was connected, Zhao Rin hadn't even said a word when Li Changle's voice came from the receiver. Heads up, HM? Hearing Li Changle's voice, Zhao Rin responded in confusion, but his body very honestly cooperated with the other party's command and raised his head. In the next second, a white figure appeared in his line of sight by the stairwell window of a building not far away. Although Zhao Rin couldn't see it very clearly because of the distance and light, he knew that the person was undoubtedly Li Changle. Hello, you come straight towards me and I'll go down and open the door for you. On the windowsill, Li Changle waved his hand while opening his mouth for Zhao Rin to come over. Yeah, seeing the situation, Zhao Rin's heart felt very surprised. Not that dinner? Why look at her this look how to see how not like ah, completely did not eat the appearance of ah, can not be a farmhouse? Although he carried doubts in his heart, Zhao Rin followed the other party's instructions and walked towards him. Not long after, the two of them met. Hmm, a white long skirt? Seeing Li Changle's outfit today, Zhao Rin froze, a white long skirt. A head of dark and shiny hair actually casually draped above the fragrant shoulders, perhaps because of her profession, she had been exercising all year round, and although Li Changle, Mu Qingqing and Lu Ruyan were the same as the top beauties, they were each unique in their own way. Unlike Mu Qingqing and Lu Ruyan's body that reveals its coolness from time to time, under the effect of sufficient exercise, Li Changle's body curve is obviously more perfect than the two women, and she is more heroic when she raises her hands and throws her feet. There was less of the softness of a southern woman but more of the valor of a northern woman. What's wrong with the long white dress? Doesn't it look good? Seeing Zhao Rin's strange expression, Li Changle's heart was a bit shy, always a valiant woman. She unexpectedly lowered her head shyly under Zhao Rin's gaze and ranted in a small voice. No, no, I'm just not used to it. Feeling the shyness between the other party's words, Zhao Rin's heart suddenly thumped. He immediately felt as if something wasn't quite right, but he couldn't quite put his finger on it at once. All right, let's go. I'll take you up. Seeing the other party's embarrassed appearance, Li Changle relaxed a bit in this heart. She felt that this was harder than catching a prisoner herself, so she immediately digressed and hurriedly opened her mouth to signal Zhao Rin to follow her up. Things have come to this point. Even if the heart feels wrong again, Zhao Rin can only be hard and hard. It will not be Li Changle a hall of Hongzhou police flower, but also can sell themselves not. Old house. Old stairwell. Obviously the light of the night off work. 
but did not see other people, which makes Xiao Rin feel a little strange. After all, this way over, this neighborhood is just old and broken. The location is not remote. It. How could there be no one? Dilly 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 dilly. Li Changle, who was walking in the front to lead the way, walked as fast as he could, not saying a word, and went up to the fifth floor in one breath without any effort. Zhao Rin, on the other hand, had been following behind Li Changle with doubts, and as soon as she looked up, she could see Li Changle's graceful back. All right, let's go inside. At the entrance of the stairs on the sixth floor, Li Changle stopped her footsteps and looked at Zhao Rin, who was a few steps behind her, and said with a slightly flushed face, and if she listened carefully, it seemed that she was still vaguely shy. Nagar, which restaurant is this? I can't believe you found it even though it was hidden so deeply. Seeing that Li Changle stopped in his tracks, Zhao Rin still couldn't hold back the doubts in his heart after all and opened his mouth to ask tentatively, What? Is it hard to be afraid that I'll sell you out? When Li Changle heard this, he was instantly dissatisfied. If I didn't know that you're the police flower of Hangzhou, I wouldn't dare to come here even if I was beaten to death, for fear that you'd karate my waist. Zhao Rin joked. Go, 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 actually think of this lady as that kind of person. Those scumbags in northern Burma have already come over to our side with a match head. What are you still afraid of? Li Changle spat in an unfavorable manner. Just kidding. Seeing that the other party was unhappy, Zhao Rin hurriedly laughed. It was only at this time that he felt that it was Li Changle herself who hadn't run away. Or else her ladylike dress as a white moonlight was just a little too much for him to get used to. Just as the two of them were fighting, the door to room 601 was suddenly opened, and a middle-aged man who was not an ordinary person at first glance appeared in Zhao Rin's line of sight. Changle, the guests are here, but still letting them stand on the stairs. What's the decency? The middle-aged man's eyes likewise fell on Zhao Rind. That kind of insight into everything in the eyes. Just like X-ray. A look. Just so simple a photo. It feels as if they will see themselves from head to toe. Which makes Xiao Rin seems to vaguely understand what. And not surprisingly, Li Changle's subsequent sentence. So that Zhao Rin instantly thatched. Dad. Rin he's afraid that I'll gar him waste. Li Changle said with a smile. You dead girl. What are you babbling here? Upon hearing this, Li's father also somewhat couldn't help himself, and somewhat unhappily said something to Li Changle, then owed his body open, signaling the two to come in. This, this is a family dinner. Zhao Rin was dumbfounded. Li Changle this is really thinking out of the box ah, dinner is dinner, but also brought along the elders. He came empty-handed. Thinking about it, Zhao Rin suddenly slowed down by half a beat. His feet stopped on the steps of the staircase, hesitant to move. There was no way. This was too embarrassing. After a few minutes, Li Changle, who had already entered the house, realized that something was wrong. How Zhao Rin hadn't come up yet. It was only a few steps ah, so he curiously poked his head out, and looked at Zhao Rin standing on the stairs with a depressed face, hesitating to move. Changle, why don't I go in and say hello first? Zhao Rin somewhat unnaturally scratched the back of his head and said with a hint of a consultative tone, having come, why are you suddenly leaving? Upon hearing this, Li Changle was somewhat confused and couldn't help but wonder. And you didn't tell me there were elders at this meal. I'm empty-handed here. Zhao Rin spread her hands and said with a displeased face, that depressed little look. If it wasn't for the fact that Li Changle's eyesight was good enough, it wouldn't necessarily have been clear with the slightly dimmed staircase lighting. It's fine. It's fine. You can just come right in. This was originally my reason. So don't take it to heart. As soon as Li Changle heard this, he instantly also reacted to the fact that he had given himself a big red face and said with some embarrassment, Little Zhao Ah, you saved my precious daughter. How can I let you break the bank by coming to the house for a meal? Hurry up and come in. It's cold outside. Right at this moment, Li Father's voice rang out. It was obvious that he had also heard the two's previous conversation and took the initiative to speak up, wanting to dispel Zhao Rin's concerns. Hearing that the elders had spoken like this, Zhao Rin couldn't afford to push back any further and could only stiffen her legs and walk up. After changing into the slippers that Li Changle had prepared, Zhao Rin walked in somewhat restrainedly, which allowed him to see the full picture of Li Changle's entire house. Compared to the current minimalist style, this house can be said to be old-fashioned is almost the same. The kind of pig liver red color scheme floor of the old generation looks especially solid, and there are still quite a few traces of age left on it. Good day uncle. Seeing Li's father on the living room sofa, sitting in the main seat, Zhao Rin took the initiative to greet him. How are you, little Zhao? Seeing Zhao Rin, an affectionate smile appeared on Father Li's majestic face, and he actually took the unprecedented initiative to extend his hand, and when Li Changle saw this scene, the way he looked at Zhao Rin changed a bit, five points of astonishment, three points of incredulity, as well as two points of shyness. Hello uncle, 
Zhao Ren also hurriedly extended his hand and slightly lowered himself to shake the other party's hand. At the first sight of seeing Li's father, Zhao Ren actually developed a trace of familiarity, as if he had seen such a face somewhere. But Li's father's unruffled temperament and the habits that were inadvertently revealed between his hands and feet, it was obvious that he was a big shot ah, but it was impossible that he himself had seen such a big shot, because there was no impression ah. Zhao Ren pondered in his head for half a day and finally could only give up. Come, have a seat. Father Li smiled. Zhao Rin's flickering eyes, he naturally could see it and understood what Zhao Rin was thinking at the moment, but he didn't reveal it and waved his hand to signal the other party to take a seat. Lele, serve the tea, brew my big red robe from Wui Mountain. As soon as Li's father opened his mouth, he immediately gave Zhao Rin a big trick, staring him to death. Don't, don't, uncle, big red robe don't, I'm this old course, can't taste this kind of high-grade goods, hearing Waiish and big red robe, Zhao Rin instantly dumbfounded. What a joke. This thing they drink up de, so quickly stood up and said, at the same time only father's identity has a new understanding, why ishin da hongpo, this is not just money can get, dad, you'd better not make things difficult for rin, li changdal also came back to his senses at this moment, and seeing zhao rin's fidgety appearance, he was afraid that he would have a grudge in his heart, so he hurriedly opened his mouth to help, oh yes, 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 it's me being abrupt, little zhao ah, don't mind it, you saved my precious daughter, I just want to entertain you with something good. Li's father also hurriedly said with a smile. The big red robe was something he intentionally said to see Zhao Rin's reaction. And Zhao Rin's performance made him very satisfied. Although he was a bit nervous, he didn't appear flustered. Not to mention that kind of euphoria of climbing up the ladder. After a bit of tossing and turning, the two of them took their seats on the living room couch in order of priority. Two cups of green tea made from unusual tea leaves on the coffee table in front of them. And began to cluck. Three words down. Zhao Rin also realized something. This is not an ordinary meal. This is the old man to see his son-in-law. Ah. But the problem is, he didn't even want to be the Li family's son-in-law. Ah. What is Li Changle up to? What are you guys chatting about? At this moment, Li Changle, who was helping his mother prepare the meal in the kitchen room, appeared and asked with a smile on his face. It's nothing nothing. I just want to see what kind of young man dares to step in when facing a vicious criminal, seeing that his own daughter had arrived. Li's father also stopped trying and said with a smile, All right, all right, the food is ready, all come and eat. At this moment, Mother Li's voice rang out from the kitchen, so the two of them got up and walked to the dining room, the 80 square meters of the old house. Sounds like the area of less than a hundred, but the victory is solid, not the current common area can be compared, so the house inside is quite spacious. Good day, auntie. Seeing the busy Mother Li, Zhao Rin took the initiative to greet her. Hello, rough tea feel free to eat, don't be polite, motherly responded, seeing her own daughter bring a boy to the door for the first time, she was also happy in her heart, and felt that this meal was of extraordinary significance, firstly, to thank the other party for saving her daughter's life, and secondly, to see how this boy's character was, which made her busy with a table of dishes, auntie you are too modest, this is already a full banquet for me, if I eat a few more bites later, auntie don't blame me, Zhao Rin said politely, he definitely can't leave now, First pass this hurdle in front of him and then say it. All right, all right, don't play false. Hurry up and eat while it's hot. Li Changdal was speechless for a while as she listened to Zhao Rin's scene stealing and couldn't help but open her mouth. What she hated the most was this set of falsehoods. Okay, 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 wife. Let's not just stand around and talk. Or we'll be in deep trouble if we slow down Lele Savior. Li's father laughed and joked. And in a few words, he lightened up the atmosphere. After being seated. Zhao Rin felt like he had spent a century eating a meal. Not that the food was not good, but the side comments of the two elders left him speechless. But there is one thing to say. Selflessness is fearlessness. He did not even think about the other. Although he could not say that he was able to cope with the situation, but the basic etiquette he took care of, and barely managed to make a meal that was savory for the guests and the hosts. After dinner was over, Zhao Rin offered his farewells after a few pleasantries, and Li Changdal escorted him downstairs. Changdal. Your father is the first hand of the Hongzhou Security Bureau, the third hand of Hongzhou, right? Downstairs, Zhao Ren walked out of the stairway and stood on the curb, looking at Li Changdal beside him and said tentatively, Yes, since Zhao Ren had said so, Li Changdal didn't hide it and nodded. Fine. Zhao Ren gave Li Changdal a somewhat grudging look and said breathlessly, If you had said so earlier, I wouldn't have come. I'm a commoner. I haven't even met a few district governors in the downtown area. And today I actually met the director of the public security bureau directly. What are you afraid of? It's not like he's going to eat you. Li Changdal snapped. 
Although this matter was something she hid in the first place and did a little less than honorable, but she still talked tough. Say, are you planning something else? What about having a meal only, or a family dinner, and bringing elders along? After hearing this, Zhao Rin laughed and said, you even guessed this. As soon as Li Changle heard this, she knew that the other party had already discovered the end, and she couldn't help but blush a little with her pretty face, and the way you're dressed today, if I can't even notice that, I shouldn't be mixing, Zhao Rin explained. I like you. Zhao Rin's words hadn't even finished yet when Li Changle directly opened wide. Changle, this joke cannot be made. Hearing this, Zhao Rin was shocked in his heart and said in as calm a tone as possible, although he had already guessed, but he did not expect. He just a flat A, Li Changle even directly opened big, clearly this is a wave to take himself away ah, I'm not kidding. From the time you accompanied me to the gynecology department and boiled medicine for me, I was a bit moved. Smiling, Li Changle shook her head and said, although the light was too dim to see her face clearly, the firmness that flowed out of those good-looking eyes had told Zhao Rin plainly, don't tell me that the thing that made you make up your mind is the mall case, this hero saving a woman's life bridge can be too low. At this moment, Zhao Rin had some scalp numbness, not even realizing that the question he asked was so redundant. Yes, twice accompanied me to see the gynecologist, open the door to my heart room room, the mall you saved me, belongs to the boarding room, into my heart, LOW what does it matter? Just like the strong twisted melon is not sweet, tube full ah, Li Changle's pretty face reddened and said, although the old neighborhood is dimly lit, but the sharp-eyed Zhao Rin still found this point, worthy of being a vigilante, this straightforward nature, although shy, but definitely not squirming, which made Zhao Rin a bit overwhelmed all of a sudden, I actually, after a pause, Zhao Rin, after doing some slight pondering, was planning to be honest and tell the truth about the complicated relationship between himself and Lu Ruyan as well as Mu Qingqing's two daughters, but he was stopped by Li Changle. Don't say anything, Rin, you don't say anything. Li Changle stretched out her slender right hand, her slender index finger pressed against Zhao Rin's lips, and murmured intimately, I know that my father caused you a lot of stress during the night, so don't be in a hurry to state your position, go back to rest and think about it. This is the first time I've been moved since I was single in my mother's womb so I don't want to get an answer on an occasion like this, whether that answer is good or bad. In her tone, there was both anticipation and fear, along with a few moments of longing. It was only at this time that Li Changle truly stripped away the surface disguise and showed her truest self. Aha! Uh -huh. After hearing this, Zhao Rin nodded and responded softly, sort of agreeing to Li Changle's request, and then Li Changle retracted the finger that was pressing on Zhao Rin's lips. Well, in the next second, Zhao Rin's eyes instantly widened his pupils shrinking slightly, and the only thing left in his world was Li Changle's impeccably pretty face. Thirty seconds later, feeling the oxygen inside their lungs depleted, the two of them parted their lips. Li Changle was still not satisfied and looked at Zhao Rin, three parts shyness and seven parts flavor in her eyes, showing her Li Changle's dare to love, dare to hate personality. Go on back, I won't see you off, I'm staying here today to accompany my parents. Li Changle revealed a smile and said, before his words even fell, he went up the stairs without looking back, obviously also a little shy, left alone Zhao Rin alone, stood frozen at the bottom of the stairs dazed, until a cold wind came, he came to his senses, November Hangzhou evening temperatures have been quite low, Lele, this Zhao Rin is really good, if he becomes my son-in-law, I agree, upstairs, as soon as Li Changle entered the door, Li's father's happy words came over, it turned out that while Li Changle was sending off the guests, the old couple was discussing Zhao Rin, and his words were obviously an affirmation of Zhao Rin. After all, mixed in the officialdom for many years, can climb to this position. Just rely on personal ability is far from enough. Without the old and unique vision of people, was betrayed by the following people do not know. These years, in order to daughter's personal problems, he can be said to be worried. Whether it is the civil service system, or institutions of young talent, he cannot be less to Li Changle in production, which naturally there is no lack of people in the dragon but there is no one into the eyes of Li Changle. This day long, Li father also numb, but did not expect their own daughter but gave himself a big surprise, even said to bring a boy home, with them to see, which makes him very excited, which cannot help but test. Dad, so you guys agree? Hearing these words, Li Changle's originally tense heart instantly relaxed. It's not easy for you to bring a handsome young man back. Can dad still say no? Li's father teased. That's really great. Li Changle was greatly relieved in her heart. Before she had considered this issue, worrying that her father and mother were too attached to the gateway and did not treat Zhao Rin well. After all, he was just an ordinary person. Wife, look, this is the precious daughter that we have raised for so many years, 
this is not even married yet, and she has started to turn her elbow outwards. Seeing his daughter's appearance, Lee's father's heart was as sour as if he had overturned a jar of vinegar, and he couldn't help but open his mouth to ridicule. Aya, Dad, I'll go back to my room first, ignoring you, sparing Lee Changle's straightforward nature. He could not resist his parents teasing after all, and immediately fled, followed by the sound of his parents' harumphing laughter. On the other hand, Zhao Rin also took a taxi back to the city center village. He did not let the driver directly send him downstairs, but chose to get off the bus at the village entrance, wanting to walk back step by step by himself, just to take this opportunity to clear his head and consider what to do next. Because his brain was thinking, Zhao Rin didn't pay much attention to the road, and didn't even see anyone in front of him, until he knocked the other party down and heard the ouch sound. Then he reacted and stopped his footsteps. Qing Xian, with the help of the dim streetlight, although he couldn't see the full face of the girl he had knocked down, Zhao Rin still recognized the other party from her familiar voice and the feeling she gave off. Rin, why are you like this? To think that you didn't even lift your head a little bit and directly bumped into it. After being helped up by Zhao Rin, Huo Qingxian muttered with a face full of displeasure. I, I was thinking about something, so I didn't pay much attention to the fact that there was someone in front of me. I'm really sorry. Zhao Rin sniffed and hurriedly apologized. Thinking about things? What's wrong with you? Huo Qingxian moved her joints and couldn't help but ask. A personal, private matter. Zhao Rin scratched his head and said vaguely. Okay. Huo Qingxian could only nod when she saw that the other party wasn't willing to say anything. By the way, Rin, do you know anything about color matching? Color scheme? You mean the space setting one? Hearing this, Zhao Rin became interested. After fusing his original body's memories, he had also mastered the skill that was considered metaphysical to ordinary people. Yeah, the school recently got an interior design exhibition, and I participated in it, but I realized that the one I learned in school doesn't seem to work very well. I remembered you said you learned something similar when you were selling homes, so I thought to ask you. All right, then when your time is set, I'll go and help out. Zhao Rin nodded and agreed with his mouth full. After returning to 201 and seeing that the house was empty, Zhao Rin pulled out his cell phone, intending to give Mu Qingqing a greeting, but then he saw the screen flash, and it turned out to be Li Changle sending him a message. The kiss, was it sweet? Sweet, Zhao Rin honestly said. To be honest, perhaps it was because this kind of behavior similar to cheating produced a strange sense of excitement, making Zhao Rin's heart itch like a cat's claw scratching. If it's sweet, just savor it. Consider this time as my sincerity to express my feelings. If you still want it next time, it will have to wait until we are officially together. Li Changle replied. Seeing the message on the screen, Zhao Rin straightened up and stayed for a long time, not knowing how to reply, typing over and over again, deleting, and finally sending only two words out. Understand. On the other hand, Li Changle was lying on the bed, her delicate chin pressed on the pillow, a pair of eyes full of anticipation looking at the upper end of the cell phone which showed inputting, what would he send, is it together, or a rejection, the usually valiant Li Changle actually broke the mold and began to suffer, until Li Changle saw being input disappeared, she was dumbfounded, Zhao Rin what is this doing, manly man, do things a little bit not dry, agree to agree, do not agree to disagree, why to send not to send, this is with men and women make out, the man just entered the center of the bush, what is the difference between a sudden break, however, this kind of emotion did not last for too long, and Li Changle's eyes lit up once again, because the inputting came again. However, again, it didn't last long, and it disappeared again. Ah 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 ah. Li Changle felt as if she was the kind of person who was provoked but couldn't give vent to her thoughts. Her mood was like riding a roller coaster, going up and down, which made her unable to help but regret a little bit. What was the point of being so scared at night? Obviously at that time, Zhao Rin was already going to say it. Just as various emotions were intertwined and entangled within her, her cell phone vibrated a few times, and in the next second, Li Changle threw it away with a despondent face, because there were only two words on it, understand. This night, after freshening up, Zhao Rin stood alone at the window, looking at the empty pavement outside, unprecedentedly insomnia, because of the three women, messed up Zhao Rin did not have the slightest sleepiness. The next morning, Zhao Rin, who had stayed up all night, finally couldn't support himself and fell asleep on his bed in a daze. It hadn't slept for long when he was woken up by a sharp ringing of his cell phone. Hey, what's up? In a daze, Zhao Ring glanced at the caller ID on his cell phone and picked it up. Hubby, did I disturb you? On the other end, Ruyan Lu was about to speak when she suddenly felt that Zhao Ring's tone seemed bad, and immediately became a bit nervous. It's okay, there's something you can say. Upon hearing this, Zhao Ring immediately tightened his tone, 
After all, no matter who it was, being woken up just after falling asleep would definitely not be in a good mood. Come at your convenience. There's a big customer here. He refused our reception and named that he has to be received by you personally. Otherwise he won't place an order. Lu Ruyan said carefully, afraid that she would accidentally say the wrong thing and make Zhao Rin unhappy. Even if Zhao Rin refused to come over she was fine with it. I'm coming? I haven't been there for a few days. And there's a client who asked for me by name? Hearing this, Zhao Rin flew through his mind as if there was no counterpart. Then I'll turn it back and forget about it. Sensing the doubt and resistance in Zhao Rin's words, although Lu Ruyan felt a great deal of regret in her heart for losing a big client, she still chose to respect Zhao Rin's idea. Forget it, you guys stay with me first, I'll wash my face and go over. After doing a little thinking, Zhao Rin rubbed his brow and responded. To be honest, he was also a little curious as to what kind of god was this? To be able to make Lu Ruyan, a person who had seen the world, look at it so favorably and call it a big order. Okay, it's fine you take your time. Hearing that Zhao Rin was coming over, Lu Ruyan burst with joy and hurriedly said. Soon, Zhao Rin took the subway and rushed over. Fortunately, the furniture store opened late. Otherwise, not to mention on time, even the subway cannot be squeezed. There is no way. This kind of first tier city. There are too many foreigners. This has not even entered the door. But saw Lu Ruyan blearily standing in the doorway. Her face full of anxiety. Where are the clients? Seeing Lu Ruyan's anxious appearance. Zhao Rin was very satisfied. This is what an heir with family business in his heart should look like. And said with a smile. The client is in the VIP room. He refused our reception and stayed in the VIP room by himself. Ruyan Lu led the way in front while giving a concise overview of the situation. What kind of person? So strange? Zhao Rin sniffed and became more and more curious in his heart. Who the hell is this? From memory, there is no such oddball customer with a weird personality ah. With a stomach full of doubts, Zhao Rin followed behind Lu Ruyan and walked to the entrance of the VIP room. And this scene also fell into the eyes of the Lu family's employees. Zhao Rin, their default boss all along followed behind the newly appointed general manager Lu, which undoubtedly played a role in stabilizing the military. Although after the stabilization, what came right after was the gossip news. Hubby, the client is inside. Standing outside the soundproof glass door of the VIP room, Ruyan Lu pursed her lips and said, Go back to work. Looking at the other party who was anxious and on fire, wanting to say but not daring to say, Zhao Rin also laughed softly and softly said, Good. Hearing these words, Ruyan Lu also unconsciously relaxed and left with three steps. Zhao Rin sighed. See Lu Ruyan left. Then put his hand to the door handle. Just ready to open the door. But saw the frosted soundproof glass door squeak sound. Opened from the inside. Crap. Wang Tung. How could it be you shit stirrer? The moment he saw the customer's appearance. Zhao Rin's pupils shrunk violently. Followed by a direct burst of foul language. Oops. You're a seven foot tall man. How come you open your mouth with dirty words? perhaps because there are no outsiders in the neighborhood. Unlike the first time they met, today's Wang Tang even used an effeminate tone, especially the opening of that oops, which directly made the goosebumps on the surface of Zhao Rin's skin rise layer after layer. Crap, Wang Tang, be normal, you're the one with the handle, not a girl. Feeling the longing in Wang Tang's eyes, Zhao Rin rubbed his arms while taking a few steps back, pulling away the distance between him and Wang Tang, afraid that he, the Dragon Yang receiver, would suddenly send waves to pounce on him, which, if accidentally seen, would be yellow mud falling on his pants? Not shit. There's no one. What are you afraid of? Wang Tang smiled charmingly. That pretentious look almost didn't make Zhao Rin spit out his overnight meal. It was too disgusting. I'm afraid of you. Zhao Rin said bluntly. What's the point of being afraid of me? It's not like I'm going to eat you. Wang Tang said with a smile. The charming feeling on his face became more and more obvious along with his smile. I would rather you will eat people. You a tens of billions of dollars group prince. Why always stare at me this little old man ah. As long as you are willing to smash the wall. The people who are willing to accompany you to soap slip and get people can line up from me to the entrance of your Yongcheng company headquarters building. Zhao Rin said somewhat helplessly. Rich people quirks really let a person speechless. This is high on the enjoyment of the habit. Have to find someone to ride on when a dragon yang suffer? Zhao Rin. I came over to talk business with you. Sensing the other party's vigilance that was substantial. Wang Tang suddenly changed his words and brought the topic to business. Roll on, roll on, who are you fooling? You, a tens of billions of assets prince, would do it yourself over a little household purchasing? You think I believe it or not? Zhao Rin sniffed, and the wary look on his face intensified. Believe it or not, I'm really here to talk about procurement. As Wang Tang spoke, he even took a special step back, 
revealing a procurement list placed on the coffee table of the VIP room in front of Zhao Rin. Go, go in and talk. Seeing this, Zhao Rin became even more helpless, and with a wave of his hand, he intended to go in, but suddenly stopped in his tracks. Sit back down first, what do you want to drink? I'll have my co-workers bring it to you. Okay, okay, okay. Wang Tang fell back with a blithe face, nodded indifferently, and cooperatively took a few steps backwards, sitting his butt back on the sofa. Seeing that the other party was so cooperative, Zhao Rin also breathed a sigh of relief at the same time, but inwardly, he was even more puzzled. The crown prince of the $10 billion company personally came out to talk about purchasing for the branch office. Was this realistic? Take a look at it first. This is the purchase list of my Wang Group's branch in Hangzhou City. After Zhao Rin was seated, Wang Tang pushed the purchase list on the coffee table to the part of the coffee table in front of Zhao Rin and said with a bland expression, This list, such a large office home, and a solid wood full-page tea table. What are you Wang's doing? Zhao Rin said with some surprise. In accordance with the requirements of the procurement list, Bok Flower Solid Wood Tea Table, like this one, at least 20 W, and GDL Ergonomic Office Chairs. This kind of starting price is 1,000 yuan, a get is 40, which does not count the other miscellaneous things. If the shipping and handling costs, assembly costs are all counted, there is no 100 W cannot come down. This is still Zhao Rin with their past this is still Zhao Rin by virtue of his past experience in purchasing roughly estimated. Have you heard of Wang's property management? When Wang Tung heard this, a flash of satisfaction flashed across his face. It seemed that he was looking for the right person, so he couldn't help but explain. You mean that rent collection company that was successfully listed in Hong Kong City? Hearing the familiar name, Zhao Ren recalled the news he had brushed up on a while ago and asked uncertainly. That's right that's it. I'm planning to move it as a whole to Hang Chang and split it from within the Wang Group. As you know the Wang Group owns a hundred oriental shopping malls in all levels of cities across the country. They don't have to do anything and sit on tens of billions of dollars of rents. There are too many eyeballs on it. Wang Tang nodded and incidentally did not forget to briefly introduce the situation. Don't, young master Wang. This kind of business stuff, you can't tell me. Knowing too much won't do me any good. As soon as he heard this, Zhao Rin immediately waved his hand and opened his mouth to stop Wang Tang from continuing. He Wang Tang is no longer rich nor is he Zhao Rin's. What's the point of knowing so much? Do you hate me that much? What do I mean by telling you this? Don't you understand? Open the door and I'm Mr. Wang I'm on top, close the door and you're on top. Isn't it good to sit back and enjoy the glory? As soon as Wang Tang's words left his mouth, Zhao Rin felt like she instantly exploded, her hair tingling as she glanced at Wang Tang. Unexpectedly, it so happened that at this time Wang Tang was also looking at him, the imploring eyes. You, Zhao Rin finally was unable to resist a big man using that kind of look on himself. His stomach flipped, if it wasn't for his self-control, I'm afraid that even last night's overnight meal would have been thrown up directly. Zhao Rin, who had managed to regain her strength, looked up and saw that Wang Tang was still in the same manner as before, with no hint of that worrying fear of having his secret known. Forget it, since you don't bend over for five buckets of rice, I won't force myself. Seeing Zhao Rin's pale face, Wang Tang waved his hand in a somewhat disheveled manner. He didn't like to force people to do things they didn't like. In fact, you can try to contact with the opposite sex, I think with your strength. Find a girlfriend is still very easy. Hearing people have said so, Zhao Rin also did not want to make things impossible. After all, the visitor is a guest. People in the name of procurement door to door to talk about business, can't give a sentence to the top of the south wall to go. So he opened his mouth, wanting to ease the atmosphere a little bit. Tell me more. Let's talk about the things on this list first. Wang Tang waved his hand, looking like he had no interest in women, and directly diverted the topic back to the purchase list. Since he was back on topic, Zhao Rin immediately adjusted his state. I have to say, the prince of the $10 billion group, really is not the kind of mongrel rich second generation can be compared to. Talk, vision, as well as judgment, really is a superior person. Is it true that there is no woman in the heart, pulling out the sword natural god? Alright, then it's a deal. You ask your colleague to print a contract over, and I'll have the finance doc with you for the rest. Seeing that the details had been finalized, Wang Tang then spoke. Okay. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin nodded and immediately made a phone call, and soon there was a colleague from the company who walked in with a contract in duplicate. After everything was finalized, as the host, Zhao Rin took the initiative to let Wang Tang out of the door, and his driver didn't know when he had already parked his car at the door and was waiting. Zhao Rin took a look. Good guy. Low-key luxury and connotation Maybach. Mr. Wang, take your time. Hearing the commotion outside. Ruyan Lu also walked out from her office and stood at the doorway and said with a smile, 
General Manager Lu is polite. Wang Tang glanced at Lu Ruyan, who was standing beside Zhao Rin, half a body length behind. A trace of color flashed in his eyes and he politely said, Zhao Rin, put the things on the list in place as soon as you can as per my request. The company relocation is probably just this month or two away. Wang Tang looked at the car that had opened the right rear door and suddenly turned back and said, Will do, don't worry mister. Wang, Rin is the most capable employee we have here. Lu Ruyan who had already gotten the news from the other employees was flying happy at the moment. A contract of more than a million dollars. The profit could be quite a lot. So she unconsciously took over the other party's words and said, That's good. Wang Tang nodded, looking at Lu Ruyan's appearance. He seemed to understand something, and in his mind, other thoughts suddenly arose and he could not help but open his mouth. Rin Cho, is it really better to feel between a man and a woman than to feel like I do? Hubby, why does this Wang Tang look strange? Looking at Wang Tang riding away in the Maybach, Lu Ruyan then asked suspiciously, Isn't it like, he doesn't look like a man? Zhao Rin sniffed, his eyes narrowed slightly, looking at the taillights of the fading Maybach, and said with a smile, while his mind was still recalling what Wang Tang had said just now before he left, What did he, this long yang sufferer, want to do? Right, right, right. Upon hearing this, Ruyan Lu immediately spoke up and agreed. Have you heard of the two long yang brothers? Zhao Lingfeng said with a sudden bad taste. The two long yang brothers? Is that a place name or a family name? Why haven't I heard of it before? Lu Ruyan didn't react for a moment, and the CPU went down for a moment. Dragon Yang attack and Dragon Yang sufferer. The attack that attacks and the sufferer that endures. Zhao Rin glanced at Lu Ruyan and spoke. Ha, huh? you said he, eh, so disgusting. Lu Ruyan only reacted at this time. The other party's appearance, at a glance, is the Dragon Yang sufferer? and immediately felt a little revolted. That's why he named me to receive him. When Zhao Rin remembered the other party's imploring look at the entrance of the VIP room just now, a chill ran down his spine. Ha, huh? hubby, you, 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 don't touch me in the future. Upon hearing these words, Ruyan Lu obviously misinterpreted the meaning of the word reception, and then associating it with the business of more than a million dollars, as well as the possibility that she would be included in the shit stirrer. She suddenly stared at her eyes wide open and almost didn't shout out. Ruyan Lu, what are you thinking? Zhao Rin was helpless. Was he lifting a stone to hit his own foot? He immediately gave Lu Ruyan a brain crash. Don't hit my head. It's stupid. Ruyan Lu rubbed her head and complained. It was already. What was supposed to be? I'm a pure man alright, with a normal sexual orientation. Zhao Rin patted his chest and said, I don't believe it, unless you prove it to me. Ruyan Lu played with the flavor. Prove it, that's what you said. Zhao Rin sniffed looked at Lu Ruyan, and said meaningfully, an hour later, a refreshed Zhao Rin came out from inside the company with a red face, feeling like his bones were crunching, standing on the side of the road, looking at the vehicles coming and going, Zhao Rin had the idea of buying a car, because taking a taxi back was just too much trouble, Zhao Rin had just pulled out her cell phone and was about to make a drop when Hu Qingxuan's call came and so coincidentally, hey, Qing Xian, what's up, Zhao Rin obediently picked it up and put it to his ear and said, Rin, do you have time today? The time for that space design exhibition I told you about a few days ago has been set. It's on December 30th, half a month from now, Hua Qingxian said over the phone. In that case, then what can I help you with? Zhao Rin thought for a moment and opened his mouth to cut to the chase and said, Are you free today? If you're free, come to Hang University and help me. Hua Qingxian pondered for a moment and asked cautiously with a tentative tone. It's okay. Are you in Hangzhou University right now? I'll go over right now but I'm on the home city side, so there might be a delay in between. Hearing this, and being idle anyway, Zhao Rin also immediately agreed. After all, he was still taking someone's salary and living in the dormitory provided by them. So ah, uh, it's fine, take your time, I still have some chores on my side as well, call me when you arrive, I'll come out to pick you up, it's close to New Year's Day, there are a lot of hang adults, Hua Qingxian said with a smile on the phone, alright, then I'll see you later. Zhao Rin promised after a few polite words, after hanging up, Mu Qingqing's message sent over, asking where he was and why he didn't see anyone early in the morning. It's a bit of a headache even with this many women. Looking at the text message inside the white bubble on the screen, Zhao Rin said with a satiated man who didn't know how hungry he was, but didn't realize how much his words were inviting hatred, and made a phone call while speaking. After a round of comfort, promised to go back to the apartment to eat together in the afternoon. Zhao Rin sat on the drop car to Hangzhou University. I have to say, like Hangzhou this kind of super first tier big city, like the road traffic infrastructure is still quite good. 
as long as it is not the morning and evening rush hour, is not at all encountered traffic jams, the well-connected transportation network can definitely quickly let a person reach his destination. Hey, Qing Xian, I'm at your school entrance. Zhao Rin had called Hua Qingxian in advance before the car even stopped, so as soon as she got out of the car, she saw the eagerly awaiting Hua Qingxian at the agreed-upon school entrance. Eh, Qingxian, it's such a cold day, you're wearing such little clothes, aren't you cold? As soon as he got off the bus, Zhao Rin looked at the other party who was just wearing a cashmere coat, with long, slightly brown hair draped over her shoulders, wearing a light-colored wool sweater with shorts on top, a pair of long, white legs were just exposed and her feet were wearing mid-top boots, so she couldn't help but ask, after all, it's already sort of going to be winter eh, no way, I'm wearing warm clothes, looking at Zhao Rin with a strange gaze, looking herself up and down, Hua Qingxian explained slightly shyly, so your legs aren't cold, Zhou Rin hesitated and continued, what's cold about this, I'm wearing a bare-legged artifact, don't believe me, hearing the other party's concern, Hua Qingxuan's heart was delighted, slightly lowering her head, she bent down and tugged at her knees with her right hand to show Zhao Rin that what she said was not true. Ahem, it's me Lo, let's go in first. Seeing this, Zhao Rin, who felt wide-eyed at once, had a reddened old face, and his brain actually surfaced some mosaic images that were inappropriate for children, so he coughed a few times and digressed. Yeah, let's go then. Looking at Zhao Rin's eyes that deliberately avoided yet glanced a few times towards her own pair of long legs from time to time. Hua Qingxuan's heart said with great satisfaction before leading the way to the front, University is the university, everywhere overflowing with youthful flavor, the wind and snow, the spirit of the wind, young and wild, youthful and beautiful, I do not know how many of the youthful stay in the university, crossing into the university at the moment, Zhao Rin also felt his mind suddenly for one of the clear, people also loose a lot, which can be different from the bite of the word decision after the loose, this is a spiritual pleasure, come on, Rin, let me show you our color design. This is a scheme that my three roommates and I have been thinking about for a long time. So help us out with your actual execution experience. Following behind Hua Qingxian, Zhao Rin arrives at a wide gymnasium-like place, which at this point is densely divided into areas for placing items. Qingxian, what kind of design are you guys working on? Is there a theme? Looking at the props in front of him, Zhao Rin was a bit dumbfounded. He couldn't say anything about this kind of purely theoretical stuff. Did he rely on his brain's imagination? Here, this is our design plan. You can first take a look at the renderings on the computer. Hua Qingxian looked as if she had prepared for this, taking out her laptop as if she had already prepared for this, and displayed the finished rendering in front of Zhao Rin. Ha, huh? is this too abstract? Looking at the exquisite rendering, and then looking at the arrangement on the ground, Zhao Rin was a bit puzzled. Is this the hands-on ability of college students? Abstract? Hua Qingxian and her three roommates looked at each other with a look of not quite understanding. What do you say? Look at your design drawings, and then look at your furnishing arrangements. There is absolutely no design beauty in it ah. The sharp contrast between the exquisite effect drawing and the pale and powerless landing effect made Zhao Rin somewhat intolerant. Little brother, what do you say then? Before Hua Qingxian could say anything nah, her roommate was the first to speak. What's your theme? Although Zhao Rin didn't know anything about design or color schemes but it couldn't withstand the inherited memories ah, it would be nice to get stuck with a bug, light and shadow, Hua Qingxian snaps, her tone seeming to be vaguely hostile to her several roommates, then you'd better not get busy, this place of yours, except for that big wattage chandelier on the top, once the light hits down, this shadow is underneath the stuff, where do you go to see the light, where do you go to see the shadow, and the key thing is, it's still a cold white light, a sense of ambience can't come out at all, Zhao Rin pointed to the row of large chandeliers emitting eerie white light on the top, and slowed down his tone to explain, trying to let them understand the use of light and shadow. Ha! Huh? At these words, Hua Qingxuan's three roommates immediately said in unison, seemingly a bit lost. Brother Rin, do you have a solution? It was still Hua Qingxian who was more sensible, hearing the hidden meaning in Zhao Rin's words and continuing to ask. Of course, if you guys are free, after dinner I'll take you to Furniture City to see how to use light and shadow to furnish the arrangement and how to reflect the design of the space. Zhao Rin nodded. This design thing, what can be taught is nothing more than the design elements and techniques. As for how to utilize them, it's really something that can only be learned by heart. How are you guys feeling? Upon hearing this, Hua Qingxian nodded, and then dropped her sight on her three roommates, opening her mouth to ask for their opinions. Yeah, we don't have class anyway, as long as little brother doesn't drag us off to be sold. The three of them looked at me and I looked at you, and after each of them confirmed their eyes, it was the girl who had grabbed the answer earlier who spoke up. 
Crap, so bold, directly teased on, the original owner this face value can ah, so resistant, listening to the other party's words that were carefully flirting, Zhao Rin was not shocked by the water waves on the surface, just shook his head with a smile on his face, but inwardly, he was very emotional, this can be much more powerful than that fat mansion in his previous life, just as the five were talking, a clamor suddenly sounded outside the arena, and then the Hang University students who were close to the entrance and exit threw down the things on their hands one after another, and as if they had agreed to do so, they began to run towards the outside, what happened, although he couldn't hear the hustle and bustle outside the door, but what can make such a big commotion is obviously not a small thing, Zhao Rin instantly also got up the gossip and asked, after all, the ancestral Chinese skill of loving to watch is always there, it seems like it was a long distance relationship, and the boyfriend came over to see the woman and caught her in the act, after flipping through the campus forum, Huo Qingxian said with some surprise, go, 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 go and see the action, upon hearing this, Zhao Rin also instantly became interested and immediately said, as soon as these words came out, the four women also responded, and they all walked out together along with the crowd, not long after coming out, Zhao Rin was shocked by the crowd in front of him in three layers, it is true that gossip is gossip, comes with attraction properties, taking advantage of the fact that the crowd hadn't yet fully stabilized, Zhao Rin led the four girls to squeeze and squeeze, and finally made it to the front, introducing to their eyes, there were two men and one woman, the woman stood in the center, blocking the well-dressed boy behind her, looking at the other boy who was about two steps away from her with a disdainful face, Chan Ro, are you right for me, the boy's clothing is very simple, such a cold day, wearing a down jacket that has begun to show cotton, wearing a pair of washed white jeans underneath, wearing a pair of roadside stalls to buy dozens of dollars of sneakers on the feet, above also stood a little bit of grease and dirt, this dress looks like the kind of often with the machine for the workers, at this moment, his face was full of aggression, his eyes were red as he looked at the pair of dogs and men in front of him, I know this girl, Chan Ro, 10th on the school flower list, business English major, after seeing the girl's appearance clearly, Huo Qingxian spoke up, Yang Shu, how have I wronged you, don't I have the right to make friends, obviously cheating during a relationship, the girl instead said with a disdainful face, not putting the boy in front of her in the eyes at all, is this making friends, holding hands and kissing in public, Yang Shu's tone was watery, but anyone could hear that this was just the tip of the iceberg, and no one was sure how much anger was hidden under the unseen water, it's up to you, it's not like I'm married to you, I'm not even your girlfriend yet, so who are you to speak to me in such a tone, Shen Ro sniffed, still tilting her head, as if she was a noble white swan, looking at Yang Shu who was like a toad in front of her, her tone seemed very cold, didn't we have an agreement, I'll go into the factory to work and pay for your schooling, and after graduating from college, you'll marry me, Yang Shu looked at his lover who was like a stranger in front of him, and his whole body began to tremble and said, Che, it's just banter after the high school exam, it's not like I'm forcing you to pay for my schooling, you can choose to refuse, what's more, do you think you deserve it, after I graduate, any job I can find will be more decent than you, and my income will be higher than yours, you're really a toad wanting to eat swan meat, Chen Ro said with a cold smile, her tone was full of endless contempt, accompanied by Chin Ro's sentence exit, most of the female college students present all laughed out, endless ridicule began to permeate, we all think that this young Shu is whimsical, now there are too many men and too few women, you are a factory wage earner, worthy of a key university graduates of female college students, with the three or two dates you earn from your part-time job, then you pay me back all the money I've given you this year, otherwise I'll go to the police, Yang Shu said, still suppressing his emotions, money, what money, no, you only give me 5,000 a month, not enough for me to buy a LV bag, I've also accompanied you for a while, consider it as my youth loss fee, Shan Ro continued, what's more, don't you need money to chase a girl, even if I don't agree, so what, it's just like the exam, you studied hard and didn't do well in the end, who can you blame, this PUA came down and almost didn't dry fire Yang Shu's CPU, why does that sound so strange, as for Zhao Rin on the side, he instantly frowned, isn't this the same thing that Ruyan Lu used to PUA herself in the first place? Looking around the circle again, other than Huo Qingxian and her three roommates and a very small number of girls, everyone else looked like they were taking things for granted, and he instantly had a decision. Dude, got a cigarette? Looking around, Zhao Rin landed his focus on a boy all to his left, who had his left hand on his mouth as if he was about to smoke. There, seeing that someone asked for cigarettes from him, the boy habitually took a box of cigarettes out of his pocket along with a lighter. I'll pay you back later. Zhao Lin smiled. 
then grab the cigarette case in the other's hand as well as the lighter and walk straight towards the three. Dude, you. The boy was just about to speak when he saw the too pretty to be true what Qingxian suddenly appear in front of him, and his voice came to a screeching halt. This student, how much did you pay for this? Add me on WeChat and I'll return it to you. Seeing Zhao Ren walk away, Huo Qingxian took the initiative to pull out her cell phone, tapping her QR code and placing it in front of the boy. Looking at the top-ranked big school girl alive in front of him, the boy was dumbfounded. His brain started to go down, and he couldn't even speak properly. Classmate, are you in or out? Seeing that the other party looks dumbfounded, Huo Qingxian has a frank face. After all, she is very confident in her looks and figure. Ha, huh? oh, ad ad ad. The boy was awakened by Huo Qingxuan's voice and reacted violently, hurriedly pulling out his cell phone and added Huo Qingxuan's WeChat right in the midst of a circle of boys who were on the verge of envy. Half a pack of cigarettes and a lighter. In exchange for the big school girl's WeChat, this is a good deal. Looking at Huo Qingxuan's WeChat avatar in the friends section, the boy said proudly. On the other hand, Zhao Rin, who had suddenly stood out, became the center of attention, and the two who had been arguing just a moment ago stopped. Bro, come on, smoke. Zhao Rin skillfully took out two from the cigarette box and handed one over. Luckily, it was a soft-cased yellow crane tower, not so much that it couldn't suppress the scene. Yang Shu looked at the completely unfamiliar Zhao Rin in front of him and took the cigarette in confusion. With a pop, Zhou Rin took the initiative to reach out and flick the lighter to light his cigarette for him. Thanks. Yang Shu took a hard drag, and then politely thanked him, it was obvious that he still understood basic etiquette. You're welcome bro, does it feel like you can't speak to her? Zhao Rin also lit it for himself, then said as he gulped down the clouds. Yes, Yang Shu gave Chen Rou a vicious look, then admitted, then let's not talk about it, I'll bring it directly to the security bureau, the college student's official nonconformity is haunting her, I'll see if she can still get her diploma. As soon as Zhao Rin opened her mouth, Chen Rou's face instantly changed. Hey, don't mind your own business here. Chen Rou was afraid that Yang Shu was really going to go to the security bureau, if this became a big deal she definitely wouldn't be able to graduate. So she threatened Zhao Rin in a stern manner. Bro, ignore her. Go, go to the security bureau now. I'll see who's scared. You're not a student. As long as you don't mess around, Hang University can't control you, and it doesn't have that power to control you. Zhao Rin grabbed Yang Shu's hand and was about to leave. Yang Shu, I don't have any money. Can you give me a few days grace? I will definitely pay you back. Seeing this, a trace of panic flashed across Chen Rou's face and she hurriedly stopped in front of the two of them, slowing down her tone and softly saying, How much money did this bitch take from you? Zhao Rin spat out an eye roll, a socialite look, and said in a cold tone, Excluding the winter and summer vacations, freshman year almost took me over 60, 000 yuan, and with this semester, it's going to be almost 90, 000 in bits and pieces. Yang Shu did some math and reported a relatively accurate figure. When these words came out, the whole room was in an uproar. $90,000. Everyone's face was a little unnatural. Originally can be in Hangzhou University School are not stupid. Just be brought in the direction of the direction. Did not think in that direction. This time everyone reacted. $90,000 ah. Many people's own family rely on work from 9 to 5. Only more than 100. 000 a year it. You lie. How could I possibly take so much money from you? Hearing the figure of 90,000. Chen Rou's face completely changed. If this is true. She is considered to be socially dead in Hangzhou University. How can she still get a foothold in Hangzhou City in the future? So she immediately started to retort. And Yang Shu's next sentence immediately sent her into the abyss of 10,000 abysses. Why not? I have transfer records on my cell phone. Chen rose this operation. Yang Shu was already disheartened at this moment. When the love faded, his reason began to regain the upper hand. Yang Shu, I really can't afford it. How about this? I'll give you an IOU first and when I graduate and work, I'll pay you back little by little. Chen Rou's face changed again and again, and finally softened completely, saying with an almost pleading tone, if you can't pay it back, you can let the wild man behind you pay it back. Zhao Rin suddenly cracked a smile. When these words came out, the boys who had been standing behind Chen Rou instantly changed their faces. I'm paying it back? I'm just in love. Why should I pay her back for her? The man behind Chen Rou, his gaze flickering in his eyes, refused without even thinking about it. No payback? M.O. Dong. You son of a bitch. Old lady treats you so well, spends so much money on you every month. Take off the AJ on your feet. Upon hearing this, Chen Rou instantly widened her eyes, turned around and said with an angry face, Chen Rou, don't talk nonsense. What AJ? This is just ordinary sneakers. 
When Mo Dong heard this, he immediately busied himself. You, you scum, I'm so good to you, last night we even went to Rujia together, you actually denied it at this time, you bastard. Chen Roshing perhaps is a little angry and furious, began to mouth up, only words, she immediately realized the wrong, the whole person froze in place, after a long time before the next if to turn around, looking at the already angry body trembling Yang Shu, brother, see, this is the white moonlight you've longed for and given so much of your heart, Zhao Lingfeng patted Yang Shu's shoulder with a playful smile on his face, Chan Ro, you took my money to support him, and you even had a room together, Zhao Lingfeng's words were like a guiding light in the darkness, pointing out the direction, and it also made Yang Shu instantly see through the matter, and his face instantly turned white, no, don't be ridiculous, Hangzhou is so expensive, I don't even have enough to spend on myself, so how could I go to a room, what's more, what kind of person I am aren't you clear about that, hearing this, Chen Ro's face immediately changed, and began to blink her words, even her eyes were vaguely a bit evasive, it was obvious that there was no silver in this place, ah, return the money, Seeing the other party's appearance, Yang Shu also no longer hold any hope, face like ashes had to take a step forward, lowered his head, looked at Chen Ro condescendingly opened his mouth, how about an IOU first, when I work, I'll pay you back little by little. Seeing this, Chen Ro immediately put on a pitiful look, deflated her rosy cherry mouth, and pleaded, how can I say that we're still childhood friends, didn't you say that no matter what I say, you'll say yes, it's all come to this point, Chen Ro still tries to struggle to death. Brother, do you still want this kind of woman? Looking at the other side of the lower than Lu Ruyan's acting skills and words, Zhao Rin face full of ridicule, left hand on Yang Shu's shoulder said, do not say anything, let's call the police, and even take him together to the police station, in front of the eyes of the people in trouble with the officials, the virtue of the loss, not to mention the graduation certificate, I see them even this semester don't want to miss the end of the, seeing Yang Shu's face showing a tangled expression, Zhao Lingfeng decided to spice things up a bit more, so he intentionally increased his voice and said loudly in front of the onlookers, and specifically pointed at Mo Dong, meaning that even he was going to go. I'm not going. I didn't spend his money. It was all given to me by Chen Ro. There is a debt for every wrong. It has nothing to do with me. Seeing Zhao Rinyang's finger pointing at himself, knowing that he would most likely not be able to successfully graduate, and also have to pay back a large sum of money, Mo Dong could no longer hold down his inner fear, and even jumped out directly, not fighting to confess. See, bro, that's her, you should be glad you stopped in time, Zhao Rin said smugly, thanks a lot, brother, Yang Shu's heart was like water at the moment, showing a grateful smile towards Zhao Rin, he knew that if it wasn't for Zhao Rin, he definitely wouldn't have been able to see all this on his own, and would have turned into a senior lickspittle under the other party's PUA, sinking in and not being able to extricate himself, no harm done, it's your field next, Zhao Rin smiled, being helpful was his good quality, Chan Ro, I'll give you two choices, either we go to the nearby police station, or you return the money now. Yang Shu looked at his once beloved and said with a cold face, Mo Dong, give me back my money. Chen Ro saw that things had come to this, there was nothing she could do, because once it went to the police station, her college career would be over. Mo Dong still wanted to struggle, but when he saw Yang Shu's cold as ice eyes, the ghost in his heart could only lower his head and give in to this despised licking dog. After some maneuvering, the two handed over all the money in their hands, deducting your tuition, you're really something, looking at the extra 50, 000 dollars on his cell phone, Yan Shu's tone looked cold and lost, he really didn't expect that he loved her so much, and she actually took herself as an ATM, Yang Shu, I, looking at the money that was eaten into the mouth and spit out, Chen Ro's heart ached, and after enjoying herself for so long, she thought of being knocked back to her original form next, wearing old clothes and carrying a broken bag, so she still wanted to die and struggle Dao. There's 40. 000 left. I don't want the extra. You remember. I have a record of the transfer. Yang Shu didn't answer. Repeated. Then waved his hand in disinterest. Yang Shu. I. Chen Ro still tried to impress the other party with old feelings. Roll. Yang Shu could no longer hold back his inner anger. And let out a furious cry. Like a lion's roar. Directly scaring Chen Ro silly. After freezing in place for a short while. Chen Ro turned around in a depressed mood and walked towards the outside of the crowd. And when Mo Dong saw this, he also dusted himself off and followed behind, walking out of the crowd. As for what happened between the two, that is unknown. Bro, see that license plate? Seeing Yang Shu's lifeless look, Zhao Ren decided to give him a direction in life and pointed to the Mercedes-Benz parked in the parking space not far away. See, 
That's Li Piao's Mercedes. Yang Shu at this moment is also very difficult. After all, many years of dedication to feed the dog in general, but still opened his mouth. Yes, that's a Mercedes, but it's not the badge. It's the nods and winks you've gotten over the years, Zhao Rin said. Mercedes has a classic quote, you don't need to say much, Mercedes Benz will speak for you, brother, I believe that there will be a day when the black silk lady in the Mercedes store will be in front of you, with a smile on her face, and say to you, congratulations on becoming an honored Mercedes Benz owner, and may the three forks of starlight illuminate your career in future, one fork of the heavenly time, two forks of the geographical location, and three forks of the human harmony, starlight does not ask for those who rush. Time is not responsible for those who have the heart. Hearing this, a bright light gradually appeared in Yang Xu's eyes, as if he saw ahead. Seeing this, Zhao Rin continued. Second granduncle said that it's impossible for a person to have a Maybach and an inferiority complex at the same time. Work hard to make money. Don't think about women. When you buy a Maybach, not only do you have a one-time reward when you buy it, you can also have many other people's white moonshine. After saying this, he heavily patted the other party's shoulder and then turned around in a dashing manner. The seed has been planted in his heart, and what he can grow into depends on himself. General Manager Lu, Rin is back. A finance manager dressed in an OL outfit hurriedly ran into Lu Ruyan's office, submitting her payroll statement while also reporting Zhao Rin's whereabouts. In the office, Lu Ruyan is checking the last month's performance statement. Will soon be the new year. Everyone hopes to live in a new house before the year, so every year from November until about New Year's Day, our home sales season, cannot afford the slightest slack, just come back, why are you in such a hurry, just do whatever he likes, seeing her subordinate in a hurry, Lu Ruyan looked a little surprised and said carelessly, Rin brother he, he he, the finance manager said, not daring to go on, what's wrong with him, you say ah, stuttered, Lu Ruyan looked at this has been followed by their subordinates, usually also a shrewd girl ah, this is what this is, some inexplicable, Rin, he, brought four girls downstairs to look at the furniture. Looking at them, they should still be female college students who are studying, especially one of them, one mouthful of Rin brother called, looks very intimate. The finance manager at this time, straightened his tongue and opened his mouth. Bang sound. Once heard the four girls and intimate this two words, Lu Ruyan immediately anxious, will be in the hands of the statement ruthlessly smashed on the desk, made a heavy sound. The sound was heavy. Where are they? Ruyan Lu said in a low tone as if she was already on the verge of an outbreak. Building, downstairs exhibition area. The finance manager who had seen this kind of battle of Lu Ruyan, swallowed his saliva and said carefully, and downstairs, Zhao Rin was taking the four girls and showing them how to use light, through physical demonstrations, to create shadows. Look guys, this is using warm white light to create a sense of atmosphere. Zhao Rin moved a folded climbing ladder and stepped on it to climb up to a high place, pointing at the spotlight above his head and said, while talking, changing the beam of light by adjusting the angle of the spotlight. Through his manipulation, Huo Qingxuan's few girls then had the feeling of enlightenment, each of them looking enlightened. Feng, why did you come over without giving me a word? Just as Zhao Rin was reveling in the adoring eyes of the four beautiful college students in their early twenties, Ruyan Lu's voice, which was slightly excited as well as pleasantly surprised, came out and instantly pulled Zhao Rin back from the complacency that he had just experienced. Lu Ruyan, Huo Qingxian, before Zhao Rin could reply. Two chirping voices actually sounded at the same time without coincidence. The three roommates of Huo Qingxian were instantly interested. After all, they were also very clear about the geometry of Huo Qingxuan's face. But Huo Qingxian was a few points better looking than them. Ruyan, if you're not working properly in your office at this time, what are you running down for? Zhao Rin looked at the polite and vaguely atmospheric Lu Ruyan in front of him, feeling a bit puzzled. He couldn't help but ask. I heard that you brought four girls over to look at the home. As your fiancé, I must not help you with reference. After all, a girl's mind is only clear to a girl isn't it? Lu Ruyan had a faint smile on her face and explained along with Zhao Rin's words. Brother Rin, is she still your fiancé? Hearing this long lost word, Huo Qingxian is a bit surprised. Haven't the two of them blown it? So she looked at Zhao Rin and asked. Ahem, this matter is rather complicated. Come on, I'll finish telling you guys how to use light and shadow first. Standing on the high folding climbing ladder. He felt the five pairs of big watery eyes below gazing at him in unison. Zhao Rin, who had been enjoying himself immensely just a moment ago, instantly became a bit embarrassed, as the eyes of the several girls had changed from adoration to gossip. No need no need, brother Rin, we've already understood. Seeing Ruyan Lu here, Huo Qingxian is unconsciously a bit jealous and looks disinterested as she says. Several students, my husband is a big old man after all, 
he might not speak thoroughly enough, let me help him out. The other three people Lu Ruyan didn't put it in her eyes, but this Wu Qingxian she won't take lightly. It seems that the plan to have Zhao Rin move to her side and live together is going to be on the agenda. Seeing Lu Ruyan so active, Zhao Rin does not matter. He is upright. It is hard not to be afraid of her not. So very cooperative from the climbing ladder down. Rin, are you free tonight? My mom told me to call you up for a casual dinner at home if I have the chance. Only the world is in chaos in general. Huo Qingxian glances at the smug Lu Ruyan. Although she doesn't know what's going on between the two. She just can't see Lu Ruyan with a condescending look. So she deliberately says, Ha, huh, calling me for dinner? Zhao Rin was dumbfounded. How did this suddenly come about? Yeah, my mom hasn't even thanked you properly for what happened last time. Huo Qingxian nodded and said with a frank face, What was that last time? Zhao Rin was even more confused. He hadn't done anything. What else could it be? It's that thing between us. Huo Qingxian deliberately confused the concept and said, Ah Rin, you and her? Hearing this, Lu Ruyan, whose character wasn't calm enough, really took the bait as she took a step out and stood in front of Huo Qingxian, and the atmosphere slowly began to become tense. No no, how could it be? Lu Ruyan, Zhao Rin was not afraid, but mainly on Mu Qingqing's side, it would be bad if the rumors spread over. He couldn't let the other party have a misunderstanding. M.S. Hua, you're still a college student. You can't talk nonsense about us socialites. Ruyan Lu reminded. All right then, next time then. Huo Qingxian sniffed and waved her hand indifferently. She was originally angry at Lu Ruyan, and now that her purpose has been achieved, the result doesn't matter. Hubby, isn't having Mu Qingqing and I enough? Why are you eating from the bowl and looking at the pot? Through the window of the office that was open towards the main road, Lu Ruyan watched the dripping that was carrying the four women slowly drive away and couldn't help but rant. No, Zhao Rin was a bit helpless. Was he that much of a scum? If there isn't, how could that Hua Qingxian say that? Lu Ruyan was clearly a bit dissatisfied with Zhao Rin's attitude and said with a beak, It's okay, you seem to be like this in the past. Looking at the other party's aggressive appearance, Zhao Rin couldn't help but remind, Going home at night? Lu Ruyan blanked Zhao Rin and softly said, Now this kind of boring question, she won't answer nah. It's hard to mend the relationship. If it's the same old story, won't it be embarrassing for everyone? I promised Qing Qing that I'd go back to the apartment to have dinner with her tonight. Zhao Rin scratched his head and said awkwardly, Accompany her, not me? Hearing this, Lu Ruyan was a little despondent. Why is it that after all this, she is still inferior to Mu Qing Qing? Be good, I'll accompany you during the day. Okay. Zhao Rin sniffed and felt his scalp tingle as he softly said, Can't you come home with me for dinner? My mom can look forward to you going back to keep her company every day. Lu Ruyan beamed and said, Obviously she was his proper wife. Why was she inferior to Mu Qingqing in every way? Is tomorrow okay? Hearing Ruyan Lu move out her mother, Zhao Rin said helplessly, That's what you said huh? Tomorrow you belong to me. Lu Ruyan wanted these words and immediately clapped her hands. How are you preparing for Long Yang Jun's contract? Zhao Rin took advantage of the situation to digress. This triangular relationship gave him a bit of a headache. Long Yang Jun? You mean that Wang Tung? Ruyan Lu pondered and said, and Zhao Rin nodded. Those tables, chairs and benches are good to get. We can directly bypass the middleman. Just cooperate with the manufacturers. Such a large amount. It is still very convenient. Ruyan Lu finished and paused. Apparently there were still some words left unfinished. Is it that tea time table that's the problem? Zhao Rin frowned. Unsure. Yes, the full version of the Bahua tea table. Recently the market is out of stock. As soon as we talked about work, Lu Ruyan's worries surged to her heart. She was also worried at this time. If she couldn't get the stuff when the time came, the business that came to her hand wouldn't be blown off. Okay, I'll figure this out. You take care of the other things first. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin nodded and instructed, while a hint of a different color flashed within his eyes. Okay, husband. Ruyan Lu nodded. After pacifying Lu Ruyan, Zhao Rin took a taxi back to the apartment. As soon as he opened the door of 201, he saw Mu Qingqing, who was wearing a housecoat and an apron, was catatonic and cleaning up. It couldn't be helped that because of the stress of work, most of the time these fitness equipments were here eating dust and had to be cleaned regularly. Ching Ching, how can you do this job? Seeing that the other party looked like a virtuous wife and mother, Zhao Rin hurriedly stepped forward and said, while reaching out to try to take the rag it was holding into her own hands, or else what? It's not like you're coming back, and you're still getting Ching Xuan's paycheck, so how can I do it if I don't work for you? Mu Ching Ching spat without a good mood. Hey, speaking of that, Ching Ching, I'm actually so lost, I don't know what I should do. 
Zhao Rin took the rag and wiped it while saying that he really didn't want to participate in the Lu family's affairs. Will you just help Ruyin to hold up the home company properly? It's better to be born than to be cooked. Instead of taking your own accumulation over the years and tossing it around outside, you might as well help Ruyin and make the home company bigger and stronger together. Mu Qingqing rubbed her small waist that was a little sore and spat out, smacking Zhao Rin for not knowing the blessings of being in the blessings, and selling her good behavior even after she got a bargain. I, I'm just bitter because I don't want to go. Zhao Rin said somewhat helplessly, what's so agonizing about this? When Uncle Lu left, he entrusted Ruyin them and the company to you. Not to mention that you let Ruyin eat the forgotten QQ candies, and she has her heart set on you. Mu Qingqing was disgusted, although Lu Ruyin did do wrong things, but that are in the past. Lin Ming have gone in to step on the sewing machine, and there is no point in caring about it anymore. Makes sense. Zhao Rin gave a Jabin-like expression, saying that, Zhao Rin stopped the work in his hands, and that salty pig hand unconsciously wrapped around Mu Qingqing's waist, just ready to make a move. Suddenly, I heard a voice behind me. Zhao Rin. You 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 you. Nagar. When did you get here? Zhao Rin sniffed and slowly turned around, his neck looking slightly stiff. Zhao Rin. I'm asking you to consider thinking about answering me. Not for you to use this as an excuse to drag me around and be with another woman behind my back. When Li Changdel spoke, her tone was very calm, but Zhao Rin keenly noticed her two tightly clenched fists and couldn't help but feel a little apprehensive. Dragged? No. Zhao Rin what have you done to Changdel? Upon hearing this, Mu Qingqing instantly quit. She sensitively extracted useful information from between the lines of Li Changdel's words, and shook off Zhao Rin's salty piggy hand that was wrapped around her waist her embroidered eyebrows frowning tightly as she asked, I didn't do anything, if you don't believe me, ask her, this this this, Zhao Rin was a bit speechless, he clearly didn't do anything, you didn't do anything, but you didn't say anything either, Li Changdel said as he leaned forward and closed the heavy entry door as soon as he could, lest he be overheard by the tenants going up and down the stairs, between you two, what exactly happened, Mu Qingqing still didn't quite understand, but she had figured out one thing, between these two, there must be something going on, or else Li Changdel wouldn't look like this. A few days ago, I confessed to him, hoping that he can be my Li Changdel's boyfriend. In the end is the vigilante, valiant, nature than the unusual girl is just straight some, Li Changdel without the slightest avoidance said. What? Hearing these words, Mu Qingqing instantly couldn't sit still and anger began to appear in her eyes as she looked at Zhao Rin. Not only that, I also brought him home to meet my mom and dad, they also like Zhao Rin very much. Hearing Li Changdel speak with such a big gasp, Zhao Rin only felt that his heart rate was getting faster and faster. If he was doing an electrocardiogram, he would have exploded the meter. There was no way, whose heart rate was always speeding up without bringing down. But I didn't say I was with you ah, and I didn't know beforehand that you brought me to meet your parents ah, I didn't even bring a gift. Zhao Rin sniffed and hurriedly stopped. Can't let Li Changdel say anymore. This person who hangs out in the Wuzhai field, this art of language can be played really skillfully. Obviously she said everything, and what she said was still the truth, but just by switching the order of her words, she said nothing, lightly causing a wave of hatred. If this comes with another wave of big gasps, Zhao Rin feels like she's going to be karma. Is that so? Changle. Mu Qingqing looked at Li Changle and confirmed. Yes. Li Changle nodded. He already has me. Mu Qingqing nodded and provocatively said as she pulled over Zhao Rin and took his hand and placed it on her waist. Li Changle's pupils shrunk. Her sight was nailed to the hand that Zhao Rin had wrapped around Mu Qingqing's waist. She didn't say anything, she just stood in the doorway so quietly. After a long while, seeing that Zhao Rin remained unmoved, without the slightest retention as well as hesitation, Li Changle closed his eyes and then opened them in the next second. I know. Only Li Changle said softly, then turned around, opened the door, and left, leaving Zhao Rin with a beautiful and determined back. Only no one could see a teardrop that Li Changle threw out when she turned around. Look, look, look. You're still looking. It was only until Li Changdel's back disappeared outside the door that Mu Qingqing, who had returned to her senses, smacked Zhao Rin's hand away and said in a very unhappy manner, just now, in order to let Li Changdel know what to do, she had allowed Zhao Rin's hand to be around her waist, letting him take great advantage of her. I didn't look. Under the pain, Zhao Rin immediately softened. Upstairs, a face of indifference Li Changdel, once back to the room, the cold expression instantly popped, accompanied by a bang sound. The room door closed at the same time, her eyes have been swirling tears, swish down, Zhao Rin, how could you do this to me, if you didn't like me, why didn't you tell me earlier, why didn't you stop me when I kissed you, strong character Li Changdel, this is the first time she moved, but did not expect the relationship has not yet begun, so the end.
She was still full of joy thinking that she would soon taste the sweet taste of love. Plopping down on the bed, Li Chang'o let out a loud cry until after his emotions were slowly vented. Then he laid down on the bed and fell into a deep sleep. While on the second floor, Zhao Rin was being stared at by Mu Qingqing, inquiring about the events of that day for a long time. I really don't know what to say. How about you change your name to Recruit Peach Blossom? Ruyan sighed and I are even. But you actually provoked Li Changdu again. Are you a teddy? Mu Qingqing said in a very depressed manner. She had thought that she was all this aggravated. Such things as two women serving one husband had come out, and now another girl had popped up. Accompanied by Mu Qingqing's flurry of spit, Zhao Rin was somewhat helpless and at the same time regretted why he hadn't made it clear earlier. Zhao Rin, let's forget about this today. We've already made it clear anyway. In the future, if you mess with another girl, I'll shave your family's second brother. Mu Qingqing paused, looked at Zhao Rin's crotch and gritted her teeth. At that moment, the computer's stereo suddenly sounded a drip 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 alarm, and the screen began to flash red. What's wrong? The sudden alarm caused Mu Qingqing to tremble and look at Zhao Rin in confusion. The wiring upstairs short-circuited, and the smoke alarm went off. Looking at the computer screen that keeps flashing red, Zhao Rin recalls those words that Huo Qingxian explained to him on the day he first came over, and his nerves immediately tense up as he says, while his hands move without stopping, and he quickly finds the floor where the fire started. Damn it, it's the fifth floor. Zhao Rin's cold sweat, swished down, and then he made a pass at the computer, and after making sure that there was no one in the elevator, he immediately stopped the elevator's operation. Ching Ching, you go downstairs first. Zhao Rin didn't think much about it and immediately ran to her room, grabbed the blanket that was placed on the bed, and after wetting it with water in the bathroom, she immediately rushed out, not allowed to go. At a glance at this situation, Mu Qingqing were willing and immediately blocked in front of Zhao Rin, opening her arms to stop it. Ching Ching, human lives are at stake. Stop it. Seeing this, Zhao Rin anxiously said, whether it was out of his duties as an administrator or his relationship with Li Changle, he had to go. I'm not making a scene. You're my man. I won't allow you to go. Mu Qingqing also said without budging. It's too late. You quickly go downstairs. Listening to the louder and louder sounds in his ears, Zhao Rin couldn't care about anything else anymore, and directly dodged, avoiding Mu Qingqing, and ran towards the upper floor, while not forgetting to tell her to go downstairs. Cough cough cough. The sleeping Li Changle was suddenly choked awake by a burst of violent smoke, looking at the flickering and jumping embers inside the doorway from time to time. It was only at this time that she reacted to the fact that there must be a fire outside. The smoke outside the door kept drilling into the room along the doorway. Li Changle only felt that his throat started to dry up and his vision started to blur, which is a typical symptom of carbon monoxide poisoning. What to do? Li Changle started to try and calm down. Glancing around, she planned to use the bedsheet to climb to the fourth floor. However, after she operated a bit, she realized that there was no place to fix the bedsheet. At this time, everything was too late. The smoke was getting more and more intense and the temperature was getting higher and higher. The blazing high temperature with a sickening odor kept drilling into Li Changle's nostrils, and then exploded inside her lungs, consuming all the oxygen inside her lungs that was already not much. Lying on the ground, avoiding the smoke that drifted upwards, Li Changle's brain kept running in thought, but unfortunately there were only two exits, one room door and one window. She didn't have that ability to go down to the fifth floor empty-handed. As time passed by, Li Changle's eyes gradually reddened and her eyes began to become lax, but she still gritted her teeth to maintain the last few moments of consciousness. With a bang, Li Changle lifted his head in a trance and vaguely saw a familiar figure appear in front of him. Changle Changle, don't be afraid, I'm coming. With his eyes dry to the point of pain Zhao Ren relied on his own memories to find Li Changle in a hard way. At this moment, Li Changle was already lying on the ground, in a trance. Don't be afraid. I'm coming. Zhao Rin squatted down and spread the blanket over Li Changle's body, then picked the person up in his arms, calling out her name over and over again. Rin, be careful. Because he had inhaled too much carbon monoxide and other toxic gases, Li Changle had already lost his consciousness semi-completely, only knowing that he had entered a warm embrace. Then a familiar figure hugged him and moved quickly, and finally said a sentence in a daze before he lost his consciousness completely and passed out. In the hospital ward, the unconscious Xiao Ren has been lying in bed for three whole days. If not for the heaving chest and the ECG that keeps beating on the screen, everyone would think that he has been that. In the other ward, the law-abiding security bureau chief, also known as Li Changdel's father, after receiving the news of his daughter's admission to the hospital, for the first time used the privileges in his hands to arrange the best medical conditions for his daughter. Doctor, how is he doing with my daughter? Li's father, who had been anxiously waiting by his daughter's side, looked at the doctor in charge and anxiously asked, Dear Oli, 
Don't worry, the patient is fine, just inhaled a little too much carbon monoxide, and has not yet come to his senses. Just now, a CT check has been arranged, there is no brain damage. Looking at the living big leader in front of him, the doctor barely kept his composure and said, Thank you doctor. Lee's father was relieved when he heard this and thanked him. No thanks, I'm going out now, call me if you need anything. The doctor nodded and excused himself and left. Dad. Mom. Why are you guys here? Coincidentally, at this time, Li Changle awoke. She only felt that her throat was terribly dry. As if she was swallowing knives with every word, she forced herself to ask, It wasn't you? As soon as I heard that you were hospitalized, I was so scared that your mother and I immediately came to the hospital. Seeing their daughter awakening, Father Li and Mother Li were instantly relieved, sitting on the edge of the bed and looking at her with a concerned expression. I, I'm fine. How is Rin doing? I remember he didn't it was him who saved me and put a wet blanket over my body. As Li Changle slowly came to her senses, her memories gradually awakened, and she remembered very clearly the image of Zhao Rin rushing in defiantly, then wrapping her in a wet blanket, and then rushing out recklessly. He's still recuperating. When you're better, I'll take you to see him. Hearing his daughter's voice, Father Li and Mother Li glanced at each other. Both of their eyes flashed a trace of color at the same time. Then Father Li opened his mouth to pacify. Yeah, Changle, take a good rest. Other than that, don't worry about it for now. Mother Li could only say stiffly. She couldn't tell her daughter now about Zhao Rin's unconsciousness and severe burns on her back. Mom and Dad, are you still trying to lie to me? What's wrong with Rin? Seeing his parents flickering words and evasive eyes. As a police academy graduate and vigilante, Li Changle immediately realized that something was wrong. And instantly panicked, asking eagerly. He he he. He's a good boy. I'm relieved to leave you in his hands. Lee's father sighed and spoke in a low tone. What's wrong with him? Seeing Lee's father look downcast, Lee Changle's heart first thumped, followed by boundless fear began to attack. The feeling of palpitations, so that she felt breathless, almost did not pass out. Could it be that Rin he 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 he? The more Lee Changle spoke, the more scared he became, and in the end, his tongue directly tied up, never daring to say the words that followed. Cho, he, let you have the wet blanket. Then while carrying you down the stairs, he got hit in the back by something falling from the stairwell and was burned from shoulder to thigh by the burning hot stuff. Severe burns. It's still in the ICU now. Looking at his daughter's worried appearance, how could Lee's father not know that after this incident, his daughter had already fallen in love with the other party, and said with a sigh, the word severe burns in ICU transformed into an invisible hand that ruthlessly pinched Lee Changle's heart, and the intense pain made her pass out once again. In the ICU. Zhao Rin lay in the ICU for seven whole days, and only then did he turn critical and was transferred to the general ward. Lu Ruyan and Mu Qingqing were sitting on both sides of the hospital bed, looking at Zhao Rin who was lying on the bed with a worried face, not knowing what to do. Knock, knock, knock. Just then, a knock sounded on the door, and the two of them glanced at each other before Ruyan Lu got up and walked to the door of the hospital room and opened it. Huo Qing Xian, you still have the face to come. As soon as she opens the door, Lu Ruyan sees Hua Qingxuan's pretty face full of worry, and immediately raises her willow eyebrows, furious, and says without a trace of anger, I I I I, I came to see brother Rin. Seeing Lu Ruyan's angry appearance, Hua Qingxian didn't get angry. She lowered her head with an ashamed face and said with a very sincere attitude, there's no need for you to pretend to sympathize, you've caused him to be like this. Lu Ruyan said angrily with tears rolling straight from her eyes, the report from our public security bureau has already come out. It was someone upstairs who illegally took the lithium battery of a convertible electric car upstairs, resulting in a burst of flame due to the high temperatures caused by overcharging. Just as what Qing Shen shrugs her head and prepares to leave, Li Changle's voice rings out from behind her, relieving her in time. Sister Changle, you, you're fine. Hearing the familiar voice, Huo Qing Xuan's tightly frowned brows instantly loosened, turning her head to look at the pale Li Changle in front of her and said cheerfully, Don't be afraid. I'm fine. None of this has anything to do with you. It's the tenant. Li Changle looked at the haggard Hua Qingxian in front of him, his heart filled with heartache. So he softly said, So what? The building is hers. So I'm looking for her. Hearing this, Lu Ruyan is still indignant. In fact, she knows in her heart that this matter doesn't have much to do with Hua Qingxian. It's just that she can't let go of this breath in her heart. Okay, Ruyan, is it meaningful to talk about responsibility now? Looking at the meaningless argument at the door, Mu Qingqing couldn't bear it and opened her mouth. If she had a choice, she would rather her man be safe and sound. Humph. Lu Ruyan cuts Hua Qingxian a fierce glance, then snorts coldly, turns around and sits back beside Zhao Rin, looking with a worried face at Zhao Rin on the hospital bed. 
who was wrapped up in three circles inside and three outside. Did the doctor say when Rin he will wake up? Li Changdel asked as she slowly walked into the hospital room, her eyes never leaving Zhao Rin on the hospital bed. I don't know. As soon as Zhao Rin was mentioned, Lu Ruyan's tears instantly came down. How could this man be so stupid? Wouldn't he run away on his own? I heard that a Rin he was heavily burned and had a high fever at night. Li Changdel looked at Zhao Rin who was wrapped in gauze on the hospital bed. His heart was hard to bear and said in a low tone, Li Changdel, remember to take care of yourself. I don't want the person that Arin risked his life to save to be decrepit. Looking at the light inside Li Changdel's eyes gradually dimming, Mu Qingqing could no longer hold back her inner excitement and interrupted her. If Arin he falls behind because of this, I, I'll take care of him for the rest of his life. Li Changdel pretended not to hear the other party's warning and spoke to herself, and as she spoke these tears fell. Li Changdel, that's enough from you. Arin is my husband. Qing Qing's man, he has the two of us to take care of him. What are you blindly getting involved in? Lu Ruyan was not happy and immediately spoke out to retort. You, what are you guys arguing about? Just as both sides were at swords drawn, Zhao Rin's weak voice rang out. Changel, as you can see, I already have Ruyan and Qingqing Qing by my side. A real scum. In the hospital room, looking at Li Changel who was looking at him with affection in front of him, Zhao Rin preferred that he didn't wake up and said with a bitter face, it's not like it's a big deal, just pretend I don't exist. After hearing this, Li Changdel replied with a face full of indifference. Hey, this this this, it's not appropriate. You're a Hongzhou police flower. The jewel of the chief of public security. I'm not worthy of you. Looking at the other party's oil and salt, Zhao Rin looked very headachy. Whether it's worthy or not, I'll decide. Li Changdel directly ignored the other party's statement, then handed over the peeled apple in his hand. Thank you, MS. Li, we too will take care of Rin, so we don't need you to worry about it. You are not yet healed, so it's better to go back and recuperate. Right at this moment, suddenly a snow white jade hand reached out and picked up the apple with one hand, while saying with an icy tone, Ching Ching, I just want to take care of Rin. If it wasn't for me, he wouldn't have gotten into this situation. Li Changdel sniffed and shrugged his head, asking in a low tone, Nagar, go back and rest. I have thick skin. It's okay. Zhao Rin looked at Li Changdel, who was wearing a hospital gown in front of him, and after thinking about it, he still softly persuaded her that he saved her. It's not like he had other intentions. Sigh. Then Rin. You have a good rest. Li Changdel just stood quietly and listened to Zhao Rin. His face didn't know what kind of expression he had. He just answered silently in the end. Then turned around and walked towards the outside of the hospital room. Rin. I did it all willingly. Before Li Changdel left, he directly chose to show his heart. Alas. I say Zhao Rin. Why don't you just change your name to inviting peach blossoms? Looking at Li Changdel's lonely back in the hospital corridor, Mu Qingqing sighed and turned back, tensing her face towards Zhao Rin and said without a trace of anger, I, Zhao Rin was instantly filled with black lines, and just as he was about to reply, he saw the nurse pushing a cart with medicines in it, patient, it's time to change the medicine, the little nurse looked at the two super beautiful women in the ward and said stiffly, there was no way, this super high face value made her a little stressed, ah Rin, bear with it. Hearing that the medicine was going to be changed, Lu Ruyan and Mu Qingqing instantly tensed up because it was too painful. So they softly said, It's okay, it's okay. Zhao Rin looked at the bottles and jars on the cart and said, barely keeping her composure, before plopping down on the hospital bed very cooperatively. Coincidentally at this time, Li Changdel went and returned, and witnessed the scene of Zhao Rin changing the medicine. The back was full of reddish new flesh. The nurse was carefully unraveling the gauze on the surface. A carelessness. The flesh buds and gauze adhering to each other was torn apart, followed by a blood and flesh confusion. Li Changdel instantly covered her mouth as she almost cried out, because she saw Zhao Rin lying on the hospital bed, her entire body shivering in pain, while her back was dripping with blood, showing the depth of this pain. Five short minutes, as if five bells had passed, Zhao Rin's face was white as a sheet on the bed, her body shaking slightly, obviously enduring the severe pain in Keiko. Rin, I love you. When she saw the scene, Li Changdel's heartstrings were plucked hard, she was touched hard, at this moment she was firm in her heart, she wanted to be with Zhao Rin, time passed like this, day by day, and Zhao Rin slowly recovered, on this day, the wind and the sun were beautiful, and accompanied by Lu Ruyan, Zhao Rin sat in a wheelchair, pushed by Lu Ruyan, and came out into the corridor, Ruyan, hasn't there been anything going on at the company lately, I see that the time you spend in the hospital every day is more than the time you spend at work, Warm sunlight sprinkled on his body. A long-lost sense of relaxation and comfort appeared. Comfortable Zhao Rin half squinted his eyes and opened his mouth. Eh, 
There's nothing going on in the company. As long as the sales team is functioning normally, I'll save a lot of effort. Upon hearing this, Ruyan Lu's face changed. Then she opened her mouth. By the way, Wang Tung's contract, how is it done? I've been in the hospital for almost half a month now. Why haven't I heard you talk about it? While conversing, Zhao Rin's mind suddenly remembered the matter of Wang Tang's million dollar contract and asked curiously, This, Rin, you should leave it alone and get well at ease. Hearing this, Lu Ruyan's face changed and she began to weigh her words, trying to digress from the topic. What's wrong? Has something changed? At those words, Zhao Rin couldn't help but frown, and an ominous premonition arose in his heart. Ba Wamu, haven't found it yet. Looking at Zhao Rin's frown, Lu Ruyan didn't dare to hide it and opened her mouth. How is this possible? Zhao Rin was a bit incredulous, a manufacturer that had cooperated for many years. It was impossible not to supply a that side said that the production capacity is tight right now. There is no way to supply us. Lu Ruyan shook her head. She also had a headache over this matter in the past few days. But she didn't know if it was an agreement. She called and asked all over. None of the manufacturers were willing to take this order. Do you have Wang Tang's number? There's not much time left. I need to talk to him about this matter. Zhao Rin sat in her wheelchair and thought for a while before speaking. Okay, wait. I have it in my cell phone. Seeing this, Ruyan Lu didn't dare to refute and said as she took out her cell phone and dialed Wang Tang's number. Hey, Mr. Lu, has my order been completed? The call was immediately picked up after only two seconds had passed since it was dialed. Wang Tang, it's me, Zhao Rin said in a low voice. Rin, there are so many people here. Do you think Wang Tang will really come? In Hangdi University, Lu Ruyan held Zhao Rin's arm. Looking at the black pressurized piece of heads in front of her, she said with some uncertainty, definitely will come the heir of the hallowed 10 billion group. What's the point of playing with us? Zhao Rin sniffed and said with conviction. Only what he was puzzled about was why Wang Tang had to come to Hangzhou University to participate in this What's Her Name design exhibition. Couldn't it be that this was to select designers for Wang's group? Well, don't mention him. Let's stroll around. If we come across suitable designers, we can also recruit them to the company. Nowadays the home market, especially the high-end home market, isn't it all about a match? Thinking of this, Zhao Rin smiled and digressed. He planned to find some fresh blood for the company. Ha, huh, hubby, take a look at this space design and the color matching. How is it? Just as the two of them were talking, Lu Ruyan's line of sight landed on an exhibition product not far away. The unique color and light matching immediately attracted her attention. Well, it's really good, eh? Following the other party's gaze, Zhao Rin also revealed a surprised smile. The design matched well. Brother Rin, you're out of the hospital. Just then, a familiar voice came from behind them, and the duo's footsteps gave a lurch for it, then turned around, followed by a surprised expression. Wang Tung? You you you, why are you two staying together? Looking at Wang Tung, who was dressed in a suit, and Hua Qingxian, who was standing beside him in a professional outfit, Zhao Rin was dumbfounded as to how these two stayed together. My mom is his aunt, don't you think? Hua Qingxian said with a surprised look on her face. It seemed that Zhao Rin being discharged from the hospital made her very happy. No wonder, Wang Tung, you would ask me to come to Ri to see some exhibition, so that's what it means. Zhao Rin nodded and said in a sudden realization, so you guys are cousins, I heard that you were hospitalized a while ago to recuperate? Wang Tung said with a smile, small matter, small matter, let's talk about the contract first. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin calmly waved her hand before speaking, the contract is not in a hurry, which part of the process did you guys go wrong? Wang Tang said carelessly. It is that Bahua with solid wood tea table. I contacted several factories, either beauty this material, or refused to supply me. This is not the time limit specified in the contract is coming up, so I came to discuss with you. Can I send you the other things first, or take the tea table out of the contract first, so as not to delay your time? There's no harm in this. You can send the other things. I've already given the address to Mr. Lu. Hearing this, Wang Tang waved his hand indifferently and said, All right then. I'll go back and have Ruyan arrange for delivery, Zhao Rin said with a smile. Oh right, Qing Xian, how have you been lately? Has the fifth floor been redecorated? Zhao Rin looked at Hua Qing Xian as she looked like she was about to speak, and opened her mouth to ask. It's fine, with me, Wang Tang, this is all trivial. Hearing this, Wang Tang immediately took over and said. That's true. Seeing this, Zhao Rin didn't want to ask anything more. After all, as long as the person was fine, nothing else mattered. By the way, you guys are in soft furnishings, help my cousin to see, how is this color matching level of hers? Seeing that the topic was a bit heavy, 
Wang Tang immediately digressed and pointed to the exhibition. H.M. Xing Xian, this is your work? Looking at the exhibit in front of him, Zhao Rin was instantly dumbfounded. He didn't think that Huo Qingxian would have such a high level of talent, using a few pieces of cloth and a few rays of light to match up such a perfect piece, but he remembered very clearly that he had only shown her the soft furnishing showroom ah. That's right, don't look at who I am, a senior from Hangzhou University all right, Huo Qingxian said very proudly. Just then, Zhao Rin's cell phone rang, he glanced at it and saw that it was Li Changgul calling, so he immediately picked it up. Hey, Nagar, Rin, where are you now? Is it in Hangzhou University? On the phone, Li Changdel didn't talk much and directly opened the door. Yeah, what's wrong? Zhao Rin said with some doubt. Did something happen again? Do you recognize Wang Tong? Li Changdel continued to ask. Recognize, he's still with me now. What's wrong? Zhao Rin was even more puzzled. We have received information that a group of robbers have blended into Hang University and want to kidnap Wang Tang. You guys take Wang Tang away immediately, Li Changdel said anxiously. All right. I'll take him away immediately. After saying that, not even bothering to hang up the phone, Zhao Rin immediately opened his mouth to ask Wang Tang to leave immediately. You're in a big, big mess. Someone wants to kidnap. After saying these words, Wang Tang's face changed greatly, hurriedly calling out to each other for his bodyguards, only to find that at some point, there was a circle of people around him who didn't seem to be good people, and they surrounded him. Crap. Looking at the strangers around him who were slowly narrowing the encirclement, Zhao Rin inwardly cursed. Don't panic. Let's pretend we don't know. There are so many people here. They don't want things to get out of hand. Wang Tung, who was worthy of being the richest man in the world, instead calmed down at this time, with a faint smile on his face. While stabilizing the crowd to keep everyone calm, he began to call out to his several bodyguards. It was a pity that Wang Tang's bodyguards were no longer on the scene. This could only mean one thing. The other party had already made sufficient preparations. And under Wang Tang's complete ignorance, he had silently taken care of several of his bodyguards. Looking at the more and more narrowed circle, the whole situation began to become tense. Spare the usual storm Wang Tang, at this time also smelled the breath of danger. He was a little afraid to imagine, if he was kidnapped, the whole Yongchang Wang group, will face what kind of wind and waves. Just in the nick of time, there was a sudden pop sound, and the entire exhibition hall lost power, instantly dimmed. The sudden scene immediately caused panic among the crowd. The crowd that was busy began to leave in all directions, and some people felt out their cell phones and turned on the flash of their cell phones and began to feel their way through the large venue, intending to leave before they said anything. A heavenly opportunity ah, Zhao Rin decisively seized the opportunity, whispered a run ah, then decisively in one direction, running wildly, of course, also did not forget to drag on the Lu Ruyan. Fortunately, the four people just came closer, otherwise if you shouted a voice. I believe that 9 times out of 10 will cause panic, and finally triggered a stampede. At this time, Wang Tang was no fool, how could he let go of such a heavenly opportunity? As soon as he heard Zhao Rin's voice, he immediately grabbed Huo Qingxuan's hand and also ran wildly in one direction, quickly running away from the exhibition venue. After running out, Wang Tang didn't make any stops and pulled Huo Qingxian to the parking lot without stopping, but it was just a pity that they still didn't have enough experience. When Wang Tang pulled out the car keys and was ready to get into the car, he saw how a few people appeared by his side. Good calculation. Looking at a few big men with bodies as strong as oxen, Wang Tang bitterly smiled and shook his head, directly giving up resistance, because he knew that he had to resist, purely in vain. Let her go. This matter has nothing to do with her. Wang Tang gave a wink towards Hua Qingxian, imploring her to keep quiet before he then spoke. Mr. Wang, do you think this is still your company? What do you say? Unexpectedly, in the next second, the kidnapper leader's words made the two of them reveal expressions of despair. What exactly do you guys want? Wang Tang said as he barely kept his composure. This doesn't need to be labored over by Mr. Wang. We, ah, just need to use Mr. Wang to exchange for one of our own brothers. We guarantee that we won't touch a single hair of your sweat. And this beautiful woman, come along too. We just need to trade for someone else. We are not lustful or greedy for money. Don't worry about it. The masked leader smiled sorrowfully, then waved his big hand, and a seven-seater van immediately drove over. This meaning was already obvious. Xing Xian, I've really tired you out. A bitter smile spread across Wang Tang's face as he glanced at Huo Qing Xian by his side, looking very apologetic. It's fine, cousin. Huo Qing Xian lightly smiled and shook her head. When Zhao Ren pulled Lu Ruyan to safety, he then reacted to the fact that the two of them had gotten lost with Wang Tang and Huo Qing Xian. Damn it. Zhao Ren cursed. It just so happened that at this time, 
Li Changles called, wanting to confirm Wang Tang's well-being with him and telling them to immediately find a place to hide and wait for their people from the security bureau to come over. After hearing this, Zhao Rin froze, before he stammered and told the other party the truth. You, hey, on the phone, Li Changle looked a bit helpless and sighed helplessly. Zhao Rin was also feeling very embarrassed. He also didn't expect to get lost just this little distance away. It's fine. Wait until we arrive first. Li Changle gently sighed and said. At this time, her mood was also very complicated. One was a public matter. The other was a private matter. The public matter was that Wang Tang was probably kidnapped. And the private matter was that Zhao Rin was safe and sound. How good it would have been if both were going in a good direction. At this time, Li Changle looked up and just happened to see a somewhat rusty gold cup van on the opposite side of the road passing opposite to their car. Out of habit, Li Changle instinctively glanced toward the driver. Only one glance. A strong sense of discomfort instantly came to life. A woman's sixth sense told her. This big gold cup inside. There must be a little different. Turn around and chase after them. After Li Changle did a little thinking, he decided to chase after it immediately and opened his mouth. Sister Lu, what's the point of going after them? The driver in charge of the car somewhat didn't quite understand. Don't ask so many questions. Go after them immediately. Too late to explain. Li Changle suddenly increased his voice and said, Okay, okay, okay. Seeing this, the small police officer driving the car immediately nodded. And with a burst of maneuvering of his hands and feet, as soon as he turned the front of the car around, he began to chase towards the gold cup car. Facts prove that Li Changle's sixth sense was indeed correct. Big brother, that police car behind us is chasing over. The kidnapper driving the car glanced at the rearview mirror, in which a police car appeared, and immediately reported. So fast? Hongzhou is a big city after all. These cops' noses are as sharp as a dog's. Upon hearing this, the bandit leader froze and said with some surprise, Big brother, what should we do? A few junior brothers said, Speed up and see if we can get rid of them. The bandit leader looked at the two of them, Wang Tang and Hua Qingxin, who were tied up in the third row, fought for a moment and spoke. Big brother, why don't we use the AK? It has such a fierce firepower. It can definitely slow them down. A junior brother spoke up at this time. The moment this sentence was heard, it was the kind of thing that only someone with a developed limb and a simple mind would say. Did you get your brain caught in a door? Or was last night's thigh pinned to the brain? When the gun goes off, do you think we can still leave? When the bandit leader heard this, he immediately chided. This is not a foreign country. These few guys and bullets of ours. How much effort we wasted to get here. You don't know ah. After a flurry of temper, the driver in charge of the car immediately kicked the floorboards. And the engine, with a loud roar, surprisingly pulled away from the police car. Sister Lu, why don't we call for backup? And have the brothers from the traffic police team use road surveillance to keep an eye on them. The junior police officer in charge of driving said. All right. You stay close, I'll call for backup now. Li Changle sniffed and nodded. So he immediately pulled out his cell phone and started calling for support from his superiors. Soon, with the assistance of the surveillance system, Li Changle locked the direction of the gold cup van. Why is it there again? Looking at the real-time feedback from the traffic police team, Li Changle immediately frowned. Looking at the direction of the gold cup car, Li Changle's heart immediately sprouted an ominous premonition. Because the place where this group of robbers went to was exactly the same piece of rotten building where Yang Yu was arrested last time. Sister Lu, what's wrong with the rotten building? The small police officer driving the car said in confusion. It's okay, you drive your car. I'll call for backup first. In the car, Li Changdel decided to follow him after thinking about it for a long time. After all, duty calls for no choice. On the other hand, Zhao Rin brought Lu Ruyan back to the company, but his eyelids kept jumping all over the place making him very uneasy in this heart. Rin, what's wrong with you? Looking at Zhao Rin's fidgety appearance, Lu Ruyan was a bit puzzled. I don't know. It's just that I feel like my eyelids are jumping straight up, and the whole thing is unbearable. Zhao Rin sniffed and shook his head, somewhat bewildered, because even he himself didn't know why this was. Anyway, it was just unbearable. Because of that Hua Qingxian and Wang Tang thing, Lu Ruyan was a bit tasteless. This scumbag, who had two women, herself and Mu Qingqing, was still so capable of attracting peach blossoms, not only was he cheating with that what's his name Li Changle, but even with Hua Qingxian, the second generation of the house, which made her very upset. Yeah, Zhao Rin didn't hold back and admitted it directly and frankly. At that moment, the feeling of uneasiness in his heart grew stronger and stronger, and he couldn't hold it down any longer. No, I have to go out and take a look. Without hesitation, Zhao Rin grabbed the car keys on the table and was about to go out. On the other hand, with the help of the traffic police team's sky-eye surveillance system, 
Li Changle called for support while chasing after him, and surprisingly managed to catch up before any of the support could arrive. Boss, that police car is chasing after us. The junior brother in the car who was in charge of driving the car, looked at the left side rearview mirror, which reflected the reflection of the police car that Li Changle was in, so he hurriedly reported to his boss. Damn. Whatever. You two keep an eye on the two of them. The rest of you copy me. Damn it. The boss cursed, then silently picked up the AK and turned on the safety. He knew that today his plan was a bust. Not only was it a bust, but it had also attracted the attention of the police. And now it was no longer a question of hostage exchange, but a question of whether or not he would be able to leave safely. In the next second, as the windows on both sides of the car opened, the blackened muzzles of the two AKs were instantly aimed at Lee Changle's car. Immediately after, as the robbers pulled the trigger, two long tongues of fire began to fly in the air, accompanied by the sound of da 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 The ferocious firepower immediately suppressed the speed of Li Changle's car. Fortunately, this area is relatively remote. Otherwise, it is really easy to cause major casualties. In this way, the sudden firepower successfully stopped Li Changle's police car. The car's patients can only look at the front of the gold cup car rode away, driving further and further away. Sister Lu, what do we dare to do? On the driver's seat, the small police officer's face was white and shocked, obviously scared by the danger just now and still not back to his senses. Go after them, and when the support arrives, fuck his press, Li Changle exploded and said, accompanied by a clatter a sharp sound of brakes. Zhao Rin drove the car, hard to stop the robber's car, let's see which one is not afraid of death. The robbers saw that their car was forced to stop, and immediately became anxious and angry, and as soon as the car door opened, they immediately wanted to come down and fire towards Zhao Rin. Seeing this scene, Zhao Rin couldn't help but get a little flustered, so he slammed his foot on the gas, and with a high-pitched engine roar, the front end of the car lurched out. With a bang, the two cars crashed hard into each other, except that one hit the front and the other the side. The gold cup immediately aside overturned over, along with the immediately about to get off a few robbers were also fell to the ground. Taking advantage of this, Zhao Rin heavily stepped on the gas again, which scared these robbers. With such a delay, Li Changle's car also rushed up in time. With a wave of his hand, all the people in the car got out of the car and quickly surrounded it, and what was supposed to be a thrilling criminal case was solved in such a dogged way. Brother Rin, thank you so much. After being rescued, although Wang Tang's face was a bit pale, his entire body had completely recovered its sanity, and when he saw Zhao Rin, he couldn't help but smile and say, You are my big customer. I have to protect you. Zhao Rin also responded without caring. Only this back was blown by the wind so ah, uh, it was really cool. Ah uh, Rin, thank you. Hua Qingxian also took the initiative to come up at this time, saying thanks. Are your injuries important? Looking at the abrasions on the two of them, Zhao Rin was a little embarrassed to say that he had just toppled the gold cup car that the others were sitting in in a moment of haste. It's fine. It's fine. It's better than being kidnapped by them. Wang Tang laughed and said, not forgetting to wave his hand, signaling that he was fine. Ah uh, Rin. You can't do this kind of thing from now on you know? This is too dangerous. After handcuffing all the kidnappers, Li Changle was sort of relieved and hurriedly put away the pistol in his hand, walked over to Zhao Rin's side and said with a puff of air, Aye it's just a coincidence. Seeing Li Changle's puffed up appearance, Zhao Rin said somewhat less kindly, Coincidence? Is there such a coincidence? In the middle of nowhere? And you just happened to stop? Li Changle said without any good humor, My speed isn't even as fast as yours. I followed the short videos all the way here and the internet is bursting with little videos. Zhao Rin scratched his head, embarrassed. A little video? Really? Li Changle said suspiciously. I can lie to you? You have the heaven's eye system, but it can't withstand the real-time updates from the majority of netizens. Zhao Rin said and pulled out his cell phone. Hoomph, count your luck. Taking over the cell phone and swiping several videos in one breath, Li Changle then dispelled the suspicion in his heart and said in a good-natured manner, wait for my co-workers to arrive first before you guys leave. Rin's car is also smashed. Glancing at his cell phone, Li Changle opened his mouth. It's okay. Zhao Rin glanced at the front end of his battered car and nodded heartily. Aya, brother, don't worry about things that can be solved with money. I'll call back and get you a new car. Seeing Zhao Rin's distressed look, Wang Tang said unconcernedly. You kid, you're really my little blessing. TSK, TSK, such a big case was solved by you with such a bump. At the security bureau, Li's father who still had a headache on his face. At this time, looked at Zhao Rin, who was sitting across from him, and was already full of smiles. Dear Oli, you should stop poking fun at me. I'm still scared to this day. Hearing the derisive tone in the other party's words, 
Zhao Ren honestly said that when he saw the guy in the other party's hand, his face gave way to white with fear. Tell me honestly, are you worried about Changle? That's why you're playing with your life so much? Father Li's eyes, which had gone through many vicissitudes of life, flickered, and his pair of tiger eyes stared firmly at Zhao Rin, as if he wanted to see through him. Would you believe me if I said otherwise? Zhao Rin smiled bitterly. What do you say? Upon hearing this, Li's father immediately revealed an expression that seemed like a smile as he looked at Zhao Rin and said, All right, all right, I'm not going to tease you anymore. Anyway, ah, uh, I won't stop you from what you and Changle are doing. You guys can see for yourselves. Young people have young people's own ideas. But I only have one sentence. You don't need to do that to Changle. I don't want her to be a grandfather before she's even married. Li father's words, straight to the point. This is also his father's love for his daughter. Eh, dear Oli, don't worry. Zhao Rin sniffed, and immediately became a bit helpless. Where is this all going on? This situation now. He's annoyed to death. How can he be in that mood? All right, the formalities are all done. You can get the hell out of here, but for the sake of your personal safety, I'll hide that part of you. Who knows if those bandits still have any accomplices around. After hearing Zhao Rin's personal assurance, Father Li immediately waved his hand, signaling that he could leave, while instructing, Thank you, dear O Li. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin immediately understood and arched his hand in thanks. Just as he opened the door, Zhao Rin saw a burly man standing in the doorway, and the two of them hit the ground running. Out of politeness, Zhao Rin smiled, then sidestepped and left Father Li's office. This person, how does he look so much like him? At the entrance of Father Li's office, the man looked at Zhao Rin's fading back and muttered, just now the stunning glance, really the man was shocked, and even for a moment, he thought it was the one who had arrived in person, if not a head full of green silk, a head full of white hair, he almost couldn't help but hit the salute. Yo, Tai Z, you came, really sorry ah, let you run this trip for nothing originally thought that there will inevitably be a vicious battle it, also want you and you your men to help, did not expect that actually just so wrong to solve the problem, seeing the silhouette at the door, Lee's father hurriedly stood up and greeted him with a big smile, brother Lee, you are too polite, it is my responsibility to protect the lives and property of the common people, upon hearing this, the man immediately replied, all right, all right, we're all our own people, so don't be too outgoing, we haven't seen each other for so long, how about we go to my house today, let your sister-in-law cook a few dishes, and we'll find a place to have a good drink and catch up? Father Lee waved his hand and said with a smile, Brother Lee, there's no rush on this, who was that young man just now, do you recognize him? The man known as Tai Zi finally found the words to ask the question in his heart, did you say Zhao Rin? He's my daughter, your niece's sweetheart yet, just now I specifically called him over to chat for a few moments. Upon hearing this, Father Lee immediately explained, but he chose to conceal other things about Zhao Rin. Brother Li, where does his family live? Is there anyone else in the family? Tai Zi listened, frowned and thought, and opened his mouth to ask, what are you doing? Checking the family register? He's an orphan, growing up in an orphanage as a child. Father Li looked at this old comrade of his in a strange manner, and although he was puzzled in his heart, he still truthfully told Zhao Rin's situation. An orphan? Could he really be? After listening to Li's father's words, Tai Zi fell into deep thought. Suddenly, a thought flashed through his mind, and then his eyes instantly widened. What is he really? Seeing the strange way his old comrade suddenly stared with wide eyes, Lee's father was even more puzzled. Brother Lee, take a look. This is what that person looked like when he was young. And look at that Zhao Rin. Upon hearing this, Tai Zi couldn't explain it clearly, then immediately took out his cell phone from his clothes pocket, then tapped on a photo and pointed at the person on it and said, How is it possible? With just one glance, Lee's father was dumbfounded, if not for the fact that the background of the photo appeared to be from the 70s or 80s, he would have suspected if it was spoofed, although he hadn't been able to stay in the army due to his own transfer, that one's deeds were as good as thunder, I heard that that one had spent some time in Hangzhou in the second millennium, when that one was 35 years old, looking at that young man's appearance, he's only in his 20s, and the time is right, the more Tai Zi spoke, the more excited he became, well, we're the only ones who know about this now, you go and inform that person immediately, and leave the rest to me. Duro Li immediately waved his hand and made an immediate decision. Good. Excitement flowed out of Tai Zi's eyes. Yen Jing, a sanatorium with a beautiful view. Chief, we have received news from Hong Zhou. A man with snow white hair was sitting quietly, his entire face expressionless, with no ripples in his eyes, until his own guards hurriedly ran over to report the situation to him. Then he raised his eyelids. Just a few minions, do you need to report to me specifically? 
A hint of displeasure appeared on the man's unperturbed face. Chief, Officer Tai said that he wants to speak to you personally. The guard held the satellite phone in his hand and spoke. Good. The man nodded, then reached for the phone. Chief, I found a young man in Hangzhou who looks just like you when you were young. On the phone, Tai Zi told what he had witnessed with his own eyes. What did you say? Hang City. The man who originally had a calm face immediately whitened his eyes, his pupils narrowing slightly. Obviously this news seemed too unbelievable for him. Yes, the photos have gone over, but because it was so sudden, there wasn't time to take a picture, but rather a screenshot of the surveillance video. Tai Z responded. Good. First, let me see. The man's face regained its composure once more, and his eyes began to look inward. With that, his hand reached out, and the guards, who had already been ready, immediately handed over the tablet. Although the photo had been technically processed, it still had a slight blur. However, this did not hinder the man's judgment. Just saw his finger slowly traced over the screen, enlarged the photo another round, just one glance. He knew that the boy in the photo was his lost child. So back then, she really didn't lie to me. She was pregnant with my child. The man's thoughts went back to more than 20 years ago, and all of a sudden he burst into old tears. Chief, Chief, are you all right? The guard who had followed the man for many years was instantly dumbfounded. This was the first time he had seen this steel like hero shed tears. It's okay, pass on my order. Prepare the airplane immediately. I'm going to Hangzhou. I'm going to see my son. The man wiped a tear from his eye and then gave the order. As his order was issued, the relevant units began to operate quickly. This scene, naturally, could not be hidden from the dignitaries of Yinjing. Large and small powerful bigwigs immediately received the wind. This man who had been living in seclusion in the sanatorium for many years suddenly had to leave Yinjing to go to Hangzhou. What exactly had happened there? It is worth him, the number one person in the military, to make such a big fuss. On the other end, Zhao Rin, who had no knowledge of what was going on in the far north, looked at the several girls of national colors in front of him and felt his scalp go numb. Aside from Lu Ruyan, who had already had skin-to-skin -skin contact, Mu Qingqing, there was also Li Changle. The three women were looking at Zhao Rin with a puff of air, making him feel a bit suffocated. Hey, I, I've only just gotten back from the sheriff's office not too long ago, can you let me get some sleep? This thing is scaring me to death. Zhao Rin said stiffly, sleep sleep sleep, you still have the nerve to talk about sleep. Together, teach the scummy man a good lesson. Unexpectedly, Zhao Rin didn't say anything, but as soon as he spoke, the furious Mu Qingqing immediately rolled up her sleeves and rushed over. Her right hand pinched the soft flesh of Zhao Rin's waist, and then made a 90 degree turn. Hiss, hiss, pain, pain, gently gently gently. Zhao Rin opened his mouth to beg for mercy while enduring the pain in his waist. You're not alone now, okay? What would you have us do if anything happened to you? How can we live the rest of our lives? Mu Qingqing didn't care and rushed at Zhao Rin with a flurry of output. On the other hand, Li Changle, who was on the side, silently closed the entry door to room 201 lest the others hear something they shouldn't. Changle, you're a vigilante. Analyze the pros and cons with this comrade properly. Is this the time to show off your courage? After cleaning up Zhao Rin, Mu Qingqing crossed her arms and opened her mouth towards Li Changle. Yes, if it's not you, is it me? The three of us sisters all like him, but him, he does things recklessly and doesn't think about us at all. Mustn't let him get through this so lightly. Mu Qingqing said, when these words came out, not only Zhao Rin was dumbfounded, Li Changle was also dumbfounded. Polygamy. Mu Qingqing actually agreed to Zhao Rin opening a harem? What are you guys waiting for? This colorful pig. Teach him a good lesson. When the atmosphere changed, Mu Qingqing immediately sensed it and blurted out. Hearing this, Li Changle gritted his teeth and joined the fray. At Hangzhou Airport, a small airliner began to slowly come to a halt on the runway, and two heavily armed fighter jets in the sky circled a few times in midair before pulling back their nose and flying towards the nearby military airport. They were responsible for escorting that person and guaranteeing his air safety. As soon as he stepped off the plane, the man walked straight to the pickup and toward Tetsusaiga, who was at the front of the line. Where are the people? The man looked at his subordinates and said expressionlessly, but the slightly trembling body was signaling to outsiders his unsettled heart. Chief, do you want to take a break from the traveling? Tai Zi looked at the old chief's appearance and said stiffly, Zhao Tai. At those words, the man let out a cold snort, then snapped. Chief, instinctively, Zhao Tai had a jolt, and his body reflexively straightened up as he exclaimed, Take me to him immediately. I want to see him first. The man who had already had a heart like water for how many years was no longer able to maintain absolute composure at this moment. Yes, Zhao Tai answered loudly and then waved his hand, and the airport ferry drove over. 
As the sky darkened, Zhao Rin, who was about to consult the three girls on what to eat for dinner, was suddenly stopped by Li Changle. Zhao Rin, my father said he wants to find you for something. Looking for me? What is it? Hearing that Father Li wanted to find him, Zhao Rin became a little apprehensive. I don't know. Nah, the phone I haven't hung up yet. Li Changle shook her head and directly handed the cell phone to Zhao Rin. This was not the time for any temper tantrums. She was still ruthless in distinguishing between the lesser and the greater. Received the cell phone, chat a few sentences, Zhao Rin face slightly changed. At the same time in the heart is also set off waves of shock. This this this, how can it be? Zhao Rin, stay there and don't go anywhere now. The caravan will be here soon. At this time, Li's father had already been notified that that person's convoy would be arriving soon. Okay. Zhao Rin listened and agreed. What's the situation? Why is my dad looking for you all of a sudden? It couldn't be something on the kidnapper's side. Looking at Zhao Rin handing the cell phone back to her with a serious face, Li Changle couldn't help but wonder. Uncle said that my real father found me. Zhao Rin said with a frank face. What? Upon hearing this, the three women couldn't help but be shocked. Zhao Rin's real father actually came over, which made them very surprised. This kind of one in one, for billion probability, something that was infinitely close to zero, actually happened around them. I don't know. Uncle told me not to go anywhere. Said he, will be here soon. Zhao Rin shook his head and said with a calm face, to be honest, after coming alone for so many years, there was no difference between having or not having this father, so there were no waves in his heart. Just then, downstairs rang a roar of the engine, that loud and clear low sound. A listen is not a small displacement engine can send out. Zhao Rin realized that he was coming, as expected. Not long after, the door to 201's room was knocked on, and Zhao Rin waved his hand, signaling the three women to be at ease as he took a big step forward and opened the door. As the door to the room slowly opened, Zhao Rin saw the man standing in the doorway at a glance, full of white hair, full of vicissitudes of life, that is the pair of eyes but gleaming, vaguely revealing a few points of excitement, and the man standing in the doorway, looking at this route in front of his own young time is almost exactly the same Zhao Rin, a bloodline kinship feeling suddenly came to life in his heart, his intuition told him, even if not test DNA, the young man in front of him is certainly his son. Unexpectedly, Zhao Rin's next sentence instantly chilled his heart to the core. Come in such a hurry. Have you checked the DNA? Zhao Rin looked at the man with white hair in his eyes and said slowly. His tone seemed very flat. When he saw the other party for the first time, a strange feeling welled up in his heart, as if it was a bloodline kinship. But so what? Born and not raised. Do I need to cry with joy? Zhao. Zhao Rin. Hearing this, the man's face changed slightly, and his speech began to stutter slightly. Zhao Rin. Let us in first. The DNA test will be ready soon. At this time, Li's father, who had been following behind, sensed that the atmosphere between the two was not right and hurriedly opened his mouth to round off the situation. Okay. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin didn't dawdle. It was redundant to say anything at this point in time. So he directly took a few steps backward and made way. You guys stand guard outside. Seeing this, the man faintly commanded, then directly walked in with a few people. Changle, why are you here too? As soon as he entered the house, Li's father saw the three daughters of Li Changle who were sitting on the sofa and looked a little surprised. I live upstairs. I came down to talk to them. Being caught by her own father, two red clouds floated up on Li Changle's face, and she said somewhat shyly, What do you need me to do? After the little episode between Father Li and Li Changle, Zhao Rin looked at the man in front of him and said indifferently, One of your hairs is needed, because he didn't understand this knowledge of eye turning. The man didn't speak but turned his head to the professional standing behind him. Seeing this, the professional hurriedly spoke. Good. Ling Chuan reached out and felt around his head, then with a tug, pulled off a few hairs and pinched them between his fingers and handed them over. Soon after picking up the hair, the professional immediately opened several suitcases that he had brought along with him, which were full of very precise and small instruments. Don't you need it? Zhao Rin looked at the other party, puzzled. Come on, my DNA has been experienced. Won't you invite me to have a seat? The man looked at Zhao Rin in front of him, who was almost considered to be in the same mold as himself when he was young, and first shook his head, and then said with a hard smile, There's no need. I'm here in a country place so I don't want to dirty your clothes. Hearing these words, Zhao Rin shook her head and refused outright. Zhao Rin, how do you talk? The one in front of you is. When Li's father heard this, he instantly saved himself from sitting down and immediately wanted to tell the other party's true identity. But unexpectedly, as soon as he opened his mouth, he was interrupted by the man. It's okay, I'll just stand for a while then. It's just a DNA test anyway. It'll be quick. 
A hint of disappointment flashed in the man's eyes, but it was quickly covered up by him. Drip, drip, drip. Along with a few machine sounds, everyone fell silent. All attention was fixed on the professional who was finally operating the laptop, analyzing and comparing the DNA of the two. Chief, the DNA comparison match confirms that this comrade is your child. The professional said excitedly while turning the laptop over, and the screen displayed a DNA comparison match of 99, 99%. Swish, this time, except for Zhao Rin, everyone was not calm. I know, you guys can leave now. Zhao Rin calmly nodded and gave a direct expulsion order. Zhao Rin, he's your father. Once again, Li's father stepped forward and rounded off the conversation. Born but not raised, do you still want me to cry tears of joy? Zhao Rin listened and looked at the man indifferently. Zhao Rin, how did you speak? Li Bureau, who knew the man's style of behavior, immediately snapped, while not forgetting to wink towards Zhao Rin, fearing that if Zhao Rin was not careful, he would incur unnecessary trouble. All of you go out first, I'll have a few words with him alone. The man let Li's father finish, and then he waved and opened his mouth to command. His tone was flat, but it was unobjectionable. Rin, I, are we going out? Hearing this, the three girls, Lu Ruyan, also stood up from the sofa and looked at Zhao Rin and asked, It's fine, you guys go to the fifth floor for a while, it's crowded here. Hearing this, Zhao Rin smiled and answered. Not long after, the originally lively 201 immediately quieted down. Son, I didn't abandon you and your mom, but I really didn't know. It wasn't until this time, when no one was around, that the man spoke. Yeah, I guess what's well documented was already clear before you even got here. To be able to have Uncle Lee, the third in command, personally accompany you here. I guess your status and position must be extraordinary. Hearing this, Zhao Rin's eyelids jumped and he said with a sneer on his face, I'm sure it's just like your mom, all so smart. The man said with a wistful expression on his face after hearing that, I'm the one who's sorry, child, I'll do my best to make up for all these years. Oh, you still have the nerve to say ode? As long as I can remember, I've been without a mom and dad. When others were wronged, they went home to their moms and dads to complain. When I was aggrieved, I silently shrunk under the hard quilt in the orphanage by myself and suffered. Where were you at that time? Such a deficit. Can you make up for it? Saying that, Zhao Rin's face revealed a smile. Only that smile looked so cold. You can find me. But what about her? Where is my real mother who I carry to term? At this time, Zhao Rin raised his head, looked at his dad father, and opened his mouth to ask. This was his obsession for more than 20 years. I, I don't know. 20 or so years ago, because of a mission. I stayed in Hangzhou for a few years, and then I met your mom here, and then all exclusion the two of us were privately engaged for life. The man's face was filled with a nostalgic expression as he began to relate the events of that year. Then why did you leave without saying goodbye? Hearing the end, Zhao Rin still couldn't help but ask such a question. If they loved each other so much, why did they leave? And how did he become an orphan? I am a soldier, and it is my duty to kill the enemy and protect the country. Later, I received orders to go to the border to meet San's little maneuver. I didn't expect that this trip, but I lost the news of your mother. Speaking here, the man burst into tears. The scene of the two people falling in love back then was still vivid at this time. Zhao Rin listened quietly from the sidelines and sighed silently, unable to say a word for a long time. Well, can you find out anything about her? As far as I can remember, I don't have any memories of my mother. After a long time, Zhao Rin took a deep breath and asked tentatively, Too much time has passed, so to speak. Will you give dad some time? Dad will definitely give you an explanation. The man who had been outwardly tough for half his life was speaking to Zhao Rin in an almost pleading tone at this time. In public, I can understand you. It's only right to be loyal to your country. But in private, I'm sorry I don't recognize you as a father. Zhao Rin sniffed and shook his head honestly, sacrificing the small to protect the big. His Zhao Rin's father was great, but he personally really couldn't accept this. Then, then can you come back to Yin Jing with me? Let dad do his fatherly duty, okay? The man's face turned white as he continued to plead. For this son, he really owed too much. No, in that kind of place, there are too many dignitaries. It's not suitable for a chowderhead like me. Zhao Rin sniffed, and without even thinking about it, he directly gave his refusal. Ugh, the man sighed silently. Son, actually I am. The man looked at his own son who had a cold face and was just about to tell the other party his identity. But he was interrupted by Zhao Rin without hesitation. Stop, stop, stop. You are a hero, a great hero who kills the enemy and protects the country. But I'm just a small commoner. I don't want my life to change because of your appearance. Zhao Rin looked at the man in front of her and was overcome with emotion. His hair was white, 
and although his body was slightly stooped, he could still see how strong and tall he had been when he was young. Don't worry, I won't actively change your life, but you must know my identity, for it is also your identity. My surname is also Zhao. My name is Ling Tian, and I am the commander-in-chief of the three armies, belonging only to that one, and listening only to that one's orders. So, in private, everyone calls me Eleven Marshal, and you, being my only son, this honor can naturally be enjoyed as well. Speaking of his current status and position, Zhao Ling Tian's body instantly added a few points of bravado. Keep my identity hidden. I don't want to get involved with people from that circle. Zhao Ling Tian had thought that after he had painted that beautiful blueprint, Zhao Rin would be touched and then take the initiative to offer to return to Yinjing with him. But instead, he didn't expect that Zhao Rin would not even bat an eyelid and directly refused. I respect you and understand you, but that doesn't mean I will. I just want to know the news of my mom. Seeing Zhao Ling Tian's face change slightly, Zhao Rin shook her head and continued. All right, give me three days. Zhao Ling Tian sniffed and nodded. Then, I'll leave first. I, I'll try not to disturb you. Looking at Zhao Rin's indifference, Zhao Ling Tian left resentfully and with a complicated heart. Zhao Rin stood in front of the window and saw the cars downstairs leaving one after another. To be honest, he was not a fan of this so-called father, even if he and the original master had already fused souls. After all, forgiveness and understanding are not the same thing. Rin, was that man just now really your real father? At some point, the three girls stood behind Zhao Rin again, looking at Zhao Rin under the lights with a complicated face. In the end, it was Mu Qingqing who couldn't help but open her mouth. When these words came out, Lu Ruyan and Li Changle couldn't help but look at each other. The DNA results were all out. Was there a need to ask one more question? Even the DNA results are available. Do we still need to ask this simple question? Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin lowered his head and laughed a few times before responding. No, I'm asking you, is he really your father? Mu Qingqing shook her head and patiently spoke again. I, I don't know. This time, Zhao Rin really came back to his senses and understood Mu Qingqing's voice. It was just that he really wasn't sure if he recognized it or not. Why? Mu Qingqing stepped forward and continued to ask, making the two women listen to the question in a cloudy manner. He is a hero, a hero who kills the enemy and protects his country. And I think many people are thinking in their hearts that I must forgive him and accept him. But just because he was a hero who stood on top of the world, do I have to accept him and forgive him unconditionally? What about the suffering I have endured? How am I to be reconciled? What about the grievances I have suffered over the past 10 or 20 years? Who will help me to alleviate it? I admire heroes. I respect heroes. I admire heroes. But I can't forgive. I can't accept. Did morality kidnap me? Zhao Rin raised his head and looked at the sky dome that had already darkened his deep eyes flashing through channels of complex light. In the following three days, Zhao Rin stayed in the house, did not leave the door, did not leave the door, he has been thinking about how he should face this father from the sky. Some people say that the hand of power, a person under a million people, this is still waiting for what to do, directly recognize the father, and then go out and show off. Others say, recognize can, but cannot take advantage of the father's power. After all, he himself is absolutely cannot inherit this kind of influence. Zhao Rin looked at the various suggestions in the forum, or cannot help but laugh out of the pig's voice. This is what with what ah, is the human nature inside the evil, the reason why did not burst out, just because their own strength and power is not enough? This puts the country's nine-year compulsory education in what? However, this question, laugh after laugh, Zhao Rin still couldn't give an answer. He didn't want anything right now. News of his mother was his only obsession. If his father could find him, then his mother must be able to as well. Therefore, he had been waiting. Finally, his waiting paid off. Isn't this the orphanage I grew up in as a child? Driving Ruyan Lu's Paramera, Zhao Rin followed behind Zhao Ling Tian's car. And as she drove, she realized the end of the route. Doubts immediately arose in his heart. But unfortunately, Zhao Ling Tian wasn't in the same car as him. So there was no one to answer this question. And the three girls also didn't follow him because of Zhao Rin and came together in the same car. Just as Zhao Rin was puzzled, he saw the car that Zhao Ling Tian was sitting in front of him, pull over and stop at the entrance of the orphanage. Seeing this, Zhao Rin also directly parked her car at the entrance of the orphanage, followed behind Zhao Ling Tian, and walked in. As soon as he entered, Zhao Rin saw Zhao Ling Tian leading people directly towards the dean's office, and it looked like he had already mapped out the situation. Following closely behind, Zhao Rin also followed them and walked in. Little Rin, you're here too, the orphanage's director. Seeing this scene, wasn't surprised in the slightest, instead, he greeted Zhao Rin with a smile on his face and said, Dean, I came here today to ask you if you know the whereabouts of my mother, 
Seeing the orphanage dean in front of him, who had already turned green silk into white hair, Zhao Ren appeared extraordinarily respectful, bowed slightly, and softly said, Actually, I've been waiting for you to ask me this question. The director of the orphanage smiled lightly and said, Do you know why I registered your name as Zhao Rin? As the words fell, Zhao Rin only felt his eyelids jump. His intuition told him that this matter wasn't as simple as it was said to be, because it was registered when your mother entrusted you to me. The director of the orphanage said slowly, You, you mean, my mother she. Hearing this, Zhao Rin was even more surprised. He somewhat didn't quite understand his mother's maneuvering, why she delivered him to an orphanage instead of raising him herself. She told me that it would be difficult for the world to tolerate an unmarried pregnancy. Therefore, she entrusted you to me as a last resort. The orphanage's director continued. Hearing this Zhao Ling Tian who had been silent on the side suddenly burst into tears. He couldn't help but glance at Zhao Rin by his side. The guilt in his heart reached its peak at this moment. Then, Dean, do you have the contact information of the child's mother? Zhao Ling Tian mustered up enough courage to ask, because the time that had passed was just too long. Around the fact that he had all the intelligence talents under him, but in just three days he still only found out about the orphanage. May I ask if you are? The dean sniffed and looked at the face that bore a slight resemblance to Zhao Rin. He already had a few guesses within his heart, but he still opened his mouth to confirm. I'm his father. Zhao Ling Tian was ashamed. Sure enough, she's seen this day coming. After receiving personal confirmation, Dean pulled an old-fashioned push-button cell phone out of his desk drawer and placed it on the desktop. If you can unlock this cell phone, you can find the child's mother, Dean said slowly, pointing to the phone. Upon hearing this, Zhao Ling Tian looked at the other party suspiciously, then silently picked up the cell phone, and after long pressing the red-on button at the top of the phone, the tiny cell phone screen lit up, displaying that the password had to be entered. Dean, is there any hints here? Zhao Ling Tian looked at the input field for the password and looked a bit overwhelmed as he said. She said you'd know naturally. Dean shook his head and explained. On the other hand, Zhao Rin, who was on the side, looked up at the two of them, and his heart was very unfavorable. Unmarried first pregnancy, the world is difficult to tolerate just eight short words, is more than twenty years of suffering he could not help but reveal a bitter smile. Looking at the cell phone screen that picked from time to time, Zhao Ling Tian froze for a long time and finally thought of a string of numbers. So, without inking, he directly bounced his fingers on the cell phone buttons and lost the numbers in. Under the watchful eyes of the crowd, the cell phone screen flashed and successfully went in. Seeing this, Zhao Ling Tian didn't hesitate any longer and immediately found his cell phone's address book and flipped out the only number from it. Zhao Rin, how about you make the call? Looking at this string of numbers, Zhao Ling Tian only felt his eyes get a little sour. And surprisingly, he had a hint of timidity. Handing his cell phone to Zhao Rin. Good. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin looked at the man with some surprise, and then took the phone. A top hero who didn't dare to make a phone call. This made Zhao Rin a little surprised. After receiving the cell phone, Zhao Rin's line of sight also fell on the phone at the same time. Looking at the long string of numbers, Zhao Rin didn't hesitate and directly pressed the dial out button, followed by pressing the speaker. Zhao Rin chose to directly put out the sound. Three seconds later, the number was connected, emitting a beep. Beep, beep sound, waiting for the owner of the number on the other end to answer. At this moment, even the indifferent Zhao Rin felt his heart tense up. Finally, after about 10 seconds or so, the other end was connected. Hey, Ling Tian, is that you? Over the loudspeaker, a female voice rang out, sounding so trembling and seemingly nervous. Hearing this familiar voice that had been separated for 20 years or so, Zhao Ling Tian couldn't help but burst into old tears, opening his mouth to respond but realizing how he couldn't speak. He is by my side. Just then, Zhao Rin couldn't help but open his mouth, wanting to confirm whether or not the other party was really just like what the orphanage's director had said, that he had only given himself up because he was unmarried and pregnant. You, who are you? No, are you Zhao Rin, my child? After hearing Zhao Rin's voice, the woman didn't react at first, but she also came back to her senses in the next second and said with some excitement, I'm Zhao Rin, and he and I found our way here to Dean. Zhao Rin said indifferently, Child, wait there, I, I'll come over to you right away. When the woman heard this, she immediately became excited. No need, can you tell me why you're fostering me in an orphanage? Zhao Rin didn't even think about it and rejected it outright. He didn't really want to meet with the other party, especially when the other party said she'd be there soon, which made it obvious that she was in the neighborhood. Son, it's a long story, wait for me, I'll be right there. The woman obviously froze when she heard this, before finally saying in a soft voice, all right, you do it then. Seeing this, 
Zhao Rin agreed. Mei, Mei, where are you? I'll send a car to fetch you over. At this moment, Zhao Ling Tian, who could no longer hold back his inner emotions, spoke. No need. I'll just go straight there myself. On the other end, Ami politely refused. Soon, the roar of an engine sounded from the cell phone speaker, and from amongst the sound that was loud and clear from time to time, Zhao Rin could hear the other party's inner anxiety. Little Rin, why don't you and your father sit down for a while? I still have some things to do here. Seeing that it was soon going to be a family reunion, the dean also consciously made an excuse and fled, giving this office directly to them. Time passed by, and right in the middle of Zhao Ling Tian's gazing, a figure appeared in front of his eyes, Ling Tian, Mei. The two, who had not seen each other for many years, were both very excited. At this moment, to be honest, Zhao Rin didn't show too many emotional fluctuations, he just watched so quietly, waiting for the duo to finish venting their emotions from their long goodbye. Let me just ask you one thing, unmarried pregnancy is difficult for the world to tolerate, is that what you said? After waiting for about 3 to 5 minutes and seeing that the emotions of the two had slowed down a bit, Zhao Rin spoke without haste, child, yes, it's mom who's sorry. Hearing these words, Ami's body involuntarily trembled, lowered her head and didn't dare to look at Zhao Rin, and said stiffly, okay, you guys take your time catching up, I'll leave first. After waiting for an answer, Zhao Rin left behind a sentence, then directly got up and left, child, you, don't you go, just now there was a good picture of a family reunion, in the blink of an eye the picture changed suddenly, Ami was instantly dumbfounded. Only when Zhao Rin opened the door to the office did she snap back to her senses and hurriedly spoke out to stop it. Why don't you go? To see you guys reunite after a long time. Or is it to see you guys like glue? Zhao Rin stood in front of the door and said without looking back. His words filled with sneers and mockery. Sure enough, you two are a natural pair. After saying these words, Zhao Rin pulled open the door and walked out. And then, Zhao Ling Tian and Ame husband and wife glanced at each other. And hurriedly followed them out again. No matter what. Zhao Rin could not be allowed to leave today. Otherwise, he was afraid that he would never forgive the two of them again in this lifetime. Child, child, don't you go. The furious Zhao Rin, who had only just reached the stairway, heard a rush of footsteps behind her coming from far and near, followed by the call from her birth mother, and had no choice but to stop again. Auntie, is something wrong? Zhao Rin looked at the biological mother in front of him, and the feeling of displeasure within him grew stronger as he said in a cold voice, Auntie, Zhao Rin, you, how can you call me auntie? I'm your mother. When she heard the word auntie, Ami froze in place, tears in her eyes. Swish came down, looking at her own son who had always had a quiet concern in front of her, said with a trembling body, Mother, I'm sorry, I, Zhao Rin, was born and raised without a father or mother. Zhao Rin grinned and said, only that icy cold look coupled with the smile made people feel a little shaky. Zhao Rin, that's enough. You can hate me, but she's your mother. You can't talk to her like that. Right at this moment, Zhao Ling Tian arrived and spoke in a stern tone. No, you are wrong. I do not hate you. For the country for the people. Chivalrous, people cannot have a great cause does not matter. But the basic right and wrong. Black and white. Priorities to be to do in the heart. So, I cannot accept you. But I will not hate you. But her, you ask yourself. You worthy of a mother? Unmarried and pregnant. The world can hardly tolerate? For the sake of your own reputation making me endure more than 20 years of living as an orphan. Do you think that's reasonable? After hearing this, Zhao Ring calmly shook her head before pointing at Mei. By what right should I bear your suffering for you at your word? Did I ask you to give birth to me? Now that you are reunited, I have to unconditionally forgive you as a mother. Is there such a thing in heaven? You yourself have been at large outside for 20 years or so, and now that I've grown up, you turn around and ask me to recognize my family? Do you think that's reasonable? Zhao Ring became more and more agitated as she spoke her stern eyes looking straight at the two of them, not budging at all as she said, son, I, I had no choice but to suffer, Ami choked as she looked at her agitated biological son in front of her, bitterness, I see that you're well dressed, it wouldn't be that you're unmarried and pregnant, so you'll be kicked out by the family and live on the streets, as she said that, the corner of Zhao Rin's mouth involuntarily raised, revealing a mocking expression, yes, you're right, Ami nodded in pained honesty, then I really want a bolt QO, so it is I who delayed your glory and wealth, right? I want to achieve great things. The closest relatives can be killed? Oh, that's it. These 20 years without parents. I also came over. It does not matter. After hearing this, Zhao Rin shook his head with a cold smile and turned around to leave. Zhao Rin, have you made enough of a scene? Your mom and I will make it up to you. Can you forgive us? 
Zhao Ling Tian said as he held back his inner rage. Compensation? Who do you think you are? What can you compensate me for? Hearing this, Zhao Rin was also helpless. Born and not raised. What else could be compensated for? What do you, child, what do you want? Tell me. Whatever I can do, I will do. Ami said with a sobbing voice. I want 20% of the country's GDP wealth, and I want cash. Looking at the other party, the mockery on Zhao Rin's face increased. This, this is too hard. Can we change it? When Ami heard this, her face instantly turned pale. She knew that Zhao Rin was speaking in anger, so she pulled a smile and said carefully, Oh, can't do it. What about you? I want supreme power. I want the position of the 9-5. The whole country I call the shots. You have military power anyway. Help me. Hearing this, Zhao Rin glanced at Zhao Ling Tian again and ghosted. Adverse son, how can you say such a thing? This is moral kidnapping on your part. When Zhao Ling Tian heard this, he immediately flared up and said, And who are you to ask me to forgive you unconditionally? Is this not moral kidnapping? Zhao Rin let out a cold snort, then spun around and stepped away. Walking down the stairs, Zhao Rin left Zhao Ling Tian and the two of them behind and drove back to 201 alone. As soon as he entered the door, he saw Mu Qingqing sitting on the sofa, bored and swiping her cell phone. Rin, what did your father's side say? Seeing that Zhao Rin's face was a bit gloomy, Mu Qingqing hesitated for a few seconds before speaking. Ching Ching, it turns out that I cannot be an orphan. Zhao Rin looked up at Mu Qingqing at those words, and a tear flashed in her eyes. No orphans? What happened? Hearing these words from Zhao Rin's vain head, Mu Qingqing was a bit puzzled. Her mind didn't turn a corner for a moment. So, I'm not an orphan whose parents died. I was put in an orphanage by me deliberately. The more Zhao Rin spoke, the harder it became for him to bear all the consequences when it clearly wasn't his fault. Ha, huh? she, how can they do this? Is this still worthy of being a mother? After listening to Zhao Rin, Mu Qingqing was dumbfounded. How is this still qualified to come over and recognize her family? It's really shameless. Then, then we will disown them. How we lived in the past, how we'll live in the future is how we'll live in the future. It'll pass. Mu Qingqing looked at Zhao Rin's twisted face, clenched her teeth and gathered her courage to comfort. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin didn't reply and silently leaned back against the backrest of the sofa, his eyes flickering as he was obviously thinking about what to do next. Okay, hubby, don't bother. Come on, close your eyes and lean back. I'll give you a massage. Seeing Zhao Rin in this state, Mu Qingqing silently sighed in her heart. This kind of disappointment was something she had experienced before, and trying to get over it and walk out of it in a short period of time was difficult. Since that incident, it had also taken her a long, long time to walk out and return to her natural state. After saying that, Mu Qingqing didn't wait for Zhao Rin to reply. She stood up straight away, walked behind him, and a pair of soft and boneless slender jade hands rested on Zhao Rin's neck, and began to slowly rub it. Mu Qingqing's technique was unique. Her fingers looked so slender and soft, but the force of her fingertips was not bad. Along with the throbbing of his fingers, Zhao Rin quickly relaxed, his eyes half awake and half squinted, and his consciousness began to blur. Feeling Zhao Rin's change, Mu Qingqing couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief in her heart. Although her fingers were already experiencing loose soreness and numbness, she was still gritting her teeth and holding on. At this time, it is better to sleep first. After waking up, this heart will be much more comfortable. Unfortunately, the development of things will not be shifted by the will of people. The next second, outside the security door, rang knock 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 on the door. At once will have been a little confused Zhao Rin woke up. I'll go open the door. Seeing this, Mu Qingqing felt a bit sorry inside her heart, then stopped her hand movements, gently patted Zhao Rin's shoulder, and ran to open the door. As soon as he opened the door, he saw Zhao Rin's father, Zhao Ling Tian, standing in the doorway with a woman in his arms. Miss, Zhao, is Zhao Rin here? The woman's voice had to be a bit hoarse, as if she had just cried. Uncle and auntie, how are you? Seeing her in-laws, Mu Qingqing greeted them politely even though she was somewhat disgusted inside. Girl, you are? Ami didn't know Zhao Rin's recent past and couldn't help but wonder. I'm Rin's girlfriend. Mu Qingqing blushed slightly and said, Really? At those words, Ami's eyes instantly lit up. You guys go, you guys go, I don't want to see you. Right at this moment, Zhao Rin suddenly appeared behind Mu Qingqing and gave an expulsion order with an impatient tone. Ah Rin, don't be like this. At those words, Mu Qingqing hurriedly tugged Zhao Rin behind her and softly said, Ugh. Zhao Rin sighed helplessly and turned around to go back to the living room. Rin, have you really decided? Mu Qingqing said as she looked at Zhao Rin with complicated eyes, her mind still recalling the image of Zhao Rin driving his own parents away just now. It's just, Zhao Rin muttered, 
Then the whole person like a deflated ball of leather generally limp in the sofa, eyes empty and confused looking at the ceiling. The face does not have the slightest expression, as if it has lost all vitality and vigor. He inhaled deeply, as if he wanted to spit out all the boredom in his heart. But in the end, it only turned into a soft sigh. Just think of it as me popping out of the cracks of a stone, being born and raised, and having no parents. When these words were said, his voice carried a hint of trembling and helplessness, making people not help but feel pity. After hearing this, Mu Qingqing didn't open her mouth to respond. She was still standing quietly behind Zhao Rin like before, only to see her stretch out a pair of slender jade hands and gently squeeze Zhao Rin's shoulders, as if she was afraid of hurting him. At this moment, Mu Qingqing's eyes were focused and gentle, as if she had incorporated all her care and love into this subtle action. Time passed bit by bit, and Mu Qingqing's arms gradually became sore and numb. She looked down and realized that Zhao Rin did not know when he had quietly closed his eyes and fell into a deep sleep. His breathing was gentle and steady, as if he was immersed in a sweet dream. Mu Qingqing gazed at Zhao Rin's serene sleeping face, and a wave of tenderness couldn't help but well up in her heart. She recalled the little moments since she had met him, and those warm moments flashed in her mind like a movie. At this moment, he was lying quietly in her arms, making her feel an unprecedented peace and contentment. Mu Qingqing gently moved her body, trying to relax her arms a little, but she was afraid of waking Zhao Rin. She just sat quietly, enjoying this rare quiet time. Looking at Zhao Rin's sleeping appearance, the corner of Mu Qingqing's mouth couldn't help but spread a smile. In this hustle and bustle of the world, being able to have such a moment to cuddle up with one's beloved was just too precious, especially when one's beloved man had another woman who was in love with him. This kind of moment was even more precious. After quietly looking at Zhao Rin for a while, Mu Qingqing couldn't help but lean down and lightly kiss Zhao Rin's forehead, then gently flattened him down, then carried a quilt from the room and covered him. After walking out of room 201, Mu Qingqing went downstairs, and as expected, she saw Zhao Rin's mother who was waiting downstairs with an anxious face. Auntie, why are you still here? Although a woman's sixth sense let her know that the other party hadn't left, Mu Qingqing said without moving on the surface. Girl, are you Zhao Rin's girlfriend? Ami looked at Mu Qingqing in front of her wanting to reconfirm. Yes. Mu Qingqing looked at her future mother-in-law in front of her and nodded. Then can you do Auntie a favor? Help me persuade him. I did have a compelling reason for putting him in the orphanage back then. Ami said with a hint of pleading tone, Auntie, it's not that I'm not willing to help with this favor, but Zhao Rin, he simply can't accept the sudden change of the people right now, so you should let him think about it himself first. Mu Qingqing sniffed and sighed softly, politely saying, I don't ask for his forgiveness anymore, I just want to make this matter clear, I really didn't mean to put him in the orphanage back then. Ami sniffed, her entire body instantly became very lost, and her tone was low, Auntie, give him some time. There have been too many changes in the past while, I see that he is a bit unable to accept it. Mu Qingqing looked at Ami and softly said, just when the two of them were talking, an airliner landed at Hangzhou airport. This airliner was small, but the people who came down from it were all not simple. That calm and steady temperament. At a glance it was not an unusual family. It turned out that the matter of Zhao Ling Tian, the 11th handsome finding his own son, had already gone viral. And the Yanjing bigwigs who had received the news had sent out their most capable offspring to come and celebrate. And some of them who were quick-witted had even had their grandchildren's females accompany them. As for what the purpose was, it was already self-evident. In the lounge next to the banquet hall of the Hangzhou Hotel, Zhao Rin, who was dressed in a green slim-fit suit, sat on the sofa with his body slightly curled up and somewhat uncomfortable. His eyes drifted to his side from time to time, where two women in gorgeous dresses were sitting, Mu Qingqing and Lu Ruyan. As for Li Changle, Due to today's special situation, he shouldered the heavy responsibility of keeping watch at the periphery and was unable to accompany him. Just as Zhao Rin was distracted, the door to the lounge was suddenly pushed open, and a figure walked in with firm steps. The person who came was none other than Zhao Ling Tian who was dressed in a Chinese mountain suit. His gaze was like a torch as he stared straight at Zhao Rin. His face was expressionless, as if he was as cold as an iceberg. However, the tone in which he spoke was reminiscent of something else and it seemed that immediately behind him was Zhao Rin's mother. Mei, Zhao Rin, I thought you wouldn't come. Zhao Ling Tian's voice was low and strong, carrying an unquestionable majesty. Every word was like a heavy hammer, hitting Zhao Rin's heart hard. The indifference and detachment in those words made Zhao Rin feel a chill rise up his spine. He tried to restrain his inner displeasure and attempted to maintain his composure, but his hands couldn't help but grip the armrests tightly. I came here because you are a hero, although you and I are related by blood. And although you have never raised me, your act of sacrificing your life and defending your homeland is really admirable. I can't turn you down. Heroes have dignity and honor, and I must give you the respect you deserve. 
Otherwise, I'm afraid that my ancestors will blame me and make me take the blame. After speaking, Zhao Ling Tian's voice gradually dissipated into the air. At this moment, Zhao Rin inside the room was acting unusually calm as he responded with a face like water. However, if you think that my presence here will make you feel unhappy or even get in the way, then I can leave at any time without any second thoughts. As he said these words, his tone was as firm as iron, without the slightest hint of hesitation. It was as if he was making his stance clear to the other party he would never force himself to stay, nor would he compromise. After saying that, Zhao Ring faintly glanced at Zhao Ling Tian. Zhao Rin dabbed up and turned around, about to walk out. Ling Tian, don't say too much. Today is a big day for our son to return to us. Mei, who was standing at the side, really couldn't stand the scene of the heated argument between the father and son. So she hurriedly reached out and tugged on Zhao Ling Tian's sleeve, and opened her mouth to dissuade him. The reception is about to start. You'd better go and get ready first. After sensing his wife's small movements, Zhao Ling Tian tried to suppress his inner feelings of dissatisfaction as he grimaced and said coldly, I know, as soon as the stage session is over, I'll leave immediately. You can just put your heart in your stomach. I definitely won't let you. The eleven marshals, lose face. This kind of filial piety is a piece of cake for me. Hearing his father's words, the corners of Zhao Rin's mouth rose slightly, revealing a wry smile, as if he felt that this matter couldn't be easier. Just doing filial piety in front of the hall. How simple it was. Zhao Rin, how can you talk to your father like that? At those words, Ah Mei's face changed. She was afraid that Zhao Ling Tian would get angry. She hurriedly opened her mouth and said, intending to block Zhao Ling Tian's alas, child. Zhao Ling Tian sighed deeply, he knew that this son of his was filled with resentment in his heart, but as a father, he still hoped that he could find a chance to make up for his past mistakes, even though he tried to maintain a tough stance at the moment, he was ultimately unable to hide the guilt and helplessness in his heart, and finally couldn't help but open his mouth and say, I know that you have grievances in your heart, but you have to give the two of us a chance to make it up to you as well. Hearing these words, Zhao Rin's heart stirred slightly. The resentment and dissatisfaction that had accumulated over the years seemed to be stirred up in an instant. Yet at the same time, a complex emotion surged to his heart. He gazed at the both familiar and unfamiliar father in front of him, and after a moment of silence, he softly responded, It's about to start. Let's go out first. These few short words caused Zhao Ling Tian to feel a hint of disappointment. But more than that, it was an understanding of his son. As for Zhao Rin, a slight ripple had long risen within his heart. In fact, he was also very willing to give his parents a chance, not just to get the so-called compensation, but more importantly, he hoped that they could be honest and explain the things that happened back then. After all, those questions buried deep in his heart had always plagued him, becoming an obstacle that was difficult to cross on his path of growth. However, Zhao Rin did not pin his hopes on relying on his father's position or power to solve the problem. After some deep thought, he decided to shelve the topic for the time being, neither explicitly agreeing to it nor rejecting it outright, because he knew that it would take time, patience, and sincere communication to truly dissolve the knot between them. In this moment, he chose to digress and shift his attention to what was about to begin, looking forward to a day in the future when they would be able to sit down, face the past in peace, and search together for that long-lost affection. After saying that, he walked straight forward, and when the two women behind him saw this, they nodded slightly to Zhao Ling Tian and his wife, and then hurriedly followed them as well. At this moment, a magnificent stage has already been set up in the spacious banquet hall of the hotel. The hotel service staff and other necessary staff are busy with their respective duties in a well-organized manner, and everything has been properly prepared. However, the moment the door was pushed open, Zhao Rin couldn't help but feel a surge of nervousness in his heart. Such a grand and spectacular scene really made him feel a little uneasy. So many people, so many pairs of eyes watching him. This kind of scene was already quite unfamiliar to him, when he recalled the last time he experienced a similar event. It had to be traced back to his student days when he stood on the podium in the playground every Monday and delivered a speech under the national flag. Don't be nervous, everything is under your father's control. It was at this moment that Ami appeared beside Zhao Rin like a goddess from heaven. Her voice was soft and gentle, as if a spring breeze brushed past Zhao Rin's ears. I see. Zhao Rin nodded with forced composure, but the fine beads of sweat on his forehead revealed his inner unease. At the same time, Zhao Ling Tian cast a meaningful gaze, seemingly seeing through his son's nervousness. He unhurriedly straightened the straight Chinese mountain suit on his body, and then walked straight to the center of the stage with firm steps. It didn't take long before his calm and powerful voice came from the stage. True to his military background, Zhao Ling Tian's words were concise and clear, without any sense of redundancy. He didn't use any flashy rhetoric, and in just a few sentences, 
he briefly introduced Zhao Rin's situation to the crowd. Afterward, he silently stepped aside, leaving the stage to Zhao Rin. Under the stage, Zhao Rin stood at the bottom of the steps and hesitated slightly for a few seconds. After receiving Mu Qingqing's eyes full of encouragement, he finally gathered his courage and took a step onto the stage. At this very moment, the originally brilliantly lit banquet hall suddenly became pitch black, unable to reach out and see anything. Almost at the same time, the magnesium lights on the stage suddenly lit up, and two dazzling pillars of light focused on Zhao Rin like chasing light, and on the huge screen behind him, Zhao Rin's valiant figure also appeared clearly. Under the stage, those dignitaries from Yanjing City looked at Zhao Rin's appearance on the big screen inside. This TM is Zhao Ling Tian's real son is right. This is simply carved out of the same mold. After the simple appearance, Zhao Rin turned around expressionlessly, seemingly wanting to leave immediately. But right at that moment, a thick and powerful arm tightly wrapped around his shoulders like an iron clamp. Zhao Rin couldn't help but feel a strong sense of resistance in his heart. However, being in a place where so many powerful people were gathered, he knew that he couldn't blatantly disobey Zhao Ling Tian's wishes, so he could only barely squeeze out a smile and stood shoulder to shoulder with him, silently enduring the curious and scrutinizing gazes of those second and third generations of the top tier from the stage. Time passed minute by minute, as if it was long and endless, Zhao Rin felt like he was just as showpiece to be judged by others, and this flavor made him feel doubly tormented. Finally, after an unknown amount of time had passed, Zhao Ling Tian slightly waved his right hand and solemnly proclaimed in a low and majestic voice, the reception now officially begins. With the fall of this declaration, the atmosphere of the scene immediately became enthusiastic, as people raised their glasses to congratulate each other, and laughter ensued. Zhao Rin looked at the lively scene in front of him and let out a sigh of relief in his heart, it seemed that the things that needed to be dealt with had finally come to an end. At this moment, he only wanted to escape from this suffocating place as soon as possible, go outside to breathe fresh air and relax his tense nerves. Thus, he slowly turned his head, his gaze falling on Zhao Ling Tian beside him, his eyes as calm as water as he said in a calm tone, since there's nothing else, then I'll take my leave first. As the words fell, he lifted his feet and prepared to turn around and leave. Wait, you are after all my own flesh and blood, and even if you are unable to inherit my prestige and power, as a father, I still have the responsibility to plan an enviable and bright future for you. Thus, at this moment, you cannot leave yet. Hearing these words, Zhao Ling Tian was slightly stunned and immediately responded, Since I've already come here, let nature take its course. Furthermore, you should always pay your respects to your mother's family and friends on her side of the family. Meeting relatives? I'm afraid that's not necessary. A bunch of people who are greedy for fame and fortune. Hearing this, Zhao Rin's brows furrowed tightly, and his body involuntarily took a small step backward. He still had trouble letting go of the mother who had abandoned him. So how would he be willing to face those unfamiliar relatives who were devoid of any affection? After saying that, Zhao Rin didn't wait for Zhao Ling Tian to reply. He directly got off the stage and walked towards the two of them, Lu Ruyan and Mu Qingqing. Because he saw that the two girls were being pestered by a few second generation people dressed like dogs, so he planned to go up and help them out. After all, this was his own daughter, husband, Rin. Seeing Zhao Rin walking towards them, the two women coincidentally said, and as soon as these words from the two of them came out, the person who was pestering the hitchhiker visibly froze and glanced at Zhao Rin, but then he broke into a smile and took the initiative to extend his hand. Are you guys alright? Zhao Rin asked softly, his gaze gently falling on the two women, as if he hadn't noticed the presence of other people beside him at all. However, it was such a simple action that made the man on the opposite side turn green with anger. Cousin, today is your big day to recognize your family. How can you be so rude? The man said coldly. Coincidentally enough, this man turned out to be the great nephew of Zhao Rin's mother, Fong Mei's maiden family Fong Wei. I'm sorry, I don't really know you and I don't have any relatives, so please stop calling me cousin. After hearing these words, Zhao Rin frowned slightly, his voice revealing a hint of obvious dissatisfaction. Cousin, you're being too outgoing when you talk like this. Fong Wei was still planning to continue to persuade him, but when he saw that Zhao Rin had only lightly swept a glance at himself before unhesitatingly pulling up his two daughters and getting ready to turn around and leave, he couldn't help but feel a wave of anger welling up in his heart, especially that cold and contemptuous look, it was like looking at a fool, making him feel humiliated and angry, Zhao Rin, I'll take you to meet your grandpa, just then, Fang Mei's voice came from far and near, just now, she had managed to get rid of those snobbish relatives in her own family, which gave her the chance to come out and look for Zhao Rin, Auntie. Seeing his aunt appear, Fang Wei immediately revealed a smile and took the initiative to greet her, only for a hint of gloom to flash through the depths of his eyes. Xiao Wei, you guys have met so quickly, Fang Mei said with a smile when she saw that her nephew was also there. 
Don't know, don't get me wrong, Zhao Rin responded uncomfortably, then was about to leave when Fong Mei called out, walk your mom to meet grandpa, seeing grandpa is really not necessary, what you asked me to do, I've done what I can, and now I have to go, Zhao Rin shook his head helplessly and said in a firm tone, not even turning around to look at the people behind him, cousin ah, how can you say such assholish things, we haven't heard from you for these 20 years, and now that we've finally gotten you back, shouldn't you meet and catch up with us, your relatives, Fong De said loudly, seemingly a little angry, he felt that he stood on the moral high ground, rightfully accusing Zhao Rin of his behavior, 20 years without a trace, when he heard these words, Zhao Rin's gaze became deep, gazing thoughtfully at Fong Mei's face, as if he wanted to see through her eyes to the hidden truth, he secretly thought in his heart, it seems that this matter is far from being as simple as it appears, and there must be a lot of unknown inside information hidden in it, at the same time, Fong Mei was sheepishly averting her eyes, not daring to meet Zhao Rin's gaze, her flickering eyes seemed to be telling the uneasiness in her heart, all of which showed that what Fong Wei said was true, at this point, Zhao Rin's heart was already clear, for the so-called family love, he no longer held any illusions, thus, Zhao Rin resolutely took the hands of the two women and turned around, ready to leave, his steps were firm and strong, with no intention of lingering, at this moment, he only wanted to get away from this place of wrongdoing as soon as possible, and find a piece of serene heaven and earth that belonged to him, Zhao Rin, a loud shout came out, the voice revealing eagerness and anticipation, however, at this moment, Zhao Rin's heart was burning with anxiety, only wanting to leave this place as soon as possible, but fate always seemed to like to play tricks on people, the more anxious he was to leave, the more difficult it was to get what he wished for, just as Zhao Rin had just turned around and was about to take a step, his gaze happened to be opposite Zhao Ling Tian who was walking towards him quickly, what was even more surprising was that Zhao Ling Tian was closely followed by a group of energetic young people, they were dressed in fashionable clothes, exuding confidence and vigor between their hands and feet, and one could tell at a glance that they were the sons of rich families from Yanjing, some of these people might be members of the third generation of their families, and some of them even had elders in their families who owned the original shares and had prominent backgrounds, at this moment, Zhao Ling Tian's face was filled with a bright smile, he enthusiastically introduced Zhao Rin, come, this is our Yinjing's younger generation, you are of similar age, you are both in the wonderful twenties, why don't you have a chat together, how about it, between his words, he revealed his care and attention to Zhao Rin, obviously, he was fulfilling the promise he had made on the stage before, to plan a glorious yet good love for Zhao Rin that would be envied by everyone, it's not necessary, Zhao Rin responded indifferently, it's difficult to work together when we have different aspirations and paths, I have the ability to be self-sufficient and do not want to rely on your so-called influence to squander the people's hard-earned money, after Zhao Rin finished speaking, he didn't even raise his eyelids and gave a rebuff without hesitation, in fact, to his eyes, although the group of people in front of him were dressed in bright and shiny clothes, but most of them were only those who had no reputation, perhaps they did achieve some success in their careers, but if we really want to talk about strength, I'm afraid that any one of them is just relying on the family background to support them, and there is no real talent to speak of, hearing this, the smile that was originally hanging on Zhao Ling Tian's face instantly dissipated without a trace, and was replaced by a gradually converging smile and slightly narrowed eyes, which revealed even more hints of a dangerous aura, he stared closely at Zhao Rin and questioned in a low tone, Zhao Rin, what exactly do you mean by this, nothing, the corner of Zhao Rin's mouth spread into a cold smile, her eyes revealing a hint of disdain, if you really want to compensate me, then think hard about how you can get more money back from those foreigners and use it to subsidize the poor people in our country, look at these so-called dignitaries, they are either in charge or have a lot of money in their pockets, not only do they have full insurance coverage, but they also get a five-digit monthly pension after retirement, what's more, if they are unfortunate enough to get sick, they have medical insurance to pay for it, so they can lie in the hospital for years without any fear, and casually spend money on a small goal, but look at us, the common people, who can enjoy such treatment, the more Zhao Rin spoke, the more agitated he became, and his voice couldn't help but raise an octave, he had never had a good feeling towards this group of people, and at this moment, he was even more unabashed in hiding his disgust, Humph, if you really have the ability to do this, then I can reluctantly recognize you for a bit, as soon as the words fell, the faces of the group of people who had originally gathered behind Zhao Ling Tian suddenly changed, some had angry faces, clearly enraged by Zhao Rin's words, while others fell into deep thought, seemingly beginning to seriously consider the question posed by Zhao Rin, the entire scene suddenly became unusually awkward and tense, ha ha ha, right at this moment, Zhao Ling Tian suddenly laughed, what are you laughing at, 
Zhao Rain furrowed his brows and stared closely at Zhao Ling Tian's somewhat strange-looking face with a face full of suspicion, secretly pondering in his heart why the other party was so perverse. He really couldn't figure out how this man in front of him, who was usually unsmiling and steady and self-possessed, had suddenly become so strange. Zhao Ling Tian didn't seem to notice Zhao Rin's gaze as the corners of his mouth rose slightly, revealing an imperceptible smile. However, it was this smile that confused everyone present, because they clearly knew that this 11th marshal was by no means the type of person to show his emotions easily. Just as everyone was looking at each other in disbelief, Zhao Ling Tian finally spoke slowly. You all see, this is the kind of realization that only people who have truly experienced the hardships of the people and have an in-depth understanding of the life at the bottom of society can have. And what about you guys? Sitting in a cozy office all day long, buried in mountains of documents and long tedious reports, how can you experience this real emotion? After saying that, he fiercely turned his head, his sharp eyes like arrows shooting towards the group of energetic young people standing behind him, being looked at by him like this. The original crowd that was still quite calm suddenly became a bit uneasy, as if the secret that had been hidden deep inside their hearts for a long time had now been completely recognized. You guys communicate with each other first, and act according to my instructions later. After Zhao Ling Tian spoke, he gently waved his hand, signaling the group of second and third generation ancestors to talk freely. Rin Zhao, frankly speaking, when I first learned of your situation, I had very mixed feelings, both joy and worry. Joy because it turns out that I still have descendants, worry because I was worried that you would change your mind due to my background. But for now, it seems that I was overly concerned. After the others left, Zhao Ling Tian looked and said sincerely, however, I still suggest that you communicate and socialize more with those people just now. Even though I am extremely reluctant to admit it, the facts are in front of us. Most of them will step into the official world in the future. They are well equipped in every way, but the only thing they lack is real and meaningful life experience. Even if they read reports for three days and nights, they won't be able to understand the difficulties of harvesting as deeply as if they were to walk on the ground themselves. I see. Zhao Rin responded with an indifferent face, as if this matter had nothing to do with him. He secretly pondered in his heart that he was not even the slightest bit interested in that so-called cheap old man and all the benefits that might be brought behind it. After all, with his character and ambition, he would never rely on this kind of relationship to gain personal self-interest. However, if such a background could be used for the benefit of the common people, that might be another matter. But at the moment, he didn't think too much about it. Right at this moment, Fong Mei, who had been standing silently by the side, finally couldn't help but interject. You two masters have finished haven't you? Her gaze swept over the two of them before resting on Zhao Rin. And she said softly, Zhao Rin, ah, go with your mom to pay your respects to grandpa. Zhao Rin's heart tightened slightly, and an inexplicable feeling of resistance surged through him. Without hesitation, he replied, it's better to forget about it. I really don't really want to meet any relatives. After saying that, he turned around and prepared to leave, as if he wanted to escape the situation in front of him. Go check it out. It might actually help you. Or maybe, it can help you in other ways? At this moment, Zhao Ling Tian unexpectedly took the initiative to speak up and added with a smile after glancing meaningfully at Lu Ruyan. Just like that, Zhao Ren and the other three people were thus half pushed and half led by Zhao Ling Tian's group to another corner of the reception, only to see that there was a group of people gathered around there. While sitting in the center of the sofa was an old man with white hair, and the crowd was having a good conversation with this old man. Judging from their expressions, they really did have so much resemblance to Fong Mei and there was no doubt that these people must be the Fong family members. Turning his gaze to this side again, when he saw Zhao Ling Tian and his party arrive, that old master of the Fong clan's originally taught face instantly stretched out and bloomed into a bright smile. After all, in the end, we are all family. However, as for what he really thought in his heart, I'm afraid that only he himself knew best. Grandpa, my aunt and I brought our cousin over. At this time, Fong Wei said with a bright smile on his face, unlike his domineering appearance earlier. It's practically carved out of the same mold as your father. Hearing his own grandson's voice, Elder Master Fawn looked up at this grandson he had never met before and said with a kind smile on his face. However, Zhao Rin did not respond. He instinctively had some resistance. After all, normal parents, who would want to put their children in an orphanage kind of place? Ah, it was highly likely that there was this old man's shadow behind it. At this time, the old master seemed to have read Zhao Rin's mind and glanced at the junior beside him and the other party immediately pulled out a contract and pushed it in front of Zhao Rin. Grandpa doesn't have much of a meet and greet gift to give you. I heard that you work for a home company, so this will be a gift for you. Old Master Fong kindly said. At those words, Zhao Rin became somewhat helpless and just wanted to refuse. Fong Mi's quick eyes picked up the contract. Ruyin, you're in charge of the company now. 
help see if this business can be done? Seeing this, Zhao Rin turned his head to look at Lu Ruyan and opened his mouth. Yes, Ruyan, take a look for Rin. Seeing this, Mu Qingqing very cooperatively picked up the contract and said with a smile, Ha, huh? this, when Ruyan Lu heard this, she immediately hesitated a bit. It's fine, it's fine, Ruyan, you might as well take a look. Things were already like this, so Zhao Rin no longer dwelled on it and took the initiative to speak. All right then, Ruyan Lu took the contract and briefly flipped through it, and with just one glance, her brow furrowed, but it stretched in the next second. Ruyan, what's wrong? Seeing this, Zhao Rin couldn't help but feel a trace of doubt in his heart and couldn't help but ask one more question. Only Lu Ruyan slightly furrowed her brows, her gaze somewhat mesmerized as she stared at the densely packed words in front of her, seemingly struggling to comprehend their meaning. After a while, she gently shook her head, as if coming out of some kind of trance. Immediately afterward, she raised her head and looked towards Zhao Rin, and their gazes met in the air, as if conveying a tacit understanding that only they could understand. Then, the corners of Lu Ruyan's mouth rose slightly, revealing a faint smile. No no, it's just that it's been a long time since I've looked at so many words, and I'm a bit uncomfortable all of a sudden. Let's take the contract back and look at it. Just then, Fong Wei, who had been silent, suddenly interjected, Cousin, your friend is right. This contract is not as simple as a normal business cooperation. You really need to take it back and study it carefully, lest any problems arise in the future. His tone carried an unspeakable sense of superiority that made people uncomfortable to listen to. When Zhao Rin heard this, his face instantly became gloomy. In his heart, he knew very well that Fang Wei must have just heard Lu Ruyan and Mu Qingqing address him, but at this moment, he was deliberately pretending to be unaware of it, and was still displaying a superior stance. This kind of behavior made Zhao Rin feel incomparably disgusted, and he clenched his fists tightly, using all of his strength to barely suppress the burning rage in his heart. Ruyan is my legitimate girlfriend, not the so-called friend standing next to me. As soon as he thought of this, Zhao Rin thought that it was very necessary to once again solemnly declare the relationship between the two of them, so as to avoid causing unnecessary misunderstandings and reveries among the onlookers. Then what about this young lady? After Fang Wei heard this, his originally quite kind face immediately became blooming to the extreme as he frowned and questioned in an icy tone. Before the words fell, everyone present was stunned, especially the people of the Fong family, who even looked at each other and whispered. They really didn't expect that this grandson, who had just recognized each other not long ago, would be so brave and fearless that he dared to contradict the old master's favorite grandson in person. However, in the face of the crowd's astonished gazes as well as Fang Wei's aggressive questioning, Zhao Rin acted unusually calm and collected. He just lightly swept a glance at the other party, and then responded in an even more natural tone. Both of them are my girlfriends. As he spoke, Zhao Rin didn't hesitate to reach out his hands, pulling each of the two women's hands and clenching them tightly together. His eyes were full of confidence and determination, as if he was telling everyone this was the truth. No need to question it. That kind of look was like looking at a foolish fool. Zhao Rin, you mustn't talk nonsense. This matter must not be allowed. Hearing this, Fang Mei's face suddenly changed and she rebuked with a face full of displeasure. However, in the face of Fang Mei's rebuke, Zhao Rin was indifferent, only glancing at her coldly, then without hesitation, he took the two girls' hands and held them tightly in full view, responding in an even tone, she doesn't mind, she doesn't mind, what are you in a hurry for? As soon as the words left his mouth, Zhao Rin stopped paying attention to Fang Mei and resolutely turned around to leave with his two daughters. For him, the cooperation part was already over, and next, there were still matters of his own waiting to be dealt with. After all, this so-called upper-class social circle was already alien to him, and forcing his way into it would only make both parties feel awkward and unhappy. And with that, the reception ended on a sour note. Rin, is it really appropriate for you to just leave them at the hotel and go off on your own? As soon as they got on the bus, Mu Qingqing, who had always been silent, finally couldn't hold back and asked. At this moment, Zhao Rin was about to fasten his seatbelt, and when he heard this, he replied without a care in the world. Originally, I was thinking of getting acquainted with these so-called relatives, but after witnessing that scene just now, I think it's better not to bother with that. Ching Ching, these people can't even be called relatives. Lu Ruyan, who was on the side, closed the contract in her hand and interjected with a cold smile. What does that mean? Mu Ching Ching pursued with a face full of suspicion, and Zhao Rin also revealed a similarly confused look. I scrutinized these contracts just now. Zhao Rin's generous grandfather is really calculating, and the foreign trade home products they operate actually deliberately omitted the requirements for environmental protection. If it wasn't for our understanding of foreign markets, wouldn't we have fallen directly into the trap he set? 
Lu Ruyan explained indignantly. Humph, relatives? After Zhao Rin heard those two words, a disdainful sneer spread across the corners of his mouth. He thought to himself, he was born and raised without a father or mother, so where did he get any relatives? Immediately afterward, he started the vehicle without hesitation. Accompanied by the deafening roar of the engine, the car sped away like an arrow off the string. Meanwhile, Zhao Ling Tian inside the hotel was standing quietly in the center of the spacious and bright hall. His deep eyes stared tightly at the Primera that was gradually moving away outside the window, and a trace of an imperceptible smile spread across his face. Ling Tian, why is Zhao Rin he still unwilling to recognize us? Fong Mei, who was on the side, asked with a face full of doubt. Obviously, as of now, she still had not been able to gain insight into the reason for this. There's no need to care. Everyone has their own unique path in life. Zhao Ling Tian smiled faintly and replied in a calm tone. Just let him be. As for what will happen in the future will happen. And who can predict it beforehand? Fang Mei knew very well in her heart that Zhao Ling Tian's words were meaningful and contained a deeper meaning. She nodded slightly to express her understanding. Zhao Rin had just stepped into the door of 201's room, and his back foot hadn't even had time to get on the sofa cushion. When Li Changle's father's phone rang like an urging charm, a message came from the other end of the line, Zhao Ling Tian had left with Fang Mei. It's good to be gone. I'm satisfied that I can know who my real parents are. Zhao Rin replied in a calm tone, as if she had expected this outcome. Rin, what's next? After Zhao Rin hung up the phone, Lu Ruyan spoke. I don't know. Let's take one step at a time. Zhao Rin shook his head and spoke. On this journey, he looked back and saw that he didn't seem to have accomplished anything. Everything was just going with the flow. Suddenly, Zhao Rin was a little disappointed in himself. So it turned out that lying flat was such a bad feeling. Why don't you rest for a while? Rin, there's been so much going on lately. Seeing that Zhao Rin's state wasn't right, Lu Ruyan couldn't help but say, Yeah Rin, give yourself a good relaxation. Mu Qingqing also spoke up to help, but it was also true. After being an orphan for more than 20 years, suddenly popping up with his own parents and an extra set of things, anyone would feel tired. Okay, listen to you guys. Rin, something happened to the company. After Zhao Ling Tian left with Fang Mei, Zhao Rin took a good rest for a few days in 201. With the departure of those second and third generations who came back from Yin Jing, Zhao Rin's life gradually returned to normal. Unfortunately, the good times didn't last long. Zhao Rin had only just had a few days of peace, when a phone call from Lu Ruyan directly shattered this peace. After receiving the news, Zhao Rin hurriedly drove to the furniture company. Recall just Lu Ruyan in the cell phone to speak the tone of stammering. Zhao Rin's heart also more and more uneasy up. Furniture industry is not what the profiteering industry ah, who is full of nothing to do will go to engage in things ah, in order to a few pieces of broken wood? Brother Rin, you're here. The people at the headquarters all recognized Zhao Rin and hurriedly greeted him when they saw him arrive. What happened? Zhao Rin asked curiously as he nodded. I don't know. A few people came in the morning, claiming to be from some Fong family, saying that the furniture they ordered from us was fake and substituting for the best. A few people said one thing to each other and it was not easy to make things clear. Good. Zhao Rin replied expressionlessly, his eyes cold and firm. After listening, he slowly raised his head and gazed towards the upper floors with a torch-like gaze, as if he wanted to penetrate through the layers of floorboards and see the truth hidden above. Immediately afterward, he stepped towards the stairs without hesitation, each step seemingly calm and powerful. At this moment, the corridor on the second floor was extraordinarily quiet and empty. Not even a hint of wind blew through. Only the conference room located at the end of the corridor emitted a burst of noisy sounds. Zhao Rin didn't need to go in and see for himself. He could tell what was happening inside just by hearing. He secretly thought to himself. Humph. It must be that stupid bastard Fong Wei again. I don't know what tricks he's going to play this time. While thinking about this, Zhao Rin stepped into the conference room, his face as gloomy as the bottom of a pot. Upon entering the room, his gaze quickly locked onto Fong Wei, who was sitting in a chair and boasting and the two men's eyes instantly met and struck a chord. Yo, cousin, you're here. Anyways, we are also relatives. Is this how you entertain your relatives? Seeing that Zhao Rin had appeared, a smile appeared on Fang Wei's face, a smile that appeared to be warm, but was actually cold and chilly. Fang Wei, less condescension, you came over to find me for something? Zhao Rin said expressionlessly, and while saying so, he also took the initiative to take a step forward, stopping in front of Lu Ruyan. This home company of yours doesn't work. The things you make are second best. I'm here to ask for a statement. Fang Wei pointed to the documents on the table and said. Upon hearing this, Zhao Ran glanced at the cover, which was some kind of XX appraisal center, and then turned his head to look at Lu Ruyan with a questioning look in his eyes. 
This what's appraisal center is not a third party appraisal center. Ruyan Lu shook her head and explained. Come on, there's no need to scare me with that shit. I'll handle all the sales agreements the company has to make. I don't necessarily remember the names of all the customers, but I definitely remember that your name isn't in there. Zhao Rin said with some disgust, he didn't want to cross paths with this kind of person at all. Why does he always have to come looking for trouble? After saying that, Zhao Rin reached out his hand and swept the document onto the ground with one hand. Zhao Rin, don't you dare refuse to drink until you are forced to do so. When Fang Wei saw this, the expression on his face slowly began to become a bit twisted. Say, what exactly do you want? Zhao Rin glanced at him and spoke. Cousin Ah, after all, we have the same blood flowing in our bodies. When we encounter good things, we should naturally think of our own family. Fang Wei said with a smile on his face. His face was full of the bold look of having money to earn together. But in fact, he had hidden mysteries and evil intentions in his heart. No, the small home furnishing company of mine is simply insignificant compared to your business giants with tens of billions or even hundreds of billions of dollars. Just like a child playing house, with such a huge difference in status between the two sides, there's no way to talk about cooperation. After listening to what Fang Wei said, Zhao Rin just swept him lightly and decisively rejected him. Hey, cousin, that's not right. When my aunt and uncle went to Yinjing, they told me again and again to take good care of you, but also to teach you how to do business. Fang Wei said with a strong word, but its unrivaled attitude is really disgusting. It is a person who is holding a chicken feather as a token to play the bully. Care? According to you, this is considered care? Take this kind of unofficial and unauthorized rags of waste paper and tell me that the home from my side is substandard? Your kind of care. I really tethered a big QO. Zhao Ran showed a sneer. The corner of his mouth rose slightly, his eyes full of disdain and contempt. He really couldn't figure out why this so-called first cousin, who was merely related by blood, held such deep hostility towards him. That day at the reception, this person had already started targeting himself at every turn, and now he was even more intensified, which made Zhao Ran feel very confused and puzzled. However, in the face of Zhao Ran's questioning, Fang Wei acted unusually calm. He waved his hand in disbelief and slowly said, Hey, don't misunderstand, little brother. I just want to see how your sister-in-law and you handle crises. How can I say it's difficult? If I don't personally come over to inspect it, how can I rest assured that I'll be able to talk to you about cooperation? As he spoke, he still had that gentle smile on his face, seemingly completely unaffected by Zhao Ran's words. Cooperation? Fang Wei, I can't think of any good cooperation between our two families. Zhao Rin glanced at him, he had refused so many times and his words were full of refusal, but the other party acted as if he couldn't hear him, this made him wary, after all, pie doesn't fall from the sky, there are only traps, of course it's the home furnishing industry, just like the contract we talked about before, I have the sales channels on my side, and you have the sources of goods in your hands, wouldn't it be a beautiful thing if both sides can work together to jointly promote home furnishing products to the overseas market, after all, the pressure of competition in the domestic market is too great, but in Europe and North America, the new Chinese style of decoration has gradually become popular. Those foreigners can be said to be fond of the wooden furniture originating from our country. Seeing that Zhao Ren finally brought the topic to the right track, Fang Wei immediately gave a positive response, and ah, uh, these foreigners do not understand anything. We can purchase some high-grade wood, and then carefully packaged, as gold nanmu sold to them. In this way, the selling price can be at least 10 times. In this way, it's much better than you guys struggling to fight price wars at home and getting into endless involution, right? You know, the benefits of industrialization have benefited the general public more than businessmen like us oh, you don't need to be conscientious to make money from foreigners. Alright, then let's discuss how we can work together. Zhao Rin glanced at the other party and said with a smile, while glancing at Lu Ruyan by his side and signaling her to be at ease. Rin, do you really plan to cooperate with him? At the entrance of the company, Lu Ruyan watched the other party drive away until he disappeared from view. Only then did she slowly turn around, her gaze cast to Zhao Rin beside her, and asked in a soft voice, although she deeply knew that she shouldn't interfere too much in Zhao Rin's decision making. Out of concern and caution, there were still some questions that needed to be asked clearly in person. Hearing this, Zhao Rin didn't respond immediately, only gazing silently into the distance, his eyes revealing a hint of depth and contemplation. It was only after a moment that he spoke faintly. Do you think this so-called cousin of mine will believe that I'm willing to cooperate with them? The sunlight shot straight down like an arrow, and Zhao Rin squinted his eyes slightly, letting the light spill onto his face as if it was trying to penetrate every corner of his heart. He stared tightly at the car that was gradually moving away, as if trying to find an answer from that blurred back. Lu Ruyan shook her head without hesitation and said in a firm tone, If it were me, 
then I definitely wouldn't believe it. Who would talk about cooperation like this? Nowadays these days, even the triads don't bother to come to the door to talk about business in this way. Her words carried a little dissatisfaction and doubt, obviously very surprised by this sudden cooperation. So well, this world, I guess, he's just a giant straw man, he knows I won't believe him, and I know he won't believe me, just fine. After Zhao Rin said meaningfully, he whirled around and walked into the company. Should we contact your parents and talk to them about this matter? Lu Ruyan pondered for a while and then said, because she knew that Zhao Ling Tian had left contact information for Zhao Rin before they boarded the plane. No need. It doesn't matter if it's such a father, but with such a mother, I'm considered to have bad luck. At those words, Zhao Rin snorted coldly and gave a direct rejection. Oh, right. Ruyan, this company under Fong Wei's name, can you find out about it? At this moment, Zhao Rin, who was about to go upstairs, suddenly stopped and turned around to ask, I'll give it a try. It shouldn't be too much of a problem since they're making such a big deal out of it. After hearing this, Ruyan Lu nodded and accepted the task. On the other hand, Fang Wei drove straight to the old man, Zhao Rin's grandfather by blood, and described the matter briefly. Xiao Wei, are you sure that a Rin he will cooperate with you? Zhao Rin's grandfather listened. His face was silent. After a long time this opened his mouth. After many years of floating in the business sea, he always felt that things were not so simple. Dawn to reason, move to love well. In fact, this is also Aunt's command before she went to Yinjing with Aunt isn't it? After all, Aunt put her cousin in an orphanage to raise him back then because of a special reason. Now that Auntie got the person back, then our Fang family should also compensate the cousin for Auntie. Fang Wei changed his arrogant and domineering look when he was in contact with Zhao Rin. Instead he revealed a look of consideration for Zhao Rin and said, Alright then, this matter, let's leave it to you. Try to give them their share. We have a big family. As long as we recover our capital, it's fine. After hearing this, Zhao Rin's grandfather agreed after a little thought. Don't worry, grandpa, I'll get on with it. After getting the old man's approval, Fang Wei was more pleased in his heart. He knew that although Zhao Rin was not happy with himself, but he didn't believe that he would not be able to accept the conditions on the project proposal. Expanding export business. Which business is not moved? Only this inside the road but the water is very deep. As long as it comes in, not to take off the layer of skin but cannot get out of the time he Zhao Rin can only obediently come to beg for their own to save him, then his sight of the two women can be his Fong Wei's. In the next period of time, Zhao Rin was extremely busy. In his heart, he knew very well that with Fong Wei's personality, or rather the inherent bad nature that originated from his mother, who was only related to him by blood, this matter definitely could not be ended so easily. There might be some unknown sinister tricks hidden behind the scenes, waiting for him to fall into a trap. Therefore, Zhao Rin knew that he had to save for a rainy day, take the initiative to probe for information, and gain an in-depth understanding of the tricks and rules that needed to be mastered to engage in the import and export business at the present time. However, despite poking around, Zhao Rin was still very confused and puzzled about this field after some efforts. He had only scratched the surface, this kind of foreign trade business had extremely high requirements in terms of environmental protection. On the other hand, the company also ushered in three uninvited guests, respectively, Mu Qingqing's parents and her brother, Mu Chuan. After breaking up from that day, Mu Qingqing never saw them again, originally thought they had gone back to Yongcheng, but did not expect to come to Lu Ruyan's furniture company. Uncle and auntie, what are you guys? As Mu Qingqing's good girlfriend, Lu Ruyan had naturally seen her family. When she found their first sight, the first time she called Mu Qingqing and told her the situation, after hardening her heart, her own main sand greeted them. Ruyan ah, we need a batch of furniture. These are the drawings. Can you see if you can make it here? Seeing Ruyan Lu, Father Mu immediately revealed a smile and said, while saying that he didn't forget to take out a few folded drawings from his pocket and handed them over. This is mahogany furniture? Lu Ruyan took the drawings, and while guiding the three to take a seat in the VIP room, she carefully scrutinized the drawings in her hand, and after seeing some of the doorways, she tentatively asked, Yeah, Ruyan, take a look at the things on here. Would you be good enough to make them, study them, and then give me a price? Seeing that Ruyan Lu had opened her mouth, the three members of the Mu family glanced at each other, and after a brief eye contact, Mu's father continued, This thing, the domestic demand is not too big. Uncle and auntie, are you doing foreign trade business for foreign export? I have heard that Chinese furniture is very popular abroad now. Ruyan Lu said with a smile on her face, at the same time her heart was secretly alert. As far as she knew, the Mu family's business didn't seem to involve this furniture industry. Yes, this is not. Mu Chuan also grew up, heard that Chinese furniture is now popular in foreign countries, so I thought of doing this business to try. Therefore, 
We two families. Licking face door. I hope Ruyan you give a favorable price ah. As if guessing Lu Ruyan's mental activities, Mu mother took the initiative to open her mouth and said, Where where? Now that the domestic roles are so strong, I'm also worrying about how to find a profit margin, Ruyan Lu said with a smile, downplaying her attitude. There's a show. Upon hearing this, the Mu family's eyes instantly lit up. It seemed that what's his name Mr. Fong was right. I don't know uncle and aunt. Can you leave the drawings for me? I'll find a few skilled colleagues to account for it. At most three days, I'll give you an answer. Seeing the fish biting the hook, Lu Ruyan continued. In the end, she wanted to see what kind of medicine the other party was selling in their gourd, as well as the relationship with Fong Wei. Okay, then we'll work hard for you. We'll wait for the good news then. The three members of the Mu family glanced at each other, and smiles of relief and pleasure spread across their faces before they turned around and left the room. It's okay, only quality projects are worth cooperating with well. We all work together and work hard. We can definitely make money. Lu Ruyan responded with a smile on her face, but in fact, she had long been exhausted inside. She forced herself together and feigned a warm and friendly look in front of these people, but in reality, this kind of hypocritical socializing made her feel incredibly tired. Not long after the three members of the Mu clan left, Mu Qingqing arrived at the place where Lu Ruyan was. Seeing Mu Qingqing arrive, Lu Ruyan didn't hide anything in the slightest, but instead, she didn't hesitate to tell her everything that had happened before, even describing every detail clearly. Export business of mahogany furniture? This sounds so familiar ah. Mu Qingqing couldn't help but fall into deep thought after listening to Lu Ruyan's narration. She began to recall that cousin of his, Fang Wei, whom Zhao Rin had mentioned not long ago, and couldn't help but feel a hint of curiosity in her heart. Could it be that this industry was so popular right now? It had actually been mentioned by different people one after another. I suspect they're playing a game. Lu Ruyan looked at Mu Qingqing and said in a serious tone, Making a bureau? Mu Qingqing was a little less understanding. She hadn't been involved in business activities, so naturally she didn't particularly understand these things. Take this case for example. If your parents placed an order here, and after we negotiated the price and signed the contract, we made a batch of furniture according to the drawings they provided. However, as long as there are loopholes in the contract that we didn't notice, they would have a reason to refuse to pay the final payment. At this moment, if Fang Wei seizes the opportunity to come to our door and make similar requests and lower the price offered, we will have no choice but to sell at a low price in order not to lose money. Then we will be doing the work for others. Lu Ruyan said nonchalantly, while her eyes gazed sharply at Mu Qingqing, staring at her every move. In reality, this comment was intentional on Lu Ruyan's part. Her real intention was to test Mu Qingqing's attitude. After all, kinship is strong. Although we can't harm people with malice in our hearts. A necessary sense of defense is still indispensable. What? Can it still be done like this? Hearing these words from Ruyan Lu, Mu Qingqing instantly widened her eyes. This kind of business operation is also too dark. Right. What's the difference between this and those gangs that engage in electric fraud? What's in it? Business war is always so plain and simple. That kind of dazzling operations are all made by TV dramas for people to see. Real business competition is one principle. No capital. Or micro capital. Ruyan Lu said with a smile. Then what should we do? Mu Qingqing said eagerly. Let's respond to all changes with no change. But inside this matter, there are your mom and dad and your brother. So Qingqing, you need to think about it. Lu Ruyan said. The words turned. Put the focus on the other side of the body. Although the words have not yet said all, but the meaning has arrived. Let me think about it. Okay? Mu Qingqing froze at the words and lowered her head without saying a word. And it was only after half a day that she opened her mouth to reply. Although she could sever her relationship with her parents, but in the face of these things in front of her, letting her really destroy her parents, then she asked herself that she couldn't do it either. Then there's no need to rush. Everything is still unknown. After receiving the answer, Lu Ruyan took the initiative to open her mouth to ease the atmosphere and said, Under this sky, is there such a coincidence? Zhao Ren looked at the design drawings in his hands and couldn't help but laugh out softly. What in the world was going on here? What on earth are they doing ah? That's right. There's no such coincidence in this world. Ruyan Lu sat on the sofa to the side with a faint smile on her face. If she hadn't considered Mu Qingqing's feelings and emotions, she was afraid that she would have let out a loud laugh. However, Zhao Rin's thoughts were different from Lu Ruyan. For him, as long as he didn't fall for the scam, these so-called scams were irrelevant, and could even be laughed off as after-dinner talk. In contrast, he was more concerned about Mu Qingqing's thoughts. On Qing Qing's side, what does she think? Zhao Ren furrowed his brows and pondered in his mind. He knew that Mu Qingqing was a sensitive and delicate person and might be upset or confused by this matter. 
He wished to understand her true thoughts so that he could offer appropriate comfort and support. She said she had to think about it, what she needs to do, or what she should do, if this matter is true. When Lu Ruyin heard this, a wave of sourness suddenly rose in her heart, and this sour feeling made her very uncomfortable. She couldn't think of a way to understand that she was clearly Zhao Rin's original wife. So why at this moment, Zhao Rin's first reaction was to think about Mu Qingqing rather than herself, the queen of the main palace, who had once had a marriage contract with him. However, despite the waves in her heart, on the surface, Lu Ruyin remained motionless. Ruyin, just as Ruyin Lu's mind was churning, Zhao Rin detected her fluctuating heart through her flickering and jumping eyes. Ha! Lu Ruyin was coldly called out by Zhao Rin in such a way that she reflexively straightened her body and answered, What's wrong with you? Seeing that Lu Ruyin was a bit off, Zhao Rin sighed silently in his heart and took the initiative to ask, No no, I was thinking, what does Fang Wei want? Doesn't he know that the people he's looking for happen to be Qing Qing's parents and brother? Seeing Zhao Rin take the initiative to open her mouth to show concern for herself, Lu Ruyin immediately felt much more comfortable in her heart. So she fixed her mind and slowly said, With the Fang family's financial power, they surely have the ability to find out all this information ah. I really can't believe that he would make such a low-level mistake. Zhao Ran responded with a frown while pinching the design drawings in his hand. No matter what he's up to, we have to speed up the background investigation of the company behind him. I always feel that this matter is not that simple. The set of tactics Fang Wei used, if placed 10 years ago, might still be able to deceive some people. However, in today's era, anyone with a little bit of a brain would be on high alert for this kind of fraudulent behavior using foreign trade as a gimmick after listening to the country's overwhelming North Burma fraud prevention propaganda. That is why it is simply impossible for this type of fraud to succeed. And this, precisely, is where Zhao Rin feels strange. Fang Wei can't know that it's unreasonable and still clearly show it. This is simply off the mark. I've already asked a specialized business broker to help with the investigation. I believe the results will come out soon. Ruyin Lu also agreed with Zhao Rin's words and nodded. Let's hope there's a result soon. As much as I dislike Qing Qing's mother's family, she surely doesn't want them to be cheated out of their money. Zhao Rin shook her head helplessly and said, Rin, you guessed right. This Fang Wei is really up to something. After a few days, Lu Ruyin found Zhao Rin as if she was relieved and gently placed a mysterious paper document in front of Zhao Rin. A look of celebration spreading across her face. Hearing this, Zhao Rin's heart tightened and he quickly picked up the document, reading each line with full attention. As time passed, his face became paler and paler, and fear gradually surged to his heart. Where was Fang Wei doing business? He was clearly using loopholes to cheat. This was a complete game of playing with the information gap. Originally, after in-depth investigation, Fang Wei even secretly registered a number of import and export trading companies. On the surface, these companies seemed to be unrelated, each operating in different areas of business, some specializing in the Western European market, some are aimed at North America, and some focus on Eastern Europe. They do not conflict with each other's business areas. It seems that everything is well organized, compliant and legal. However, when Zhao Rin continued to flip through the subsequent pages of text, a shocking fact surfaced the final destination of the logistics transportation was actually those European countries with the most stringent environmental policies. This discovery shocked him, and he cried out in his heart that it was not good. That's quite a play. As the paper flipped, Zhao Rin's face gradually became gloomy. This kind of trick. I'm afraid that only this kind of person who was used to doing foreign trade could think of it. Let's say, want to ship furniture to Europe? You need to provide a material assessment report. To determine the material meets the environmental standards, this can be successfully passed through the country's customs. But then, Europe has a BUG. That is, the European Union. The European Union's policies in some countries are not quite the same. And some of the differences between the two. The probability is that Fong Wei's way of taking water. This Fong Wei, can really have a hand in this? Real is false. False is real. Those who don't know better think they are winning, but they don't realize that they will still be pitched. Zhao Rin smiled bitterly and closed the document, saying slowly, Then Rin, what should we do next? Seeing Zhao Rin's bitter smile, Lu Ruyin was a little worried, not worried about herself, but worried about Mu Qingqing's parents and her brother, even though on the surface it was all said to be severed, but after all, the blood relationship was there. How could it be so easy to say that it was severed? Let's see if that business fixer can find any victims who have been screwed over by Fang Wei. At the very least, we need to know how he operates in order to cheat people. Good, but this will take some time. After Lu Ruyin heard this, she also nodded with great approval, while giving Zhao Ren a complicated look in her eyes. Truly it's not a family that doesn't enter a family. Zhao Ren's mom was like this. For the sake of her own glory and wealth she entrusted Zhao Ren to an orphanage. 
not even going to see him, letting him grow up alone like this, his so-called cousins are also like this, in order to their own interests, all day thinking of empty gloves, really the same raccoon ah, there's no rush for now, let Fong Wei bounce around for a while longer, the more he bounces around, the more loopholes there will be, shouldn't the people who are in a hurry be the crooks who want to cheat people, how could it be us real people, Zhao Rin said unhurriedly, if he had known that it was so troublesome, then he wouldn't have recognized it, this identity of his own could be really troublesome, Ruyin, next, it's up to you, in the company's conference room, after Ruyin Lu and Mu's father signed the contract, Mu's father looked at Ruyin Lu and said with a spring in his step, in front of his eyes, he seemed to see himself making a big profit and getting rich overnight, don't worry, Uncle Mu, Ruyin Lu nodded, and the color in her eyes flickered, it seemed that Fong Wei had brainwashed him thoroughly, come on, Ruyin, you let your company's finance check it, I paid a deposit of one million dollars, and the rest of the balance will be paid in one lump sum on the day you deliver the goods, but you still have to work hard at that time, because this batch of goods is going to be exported, so I have to arrange for a big truck to come over and pull it away, Mu's father took out his cell phone and operated a few times on it, and soon paid the deposit to Ruyin Lu's company's public account, Uncle Mu, is it convenient to tell me which import and export trading company, I remember that you used to do business in Yongcheng, why did you suddenly start the mahogany furniture import and export business, seeing all of Mu's family members in high spirits, Ruyin Lu couldn't help but feel entangled in her heart and opened her mouth to ask, alas, this is the industry's inner circle, it's so tedious to be stuck in a store all day and night, working hard to earn so little hard earned money, and having to bow and scrape to the customers, it's so tedious, why don't you just give it a shot, maybe the bike can really become a motorcycle, Mu's father said these words with a big smile, while using the rest of his eyes to glance at Lu Ruyin, that look feels a bit wrong, as if hiding a few points of vigilance, while Lu Ruyin's eyes similarly flashed with a trace of imperceptible dissimilarity, she still had a smile on her face and felt sorry for these few people from the Mu family, after all, it was highly likely that they would end up losing all their money after such a huge investment, however, regarding the reason why they were doing this, Zhao Rin did not explicitly state it, and she was merely acting in accordance with Zhao Rin's instructions, I see, I see, Uncle Mu, don't worry, I won't steal your business, I'm only responsible for the production end of things, but let's say it in advance ha, this deposit arrives before I can start work on the furniture, Lu Ruyin laughed softly and explained, not caring whether the other party listened to it or not, said a pass of his own, after sending off the Mu family, Zhao Rin came out from another office, quietly looking at the contract in hand and studying it, especially many of the details of the terms and conditions, he is one word by one word over, can be said to be word by word study, as expected, the last possible problem place, still the furniture surface paint this piece, involving the issue of environmental protection, the European Union standards and their respective national standards, once the Mu family does not understand the Tao of the words, did not inquire about the acceptance of the goods of the country's environmental protection policy, then it will be blood money and finally can only be held by Fong Wei's foreign trade company. After holding the contract and looking at it for a long time, Zhao Rin finally returned it to Lu Ruyin. So, what do we do? Lu Ruyin said calmly, there is a pit in here, there is no mention of surface paint environmental protection, but this is also a very simple thing for them. Paint according to the local standard is good, it is easy to finish. Let's use a high standard of environmentally friendly paint to teach Fong Wei a lesson. Zhao Rin gently touched Ruyin Lu's forehead and softly said, time day by day, in Zhao Rin's special care, in accordance with the drawings provided by the Mu family members ordered the batch of mahogany furniture is finally freshly baked weather from the choice of wood, workmanship and surface paint treatment, have done the limit, especially the surface of the paint treatment, but also to Europe's most stringent furniture environmental regulations as a reference and specially selected, in order to give Fong Wei this thought that the victory of the son of a lesson, the two sides agreed to deliver the day as promised, Lu Ruyin accompanied Mu family members in the warehouse randomly check out some furniture, everything is strictly in accordance with the drawings above the size of the processing, there will not be any mistakes, Ruyin ah, it seems that the cooperation between our two families can be strengthened in the future, smelling the faint smell of paint in the warehouse, Mu's father's heart felt pleased and happy, when the large trucks responsible for hauling the goods arrive, he will immediately load and unload this batch of furniture and transport it away, and once it is transported to the pier, the money will be in the account, yes, we cooperate with each other, each play their own advantages, so that we can make progress together, Lu Ruyin also said with a smile, but in his heart, he was still mocking the other side, if he hadn't specifically investigated, specially used high level paint, on the Mu family this brain, really is a minute to be pitched pants to pawn, 
After some polite pleasantries, we finally came to the most important part, which is to pay with one hand and deliver with the other. After the other party had finished inspecting everything, just inside the temporary office of the warehouse, Ruyan Lu spread out the detailed bill that she had prepared beforehand and laid it in front of the Mu family. Uncle Mu, and Auntie, you guys take a detailed look. This is the full cost, including materials, labor plus paint. As a child who grew up in the furniture industry, as early as when Lu Ruyan was very young, she followed her own father and went to participate in the furniture. And these things are naturally a handful for her. Ruyan, there's no problem with any of this. I'll settle all the money to you now. Mu's father lightly glanced at the amount figures on it and spoke, deducting the 10% deposit he paid off earlier. The remaining balance was 5. 4 million yuan. Although a bit painful, after all, this is all the short-term liquidity he can put together on his body. The rest of the fixed assets want to realize at least a fracture to be able to do. Then this is best. Hearing this, Ruyan Lu was a little surprised. Mu family members this was for the sake of making more money. It was really kind of all in on everything they had. Come on. Public to public account. It's quick. Mu father boldly said. The camera turns. All I and his entire fortune Mu's father since the pressure of this batch of goods to Fongwei's import and export trading company. Seeing the big fish that he has been hanging for so long is finally biting the hook. Fongwei is also grinning like a lotus flower. And will only need to go through the motions. And then scare them. Wait a few days. And then arrange for another short company to go over to suppress the price. Their own so left hand to right hand. All or not. Nah. Recently. The exchange rate of the euro is so high, they must have made a lot of money. Mr. Fong, the goods you want. It's ready for your company's people to inspect and test. Finally delivering the goods in person. Mu's father was relieved. At this time he was a paper tiger in the true sense of the word. His pockets were empty. Yeah. Fong Wei gave a look to Shinobu beside him. Then took the initiative to pour a cup of tea for Mu's father. Ten minutes later, his men came hurriedly. Attached to Fong Wei's ear muttered a few words. His face changed instantly. What's wrong? Mr. Fong? Mu father watched originally still full of smiles Fong Wei suddenly changed face. The heart cannot help but thump a moment. Will not be found in the company's account money is not enough. Today cannot pay the full amount of it. So cannot help but cautiously probed. It's fine. Boss Mu. You sit down for a while. I have some things to do. I'll be back soon. Hearing Mu's father's voice. Fong Wei didn't move and smiled. Then opened his mouth. All right then. I'll wait here for you to get busy. Mr. Fong. Father Mu nodded and calmly said. He wasn't interested in knowing what was going on with the other party. He was only clear about one thing. And that was that he had come all the way here today to transport the mahogany furniture. And had even mortgaged his own fortune to pay off the full amount. So no matter what. He must get the money today. Otherwise. His family will have to sleep on the street and drink the northwest wind. On the other hand. Fong Wei hurriedly went downstairs. The staff responsible for testing the environmental conditions of furniture immediately handed over a test report. Fong Wei received it with a gloomy face, and at a glance, his face suddenly became a few more points gloomy. He was a little less happy in his heart. He, a veteran who had been playing with eagles for many years, was actually pecked by an eagle at this time. Mr. Fong, what should we do? At this moment, his men came forward and approached Fong Wei's ear to ask for instructions. What else can I do? Pay the money. Take it as it is. The European goods can't be delayed any longer. Fong Wei sighed. Several millions of goods ah, could have used the word game. Super low into the hands. And then earn him a sum. Now it's good. The hard head can only pay. At that time in order to tempt the other party. Also appropriately raised the price of 10%. Now it can only pay according to the contract price. Otherwise, if he lost his credit on the surface. Not only is the company finished. The elders of the Fong family will not forgive him lightly. I'm sorry, boss Mu. The furniture you brought over just now I had to have my staff look at it. The stuff is good. Top quality goods. I can pay now. After returning to the office, Fong Wei said with a formulaic smile on his face. Although he was heartbroken in his heart, he still had a calm appearance on the surface. That's really thanks to Mr. Fong. In Fong Wei's office waiting for a long time Mu father can be considered to wait for this sentence. Hanging heart immediately put down half. Deducting a few sets of real estate cannot be immediately out of the property. All of his cash and everything else can be collateralized things. All in this batch of furniture on the body. But where Fong Wei today in the capital card him, he immediately have to sleep on the street. Drink the northwest wind. On the other hand, Zhao Rin, who was busy in the company, received a call from his father. Zhao Ling Tian. Something wrong? For this cheap father of his, Zhao Rin didn't have a good tone to give him. Things are done well. Very organized. In the earpiece, 
Zhao Ling Tian didn't mind Zhao Rin's tone at all and said to himself, What do you mean? Zhou Rin sounded a bit puzzled. You did a good job with the Fong family. This maternal family of your mom's, ah, is profit-oriented and is still planning to pull you down. Zhao Ling Tian explained, his tone sounding filled with strong disdain. How do you know? At those words, Zhao Rin was a bit surprised. Why don't I know? Zhao Ling Tian said with a smile. Any interest in switching tracks and wearing a black hat? Sorry, I'm not interested. Zhao Rin refused. It doesn't matter if you're interested or not. What matters is that I think you are. I'm just asking you politely. Zhao Ling Tian's voice was as flat as water, as if this matter had nothing to do with him. However, whether Zhao Rin agreed or refused, it seemed that it wouldn't have any effect on him. What do you mean? Hearing this, Zhao Rin couldn't help but frown. His hand holding the cell phone was slightly hard as a wave of dissatisfaction welled up in his heart. The domineering aura coming from the earpiece made him feel very uncomfortable. This inexplicable way of conversing bored him, but he couldn't just hang up the phone. Come to Yinjing for a trip. I, as a father, have been missing fatherly love for so many years. It's time to make up for it. Zhao Ling Tian did not respond to Zhao Rin's query. Instead, he changed the topic and made a seemingly reasonable yet abrupt request. He hoped that Zhao Rin would be able to travel to Yinjing. Zhao Rin was silent for a moment, pondering in his heart. What exactly does this so-called makeup mean? Ever since he was a child, he had been an orphan, and he had only been a stranger to his father by blood. Now this stranger suddenly said that he wanted to make amends, which was really puzzling. But at the same time, Zhao Rin couldn't help but feel a trace of curiosity deep down, wanting to see what this father, whom he hadn't met for a long time, was selling. Make amends? There's no need. I'm a person who was born and raised without a father or mother. When Zhao Rin heard this, he rejected it without even thinking about it. Yanjing is a place full of bigwigs and rich people like dogs. A brick down, can hit a piece of the director and the rich. He did not want to go to find uncomfortable. He does not think of power in the hands. Nothing to run there to do? Rin, you, you'd better come. Your mother, she misses you. After being rejected once more, Zhao Ling Tian's tone and attitude softened, not as overbearing as it had been earlier. Oh, the person who left me in an orphanage for her own glory and wealth and whom she hasn't seen in 20 years or so. You're actually joking with me by telling me that she misses me? When Zhao Rin heard this, he immediately sneered. You might as well say that a handful of people are going to summon me. It's all more believable than her coming. Alas, you find time to come here. Your mother, she, really has something difficult to say. After quietly listening to Zhao Rin venting, Zhao Ling Tian sighed and said, and after saying that, without waiting for Zhao Rin to reply, he directly hung up the phone, listening to the beep 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 busy sound in the handset. Zhao Rin only felt unusually irritable, and the feeling that the established life trajectory had been broken once again surged to his heart. What's all this? Zhao Rin muttered as she put down her cell phone with some agitation. After a long time, Zhao Rin's cell phone rang, and at a glance, it was clearly Li Changdel, who hadn't chatted for a long time, calling. Rin, is it convenient for you now? Li Changdel said. Uh, what's wrong? Zhou Rin asked. My dad told me to tell you to grab a plane and take a trip to Yanjing. Li Changdel hesitantly said. To Yanjing? Zhao Rin frowned. Was this the sky falling? Why was he being asked to go to Yanjing again? Yes, to Yanjing. Li Changdel opened his mouth once more and said affirmatively. Did you say what you were doing in Yanjing? Or what happened? In Zhao Rin's heart, there was a sudden sense of foreboding. Not sure. My dad didn't say. Li Changdel said. Good. Zhao Rin hung up the phone and fell into deep thought. At 3 o'clock in the afternoon, at Yanjing International Airport, Zhao Rin stepped down from the parked airplane and took the ferry to the exit of the airport. This time, when he came to Yanjing, Zhao Rin belonged to the category of traveling thousands of miles. He refused Zhao Ling Tian's good intention of sending someone to pick him up. Instead, he just asked for an address from the other party, saying that he would find his way there. Walking out from the exit of the airport, Zhao Rin saw what it meant to be a city of nine or five, under the feet of the Son of Heaven. Yanjing, the capital of this great eastern country, was showing its might and honor to all the outsiders. At the same time, in Yanjing's sanatorium, Zhao Ling Tian looked at the flickering red dot inside the big screen in front of him and revealed a smile. Unless it's those guys here, no one can escape my ears. After stopping at the exit for a few minutes, Zhao Rin tightened the backpack on his shoulders and was about to cross the private waiting area to the opposite cab waiting area to get a cab there. But unexpectedly, out of the corner of his eye, he liked to see a red Ferrari coming quickly in his direction, and the sound of that large displacement engine sounded very eye-catching. When it was too late, Zhao Rin couldn't think of anything else, and immediately stopped his footsteps, but still a step too slow. 
Even though the owner of the Ferrari also stepped on the brakes at the first time, but because of the strong power brought by the powerful inertia was not able to be dragged by the brakes, not too light or heavy knocked on Zhao Rin's knees, issued a thud sound. Crap. No way. This is okay. Feeling the pain on his knees from the bump, Zhao Rin couldn't help but curse. And the next second, an indiscriminate scolding rushed at his own split face smashed over. UTM blind ah. See the car coming still go forward. Hiss. Ignoring the other party, Zhao Rin bent down and rubbed his knee, then moved it around a bit, realizing that there wasn't much of a problem outside of just a little bit of pain, and then let out a sigh of relief. Hey, are you deaf? This lady is talking to you. Ouyang Jing cracked a speech, but found that the person in front of him did not take care of himself at all. Then this fire became more prevalent, could not help but step forward, stood in front of Zhao Rin and raised his voice and said, This young lady, it's obviously you who didn't follow the posted speed limit and drove over the speed limit in this speed limit zone. And now you're blaming me? Zhao Rin had no intention of spoiling this kind of spoiled rich girl, reaching out and pulling out her ears, then loudly chided. As long as he was reasonable, what was she afraid of? This is my Ferrari. Such a beautiful color. Such a high-pitched sound. Did you not see or hear? Being disliked by Zhao Rin with no mercy. Under the eyes of everyone, Ouyang Jing felt that his face was a bit untenable, and immediately pointed to his own Ferrari, and puffed at Zhao Rin, attempting to retrieve the scene. Driving a Ferrari is great. Now it's a rule of law society. The country has laws. It's not like you're in charge. Do you think this is your family's world? Looking at the other party's imposing appearance, Zhao Rin disdainfully skimmed his mouth. You, I already hit the brakes. Can't you go any faster? I'm a girl, eh? Can't you just let me go? Zhao Rin's words caused Ouyang Jing's face to turn green for a while, and in the end, her mouth deflated and she immediately started the characteristic girl's formula of moral kidnapping. Ha! Make make you? Which one are you? My mom? My sister? Or my wife? Let Nima ah. It's your fault just admit it. I can walk and jump, and do not intend to blackmail you, but also here on the line up. Zhao Rin coldly laughed and said, Good guy, isn't this the once Lu Ruyan? Bastard. Who are you calling uppity? You knocked my Ferrari and still don't apologize to me. Believe it or not I'll make you leave Yanjing? Being disliked so much by Zhao Rin, the anger in Ouyang Jing's heart burned even more and in a hot-headed manner. She even openly spoke such words with a little bit of a black shibboleth nature to threaten Zhao Rin at a place like Yinjing International Airport, which was a place that brought together all the lakes in the world. Oh, driving a Ferrari is such a big deal. Is it? You're threatening me? I'd like to see. There are surveillance cameras and speed cameras here. Or let's call the police to review the situation? Hearing this, Zhao Rin sneered. This woman is afraid not by the money-blinded brain it. If a small place may still have a strong brother as a backer can say such words, but here is Yin Jing, take a brick, casually thrown into the distance, can hit a large number of departmental cadres? Actually there are people who dare to say such words, send her two bare heart and leopard gall. You, you wait for me, for this matter today, if you don't apologize to me, I'm not done with you. After saying that, Ouyang Jing went back inside the car, took out her cell phone, and made a call out, immediately afterward. Ouyang Jing became smug and looked at Zhao Rin with a disgusted expression, and Zhao Rin is also happy at ease. Anyway, he is idle. Just play with her. Besides, even if the other party is a dignitary, as long as he took advantage of the reason is not with a wimp. Anyway, his own cheap old man, nicknamed Eleven Handsome, the whole country, can pressure him head to head only a few. He was afraid of what? Thinking of this, Zhao Rin also calmed down and just stood at the side of the Ferrari, waiting for the other side to shake the people over. After three to five minutes, a burly man walked over with a dragon stride. That stance, at a glance, was that of a professionally trained practitioner. Little sister, what's wrong? As soon as the man came over, he directly ignored Zhao Rin and instead looked at Ouyang Jing with a concerned face and softly said, Big brother, I originally wanted to drive the car directly to the airport interior. It's all because of this person, suddenly crossing the line, and as a result, it rubbed on, seeing her big brother coming. Oh Yang Jing immediately deflated her mouth, pointing at Zhao Rin and said angrily, in a few words, she brushed off the responsibility for her speeding, and on the contrary, she also blamed Zhao Rin for crossing the road without looking at the car, and as a result, it rubbed against her Ferrari. At those words, Zhao Rin froze, this is simply the hell, the world's little fairy are the same door, take the same cultivation manual, even the tone of voice is so unified, simply inverted the big dipper, and at that moment, the airport security guard who had heard the news hurriedly walked over to Zhao Rin's side, turned his back to the two Ouyang Jing siblings and muttered in Zhao Rin's ear in a low voice, Brother, these two siblings are not to be messed with. 
I heard that his family's old man is one of the only remaining original shareholders, so hurry up and give in while it's okay to talk, otherwise it's the police coming, you won't be able to do well. Security words, can be said to be out of a piece of goodwill, but Zhao Rin is not the slightest thought, the so-called county officials are not as good as the current management, in the position and retired, even if the level is the same, but pulled to the position of the weight of the formula inside the calculation, the actual effect will be very different. What's more, this kind of small dispute, as long as he occupies the reason, how to make trouble are not afraid, out of the matter, let the cheap old man wipe his ass, thanks, but I still like to be reasonable, Zhao Rin answered in a small voice, then took a step forward around the security guard and came directly into contact with Ouyang Jing's big brother, kid, I don't care how powerful you are in your own old home, however, this is Yin Jing, it's a dragon you have to coil, it's a tiger you have to lie down, now, you'd better apologize to my sister and this matter will be over, Oh Yang Jing's elder brother, thinking himself generous, said, he he, obviously your sister bumped into me and you want me to apologize, isn't that a bit too much, Zhao Rin revealed a sneer and laughed coldly, because she's a girl, don't you know how to give in to a girl as a big man, being choked by Zhao Rin, Oh Yang Jing's big brother couldn't refute for a moment, so he simply took out the girl as a jack of all trades, it's really not a family, not a door, Zhao Rin sniffed and suddenly realized, looking at Ouyang Jing, he shook his head in disappointment, with such a family tutor, no wonder the social fire is so big now, what do you say, you want to call the police right, whatever, upon hearing this, Ouyang Jing's big brother was instantly on fire and immediately and confidently took out his cell phone, chief, something has happened, Zhao Ling Tian, who was taking a nap in the sanatorium, received a report from his guards, what's wrong, did little day call again, hearing the voice, Zhao Ling Tian didn't even bring his eyelids up and said in a nonchalant manner, it's your son, Zhao Rin, at those words, the guard was dumbfounded and said truthfully, what era is this now, does little day still have that ability, as long as these internal scumbags were held down, little day wouldn't be able to become a climate, him, what's wrong, hearing that it was his only son, Zhao Ling Tian instantly couldn't sit still and opened his eyes to ask, it's the Ouyang family's people and him who have clashed at the airport exit. Seeing the always unperturbed chief reveal a tense expression, the guard immediately spoke up and replied, The Ouyang family? I didn't expect the old man to be a hero for the rest of his life, but these grandchildren are so useless, causing trouble for three days. At those words, Zhao Ling Tian let out a sigh of relief. At the same time, he couldn't help but open his mouth and said in a sarcastic tone, It was obvious that for the Ouyang family, he was really a little hard on the eyes. Go! Make a call to that four-legged, simple-minded fool from the Ouyang family, and say that it's eleven marshals people, and tell them to get out immediately. Otherwise, I don't mind teaching them a lesson for old General Ouyang. After thinking for a moment, Zhao Ling Tian said to the guard, Chief this, isn't it not good? At that the guard's eyes jumped, and he said somewhat uncomfortably, What's the point? It's not like I'm using public power for private purposes. I'm just protecting my son normally. Zhao Ling Tian waved his hand and said, Yes. Seeing this, the guard responded with a promise before exiting Zhao Ling Tian's lounge. On the other side here at the airport, the airport sheriff's deputies who were called to the scene have arrived. However, as soon as he saw the two siblings of the imposing Ouyang family, he was instantly left with two big heads. A few comrades of the magistrates, this lady is the owner of this Ferrari. When she drove here just now, she didn't follow the prescribed speed limit and slowed down. Instead, she did what she wanted. Seeing that the vigilantes had come over. Zhao Rin smiled and took the initiative to introduce the situation. In the end, he would see just how much weight this pair of siblings had in this Yinjing. Otherwise, this comrade, if you don't have any damage, then it's better to mediate and forget about it. One of the vigilantes had the same tone as the security guard just now. The words, Zhao Rin immediately understood. This pair of siblings behind the energy is very sufficient ah. Enough to them these grassroots personnel do not dare to act rashly. The first thing I noticed was that the security guards were intentionally driving away the onlookers, and the way they were doing it, it wasn't the first time they had done it. Kid, now it's as you wanted. Speak for yourself. How do you want to resolve this matter? Ouyang Jing's elder brother looked at Zhao Rin who was still calm without the slightest bit of panic, and then the anger in his heart grew even greater. So he said very arrogantly, Tell me, what do you want to resolve? After witnessing the situation with his own eyes, Zhao Rin didn't make things difficult for these airport staff. After all, this was just a job for people, so he chose to go head on and tough it out. It's simple. Just bow to my sister and say three apologies. Upon hearing this, Ouyang Jing's elder brother thought that Zhao Rin was being soft, 
and immediately said in a churlish manner, bowing ah, this is simple, I am good at it, but isn't this occasion inappropriate ah, bowing I do it in the spirit hall, your sister a big living person doesn't seem very suitable, Zhao Rin sneered, kid, you are really looking for death, this time the siblings were really angry, and this group of staff around them also silently closed their eyes, whose ministry is this in the end, how can it be so brave, I'm not looking for death, I just want a piece of reason and justice, looking at the other party's hysterical appearance, Zhao Rin revealed an expression that seemed to be laughing, he himself, the one being bullied was not in a hurry, but instead the two bullies were in a hurry, in Yan Jing, I am justice, oh Yang Jing huffed, yeah, there are so many people here, are you sure that what you said will count, hearing these words, Zhao Ran laughed and looked at Ouyang Jing as if he was looking at an idiot. Although this world was a huge straw stage, but there was always something to do on the surface, right? And even the surface work was too lazy to do it. Then it means that the theater that belongs to you is about to be lost. Even if you have a good eye in your hand, it's useless. Little Jing. At this point, Ouyang Jing's brother calmed down and looked at his sister before taking the initiative to walk over to Zhao Rin. This gentleman, get acquainted. My surname is Ouyang. My name is Ouyang Luan and she is my sister, Oh Yang Jing, seeing the other party suddenly become so kind, Zhao Rin froze, and he was suddenly a little confused as to what kind of medicine the other party was selling, Mr. Oh Yang, what is your instruction, the other party welcomed him with a smiling face, so naturally Zhao Rin was not in a position to be too forceful, and also extended his hand and said, stop it, brother, I may not mind, but my sister Oh Yang Jing is not willing, Oh Yang Luan said with a smile on his face, today, Things had gotten a little too big, in public, to be honest, he really couldn't do anything, but so many people were watching, if he Oh Yang Luan didn't do something, where would he put his face, wrap it up, Mr. Oh Yang, I'm not secretary Da Kong, how do you think I should stop, it's obviously your sister Oh Yang Jing's fault, shouldn't you advise her to call it quits, upon hearing this, Zhao Rin continued to chuckle, big brother, don't talk nonsense with him, make the call, perhaps it was really by Oh Yang Luan, Oh Yang Jing felt like he couldn't pass his face, seeing Zhao Rin's oil and salt, his face gradually became gloomy. At that, Oh Yang Luan took out his cell phone and was about to make a call, but he didn't expect someone to preempt the call to his cell phone. Looking at the number, Oh Yang Luan froze, wasn't this number the special number that Eleven Handsome commonly used? After freezing for a few seconds, Oh Yang Luan looked at Zhao Rin with some suspicion. In just a few seconds, he thought through what he had done during this period of time and really didn't think where he had offended Eleven Handsome. In the end, he still gathered his courage and picked up the number. Mr. Oh Yang, the young man standing in front of you right now, is Eleven Marshall's lost child outside, and his only son, I hope you treasure him. Once connected, Zhao Ling Tian's guards didn't ink, much less pleasantries, and directly opened the door. Five seconds later, the phone was hung up listening to the cell phone handset beep 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 busy sound. Oh Yang Luan's heart has already had a plan. Brother, I'm sorry, it's our fault. Sister, come over and apologize to this gentleman. Oh Yang Luan's face showed a few moments of respect. He knew that this was eleven marshals giving him decency. If he didn't want this decency, then eleven marshals would have helped him to be decent. Retirement and reign were two different things. Brother, you're asking me to apologize? Hearing these words, Oh Yang Jing froze and asked back, apologize immediately. Lest the night be long, Oh Yang Luan frowned and spoke. Brother, I... Oh Yang Jing still wanted to say a few more words, but she was stunned by Oh Yang Luan's stern eyes, and finally reluctantly lowered her lofty head. I'm sorry, it's not over. Zhao Rin nodded. He was not a calculating person in the first place. The little episode at the airport ended here. Zhao Rin took a cab and arrived at the hotel he booked. Along the way, Zhao Ling Tian had not called. Zhao Rin was too lazy to pursue the matter. It was better if he didn't call. He could just treat this trip as a traveling distraction and enjoy himself in Yan Jing. However, as he swiped open the door with his room card in hand and pushed it open, a comforting coolness seeped out of the room, especially in the slightly narrow corridor of the room. Hmm, could it be that I've entered the wrong room? Standing at the doorway of the room, Zhao Ran felt the cool air in the room while frowning at the room card inserted in the power port on the side of the door. It was clear that someone was living there. He froze, then took a step back and looked up at the room number above the doorframe, 9527. Then, he looked down at the label on the card in his hand and after confirming that it was correct, he couldn't help but be puzzled, can a hotel make this kind of low-level mistake, is Rin here, just as Zhao Ran stood in the doorway, torn as to what he should do, a familiar voice resounded from far away inside the house, hmm, how come it's her, 
Hearing this familiar voice, Zhao Rin froze, a little diabolical and a little curious in his heart. Rin, you're finally here. I've been waiting here for you. Seeing that she hadn't waited for a reply for half a day, Fang Mei finally couldn't hold down her inner anxiety and took the initiative to walk to the door. Looking at Zhao Rin standing outside the corridor, forcing her heart to hold back the sourness within her, and choking back a sob. Auntie, what are you waiting for me for? Don't you have to go to work? Seeing this stranger in front of him who had a blood relationship, Zhao Rin indifferently said, he guessed that Zhao Ling Tian would definitely monitor himself throughout the whole process, but he didn't expect that the extent of this monitoring would be so deep. Rin, after all this time, you still refuse to forgive me? At those words, Fong Mei froze, her eyes reddened with sadness. Can you stop it? Zhao Rin said with some impatience. Rin, I, I really don't want this. Fong Mei hadn't even finished her words before Zhao Rin interrupted. Okay, let's leave these topics alone. There's something to talk about. Zhao Rin grew more and more impatient and simply spoke directly to cut the other party's words off. In the evening, there's a party, and your father, he, wants you to go to it for a bit, to meet some more people. This will probably help you in your career. Upon hearing this, Fong Mei took a deep breath, letting her emotions calm down a bit before she spoke. Banquet? He only told me to come to Yan Jing when it's convenient. He didn't tell me that there's any more banquets. Zhao Rin was puzzled. If your dad he said all that, then would you still come? Fong Mei responded, Mom and Dad owe you so much and want to make up for some of it as much as possible. Then I really thank you. Zhao Rin shook her head and laughed coldly, but I still don't want to go. You dignitaries are having dinner. What's the point of me? A little commoner. Going. Rin, just think of it as Mommy begging you. Okay? Give us both a chance to make amends. After being rejected once more, Fong Mei felt her mind break down a bit and finally choked in a low voice. Will you leave first? After tossing and turning for so long, I'm also tired. Looking at the other party with this bitter look, Zhao Rin still softened a bit and didn't reject with a hard heart. Unbeknownst to him, it was with such a soft heart that his trip to Yin Jing was added to. Rin, I know, it's my fault that I've been ignoring you for these 20 years. It's my fault. However, I really do have a hard time that I'm forced to do. Can you give me some time? I'll slowly explain to you. Fang Mei looked at the slightly eased look on Zhao Rin's face, pursed her lips and opened her mouth to carefully say. Hearing these words, Zhao Rin looked at Fong Mei expressionlessly, his eyes cold and detached, without the slightest ripple. Fong Mei, on the other hand, stared straight at her son, her eyes filled with guilt and pain. After a short silence, the two fell into a wordless stare. Zhao Rin's gaze was like a knife, seemingly trying to penetrate Fong Mei's heart to find out what her so-called bitterness really was. Fong Mei, on the other hand, stared at him without flinching, the guilt in her eyes deepening. Finally, Zhao Rin silently nodded her head sort of agreeing to Fong Mei's request. This small action caused a glimmer of hope to well up in Fong Mei's heart, and she hurriedly wiped away the tear tracks at the corners of her eyes, took a deep breath, and began to slowly recount the long dusty past. Her thoughts seemed to go back to more than 20 years ago, when Zhao Rin's father, Zhao Ling Tian, was dispatched to Hangzhou on a special mission. The gears of fate quietly turned at that time, and Zhao Ling Tian and Fong Mei met in this strange city. Their encounters were not by chance, but by fate, or the entanglement of destiny. Against the backdrop of that stormy era, Zhao Lingtian shoulders an important mission, while Fong Mei has her own stories and secrets. Their encounter is like two shooting stars crossing in the night sky, instantly blooming with brilliant light, but destined to be short-lived and impermanent. This encounter will become a turning point in their lives, changing the course of each other's destinies. I don't know whether it was really the will of God or Zhao Lingtian's deliberate action. In any case, Fong Mei had bumped into Zhao Ling Tian several times in a row during that period of time. Fong Mei, who comes from a big business family, has been living in a world of luxury since she was a child, and all she sees and hears every day are words of flattery and flowers and romance. In the long run, both physically and internally, she has long become insensitive and indifferent. However, Zhao Ling Tian's appearance was like a fresh wind that blew away the haze in Fong Mei's heart and brightened her eyes. He took her through many unprecedented novel experiences, sailing on a naval warship soaring through the sky in a helicopter over the vast ocean, and exploring, through dense jungles, each and every one of these things was a spectacle that Fong Mei had never seen, or even heard of before. These unique experiences were like a fire that ignited a long dormant passion and desire within her. In this way, two young and passionate hearts quickly collide with the spark of love. They soon fall in love and become a loving couple. On a special day, the two dry fire, cannot help but fall into a passionate entanglement, intimate relations, and then, the crystallization of love, Zhao Rin was born. The arrival of this little life injected more happiness and coziness into their lives. Originally, because I was pregnant, 
Your father, in order to give me a name, had already typed the report and submitted it to Yan Jing. However, at this time, an accident happened. When you were born, the doctor told your father that your blood type was incorrect, and your father he thought that I had cheated on him, and then left us mother and son and left straight away. Saying this, Fong Mei silently closed her eyes. Wasn't there a DNA test back then? Did you not look for him? Hearing this, Zhao Rin said in a skeptical manner. No, I wish I had back then. Moreover, do you think a businessman in business can find someone at your father's level? Fong Mei sighed and said, her tone sounding very regretful and heartbroken. Back then, it was because medical technology was not developed, and the wrong blood type was made. But we didn't realize that this mistake had caused your father and I to feel guilty for half of our lives. Then, your grandfather because I had a child without marriage. Thunderous anger. Want to sever the relationship with me. In the end, it was your uncles who begged so hard that your grandpa finally agreed to foster you in an orphanage. And unless your dad showed up, I couldn't see you again for the rest of my life. And all I could do for you to be able to grow up peacefully was to suffer in silence while spending my money on your life and education through the orphanage. Hearing this, Zhao Rin's mood was also very complicated. He didn't expect his own life to be so tedious. He couldn't help but purse his lips. But God have mercy. Rin, after all these years, someone finally found you, and then your father immediately arranged for a DNA test, which brought the truth to light. Just pity my child, who has been an orphan for more than 20 years. As Fong Mei spoke, her tears were like pearls with broken strings constantly flowing down the corners of her eyes and finally landing on the ground. Seeing this, even though Zhao Rin was still very resistant inside, he couldn't help but be moved by it. Child, can you call me mom? After saying all of this, Fong Mei finally mustered up enough courage to speak, and at the same time, she looked at Zhao Rin with incomparably hopeful eyes, expecting him to fulfill this wish of hers. She had waited for more than 20 years because of that one word. Mom, I'm sorry, I can't call out. Zhao Rin's lips mumbled as his eyes revealed an unspeakable struggle. That face that was originally taught also looked a little twisted at the moment due to the inner conflict. His mouth opened slightly, as if he was trying to shout out that affectionate term of endearment, Mom. However, it was as if there was an invisible force that had stuck the syllable tightly in his throat, making it impossible for him to spit it out in its entirety no matter how hard he tried. In the end, Zhao Rin could only helplessly lower his head and explain to Fong Mei in a low voice. As for Fong Mei, who was standing on the side, she had been waiting with bated breath for a long time. Her expectant eyes had been staring at Zhao Rin's lips, hoping to hear the response she had longed for. Although she didn't get what she wished for in the end, she clearly felt that the mother-child relationship between herself and Zhao Rin seemed to have taken a big step forward at this moment. This change made her so ecstatic that she hastily waved her hand, signaling that she didn't care about what had just happened. After her emotions calmed down a bit, Fang Mei took a deep breath and tried to make her voice sound more gentle. She asked softly, are you tired of flying? Zhao Rin first shook his head to show that he wasn't particularly tired. Then, he raised his head and gazed at Fong Mei with a slightly puzzled gaze, looking as if he was waiting for her to follow up. I want to take you to buy a few clothes for the evening banquet. Your father he means. Fong Mei explained while carefully watching Zhao Rin's face change, fearing that he would say a word wrong and then Zhao Rin flung his sleeve away. Her tone was gentle, but her eyes revealed a hint of nervousness and anticipation. She hoped that she could convince Zhao Rin to attend the evening banquet, but at the same time, she was worried that he would refuse. There's no need for a banquet. The people of that world are not something that a little old person like me can come into contact with. The three views are different. There's no need to forcefully integrate. It's not like I want to develop in that direction. As expected, Fang Mei hadn't even finished her sentence before Zhao Rin unceremoniously interrupted. His voice was cold and icy, with a firm determination. It seemed that he had no interest in that so-called banquet, and was even somewhat disgusted by it. Fang Mei's heart sank. She obviously hadn't expected Zhao Rin to refuse so firmly, but she didn't give up and tried to persuade him in another way. No, Rin, just go and take a look. The big deal is that it's just as if you're going to rub it in. Sensing Zhao Rin's obvious refusal, Fang Mei couldn't help but say. There was a hint of begging in her voice, hoping to impress Zhao Rin. After all, this banquet was indeed very important to Zhao Rin, and Fang Mei wanted him to attend no matter what. However, Zhao Rin's expression remained cold, and he didn't seem to be moved. If I say I'm not going, I'm not going. That kind of occasion will only make me feel uncomfortable. I'd rather stay at home. He replied lightly, his gaze firmly looking into the distance as if showing Fong Mei his determination. Just think of it as mommy begging you, help support your father. Seeing Zhao Rin's lack of oil and salt, Fong Mei had no choice but to plead in a low voice. Propping up the scene? Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin was a bit surprised. This cheap old dad of his, 
with so much power, still needed to prop up the scene so outrageously? I can't say it in a few words, you'll know when you go. Seeing Zhao Rin's attitude loosen, Fong Mei immediately said, All right then, Zhao Rin thought about it and still nodded. In the evening, Zhao Rin, dressed in a suit, followed his mother, Fong Mei, to an estate. Where is this place? After getting off the bus and looking at the slightly dilapidated manor in front of him, Zhao Rin was a bit curious. Didn't he say he was attending a banquet? How come he brought himself to this place? This is where the banquet is, Fong Mei said with a calm face, while not forgetting to glance at Zhao Rin, with a hint of excitement in her eyes, as if she looked very excited about the possible scenes that would follow. But unfortunately, Fong Mei's strange eyes, Zhao Rin didn't notice. He just quietly looked at the manner in front of him that looked out of place with this prosperous and affluent Yinjing city, and felt quite a bit of emotion in his heart. 9 to 5 city, really hidden dragon and crouching tiger ah, such a slightly shabby looking. All right, Rin, let's go inside. Fang Mei fixed her mind and collected the emotions inside her eyes, then spoke. Yeah, upon hearing this, Zhao Rin nodded his head and walked straight in with his legs wide open, but he didn't notice Fang Mei beside him in the slightest. That pair of hands that had just been lifted halfway and were still floating in midair. Looking at that stance, it looked as if he was trying to wrap Zhao Rin's arms around him and go in. Seeing that she had pounced, a trace of bitterness that was hard to hide spread across Fong Mei's face, but she quickly hid this emotion as if nothing had happened. She shook her head with a bitter smile, as if mocking her own stupidity and incompetence, before chasing after him without hesitation. Meanwhile, Zhao Rin had arrived at the corner, but was blocked by two guards. They extended their fingers to Zhao Rin signaling him to show proof of access. Zhao Rin was new to the city and didn't even know that there was such a rule. So naturally, he couldn't produce the so-called proof. However, he didn't act like some TV dramas, and he was even less interested in learning how to smile evilly like the crooked mouth Dragon King and then become disgruntled or provocative towards the guards, because he knew deep down that the other party was just fulfilling their duties. Thus, after gently shaking his head to indicate that he did not have the relevant documents, Zhao Rin very consciously took a step backward and quietly stood still to wait for Fong Mei's arrival. He believed that since Fong Mei was able to bring him here, she must have a way to let himself enter smoothly. In less than a minute, Fong Mei arrived in front of Zhao Rin. Ma'am, seeing Fong Mei appear, the two guards stood upright and stood in a bored manner. His name is Zhao Rin, the son of Eleven Marshal. Fong Mei calmly introduced her son's identity. Don't don't don't, you two soldier brothers. I'm just me, not someone's son. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin immediately opened his mouth, interrupting Fong Mei's speech, as he was a little less fond of this prefix, he was him, no need to add XXX's son in front of him. Upon hearing this, a few moments of gloom once again flashed within Fong Mei's eyes. It seemed that Zhao Rin hadn't accepted his identity, and that meant that he hadn't accepted the two of them as a couple. Well, let's go inside, don't keep people waiting. After Zhao Rin finished speaking, Fong Mei pulled Zhao Rin through the middle of the guards and stepped into the path that ordinary people would never see in their lifetime. What kind of banquet is this? Seeing the guards at the door, Zhao Rin always felt that something wasn't right, pulling in guards for a meal. How big a show is this? You'll find out when you go inside. Fong Mei said as she sold her story. Welcome everyone to this official meet and greet. On behalf of 11 marshals, I would like to thank you all. On the stage, after some dressing up, Fang Mei stood on top of the stage with a microphone and introduced the theme of today's banquet, which was Zhao Rin. On the stage, Zhao Rin was somewhat helpless. He didn't expect his cheap parents to pull this stunt today, introducing themselves to Yin Jing's top circle. Luckily, however, Fang Mei knew that he had no interest in any of this and simply said a few words before leading Zhao Rin off the stage. Why? I don't even know these people. Under the stage, Zhao Rin felt the intentional and unintentional eyes of the people around him falling on him. He couldn't help but frown. He disliked this kind of scene, hypocritical, dull, those banquets of a commercial nature are child's play compared to these, my strong brother is bullish enough, right, I believe that any one of these can be taken out, and can be manufactured in bulk, your father is doing this for your own good, I hope you can grow into a big tree, Fong Mei explained, I'm not interested in these, Zhao Ren still shook her head indifferently, I haven't been a member of this circle since I was a child, do you think I can blend in with just this, just as the two were talking, a man in a suit who looked to be a big shot came striding over. Zhao Rin, let me introduce you. This is Li Yuan Zhao. Mr. Li, the current head of the Yin Jing Li family. Seeing the man in the suit who was already old but still powerful, Fang Mei adjusted her mind and opened her mouth to introduce Zhao Rin for him. This one, I think he must be the child that 11th Marshal lost outside. He is really a talented person. He looks exactly the same as 11th Marshal when he was young. 
Li Yuanzhao looked at Zhao Rin's appearance and said with a smile on his face, Hello. Although there was some resentment in Zhao Rin's heart, he still took the initiative to extend his hand and greeted with a smile. He didn't want to embarrass his father because of his emotions. After all, the conflict was an internal family matter. Face had to be given. Hello hello hello. I wonder what comrade Xiao Zhao is currently engaged in. Seeing this, Li Yuanzhao similarly stretched out his hand to shake Zhao Rin and asked with a cordial smile on his face. I'm currently working in Hangcheng in the south, not in Yanjing. Zhao Rin answered truthfully, his tone calm and firm, neither looking humble nor the slightest bit condescending. For this Li Yuanzhao, he did not have the will to befriend him, he just hoped that he would not lose face with his own family. Oh, that's so. That's quite a coincidence. My family also has some business being conducted in Hangzhou. Once Li Aid Chao heard this, the smile on his face grew whiter and whiter. He narrowed his eyes slightly and said thoughtfully, Perhaps we can let our granddaughter who is in charge of this piece of business communicate with you, and see if there are any opportunities for cooperation between our two families. Upon hearing this, Zhao Rin froze, No, this is okay, you're a Yinjing big shot, what are you doing in Hangzhou? Just when Zhao Rin didn't know how to answer, Fang Mei suddenly took over the conversation and opened her mouth to agree for Zhao Rin. Good, 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 then I hope the Li family master more care. Fang Mei said cheerfully, to say a thousand words, she and Zhao Rin's father to engage in this scene, is not in order to let Zhao Rin know more people, so as to build their own network. Well well well, Xiao Ro, come over here. Li Yuanzhao nodded cheerfully, then waved in a direction, and then saw a girl walk over in this direction. 